This film is purely fictional. Please do not imitate it. Your like and subscribe are the motivation for me to update. Chapter 1, Rebirth. Sinon increases a hundred times. On the blue sea, the water looks sparkling under the golden sunlight. Lin Sheng, wearing only a pair of underwear and a life boot, was floating on the sea in a daze. Looking at the endless sea. Not dead? I'm not dead? Lin Sheng rubbed his cheeks in disbelief. There was astonishment, confusion, and even loss in his eyes. I'm still alive. But what's the point of living? Lin Sheng shouted to himself. A simple book and a metal hook with a 10 meter rope are hanging quietly next to the swimming ring. Out of habit, Lin Sheng opened the ancient book. Book first page. 1. Humanity. World catastrophe. Global gamification is coming. Try to survive. Please use hooks to obtain materials floating on the sea. And try to survive. If you get a treasure box, you may get what you need. 2. When you are at sea, you need to be careful of the monsters in the sea. They will attack you. Kill the monsters, and you can get the treasures and corpses dropped by the monsters. 3. Please be careful with every human you come into contact with. They may suddenly attack you. 4. If you die, you are really dead. After Lin Sheng finished reading the first page of text, it turned into specks of light and disappeared into the air. 5. Chat. You can open the second page and initiate chat with other survival humans through the chat page. World channel. And private chat with friends. 6. Transaction. You can list your supplies here on the third page and exchange them with other humans for the supplies you need. 7. Production. The drawings you have learned will appear here on the fourth page. After meeting the conditions, you can make the items on the drawings. 8. Backpack. On the fifth page, you have 16 grids of storage space. Looking at the prompts one after another, Lin Sheng noticed that the chat page was lighting up with a faint light. Lin Sheng turned back to the chat page and checked it out. Who can tell me what exactly happened? Why did I wake up with my house gone? My wife and children gone? Is it because today is April Fool's Day and you played a joke on me? I like to sleep on my feet. When I wake up, I find that I only have a life buoy on me. Now there is a fish hanging on my second brother. What should I do if I can't shake it off? Scenes of memories regressed crazily in Lin Sheng's mind. Memories from a few months ago appeared in Lin Sheng's mind. I am reborn. Back to the first day of the disaster. With a bang. Lin Sheng was suddenly extremely pleasantly surprised. In the last life, Shen Ling formed a guild with others in order to find his parents. But unexpectedly, when Lin Sheng met her, the president of the guild was dissatisfied with Shen Ling's different attitude towards Lin Sheng and him, and wanted to kill Lin Sheng. In order to save him, Shen Ling used her body to block the attack of the weapon. It was not until Shen Ling was about to die that Lin Sheng understood the feelings of this sister from his adoptive father's family towards him and made a promise that he would find his adoptive parents. Lin Sheng fell into the pursuit of the president, fled all the way, and grew up. Even though he finally killed the president, he was still killed by the dragon mercenary group behind the president. Even until his death, he could not find his adoptive parents. Now that he is reborn, the flame of hope in Lin Sheng's heart is burning again. Shen Ling, who once died in front of him, will definitely save her this time. And he will also find adoptive parents, who took him out of the orphanage and raised her. Just when Lin Sheng was thinking this, a treasure box appeared in front of him. Novice treasure chest, built-in wrap drawings, water and food, and a special reward. Lin Sheng looked at the novice treasure chest in front of him, feeling helpless. In his previous life, he only received basic items and no special rewards. Moreover, it is extremely difficult to obtain supplies on this sea. Just building the wood for the raft took Lin Sheng a full week, during which he almost starved to death. It is not an easy task to rely on a raft to salvage supplies in this turbulent water. But with the experience of the previous life, Lin Sheng had a smile on his lips. Not this time. Please open the novice treasure chest. If you do not open it within 10 seconds, the treasure chest will disappear. Seeing the new prompt, Lin Sheng put aside the idea of contacting Shen Ling first. After all, if the novice treasure box disappeared, he didn't know when he would be able to obtain the drawings of the raft. Lin Sheng opened the novice treasure chest. Raft drawing plus one. 250G bread plus one. One L farmer three springs plus one. Really? I still didn't get any special rewards. Lin Sheng shouted. The special reward of this novice treasure chest is entirely based on luck. But just after Lin Sheng uttered these words with some disappointment, an electronic prompt suddenly sounded in his mind. The rebirth conditions have been met. 
and the sign-in system is activated. You can sign in again after midnight every day. If you meet the sign-in conditions, do you want to sign in? My special reward is the system? It's so special that it can only be activated after Nirvana? Sure enough. If you have never died, there will be no system? Lin Shun complained crazily in his heart. Sign in. Get the ability to increase by 100 times after signing in for the first time. 100-fold increase. The host can use the same material or experience once a day to double the increase on the designated target. Lin Shun was immediately overjoyed when he heard this. Although there is a limit to this hundredfold increase. And you cannot exploit loopholes to obtain unlimited supplies. You can also increase some necessities by a hundredfold and exchange them for more needed items at a low price. Looking at the bread and farmer San Quan in the backpack, Lin Shun decisively increased the bread and food. Use a hundredfold increase on Nongfu San Quan. Use a hundredfold increase on bread. 1L Nongfu San Quan times 100. 250G bread times 100. Lin Shun looked at the placement of Nongfu San Quan and bread in the backpack column. Divided into 99 bottles per grid and one bottle per grid. And nodded. Sure enough. It is still the same as in the game. The upper limit of each item grid is 99. After making these preparations, Lin Sheng opened the search function on the chat page to find Xin Ling based on the information about Xin Ling in his memory. After determining the age and gender, a total of more than 50,000 qualified people were found. I have to say that even if there is a search function, it is still not easy to find one person among these 7 billion people. Oh no! 6 billion people. Some people have died in their sleep in various accidents. After some searching, Lin Sheng's luck was pretty good. After searching 5,000 people at 20 people per minute, he finally confirmed it from the real person's avatar. Lin Sheng decisively sent a chat message to the other party and also initiated a friend request. Sister Shen Ling, I am Lin Sheng. One second passed, one minute passed. Lin Sheng still didn't get any reply from the other party. Lin Sheng's heart skipped a beat. Could it be that his rebirth caused some uncontrollable butterfly effect that led to the accident? If so, it would all be. Lin Sheng thought of the worst outcome. But people still have to give themselves hope. Right? He comforted himself. Maybe Shen Ling hadn't gotten up yet. Or maybe she was shocked by the catastrophic world. Or maybe she didn't react at all. Lin Sheng looked around and saw a black fin floating on the sea in the distance. A feeling of panic replaced the anxiety in my heart. It's a shark. Damn it! I didn't encounter a shark at the beginning of the disaster in my last life. How could I encounter a shark so early in this life? Lin Sheng cursed in his heart. But his body floated motionless on the sea. Hoping that the shark would not notice him. Chapter 2 Drinking Water Trading Contacted someone. Fortunately, this shark seemed to be bored and came out for some air before submerging its fins into the sea again. After Lin Sheng waited quietly for a while, he breathed a sigh of relief after confirming that the shark had indeed left. I need a raft and weapons. Lin Sheng began to think calmly in his heart. It's not a problem to stay in the water all the time. And who knows when the shark that has appeared will come back. So you must prepare the means to deal with that shark. Lin Sheng did it as soon as he thought of it. Opened the inventory. And immediately chose to learn the drawings. You have learned how to make a raft. Simple raft. Wooden board 0 slash 50. Rope 0 slash 20. After seeing the materials needed for the raft. Lin Sheng glanced around. And saw that there were only 10 wooden boards. And 10 rags floating on the sea around him. Lin Sheng threw his hook while swimming. And pocketed all the surrounding boards and rags. Plank plus 10. Rag plus 10. Looking at these materials. Lin Sheng immediately used the hundredfold increase. Plank plus 990. Rag amplification failed because of insufficient backpack space. Lin Sheng was stunned. There is not enough space in the backpack? Then try to see if the hundredfold increase can be used. Inventory plus 1440. Lin Sheng was ecstatic when he looked at the backpack that already had 1600 inventory slots. In the future. You can use it as a mobile living warehouse. Just when Lin Sheng was about to continue to increase the size of the rag, there was a gula sound. A protest sound came from the lower abdomen, reminding Lin Sheng that it was time to eat. Lin Sheng took out some bread and a bottle of water to satisfy his hunger, and then turned his mind to the transaction. What is needed now are the production blueprints for other things, such as weapons, fishing tackle, and grills. These practical things are not available everywhere. Well, let's take a look at the situation in the chat channel first. Yan Ku. Does anyone have some water and can give me some? The novice treasure chest has given me a bottle of 50 milliliters water, which is not enough to drink. 
Oh my god! I just don't want to let me live! Seeing this news, Lin Sheng thought of the supplies from the novice treasure chest that everyone discussed in his previous life. Although there would be food and water 100% of the time, the amount was a variable. Some people may be able to prescribe one L of water, like the one in Lin Sheng's hand. Or it may be like the one in the chat page. But after seeing that this rule remained unchanged, Lin Sheng felt relieved. Yes, if everyone has just enough water and food, how can Lin Sheng exchange for low price supplies and production drawings when there is no shortage of water and food? Water and food. Ta Lin Sheng used a hundred times the amplitude once a day. An endless supply of farmers' three springs and bread. Water is okay. And it won't go bad after three to five years. It's a pity that although the increase in bread can make it more abundant, its shelf life is only one month and will not change. Lin Sheng immediately decided to publish a message. 20 pieces of 250G bread and 21L bottles of drinking water were exchanged for various drawings and materials. As soon as Lin Sheng's news was released, the chat channel immediately became a buzz. Su Fei. Boss, why do you have so much water and food? Lu Er. He must be lucky to get a lot of water and food from the novice treasure chest. I just saw a shark on the sea. I heard that sharks like to attack people who have a lot of food. Qin Shou. My poor brother. Please give me some water. I just washed my face and found that there was no water to drink. Various messages include those of envy, ridicule, and begging. Lin Sheng no longer reads these messages. After all, at this time when it is difficult to protect oneself, who can care about whom? Only benefit is the truth. After sending the message, Lin Sheng glanced at the private chat interface. Shi Ling had not replied to him yet. So he exited the chat page and prepared to build a raft. As for waiting on the chat page and waiting for people in need to come to your door? Sorry. He, Lin Shenghao, a wealthy local man, doesn't need it. Lin Sheng immediately increased the total number of rags to 1,000 units and opened the production page. In addition to rafts, there are also some basic items for crafting on the page. Lin Sheng first made some adjustments to the fabric. Rope making. Rag 1000 slash 2. Lin Sheng simply made 400 ropes. Rag 800. Rope plus 400. After having enough rope, Lin Sheng began to make the raft. Raft making. Wooden board 1000 slash 50. Rope 800 slash 20. Rope 800. Plank 1000. Obtain. Raft times 20. Lin Sheng looked at the 20 extra rafts in his inventory. And finally a smile appeared on his face. The raft is a manufacturing item and is not within the scope of supplies. The ability to increase a hundred times is useless to it. He immediately took out the raft and placed it on the sea. Finally no need to soak in water anymore. Lin Sheng sighed and turned over on the raft. At this moment, the system prompt appeared in front of Lin Sheng. You own multiple rafts. Do you want to combine them to expand the raft? Of course it is synthesized. Otherwise wouldn't it be difficult for me to have to squeeze into the small space of a small raft with so many rafts in my hand? A raft is only 2 by 2 in size. Almost as big as a bed. If one person stays on it, it cannot be used for other purposes. Lin Sheng took out 9 additional rafts to form a 4 by 4 medium sized raft. After getting the raft, Lin Sheng opened the chat page again to see if there was anything he needed. A message of 99 plus appeared on the private chat interface. Lin Sheng scanned it roughly. All messages asking for water and food. Such as, Xia Mi, little brother. I can be salty or sweet. And I can be sweet or cute. Can you give me a bottle of water? Lin Sheng just laughed at this. In an era where eating is a problem, there are still sharks in the sea that are eager to look at you. Do you still want to play output here? Next one. Yi Lianchen. Brother, give me a piece of bread. I, Yi Lianchen, am very grateful. I will go through fire and water if necessary in the future. Come on. These are all useless private messages. If you want water, just exchange it for something useful. Saying these useless words will have no effect at all. When Lin Sheng's eyes continued to move downward, the private chat avatar that haunted him was flashing. Lin Sheng eagerly opened the private chat. Brother Xiaosheng, listen carefully to my sister. Now find a safe place to stay. If you need water and food, tell me, and she will give it to you. Wait for me to find you. This is Xilin's message to herself, which was sent just now. After seeing this message, Lin Sheng's heart that was frozen by asking for a birthday melted at this time. Yes, it's still like that. Just for your own consideration. In the last life, since contacting Xinling, Xinling has been giving him material support. 
Sister, send me your address. I'm not short of supplies. I have plenty of water and food now. I'll send you some. You can accept it. Drinking water and food are abundant. Now I still have 99 pieces of 250G bread and 99 1L bottles of water. And with the special ability of a hundredfold increase. Even if there is only one bottle left, 100L of water can be produced tomorrow. He did not become a lunatic. Even if he did not have the heart of a holy mother, Lin Sheng would not be stingy with a person who truly treated him well and thought about himself. Even in the last days, Lin Sheng decisively handed out 30 bottles of water and 30 pieces of 250G bread. Just after Lin Sheng finished donating the supplies, Shen Ling's message was sent along with the address. Brother Xiao Sheng, why did you give me so much water and bread? These things are scarce at sea. I still have a lot. Sister, just go on with peace of mind. Also, if I go to find you this time, you can safely find a place to protect yourself. Lin Sheng replied firmly. If Shen Ling hadn't come to find him in his previous life, he wouldn't have met that person, leading to his final death. Lin Sheng will never allow this to happen this time. After Lin Sheng opened the location link, he suddenly took a breath of cold air. Chapter 3 Spear Blueprint Rare Weapon The distance between you and the other party is 10,000 kilometers. After the catastrophe, Blue Star became larger. Lin Sheng knew this. But the distance was too great. Before the disaster, the distance from Antarctica to the North Pole was only 12,631 kilometers. But the distance between him and Shen Ling was actually half the distance before the disaster. Lin Sheng felt bad when he thought about how Shen Ling had to cross such a long distance to find him in his previous life. If you want to cross such a long distance, a raft is obviously not possible. So only by obtaining blueprints and upgrading the raft into an ark or even a battleship can you cross such a distance. Lin Sheng knew that if he didn't go to Shen Ling, Shen Ling would definitely come to him. But looking at the distance, Lin Sheng left the words, Wait with peace of mind, and planned to go to the chat page to see if there was anything he needed. Just when Lin Sheng was about to exit the private chat interface, a private chat message caught Lin Sheng's attention. I have the blueprint for making a spear. Can I change the water source with you? Blueprint of a spear. He didn't know when the shark would come back to attack him. It could be said that the shark that put Lin Sheng's life in the most danger so far was that shark. And weapons are something that is urgently needed. You can change it. Lin Sheng replied decisively. The other party seemed to have been waiting for me. As soon as he saw his reply, he immediately initiated a transaction request. Spear making drawing plus one. After the transaction ended, the other party immediately sent a message. Thank you so much. There is too little water in the novice treasure chest. I can't sustain my life at all. It's a pleasure to work with you. If you need water in the future, you can come to me. After Lin Sheng replied, he stopped paying attention to the chat interface. Instead, he learned the manufacturing blueprints for spears. You learn how to make a spear. Spear manufacturing. Iron piece 0 out of 10. After seeing the materials needed for the spear, Lin Sheng was going to go to the private chat interface to see if anyone was serious about exchanging food and water for him. Of course, the priority now is iron sheets. Xiao Sheng, is there anything you need? If there is anything here, I will give it to you. What caught Lin Sheng's eyes was Shen Ling's message. Sister, do you have a raft now? Only then did Lin Sheng think of another problem. That is, most people probably haven't had the chance to make rafts yet. Right? When Lin Sheng asked, Shen Ling replied with a hint of embarrassment. No. When I woke up, I only had a few wooden boards and iron pieces around me. I couldn't make a raft at all. Iron sheets. This is exactly what Lin Sheng needs. There is a difference between the real world and the game. It doesn't mean that whatever you want will float on the sea. And there will be a steady stream of floating objects. These are all based on luck. It's possible that you'll encounter something you need in one day. And it's possible that there won't be anything floating around for several days in a row. Give me the iron piece. After seeing Lin Sheng's news, Shen Ling sent Lin Sheng a message without hesitation and made no further requests. When she thought about it, the food and water that Lin Sheng had given her before were enough. As for the raft, she could slowly collect the wooden boards to make it herself. But Lin Sheng traded four rafts to Shen Ling. Too much is not enough. Before a person has the ability to protect himself, something that is too good will bring danger. Lin Sheng was not sure if there were other survivors around Shen Ling. Iron plus five. Sister, you can combine the raft, but be careful of the people around you. If you meet other people, run away if you can. Um, 
The chat ends. Lin Shunjin finished making the spear. First, the iron piece was multiplied by a hundred times. And then, the spear was made, and the hundredfold multiplier was used to gain production experience. Iron piece plus 500. Spear manufacturing. Iron piece 500 out of 10. You made a spear. Experience plus 100. The spear manufacturing level is upgraded to excellent 90 out of 100. Obtain ordinary spear times 1. Durability 10. Attack power plus 1. Making a weapon will only gain 1 point of experience. And 100 points will be gained with a hundredfold increase. The levels of weapons are divided into ordinary, sophisticated, advanced, rare, artifact, legend, epic, and myth. Every time you advance to a level, the experience required increases tenfold. Among them, only those that reach the mythical level will change the quality of the weapon. Lin Sheng looked at the ordinary spear in his hand. It was obviously not enough to kill the eyeing shark. At most, it was just to intimidate him. Then continue the production of, okay, weapons. Experience plus 100. The spear manufacturing level is upgraded to advance 90 to 1000. Obtain fine spear times 1. Durability 20. Attack power plus 5. Although the properties of the refined spear have improved a lot. For Lin Sheng. The more powerful the better. The road to manufacturing continues. Experience plus 100. Experience plus 100. After manufacturing 11 times in a row. Spear manufacturing level increased to rare 190 slash 10,000. Obtain high level spear. Durability 50. Attack power plus 10. Get rare spear. Durability 100. Attack power plus 50. Having obtained the rare spear. And with the 50 points of attack power, Lin Sheng was fully confident to wait for the shark to come. As long as it dared to come, Lin Sheng would turn it into a barbecue. Lin Sheng looked at the ordinary and sophisticated spears with disgust and simply disintegrated them. Equipment fragments plus 3. After breaking down the equipment, fragments will be obtained according to the level of the weapon. And these fragments can be used to strengthen the equipment. It's just that Lin Sheng kept the fragments first and didn't rush to strengthen them. Enhanced equipment is only best if it is used for equipment above the artifact level. The weapons produced will have no durability unless they reach the artifact level or above. After Lin Sheng continued to make seven more rare spears, his eyes were blurred, and he was immediately prompted by the system. Lack of energy. Please rest to regain energy. After seeing the prompt, Lin Sheng noticed his panel properties. Hungry, 78. Moisture content, 76. Life, 100. Energy, 4. It turns out that when making a spear yourself, it takes 5 points of energy to make each one. And energy takes time to recover. The situation has reached this point. And Lin Sheng has to give up the idea of making an artifact level spear. Sister, I'll give you a self-defense weapon. Lin Sheng opened the chat interface and sent a message to Shen Ling. At the same time, he chose a rare spear and presented it to him. After receiving the message, Shen Ling did not reply to Lin Sheng. He must be busy with other things. Lin Sheng set his sights on the world chat channel. Erlang. Ah! Who can tell me why a shark keeps chasing me? Who can save me? What caught his eye was a message for help. Wu Liang. Aha! Uh -huh. Take care, brother. There's nothing we can do. We just hope you can feed it enough to keep it from coming to us. Jingsa. I'm counting on my fingers. Fellow Taoist. You are doomed. Luo Qing. Will sharks attack us? We're afraid. Looking at the messages that are constantly appearing on the chat channel. It seems that everyone now knows that weapons are needed to survive. Lin Sheng felt that it was the right time to take action with his spear. Chapter 4 Artifact Strengthening High-end spear weapons are for sale. With a limited quantity of 10 in total. If you are interested, please contact us privately. Various materials and drawings can be used in exchange. After Lin Sheng sent out the message, he also posted the attribute table of the weapon spear on the message page. Advanced spear. Durability 50. Attack power plus 10. As soon as this message was sent, the chat page suddenly became quiet, and the previous comments of gloating and panic disappeared one after another. Next moment. Shout yawn. Chung Yin Yobi. I am still fighting for the raft, but you have taken high-end weapons and sold them. Hua Lu. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm afraid if there is no chance to get the raft, I will have to get weapons. Without the raft, I don't think you will ask others to take you in. Lin Sheng ignored these people. Those who needed them must have been chatting with him privately. The first thing I saw when I opened the interface was the message Lin gave me. 
Thank you. Xiao Sheng. Lin Sheng next saw the private message sent to him by Erlang, who had just asked for help on the World Channel. Master, you are my son. I have the drawings. Let's trade quickly. Erlang requests trade. Fishing tackle making drawings plus one. After Lin Sheng finished the transaction with Erlang, he nodded slightly. With fishing gear, you don't have to eat bread all the time. You can catch some sea fish for a change. After what happened with Erlang, this made many people aware of the crisis. Unlike when they traded food and water before, only those who really couldn't hold on would come to trade with them. Lin Sheng was approached by people who said they had materials and drawings, and Lin Sheng initiated a transaction with them. Obtain grill manufacturing blueprints. Obtain water purifier manufacturing drawings. Obtain axe manufacturing diagram. Get the hammer manufacturing diagram. Get boiler manufacturing diagram. Obtain the refining furnace manufacturing diagram. Get board plus 20. Obtain short sleeve production diagram. Get the trousers production diagram. With the continuous transactions, Lin Sheng's manufacturing map suddenly expanded. The next moment, Lin Sheng learned them all in one breath. After trading these blueprints for a bunch of unused high end spears, Lin Sheng looked at the remaining pair of underwear on his body. Decisively, I made myself daily necessities. Trousers and short sleeves. Trousers production. Rag 200 slash 5. Short sleeve production. Rag 200 slash 5. Obtain trousers. Get short sleeves. Because leather pants and short sleeves are just ordinary clothes without any attribute blessings. At most, they are used to keep out the cold. But this is also a necessity for Lin Sheng. Because the sun on the sea had quietly receded. The white moonlight was shining on the sea. And the temperature dropped sharply. Even Lin Sheng, who had already put on leather pants and short sleeves, still felt a chill coming over him. Lin Sheng looked at the bright moonlight, lying on the raft and chatting with Shen Ling. As the night gradually darkened, Lin Sheng also fell asleep. It was an uneventful night, and the shark that had been eyeing him before was probably looking for other prey. When Lin Sheng woke up, he knew that his hundredfold increase ability had been refreshed and he could use all supplies. 250G bread plus 6800. 1L Nong Fu San Quan plus 6700. Backpack plus 160000. Wood plus 2000. Rag plus 19000. Iron piece plus 30000. Weapon fragments plus 300. After using the hundredfold increase ability, Lin Sheng's supplies suddenly became very abundant. Lin Sheng casually replenished the food and water and immediately continued making the spear that he had not finished yesterday. Today is bound to be a successful creation of an artifact level spear. All weapons and equipment. In this world, the first survivor to make an artifact level can achieve achievements. Be notified by the whole server. And also receive special rewards. Lin Sheng started making spears with his hundredfold increase in power at full blast. Obtain artifact spear times 1. Attack power plus 100 plus 10% damage. Finally, when Lin Sheng made the 92nd spear, the artifact level spear was successfully made. Your spear level has reached the limit. Please obtain advanced blueprints to upgrade the artifact. Congratulations on becoming the first survivor to make artifact level weapons and earning the title of Manufacturing Master. Manufacturing Master, when manufacturing equipment, you can add an additional attribute to the equipment. World Announcement Congratulations to survivor Lin Sheng for making an artifact level spear. The world celebrates together. Each survivor will be given an ordinary level spear as a reward. Times 3. The world channel was suddenly flooded with the same three messages. And within 10 seconds all the survivors were unable to post any messages. The previously noisy chat page suddenly became quiet. But all the survivors are not at all peaceful inside. 10 seconds passed. Damn it! My raft hasn't been built yet. But Mr. Shang has already made a weapon at the level of an artifact. Can you tell me where you bought the plugin? I'm willing to buy it for any price. The messages on the chat page are refreshing rapidly. If you stare at the chat page, you will feel dizzy. But as the initiator, Lin Sheng did not pay attention to the chat channel. As an old game fan from the peaceful era, Lin Sheng has a habit. That is, I like to collect various weapons and equipment to use as decorations for my account. Not to mention this special artifact spear. Lin Sheng put it away and stored it silently in a corner of his backpack. Then two more artifact spears were made. And the artifact spears obviously had one more attribute bar than the first artifact spear. Artifact spear. Attack power plus 100 with 10% damage. Attack power plus 10. Although it seems a bit useless compared to the attack power of the artifact spear. 
it is still equivalent to the attack power of a high end spear. After Lin Sheng produced two brand new artifacts, the prompt of the sign in system sounded in due time. You have not signed in today. Do you want to sign in? Sign in. Sign in reward. Lucky strengthening furnace times 1, 100% success rate before strengthening plus 10. The strengthening furnace is an item that must be used to strengthen equipped weapons. I originally wanted to wait a few days and then go look for it and see where I could get it. This strengthening furnace will only appear in the future. And only a very lucky survivor will have a chance to obtain it. As a result, a wonderful survival profession was born. The strengthener. It is specially prepared for those survivors who cannot obtain advanced weapons and who need the blessing of powerful weapons. Lin Shum did not move the 98 rare spears for the time being, but looked at the 300 weapon fragments in the backpack. His heart pounding. He took out the strengthening furnace and put the artifact spear into it. Artifact spear strengthening plus 0 plus 1. Weapon fragments 300 out of 10. A flash of white light indicated successful strengthening. Lin Shum consumed 100 weapon fragments 10 times in a row to strengthen the artifact spear to plus 10. Artifact spear plus 10. Attack power 200, 100 plus 100%. With 10% damage. Attack power 20, 10 plus 100%. As for whether to continue to strengthen it, Lin Sheng feels that it is not necessary now. The power of plus 11 is indeed powerful. But the probability of failure is very high. One bad move will cause the artifact in your hand to disappear. And now there is no need for such highly enhanced weapons. Plus 10 points is enough. At this moment, what Lin Sheng didn't notice was that a black fin quietly emerged from the water and swam towards Lin Sheng from a distance. Chapter 5 Grill Fish The shark is coming. However, at this time, Lin Sheng had just opened the chat page and presented Shen Ling with the unenhanced artifact level spear. Sister, don't take out this weapon unless it's in the most dangerous moment. As for why it was not strengthened before being sent out, the appearance of the artifact on the second day of the disaster was already a shocking thing. If the strengthened weapon was accidentally discovered by others, something big would really happen. I know. It's a hot potato. But Xiaosheng, you are too good. It seems that I will be completely dependent on you in the future. Seeing Shen Ling's reply, he smiled slightly and said 99 1L bottles of water directly. If you feel uncomfortable, take a shower. After the private chat ended, Lin Sheng exited the interface. Of course, if this sentence is seen by other survivors, it will definitely cause public outrage. They were all afraid that they wouldn't have enough water. But Lin Sheng actually thought of taking a bath. Looking at the rising sun, Lin Sheng thought, although it is an important thing to find Shen Ling and bring her to him, he still needs to take his time. Even if he already has the supplies now, it is still not enough for a 10,000 kilometer journey. Well, in this case, life needs a sense of ritual. First make the fishing gear and then go fishing to change the taste of lunch. When Lin Chen was just about to make fishing gear, a black fin in the distance immediately caught Lin Sheng's attention. Here you come! I thought you had left completely and would not trouble me again. But come on! It would be nice to have a roasted shark! Thinking of this, the artifact spear had already appeared in Lin Sheng's hand. The plus 10 enhancement caused the spear to glow with a faint red and white light. Lin Sheng's eyes were fixed on the black fin. As long as the shark dared to show its head, this spear would definitely pierce the fish's head. The shark seemed to feel the threat to its life. It stopped far away from Lin Sheng and emerged from the water to look at Lin Sheng from a distance. There was timidity and unwillingness in the shark's eyes. Finally, he decided to wander around Lin Sheng, as if waiting for an opportunity. TCH, I thought he was such a cruel guy. But what happened? He's a coward. Lin Sheng couldn't keep chasing the sharks. So he immediately opened the fishing gear manufacturing diagram. Fishing tackle manufacturing. Iron piece one. Wooden board one. Rope one. Make it. Oh no. Make it like crazy. Obtain artifact level fishing gear. Special effects will take the bait. Lin Sheng really didn't want the fishing gear to be used up after being fished for dozens of times. And he would have to replace the fishing gear in the end. As for the extra fishing gear, Lin Sheng decisively broke it down. Unfortunately, this is a special weapon, and each piece of fishing tackle can only break down into one weapon fragment. Lin Sheng looked back at the shark still wandering in the sea. This shark neither leaves nor comes up to challenge me, which is really annoying. Lin Sheng threw the fish hook in his hand into the sea. Lin Sheng's eyes were simultaneously focused on the fishing hooks and the wandering sharks in the sea. Only a minute passed, and the fish hook began to shake crazily. 
Lin Shun felt a huge pulling force coming from his hand, as if the fishing tackle in his hand was being torn away. The next moment, Lin Shun grabbed the fishing rod tightly, and then followed the method of shaking, sliding, and lifting three times to successfully catch the fish in the fishing rod. Is it a base? Can the fish caught use a hundredfold increase? Lin Shun had this curious idea in his mind. If not, then it will take more time to fish. Use hundred times increase. Base plus one hundred. Suddenly, hundreds of bays suddenly appeared on the raft and started jumping. I'll go. It's really okay. After exclaiming, Lin Shun hurriedly put away the fishing gear and hurriedly made some ropes to string up the bass. However, these bays jumped too lively. Even though Lin Shun had responded in the shortest time, the bays still escaped two-thirds of the way. Looking at the thirty sea bass that he had skewered, Lin Shun felt a little regretful and prepared to build a grill and boiler for grilling fish. Grill Manufacturing Iron Piece 29060-10 Wooden Board 2000-5 Rope 0-2 Boiler Manufacturing Iron Sheet 29060-20 Rags were made into rope and later grills and boilers were made. Lin Sheng put the two tools on the raft, then took out drinking water from his backpack and poured it into the boiler. After putting away the raw base, five base were placed in the grill and five in the boiler and then wooden boards were placed where the firewood was added. Lin Sheng slapped his forehead, and then remembered that he didn't have fire or salt. In the omnipotent world chat channel, Lin Sheng is here again, bringing food and water to trade for fire and salt. After Lin Sheng opened the chat page, he suddenly became curious as to why he was being discussed all the time. Master Sheng hasn't come out to talk for any reason today. I've finished eating the bread, and I really have nothing to eat. I want to see if I can exchange something with him. I've also finished drinking the water. There is really so much sea water in the sea, but I can't even drink a sip. I just couldn't help but take a sip. It's so salty. I want to give birth to my father. Lin Sheng had a weird look on his face. It had only been one night. But why were so many people thinking about him? But didn't I just come? 50 bread. 50 bottles of water. In exchange for various colors of conditioners and lighters. If you want to change, hurry up. After Lin Sheng put the two items on the shelves with 50 quantities each, he sent a message on the world channel. Hack, he's here. He's really here. He's here with food and water. Sure enough, I was right in not choosing to eat chili sauce to satisfy my hunger. Xiao Juju finally saved her life this time. A series of prompts sounded in Lin Sheng's ears. Tomato sauce. Chili sauce. Salt. Message. Chicken essence. There are all kinds of seasonings. I'm afraid most of the kitchens before the disaster didn't have as many seasonings as Lin Sheng's here. Right? After receiving these condiments, Lin Sheng doubled all the condiments a hundred times with a hundredfold backhand, and then started to light the barbecue. Lin Sheng's actions caused the chat channel to explode completely. Why do you think Mr. Sheng needs so many condiments, and can also bring out so much food and water? Isn't it Master Sheng who is having a barbecue? But at this time, the pair of cooperative survivors looked at each other. Can you find this old man? Give me some more time. Hurry up. If nothing else, I'm very good at finding people. Stop talking nonsense and look for it quickly. This gentleman must be lucky enough to find a lot of supplies. Once we find him, we will work together to kill him. By then, all his supplies will be ours. On Lin Shun's side, the aroma of barbecue and fish soup gradually wafted up. The shark wandering in the sea finally couldn't bear it anymore. He jumped out of the sea plunged into the sea, and headed towards Lin Sheng's position. The sound of water rushing has attracted Lin Sheng's attention. Lin Sheng was holding the artifact-level spear in his hand and looking at the sea. A huge shark head emerged from the sea and rushed toward Lin Sheng. It's just in time. Let's have extra lunch at noon. Lin Sheng waved the artifact spear in his hand and smiled. Chapter 6 Lucky Bag Grilled Fish and Red Wine The artifact spear in Lin Sheng's hand was stabbed hard by the shark's head that was rushing towards him. 243. Bright red numbers floated on the shark's head. And then an emptied health bar appeared on the shark's head. The shark froze slightly as it pounced on Lin Sheng. And the next moment, it pounced on the raft motionlessly like an inertia. The huge shark corpse's tail hung down in the sea. And most of the body occupied all the space on the raft. Oh! Why are you so big? You almost sunk my raft! After Lin Sheng complained, he looked at the shark's body put away the artifact in his hand. And then his eyes suddenly lit up. This shark is full of treasures. 
although the taste of shark meat is not that good, it is still meat at sea, shark belly, shark fins, etc. In peacetime, if it is not controlled, the sharks that humans can see will probably be eaten to death. Fish skin is very useful. Not only can it be eaten to produce collagen, but it can also be used as a material to make items from the drawings obtained after the disaster. When Lin Sheng was thinking about breaking down the shark, a light suddenly lit up on the shark's body. Get lucky bag plus one. You are the first survivor to kill a shark and get the title of Ocean Killer. And the damage to sea creatures is plus 10%. World Announcement Congratulations to Survivor Lin Sheng, who is the first in the world to kill a shark after the disaster. The world celebrates together, and each person is given a piece of raw fish as a benefit. Times 3. Lin Sheng just smiled faintly. I don't want to be high profile. But the world announcement doesn't allow it. Immediately, Lin Sheng began to dissect the shark. Shark spin. This is a good thing. It was very expensive before the disaster. Normally, you can only afford it by eating at banquets. Shark belly. It tastes chewier than pork belly. And it's more nutritious. Pieces of fish meat were broken down by Lin Sheng and stored behind his back. As for the lucky bag, this is something that depends on luck. Can the food be fragrant? While Lin Sheng was busy harvesting, the world channel on the chat page became popular again. Damn it. Mr. Sheng is so powerful. I could only run away when I saw the shark. But Mr. Sheng directly killed the shark. Hey, do you want a little girl who can warm the bed when I give birth to my brother? I'm super warm. Oh, it's nothing special. It's just a last minute hit from the shark that I crippled. It's just that Lin Sheng will never see what these people say. After some busy work, Lin Sheng wiped his sweat. Fish plus 10,000. Each unit is one pound. Shark fin plus 20. Fish maw plus 50. Fish skin plus 1,000. Lin Sheng fished the water out of the sea and cleaned up the blood on the raft. Shark's fin is best cooked with millet. So Lin Sheng decisively kept the shark's fin first, waiting to collect the ingredients later. Then he looked at the fish that was already grilled on the oven. Oh, it's a pity that there is grilled fish but no beer. If we had beer with grilled fish at this time, it would taste the best. Lin Sheng said to himself. Suddenly I remembered something. By the way, my lucky bag has not been opened yet. Lin Sheng found the lucky bag in the backpack column and opened the lucky bag. La fight plus one in 1982. House making full set plus one. Leather armor suit making picture top plus pants. Hey! You're so lucky! Lin Sheng couldn't help but marveled. I had already opened a lucky bag in my previous life. But usually only one item would appear in the lucky bag. But this time a bottle of red wine and two sets of drawings appeared. But Lin Sheng soon felt relieved. This should be the privilege of the first survivor to open the lucky bag. On the second day of this life, he opened the blessing bag. I remember that in my last life, someone killed a shark or other sea creature. And that was only a week later. Because he was a reborn person and had access to the sign-in system. Which was like cheating. He was able to achieve such speed. A bottle of red wine was not enough. So Lin Sheng decisively used a hundredfold increase. La fight in 1982 by 100. This thing was sold at a sky-high price in peacetime. But now, during the disaster, I have so much red wine. Well, come back and take a Lafayette foot bath and enjoy something that many rich people cannot enjoy in peaceful times. Lin Sheng found the basic manufacturing item of wooden barrel from the manufacturing page and made a wooden barrel. I got some wooden boards and put up a table and a seat. With a few. Squat! Squat! Squat sounds! Lin Sheng poured ten bottles of red wine into the barrel. He sat comfortably on the wooden board and stretched his legs. TSK, don't tell me. Tens of thousands of dollars worth of wine is quite delicious for soaking your feet. Lin Shun looked at the food and red wine on the table and sent some to Shen Ling as usual. As soon as the things were sent, Lin Shun received a message from Shen Ling. Brother Xiao Sheng, why is your life so good? Lin Shun looked at the message and couldn't help but smile and said, That's necessary. If the conditions are not insufficient, I can go over and pick you up now, and then let you follow me to enjoy the hot food. But if I have some, I will definitely send them to you to taste together. Shen Ling. Uh-huh. Sister, I'll be waiting for you to pick me up. But don't be too anxious. At this moment, Lin Sheng suddenly saw a video function on the chat page. But the condition of use is actually one unit of meat per minute. Lin Sheng was stunned after looking at the conditions for use. He didn't have such conditions in his previous life. And he didn't have many private conversations afterwards. Let alone found out. 
Lin Sheng had an idea and multiplied the shark meat a hundred times. One million kilograms of meat. One million minutes. Before, I was worried about the expired meat and wasting space. But now, if there is a place for use, it will not be wasted. Lin Sheng immediately initiated a video request. The use of videos will only consume the initiator's meat. After Shen Ling picked up the video, she looked at Lin Sheng in surprise. Why is this function still available and I haven't discovered it yet? Shen Ling covered her mouth and said in surprise. Lin Sheng felt sour in his heart after looking at Shen Ling's beautiful face, which he had not seen for a long time. But soon Lin Sheng smiled and raised the bottle of red wine in his hand and said, Hey, sister, let's have a toast remotely. Although life is hard, we must have fun in time and not make ourselves miserable. Shen Ling looked again at the things on Lin Sheng's table and the food and wine he had just taken out of his backpack. I don't feel like it's very hard, but I feel more comfortable than when I was working before the disaster. You can look at grilled fish, fish soup, red wine, and enjoy the sea view. Lin Sheng thought silently in his heart, that's because you have a good brother like me. If you knew that other survivors were still working hard for the raft, you wouldn't think this way. Ha ha, that's right. The two of them were eating and chatting. Before I knew it, it was getting dark. Shen Ling on the other end of the video shuddered. Only then did Lin Sheng notice that although Shen Ling was still wearing clothes, they were already somewhat tattered. And the weather after the disaster is getting colder day by day. Chapter 7 Leather Armor Building a Log Cabin After Lin Sheng thought of this, he immediately said, Sister, I was negligent before. Please wait a moment. After Lin Sheng said this, he began to make the leather armor suit he had harvested before. Compared with the ordinary clothes and trousers I made before, the leather armor suit not only has increased defense, but also has a much greater effect in keeping out the cold. After all, they are clothes that are included in the equipment. Leather armor suit production. Leather 0 slash 20. Leather requires fish skin to make. Two units of fish skin can make one piece of leather. Lin Sheng decisively used 600 fish skins to make 300 pieces of leather. He also used a hundredfold increase. Increasing the amount of leather to 30,000 pieces in one go. With these 30,000 pieces of leather, Lin Sheng continuously manufactured 120 sets of leather armors, and at the same time upgraded the manufacturing level of leather armor to God level. God level leather jacket. Defense 100. God level leather pants. Defense 100. Lin Sheng sent one of the sets to Shen Ling, and he avoided the chat camera and put on the leather armor suit. The remaining 118 sets were all broken down into pieces of equipment by Lin Sheng. As for the issue of selling, Let's not consider it for now. It's not that Lin Sheng is unwilling to help others with these things that can improve the strength of survivors. That's because everyone has selfish motives. No one dares to confirm that what they sell will not become a means for others to threaten their own life and safety. At least until Lin Sheng himself becomes stronger. He will never sell it. As for Shen Ling, there is no need to be on guard against a woman who is willing to risk her own life to save her. Of course to better protect her. Lin Sheng wearing the leather armor suit that he had changed into. Couldn't help but click his tongue. Not to mention, this leather armor is really warm. Before, Lin Sheng could still feel the slightest chill from the sea breeze. But this time he no longer felt that way. And even felt a little warm on his body. After Lin Shen saw Shen Ling through the screen, his eyes immediately straightened. Shen Ling's perfect body was outlined extremely clearly by the leather armor. At this moment, Lin Sheng actually had an idea. That is, to rush to the other party's side immediately. Unfortunately, the distance of tens of thousands of kilometers made Lin Sheng prohibitive. Shen Ling also noticed Lin Sheng's fiery gaze. Her cheeks turned red, and she said with evasive eyes, Okay, thank you. Sir, I'm going to rest. After saying this, Shen Ling couldn't wait to hang up the video. Hey, don't. Lin Sheng wanted to watch for a while, but Shen Ling had hung up the call, so Lin Sheng could only give up the idea. In the past, Shen Ling always wore loose clothes and didn't feel like she does now. Lin Sheng sighed with emotion, let alone leather clothes and leather trousers. Let's get a small leather whip. His. Don't dare to think. Don't dare to think. After hanging up the video, Lin Sheng put his thoughts on the house manufacturing drawings he had just obtained. This is a complete set of drawings, including a combination of wooden walls, wooden doors, wooden windows, and wooden roofs. But after seeing the introduction on the drawing, Lin Sheng got a headache again. That is, the construction of a house requires a raft area of 8x8 eight eight to build a house on the raft. 
Now Lin Sheng's raft is only 4 by 10 in size. Which is not enough to build a wooden house. Expansion? Then expand. If you want to live a better life, you need continuous expansion and development. As for whether he would be targeted, with the artifact spear in hand, Lin Sheng could definitely say, kill whoever comes. After just weighing the pros and cons, Lin Sheng turned the small 4x10 raft into a large 20x20 20 20 raft, which is as big as a self-built house covering an area of 400 square meters. After expanding the raft, Lin Sheng decisively manufactured the parts of the wooden house, and then assembled them bit by bit. When he reached the last window, Lin Sheng realized that there was no glass in his hands. When making windows in a wooden house, you need to use glass. Lin Sheng lowered his gaze and noticed that there was one grilled fish left. And a thought came to his mind. See if any other survivors got any glass inside. Lin Sheng opened the chat page. And before sending a message, he noticed that the number of people on the world channel was much smaller. 5 billion slash 7 billion. Lin Sheng shook his head helplessly. In the early days of the disaster, people died the fastest. Even after the world was gamified, it was not easy for the whole people to survive with the help of this game system. According to the experience of the previous life, tomorrow, the third day, will be the last day when the number of people will be greatly reduced. People who have no ability will not survive three days. But those who can survive these three days will basically have the ability to protect themselves. As long as they are not attacked by creatures in the sea, they can generally survive to develop. Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the chat channel. Compatriots, have you noticed the demographics? There are 7 billion people in the world. This is only the second day. And 2 billion have already died. We can no longer survive alone at sea. We should unite and cooperate to have better self-protection capabilities. I, Chu Liuxiang, recruit all kinds of friends who are interested in cooperation. If you have any ideas, you can privately message me. I will send you the location and we can work together. Lin Sheng just smiled silently when he saw the news. This person named Chu Liuxiang said high-sounding words. But who knew what he was thinking in his heart? In his last life, Lin Sheng also thought about joining other people's teams and working together for warmth. However, I was too slow to take action and miss the opportunity to cooperate. Later, I heard that some people were trying to trick people into joining them by saying they wanted to stay together and then robbed all the supplies from other survivors who had been deceived. After Lin Sheng ignored these words, he sent a message to himself. A grilled fish is exchanged for a piece of glass. There is only one. So if you want to exchange it, hurry up. After finishing his speech, Lin Sheng decisively arranged for the supplies to be put on the shelves. After Lin Sheng spoke this time, the chat channel was eerily quiet. No message pops up again. Lin Sheng couldn't help but scratch his head. Could there be a bug in the game? Why haven't I seen any messages from anyone? But just as Lin Sheng thought this, a piece of glass appeared in his hand. Glass plus one. Then the chat channel exploded, with messages flooding the screen. Damn it! I looked through my backpack ten times, but there's no glass. Which big shot starts so quickly? I just salvaged a piece of glass, and the one I wanted to replace is gone. Grilled fish. Food I can't get. You still don't believe me when I say that Mr. Sheng changed the seasoning before to prepare grilled fish. Lin Sheng rubbed his head. Well, it turned out that everyone was busy looking for something to exchange. Chapter 8 Feed Soil Just when Lin Sheng was about to close the chat page, a message popped up. Hello! Sir! Do you still have grilled fish? I have some tomatoes that I want to trade with you. After Lin Sheng saw this message, he immediately stopped closing the chat page. After Lin Sheng saw the news, he quickly replied, Yes, but how much do you want? Two. One tomato for one. The other party replied. After Lin Sheng saw the news, he sneered. Do you really think he doesn't understand? How can I, a reborn person, fool you? A newcomer? Although tomatoes are both a fruit and a vegetable, they are very good and can also supplement some of the vitamins needed by the human body. But this thing doesn't care much. And if the tomato is bigger, can it be as big as grilled fish? For tomatoes for one fish. Nothing less. Lin Sheng decisively made his request. From the other party's point of view, he originally thought that Lin Sheng could exchange a fish for a piece of glass. But Lin Sheng would definitely be able to accept this exchange of a tomato for a fish. But after seeing Lin Sheng's reply, he was also extremely shocked. Good guy. Can't you replace any piece of useless glass? Now when it comes to food, 
The price has been increased. As for the glass, Lin Shang needed it. But he couldn't eat the grilled fish. Don't be mad. I don't have that many tomatoes. Just three tomatoes. Why don't you give them back to me? To be honest, for the other party, three tomatoes are really not enough for a grilled fish. So he begged. Three tomatoes. That's a lot. When the time comes, I can find soil and make a few flower pots for tomatoes to grow. Then I will have a steady stream of tomatoes. The freshest ones. Of course, you can also directly use the 100-fold increase in the number of tomatoes. But the disadvantage of the 100-fold increase is that the original item will be the same as the increase. It will not turn a piece of food that is about to go bad into a pile of good food. Lin Sheng replied, Okay, I reluctantly agree to it. But wait, I want to bake the remaining raw fish for you. After Lin Sheng said this, he immediately started making grilled fish. After the grilled fish was cooked, Lin Sheng immediately sent a transaction request. Tomato plus three. Before planting, you can change your taste. Today you eat fish. And tomorrow you eat whole tomato fish. You can also get some tomato sauce and eat it with bread. A hundredfold increase is activated. Glass plus 100. Tomato plus 300. After using the hundredfold increase, Lin Sheng began to make glass windows. After a while of making, Lin Sheng made glass windows one after another. Looking at the glass windows all over the floor, Lin Sheng hummed a tune and installed them one by one in the missing positions on the wall. After Lin Sheng's busy work, a small wooden house that was protected from wind and rain was safely built on the raft. Lin Sheng walked out of the raft leisurely and looked at the bright starry sky outside. The melancholy thoughts could not help but arise in my heart again. A night of silence. Day 3 of Cataclysm Gamification. When Lin Sheng woke up, the sign-in system's prop sounded. Whether to sign in. Sign in to get a pack of feed. Its function can be fed by the user to tame any creature into a pet. Lin Sheng immediately felt an extra pack of dog food in his backpack. Lin Sheng still liked the effect of this feed. The most indispensable thing on this sea is marine life. For example, the shark that attacked him before. Lin Sheng didn't think at all that there was only that one shark in the sea. When would a few more sharks come and offend him? If he dropped a bag of feed, the other survivors would look away. Shy sharks don't have to be their own pets. Lin Sheng looked at the 400 square meter raft in front of him. If he just relied on paddling, he really didn't know how long it would last. As for the power paddle, Lin Sheng really couldn't get this kind of thing so far. Alas, Lin Sheng sighed softly. At this moment, Lin Sheng noticed a wooden box floating on the sea. That's supplies. It has been two days. And this is the first time I have seen supplies. Various materials can be obtained from the supplies. Without saying a word, Lin Sheng immediately threw the hook beside him and hooked it towards the wooden box. The next moment, the wooden box was pulled back onto the raft by Lin Sheng's hook. Rubbing his hands together, Lin Sheng looked forward to what would come out of the wooden box. After opening the wooden box, soil plus one, potato plus one. After seeing these two things, Lin Sheng immediately became happy and really did whatever he wanted. The soil I needed really came. I was thinking about planting tomatoes last night. And now the soil for making planting pots is here. And also got potatoes. Compared with bread, potatoes are also a rare food. Not only is it high in starch, it's also very filling. By now, Lin Sheng's staple food no longer needs to be so monotonous. Use a hundredfold increase. Soil plus 100. Potato plus 100. It's just that when Lin Sheng Kai was about to make a planting pot, he remembered something. Things that should have been possible in the original world as long as there were wooden boards. Soil. And hands. In this gamified world, it became difficult to do without manufacturing blueprints. The all-purpose chat channel. I. Lin Sheng came again this time with different food to trade the drawings I need. Lin Sheng increased everything he had by okay, a hundred times. And then opened the chat page. Purchase planting pots to make maps. If you need food, you can chat privately. Lin Sheng only said this tentatively. According to Lin Sheng's understanding, it is not that there are no blueprints for planting pots, but that you need to reach the island to have a chance to obtain them. Now let alone whether they can reach the island. I am afraid that most people are not capable of making a raft, let alone looking for the small island in the sea like looking for a needle in a haystack. After waiting for a while, Lin Sheng didn't see anyone chatting with him privately, so he planned to give up. Unexpectedly, someone sent a message to chat with me privately at this time. Oh my god! My friend from the Far East! 
Are you really willing to exchange rare food for those useless planting pot drawings? Lin Shun was stunned after seeing the private chat message. This tone is so strange. After Lin Shun clicked on the other person's avatar, his name was Mike Jia. And the avatar was of a blonde man with blue eyes. Although the world channel chats with survivors from all over the world, most people use the language filter function to only view the language of a certain country. It's like people from the Dragon Kingdom can only read the language of the Dragon Kingdom. Due to its restrictions, only Dragon Kingdom people can use the functions of this language. Although there are many foreigners in modern society who can speak the Chinese language, they are only a minority. Lin Shum did not expect that a foreigner would come looking for him this time. Yes! However, Lin Shum would not refuse if someone sent him drawings. Chapter 9 Planting and Domesticating Piranhas Are you really kidding me? Can you give me a piece of bread? I'm really, really hungry. After Lin Shum saw the message sent by the other party, he already had a plan in mind. No matter who it was, he would still exchange it for what he needed at the minimum price. As long as you have the drawings I need, I will exchange them with you. Lin Shum's message was sent out, and the other party immediately sent a transaction request. I saw that the other party sent me the drawings of the planting pot, as well as ginger and garlic. Then the other party said, Can I exchange these things for three loaves? Lin Shun was extremely excited. There was no doubt that these things could only be obtained by going to the island. The other party must have already arrived on the island. Moreover, the food that Lin Shun wants to eat recently is sea fish. Without ginger and garlic, he has simply lost his soul. Lin Shun agreed to the other party's transaction conditions without hesitation. Three loaves were exchanged, and three innocuous loaves were exchanged for ginger and these things. Lin Shun obviously made a lot of money. Ginger should not be too good. This is not just a game. The temperature at sea is humid and cold. Ginger soup is the best food to dispel the cold. Garlic eaten raw can also improve human immunity. The effects of these two things are really great. Big. Ginger plus one. Garlic plus one. Planting pot manufacturing diagram plus one. Lin Shun decisively used the hundredfold amplification ability to amplify ginger and garlic a hundredfold. Then Lin Shun began to make planting pots. Planting pot manufacturing. Plank 25. Soil 3. Under Lin Shun's operation. One planting pot after another was made for Lin Shun. Lin Shun came to the door of the wooden house and placed the planting pots on both sides of the wooden house. Looking at the 20 planting pots on the left and right, Lin Shun took out some tomatoes, potatoes, ginger and garlic and planted them. Planting these things is to prevent problems before they happen. If the storage date of these things in the backpack column has passed and mildew occurs, no matter how much they are produced by using the 100-fold increase, they will be broken at the same time. After they are planted, it will be different. Because in the planting pots, these plants will grow back, which is different from stored products that have a shelf life. Lin Shun took out a few more bottles of mineral water, used a spear to lightly pinch the bottle caps, and poke some holes. Hold these mineral water bottles with holes in them, and squeeze them over the planting pots. The water in the bottle sprayed through the hole in the bottle cap, as if it was free of charge. If Lin Sheng's current scene was dumbfounded by other survivors, he would definitely be scolded for wasting resources. Even if a few people may have grown up through these two days, they have temporarily solved the water source problem. But they will not waste watering like Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng would only say, sorry, I had too much water. After doing this, Lin Sheng looked at the high sun, wiped his sweat, and started making his own lunch. Lin Sheng took out the fish he caught yesterday and sighed helplessly. Sure enough, the fish left over from yesterday is not fresh anymore. Lin Sheng casually threw the stale sea fish aside. With a twitch of his right hand, a fishing tackle appeared in Lin Sheng's hand. It's that artifact level fishing tackle again. Lin Sheng angrily swung the fishing hook and threw it several meters away. The hook submerged into the seawater and waited for the fish to take the bait. However, Lin Sheng was really surprised today. He caught a sea bass in just a few breaths yesterday. But today, I waited for several minutes. But no fish took the bait. Lin Sheng couldn't help but become suspicious. Could this magical fishing tackle malfunction after one use? Isn't that enough? Did you spend so much money to upgrade the fishing hook to the artifact level? Lin Sheng felt like he wanted to cry without tears. Suddenly, the seawater bubbled crazily, and the float on the fishing line sank and sank. Here we go! Today's fresh seafood is about to be hooked! Lin Sheng said excitedly. The next moment, he suddenly lifted the pole. Lin Sheng's smile suddenly froze on his face. Where are the sea fish on the fishing hook? 
Then, there was only a fish skeleton left that had been chewed up and hung on the fishing hook. Lin Sheng pulled up the fish hook and observed carefully. His eyes suddenly narrowed. The fish skeleton still had incomplete fish meat hanging on the fish bones. And there was also fish blood that had just been diluted. It can be seen that it has been intercepted. Lin Sheng cursed secretly in his heart. Where did the guy who killed a thousand cuts actually cut off Grandpa whose rations halfway? Lin Sheng also noticed that there were still bubbles in the sea water. And then fish skeletons emerged from the sea. Lin Sheng couldn't help but squint his eyes and get closer to the water, trying to see clearly what was happening under the sea. Suddenly a strange fish with a mouth full of sharp teeth jumped up. Lin Sheng was frightened and quickly took two steps back, narrowly avoiding the attack of the strange fish. Lin Sheng took a closer look and saw clearly what the strange fish looked like. My heart suddenly sank. Piranha. One of the most terrifying creatures in the ocean. This piranha is no match for sharks. Sharks are scary because of their size and strong individual combat capabilities. The scariest thing about piranhas is that they are creatures that act in groups. Moreover, in the gamified world, even if these piranhas encounter a group of sharks, those sharks will have to take a detour for the piranhas. The bike force of piranhas is amazing. Under a collective attack, an adult shark will not survive for more than a minute before sinking into the sea with only a skeleton left. After thinking of this, Lin Sheng couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart. This is a big deal for me. I actually encountered a piranha that was feeding. Lin Sheng swallowed his saliva and looked at the raft at his feet. Even a ship made of steel plates may not be able to escape a swarm of piranhas. This is still a raft. Lin Sheng swallowed his saliva. And then, he saw piranha heads emerging from the sea one after another. Their mouths opening and closing. This scene made Lin Sheng feel that they were devils from H. L. Devils that could devour everything. Lin Sheng's forehead was covered in cold sweat. Pitfalls. Really pitiful. This rebirth was actually a H. L level of difficulty. You must know that in the previous life, Piranhas did not appear so early. Suddenly Lin Sheng remembered that he had signed in for a pack of feed in the morning. Didn't he? And he also thought about using it to tame sharks as a tool for pulling rafts. Now that the sharks aren't here, the piranhas are. Which is also a good choice. Compared with sharks, this piranha is more suitable to be the escort bodyguard of his own raft. Lin Sheng's pale face suddenly turned rosy. This is a great thing. Lin Sheng took out all the feed from the backpack. Hesitated for a moment and put the 10 bags of feed back into the backpack space. Chapter 10 Meeting a Survivor for the First Time Lin Sheng poured the remaining 90 bags of feed into the seawater. When the piranhas smelled the feed, they scrambled for it like they were possessed. You tamed a piranha. You tamed a piranha. The reminder to tame the piranha kept ringing in Lin Sheng's mind. Lin Sheng was ecstatic. I feel very excited in my heart. Although these piranhas cannot take themselves on long voyages, they are fearless of most marine life. When the beep ended, Lin Sheng noticed that he had tamed 77 piranhas in total. And those piranhas no longer looked at Lin Sheng eagerly and wanted to bite the raft into pieces. Instead, fish heads emerged from the sea one by one and looked at Lin Sheng, waiting for Lin Sheng with a well-behaved look. Go! Go! Leave me alone! Don't grab the food! Lin Sheng waved his hands in disgust. Although they were his pets, these troublesome guys caused his lunch to be delayed. After hearing Lin Sheng's order, these piranhas sank to the bottom of the sea one after another and hid under Lin Sheng's raft. When Lin Sheng saw this, he threw the fish hook with confidence. Now that there are no more piranhas to grab food, fishing is going much smoother. With the god level fishing gear's wisher hooking effect, sea fish seemed to be attracted by the fishing hook and swam over one after another. After a while, Lin Sheng's fishing hook was bitten. Huh? I'm full of energy! Lin Sheng felt the huge pulling force on the fishing rod and sighed in his heart. After walking around a large circle of fish, Lin Sheng finally caught this fish. This is a sea cushion carp. It is most delicious when boiled in soup. But because there are many fish bones, it is not so suitable for grilling fish. But it was exactly what Lin Sheng wanted. Lin Sheng, who had just obtained ginger, also wanted to make a bowl of delicious fish soup to drink. Based on his experience last time, Lin Sheng deliberately came to the center of the raft and vibrated the sea cushion carp a hundred times. You get sea cushion carp plus one hundred. Bang bang bang. The next moment, hundreds of sea cushion carp were jumping alive on the raft. But this time it was in the center of the raft. Too far away from the sea water. And these fish had no chance to escape. Lin Sheng started slaughtering it directly. And after a while, Lin Sheng put the sea cushion carp into his backpack. 
When I came to the stove I made earlier, I flattened the ginger and garlic, then put it in the pot and sautéed until fragrant. I put the sea cushion carp in the pot and fried it for a while, so that the fish soup would be creamier. White. After the cushion carp was fried, Lin Sheng opened two bottles of water and poured them into the pot. In an instant, white smoke came out of the pot in front of Lin Sheng, and the delicious smell of fish in the pot hit his face. Lin Sheng waited until the fire boiled before adding the seasoning. Then close the lid and wait for a while to make the flavor of the fish soup more intense. Furthermore, during the waiting time, Lin Sheng frowned slightly as he looked at the sea base that he had left aside and hoped to be stale. Too much of these things is not a good thing. By the way, those piranhas were hunting for food just now and were subdued by me. Then wouldn't they be the ones who need to be fed in the future? If you don't feed it, you'll starve to death. And won't your own feed be wasted? Lin Sheng called these piranhas in front of him with a wave of his hand. With the appearance of piranhas, Lin Sheng actually saw health bars and hunger levels on these piranhas. This was just as he thought. And immediately Lin Sheng pushed all the stale fish meat into the sea to feed the piranhas. After finishing all this work, Lin Sheng smelled something on the tip of his nose. The fish soup is ready. Lin Sheng stood up and walked towards the stove and approached the cooking pot. Whisk up a spoonful of fish soup. It's delicious and fragrant. TSK. TSK. I haven't tasted such a delicious fish soup for a long time. Lin Sheng thought while tasting it. Yesterday's fish soup without ginger was indeed a soulless fish soup. Lin Sheng tasted the fish soup and thought of Shen Ling in his mind. Don't know what she is doing? Lin Sheng decisively initiated a video chat with Shen Ling. The video was quickly connected. Lin Sheng saw that Shen Ling was munching on bread with scattered pieces of fabric beside him. And he knew at a glance that Shen Ling was making a tent. Lin Sheng had also considered getting a tent for Shen Ling before. But it didn't seem necessary now. Sister, don't eat the bread yet. That's because dry food doesn't taste good. I have fish soup here. Drink some to warm yourself up. While Lin Sheng was talking, he packed the fish soup in a container and sent it to Shen Ling. At this moment, Shen Ling widened his eyes and said, Xiao Sheng, it seems that I will just stay on the raft from now on. Just make a living and that's it. Of course. Shen Ling was just saying that Lin Sheng would not think that Shen Ling was a self-improving person. Ha uh ha. -huh. As long as you are willing. Of course, there is no problem. The two chatted. And after lunch, Lin Sheng quietly took out a tomato and said, Let's have some after dinner fruit. Until she got the tomatoes. Shen Ling felt unrealistic. Is this still a life of survival after a disaster? There was bread and water at the beginning. Then grilled fish and wine. And today there was delicious fish soup at noon. And even after dinner fruit was served. I'm afraid the days before the disaster were just like this. Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng's smiling expression and ate the tomatoes silently. Finally, she bid farewell to Lin Sheng and went to build her own tent after she received some urgently needed supplies from Lin Sheng. After confirming that Shen Ling was fine today, Lin Sheng came to the raft and looked at the hunger gauges on the heads of the piranhas. I cursed the foodie in my mind. Giving those more than a dozen sea base actually only increased the hunger level by a small amount. Lin Sheng Song left 2,000 loaves of bread and 10,000 pieces of fish in his backpack and took out the excess bread and fish. Suddenly, there were mountains of food on the raft. In fact, Lin Sheng also wanted to keep more. But the shelf life of these things is limited. For example, shark meat has a week. And currently there are five days left, which can be used for video chatting. The bread has 27 days left. So keep a certain amount and feed the piranhas another day in case of emergency. Lin Sheng threw the food into the piranhas bit by bit. He couldn't help but gasp when he saw that the food was swallowed up by the piranhas just as it submerged into the piranhas. Although I had already made predictions in my mind, I still felt a lot when I saw it with my own eyes. At the same time, I am glad that I signed in for the feed today and tamed these 77 piranhas. Otherwise, not only would I have no food rations today, but I would also be buried in the bellies of these piranhas. Not far from Lin Sheng's raft. A thin raft approached quietly. Did you see that? Is the person on that huge raft Mr. Sheng? I'm sure. It's indeed Mr. Sheng. Ha ha. I didn't expect that we would find Mr. Sheng first. When the time comes, we will eat enough and then go back with Mr. Sheng's supplies. Eh? Hey. Lao Hu. Are you talking? Why are you so stunned? Jio. Master Jio. Do you know what I saw? Chapter 11. Failed to rob, but was robbed instead. What do you see? 
Isn't that the amount of materials on the raft that the old man has is scary? Ha ha. Let me tell you. That man dared to exchange so many supplies for drawings and materials. He is definitely a big landowner. Since his biological father is not willing to help those of us who are in trouble, then don't blame us for joining forces to kill him. Jiu Yi said coldly. No. No. He is simply wasting everything. There are mountains of bread and fish on his raft. And he actually throws them into the sea and feeds them to the fish. Lao Hu said, wishing that his eyes would explode with the telescope in his hand. What? It's too much. Lao Hu, hurry up and row over. Master Jiu said. Then the two began to cooperate with each other. Just when their small raft arrived next to Lin Sheng's raft, Lin Sheng looked up and saw two angry eyes staring at him. Hmm? What do you want? Although Lin Sheng was asking, he already understood in his heart that if he met survivors at this time, they would definitely be those who wanted to plunder other people's supplies. You can tell just by looking at the other person's scarlet eyes. Ha ha. Sir. Right. If you hand over the supplies in your hand, our two brothers will consider letting you live. You have so much food to feed the fish. Why don't you want to support us? Master Joe's words not only contain threats, but also some blame. Supporting you? If you need it, you can exchange the drawings with me. I have already sent them in the chat channel. But no one has come to exchange with me. Besides, why should I support you for no reason? Is there any problem with feeding my pet? Lao Hu took out a high-level spear from his backpack and said to Master Jio next to him. Needless to say, we will just grab him and that's it. Why are there two of us? And why are we afraid that he won't be able to do it alone? After Lao Hu said this, she who took the lead in getting on Lin Sheng's raft. Ha uh ha. -huh. Sir, your little life is really good. We were still living a life of hunger and cold like beggars at sea. But you have lived such a leisurely life. Not to mention that the raft is big and a shelter. A weatherproof wooden house. Otherwise, you should die honestly. Don't worry. We will inherit your materials and live well on your behalf. Old who said with a ferocious smile, This is truly envy and hatred. In fact, when the two of them first came here to find Lin Sheng, they thought they would just steal supplies from Lin Sheng and not kill him. But when they saw Lin Sheng's raft and the food on the ground for the fish, both of them became uneasy. Lin Sheng looked at Lao Hu and Jiu Yi after they boarded their own rafts. He pointed at their small rafts and said, Are you so confident? Be careful. There will be no chance of going back next time. After hearing what Lin Sheng said, both of them hurriedly turned back to look at their rafts. But at this moment, the small raft in front of them was bitten by several piranhas and made a loud noise. Shut up! Master Jiu and Lao who shouted in unison. But the piranha would not listen to what the two of them said and continued to chew on the raft. After a while, the two by four raft suddenly turned into a pile of broken boards floating on the sea. At the same time, the piranha also cast a contemptuous look at Jui and Lao Hu. Just like the expression era usually looks at people. Master Jiu, our raft is gone. Why don't we kill these fish? Lao Hu said. Master Jiu said angrily. Why kill? Do you think your bones are as hard as a raft? These piranhas live in the forest. Since they damaged our raft, don't blame us for taking his raft. After Master Jiu finished speaking, he also took out the high-level spear from his backpack. He turned around and looked at Lin Sheng. The two were just about to attack Lin Sheng when they heard Lin Sheng sneer. You bought my weapons to attack me. Are you too confident or something? As he finished speaking, a spear glowing with white and red light appeared in Lin Sheng's hand. The two were suddenly shocked. The spear in Lin Sheng's hand was obviously better than theirs. Master Jiu, why do I feel like we are no match? Do you want to continue? Why don't you dive and leave? As soon as Lin Sheng's artifact spear was released, Lao Hu retreated. Before the catastrophe, Lao Hu was also a senior game fan. He still had a basic judgment on the quality of weapons and equipment. That is, good equipment always has strange characteristics. But Master Jiu was different. His eyes were shining with greed. Why leave? This is not a game. As long as we are careful not to be knocked down. And we kill him. Isn't that powerful weapon ours? And since he has such good things, other supplies must be no less. What's more? Did we run away? Lao Hu felt that Jiu Ye's words made sense. So he stood side by side with Jiu Yi. Superior! Master Jiu gave the order. And the two of them headed towards Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng swung the artifact spear in his hand. And the spears in both men's hands were broken into two pieces. The two looked at each other and couldn't help but swallowed. 
In the past, he was confident because he had weapons in his hands. But now, the weapons have been smashed to pieces. Both of them had become powerless. And how could they still have the confidence to face Lin Sheng who was holding a weapon? Sheng! Sir! Would you believe me if I said we were just passing by? Master Jiu didn't know how to speak. But Lao Hu looked at Lin Sheng eagerly and said. Lin Sheng grinned, showing his white teeth and said. I believe it. Lao Hu suddenly felt happy. He felt that his life had been saved. Even Master Jiu was stunned. He never thought that Lin Sheng would believe Lao Hu's words. Then let's leave first. Lao Hu said. Etc. Just when the two were about to leave, Lin Sheng blocked them. Sheng! Sir! What are your orders? Lao Hu's hands and feet were already shaking. For fear that Lin Sheng would change his mind. You have to pay tolls when you pass by. Right. As soon as Lin Sheng finished speaking, Master Jiu couldn't help but said. Lin Sheng! Don't go too far. Ever since he... Master Jiu got together with these like-minded survivors. He had never been wrong like this. It was all because they robbed others. And there was no such thing as being robbed by others. Oh, if that's the case, then don't leave. Lin Sheng raised the spear in his hand and said, No, 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 sir, we will give it. As he spoke, Lao Hu winked at Master Jiu. What are you doing? It's important to stay alive first. Then bring people to kill later. Can't the things be returned? After winking, Lao Hu took the lead in taking out a few items from his backpack and placed them on the raft. He said with a smile, Is it okay now? Then Master Jiu imitated Lao Hu and took out some items. Chapter 12 Making Furniture So your lives are only worth this little material? Then I think it's better to keep your lives. As Lin Sheng finished speaking, Both Lao Hu and Jiu, he looked extremely ugly. What else can be said? It is obvious that the other party wants to provide all the supplies themselves. But now that their lives are in Lin Sheng's hands, what can Lao Hu and Jiu Yi do to resist? I could only grip my teeth and take out all the props in my backpack and put them on the raft. Then the two of them turned around and jumped into the sea without waiting for Lin Sheng to say anything. The raft is gone, but their people are not too far away from them. When the time comes, they can ask for help from others and wait for others to join Qi Lin and then fight back together. Well, let me just say, it would be great to keep these things. At least they can be of some use to living people. Lin Sheng said to himself, At this moment, Master Jiu and Lao who in the sea hurriedly called for help. Master Sheng, your pet, ah, uh, help. Lin Sheng looked at the blood-stained sea surface without any waves in his heart. Lin Sheng had seen many such things in his previous life. As for letting them leave? That is impossible. Although Lin Sheng didn't know if the other party had any other accomplices. Judging from the fact that the other party used the weapons purchased from him to rob him. Lin Sheng will never let these people go. Just in case, Lin Sheng directed the piranhas to push his huge raft away from the place. Although the speed is very slow, it is not suitable to stay here for a long time. It will be bad if there are other people on the other side. Just as Lin Sheng thought. In the opposite direction from where Lin Sheng left, there were several rafts floating together. There are ten people in total on these rafts. Where are Lao Hu and Jiu Yi? Haven't they come back? I don't know. I haven't seen them send any messages back. I'll ask them. Don't these two guys really meet that old man? They are so obsessed with the supplies that they want to leave us. Right. No. Master Jiu and Lao whose profile pictures have been blackened. Suddenly one exclaimed. Suddenly the ten people looked at each other. When the avatar is blackened. There is only one possibility in this world and that is death. Let's go and look in the direction where Lao Hu and Jiu Yi went before. Ten people and seven or eight rafts headed towards the location of Lin Sheng's previous raft. Lao Hu and Jiu Yi failed to send out the news about Lin Sheng until their death. This was all because they were too arrogant. They wanted to seize Lin Sheng's supplies first and then contact other people to share the leftovers. But they didn't expect that not only would they not get any benefits, but they would also lose their lives directly. At this moment, Lin Sheng was looking at the props put down by Master Jiu and Lao Hu on the raft. Lin Sheng stepped forward and picked them up one by one. Get apple plus one. Get carrot plus one. Get bed manufacturing drawings. Get table manufacturing diagram. Get chair manufacturing diagram. Get drunk mineral water plus one. Get eaten bread plus one. Get worn stockings plus one. The stuff in the front is pretty good. But Lin Sheng couldn't help but complain about the following things. Damn it! These two shameless LSPs have eaten bread and water and I. Lin Sheng. 
Can't bear it. The key is that your two grown men actually have the idiosyncrasy of collecting stockings. Lin Shen looked at the sticky white mess on his stockings and kicked it into the sea. At the same time, Lin Shen also confirmed that he did not kill the wrong person. Looking at the production drawings of wooden tables, chairs and beds, Lin Shen walked back to the wooden house. Looking at the empty wooden house, he also had to add some furniture for himself. Table manufacturing. Plank 10. Iron nail 8. Bed manufacturing. Plank 20. Iron nail 15. Chair manufacturing. Plank 8. Iron nail 6. However, after Lin Shun looked at the materials required for manufacturing, he discovered that the materials used in these furniture included more iron nails than the items previously manufactured. But Lin Shun didn't have iron nails. There are not even blueprints for making iron nails. Lin Sheng immediately went to the chat channel and posted the news that he needed nails. Trading iron nails or iron nail blueprints. If you need food and water, you can come to me. As soon as the news was sent out, Shen Ling sent a message to Lin Sheng. Brother Xiao Sheng, didn't I tell you that you can go to your sister when you need something? Could it be that you have forgotten your sister? Seeing Shen Ling's slightly reproachful tone, Lin Sheng clicked on the video chat. Now he could clearly see the tent that the other party had set up. Maybe the tin room will be more professional. Sister, there are more than ten iron nails here. What do you want the nails for? Young man? Shen Ling couldn't help but asked curiously. There are chairs, tables, and beds. I'll give you a set when I finish them later. Sister, the tin house behind you is pretty good. Right. Lin Shen looked up and down the tin house. Although it was not comparable to his own wooden house. It was still a place that could shelter from the wind and rain and the space inside was quite large. Enough for a set of furniture. That's why Lin Sheng thought of sending furniture. How do I find that you seem to be getting supplies and drawings all the time? Shen Ling asked curiously while giving the iron nail to Lin Sheng. Oh, actually the thing is like this. Lin Sheng told Shen Ling about meeting the survivors. At the same time, it also raises Shen Ling's vigilance to prevent her from being plotted by survivors with evil intentions. After listening to Lin Sheng's explanation, Shen Ling frowned and said, Xiao Sheng, are you not injured? Ha ha, that's not true. But don't forget, the best weapon so far is the spear in the hands of you and me. After chatting for a while, Lin Sheng said about making furniture. Iron nail plus five. Iron nails plus five hundred. Wooden table plus two. Wooden chair plus two. Bed plus two. Lin Sheng presented a set of the three latest items to Shen Ling. Then Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the fruits and vegetables. Lin Sheng had apples, carrots, and tomatoes in his hands. Lin Sheng looked at these fruits and sighed in his heart. Oh, it would be great if there was a juicer. Then I could make my own juice. It happened that Lin Sheng's words to himself were overheard by Shen Ling. Shen Ling covered her mouth and chuckled. Chao Sheng, you think your wife is wonderful. Right. It would be nice to have fruit. You still want to drink juice. But I'm afraid you can't do it now. I know how many people are going to starve to death. Hey. Don't tell me. I really have what I want. Lin Sheng's eyes suddenly lit up, and he said that just now, he saw on the World Channel that someone actually wanted to use a juicer in exchange for food. Chapter 13 Freshly Squeezed Juice Open the treasure box. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Shen Ling looked in disbelief. She never expected that Lin Sheng was so lucky. She then saw Lin Sheng busy, probably chatting with someone. Shen Ling stopped talking for the time being and waited for Lin Sheng. On World Channel. Li Tao. Am I lucky or unlucky? I just encountered a treasure chest. I thought it could bring out food. I didn't expect that in the end. A juicer was given to me. It's also solar powered. Yes. But I'm almost starving. Where can I get fruit juice? If anyone has some food for me. I'd be willing to trade it for this juicer. Passerby A. No. No. Brother. I don't have food myself. So you don't have to worry about it. Unless Mr. Shum wants to buy it. You have no chance at all with other people. Passerby B. But Mr. Shum wouldn't want this. Right? Could it be that he can still get a lot of fruit and want to drink juice luxuriously? Not to mention. What this passerby B guessed is still true. Lin Shum did get the fruit. Lin Shum immediately contacted Li Tao. I want the juicer in your hand. Please give me a price. Lin Shum's message was full of arrogance without any cover up. It really doesn't matter. Now! There are so many things like bread, water, meat, and basic food that you don't need. What's wrong with being a little prodigal? 
That's all to make life more enjoyable. Isn't it? On a small raft floating far away on the sea. This raft is in danger of being sunk by the rough seawater at any time. A figure on the raft lay crisply on the raft. His head leaning on the seawater. Alas. A deep sigh of helplessness came from his mouth. He was Li Tao. In these three days, he tried everything possible to finally build a raft. But he ran out of food and water. I was originally excited when I saw the treasure chest today. But the result was so heartbreaking. When I opened the treasure chest, there was only a juicer. Li Tao looked at the seawater and said sadly, The most painful thing in life is that the whole world is full of water. But you can't drink it. Li Tao's eyes were dazed. But he couldn't help but stick out his tongue and take a sip in the seawater. Li Tao's face suddenly wrinkled up. It's so salty. God, who can save me? I'm only 24 years old and still a baby. I don't want to die yet. At this moment, his private chat interface lit up. And what popped up was the message Lin Sheng sent him. Li Tao opened his eyes in a daze. And the next moment, he saw Lin Sheng's news. He shed tears of emotion. Master, it's really you. Can you exchange a bottle of water and a piece of bread? After Li Tao sent the message, before Lin Sheng could reply, he felt anxious. Even though the message had just been sent, he also felt that seconds seemed like years. So he couldn't wait to send another message. How about a bottle of water? Sir, I really only have this juicer in my hand that I can trade. Why don't you give me some water and food first? And give you the juicer. And then I'll find you and work for you as your subordinate. Li Tao was really about to starve to death and die of thirst. He ran out of food and water the next day, which lasted for a whole day. Facing Lin Sheng, he only hoped that Lin Sheng could help him, even if he was willing to act like a cow or a horse by then. On the other hand, Lin Sheng originally wanted to send a reply to the other party, but he did not expect that the other party actually sent him messages one after another. Lin Sheng was dumbfounded. But that's fine too. Lin Sheng, that's not necessary. I'll give you two bottles of water and two pieces of bread. As for you being my subordinate, we'll wait until we have the chance. Just trade your juicer to me. After saying this, the transaction was initiated. As for Li Tao, Lin Sheng would not give his position to others casually. Who knows whether this person is real or fake? Maybe he is just a forced choice in the face of death. Get juicer plus one. Lin Sheng stopped chatting with the other party and looked at the juicer he had just received. Lin Sheng put the apples, tomatoes and carrots into the juicer and poured in a small amount of mineral water. As the juicer made a buzzing sound, a cup of juice was squeezed out. Lin Sheng moved a chair and placed it outside the wooden house. He lay comfortably on the wooden chair while drinking juice and enjoying the sea breeze. The busyness of the previous two days seemed to have vanished into nothingness at this time. And before he knew it, Lin Sheng fell asleep leaning on the wooden chair. I don't know how much time passed, but the piranhas in the sea suddenly jumped up, causing splashes of water around the raft. Lin Sheng was also awakened by the noisy sound. Huh? What happened? Lin Sheng rubbed his eyes, took a sip of juice and looked towards the sea. The next huge treasure box came into Lin Sheng's eyes. This should have been a treasure chest that had just been pushed back by the sea to the side of his raft. But since he saw it, it belongs to him. Lin Sheng put down the juice and walked towards the treasure chest. Get a quaint wooden treasure chest plus one. I don't know what's in this treasure chest. Lin Sheng shouted to himself. Treasure boxes are different from supply boxes. You will not get supplies from them. But you will get special props. Drawings and maps. The world after the cataclysm is gamified. Because the world has been changed. It is impossible to view it on the same map. Of course. If you want to view the previous map. There is no way. The electronic equipment is now broken and lost. Even if you still have it. Out of service. And if a map is found in the treasure box. It will also be an opportunity for the survivors. Get gold coins plus one. Get the navigation map of island number five plus one. Lin Sheng's eyes suddenly lit up when he saw what he had obtained. The role of gold coins is that in this gamified world, if you are lucky enough to survive, you will encounter a mysterious merchant. In the hands of the merchant, you can use gold coins to make purchases. As for what you can buy, it all depends on luck. This gold coin is also different from the gold coins made by humans before the disaster. The pattern on it is a blue star pattern. But this gold coin is indestructible. However, just when Lin Sheng was about to use a hundredfold increase on it, the improvement popped up. Special props cannot be multiplied by 100 times. Lin Sheng could only give up this idea. 
My eyes fell on the navigation map again. Island number 5. Maybe I could get more supplies there. And even get a way to upgrade my own raft. No matter how good or big the raft is. It is just a raft and cannot withstand too much damage from the ocean. Lin Shun opened the map. And a pattern of an island appeared on the map. While the raft he was on turned into a blue key number. The key number was located at the rear right of the island. Just when Lin Shun was about to direct the piranhas to adjust their course. The raft began to shake violently. What the H L happened? Lin Sheng staggered and fell to the ground. Quickly put away the drawings in his hands and looked towards the sea. A huge red sphere emerged above the sea. Chapter 14 Octopus Monster Island As the sphere appeared, eight tentacles with countless suckers appeared. The huge sphere slowly turned around. And a pair of huge eyes looked at Lin Sheng. Kudong. Lin Sheng's throat swallowed a large mouthful of saliva. In fact, the big neat ball opposite was so huge that I was not as big as one of its eyes. Shouldn't this damn octopus be under the sea? It's actually emerging from the sea in broad daylight. Lin Sheng continued to curse in his heart. In his last life, he also encountered the octopus when he accidentally entered a special place in the deep sea while escaping. And now, on the way to development, we have encountered octopus even if we haven't traveled very far. Compared with the sharks that attacked before, this octopus is not a creature of the same magnitude. Just when the octopus saw Lin Sheng, all eight tentacles stretched out to strangle Lin Sheng. Not good! Lin Sheng exclaimed, and the artifact spear in his backpack suddenly appeared in his hand. The spear was thrown out with force, cutting off a small section of one tentacle, and the octopus immediately withdrew the injured tentacle in pain. But this is not the time to celebrate, because taking the other seven tentacles in front of him as an example, if Lin Sheng is caught by them, he will inevitably be dragged into the sea. Lin Sheng stepped back quickly, dodging a lashing tentacle, and then raised another spear, interrupting the tentacle on the spot. And every time Lin Sheng chopped off a section of the octopus's tentacles, a string of numbers would float above the octopus head. 278. Lin Sheng just shuttled between the tentacles of the octopus. He was relieved when all the tentacles were cut off by Lin Sheng one by one. But after Lin Sheng saw the look in octopus's eyes, he realized that something was wrong. I saw that the octopus now actually showed a look that wanted to eat people. Lin Sheng looked at the blood strip on the octopus head again, and his heart suddenly sank to the bottom of the valley. 7772 slash 10,000. This octopus actually has a full 10,000 health bars. After cutting off eight of the opponent's arms, he only lost a little more than 2,000 health bars. In this way, he would have to kill the opponent a full five times. An even more tragic thing happened immediately. That is, the eight tentacles that had been cut off by Lin Sheng miraculously grew back again. The blood bar on the octopus head is also slowly recovering. The octopus had no intention of retreating. Instead, it became more and more excited because of Lin Sheng's attack. Eight tentacles that regrew and attacked Lin Sheng again. You octopus don't have martial ethics. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he flashed his body and cut off a tentacle again. Then I'll try grilled octopus today. Every time he said a word, Lin Sheng had to avoid an attack and launch a counterattack. After two rounds of attacks, Octopus's health bar only had 3,616 points of blood left. Octopus actually fell into a rage at this time. The eight tentacles of the octopus were seen grabbing every part of the raft. Its whole body climbed onto the raft. And it attacked Lin Sheng crazily. Crisis! Big crisis! Lin Sheng ran a few steps, intending to attack the octopus's head. However, the long hair poked out, and the long hair only slightly sank into the octopus's head before being bounced out. Fortunately, this blow still caused a lot of damage to the octopus monster. Seeing the octopus getting closer and closer to him, Lin Sheng had no choice but to jump into the sea. When the octopus saw Lin Sheng jumping into the sea, wasn't he throwing himself into a trap? On the raft, although it was not short of fighting power, it still did not have the pleasure of fighting in the sea. In the eyes of the octopus monster, the ocean is its home field. Lin Sheng's jump into the sea will undoubtedly lead to death. The octopus monster jumped into the sea excitedly. But Lin Sheng hurriedly returned to the raft from under the raft at this time. Just when he was in the sea, Lin Sheng also saw his piranha pets. They were huddled together under the raft and shivering. It can be seen that this octopus is much more powerful than the shark. After the octopus entered the sea, Lin Sheng was not found. And he immediately realized that he had been deceived by Lin Sheng. The octopus suddenly fell into a state of rage. But this time Lin Sheng was prepared. When the octopus was about to board the raft, 
He threw the spear in his hand hard and pierced the opponent's head directly. The huge rebound force caused the spear to bounce back. Lin Sheng quickly ran up and caught the rebounded spear. The spear waved in his hand, cutting off the opponent's tentacles, and then quickly stabbed the octopus on the head ten times in a row. At this time, the blood bar on the head of the octopus was finally cleared. Zero slash ten thousand. The next moment, a special crystal fell on the raft, and the octopus' body quickly shrank, becoming only the size of an arm. The octopus's eyes were full of panic, and it slipped away into the sea. Don't let it get away! Lin Sheng shouted to the piranha under the raft. The piranhas immediately swarmed up when they saw the octopus becoming smaller. There is still the trembling appearance of being frightened before. As for the fate of the octopus, Lin Sheng knew without thinking that it must have been cut into pieces by those piranhas. See, little brother, don't run away. Aren't you very awesome? A school of piranhas surrounded the octopus. The picture is too bloody and violent. On the raft, Lin Sheng looked at the octopus tentacles and crystals scattered on the raft and put them away. Octopus tentacles plus 20. Physical strength crystal. Material for refining physical strength potions. Lin Sheng knew what it was. At this time, his own attribute panel also appeared. Survivor, Lin Sheng. Strength, 5. Intelligence, 5. Stamina, 5. Speed, 5. This is the basic attribute of everyone. After Lin Sheng fought with Octopus, he was already tired and out of breath. As for making stamina potions, he doesn't have this method. As for searching for it on the World Channel, Lin Sheng didn't think such a thing would be available at this stage. Lin Sheng looked at the area on the raft that was damaged due to the battle with the octopus and had no choice but to silently start repairing it. After spending a lot of effort, Lin Sheng finally repaired the raft. When he raised his head again, he saw a small island on the sea. Lin Sheng hurriedly took out the navigation map from his backpack. The island marked on the map was right in front of him. Thinking of this, Lin Sheng's heart surged. There must be coconuts on the island. After he goes to the island, he can collect some coconuts and bring them back to add a touch of flavor to his life. Of course, there must be dangers on the island. Lin Sheng began to prepare for going to the island. Chapter 15 Kill the Snake and Prepare to Raise Chickens The raft slowly docked on the beach of the island. And Lin Sheng jumped off the raft. My feet stepped on the soft and warm sand. And I finally felt the long lost land again. Lin Sheng told the piranha. You keep an eye on my raft. If you don't, I'll have grilled fish as an extra meal in the evening. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, the group of piranhas felt that their master had brought them deep malice. Then the raft was surrounded. Lin Sheng nodded with satisfaction and then walked towards the island. It's afternoon time now. The hot sun shines on this island, making the sand extremely hot. Lin Sheng walked on the island, raised his head, and wiped the sweat from his face. I didn't expect that the temperature difference between the island and the sea is really big. It took me a while to get used to it. Lin Sheng sighed to himself. After a while, several coconut trees appeared in front of Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng looked up and saw a green head-sized coconut hanging on the coconut tree. Lin Sheng ran towards the coconut tree. Hiss. Suddenly, the sound of a snake spitting messages came from Lin Sheng's ears. There's a snake! This was Lin Sheng's first reaction after hearing the sound. Lin Sheng immediately stopped and looked around cautiously. The island is rich in resources, but also accompanied by numerous crises. Lin Sheng must also remain vigilant at all times. Lin Sheng took out the artifact spear in his backpack. But after searching for a long time, he found no basilisk attacking him. But the snake's voice never stopped at all. Lin Sheng didn't dare to go pick coconuts at this time. If he was attacked by the snake on the tree, it would be for nothing. Lin Sheng walked along the spot where the snake spit out the message. Pulling back the dense grass, Lin Sheng Zheng saw a giant snake with black and white patterns all over its body staring at a shed built with a bunch of grass. There is an old hen hatching eggs in the shed? Lin Sheng's eyes suddenly widened. It seemed that he was overthinking. The snake is not staring at itself but hunting. So let's leave. Lin Sheng thought about this and shook his head. This old hen can lay eggs. Although there is water, food, and even fish on his raft. There are no eggs. Now that he has been reborn, he can no longer live the miserable life of his previous life. He hunts this snake and raises the old hen family so that he can have an extra kind of food. Just as he said, Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the big snake with black and white rings. Immediately, the attributes of the big snake almost appeared in front of his eyes. Black and white cry. Life, 200 slash 200. Attack, 50. 
skills, bite, entangle, deadly venom. Lin Shun was not sloppy at all when dealing with this snake. This was a venomous snake. Once bitten, he would die after being poisoned. Although it is a gamified world, people are living flesh and blood and will not be resurrected from death as in the game. Before the antidote was available, Lin Shun chose to attack in a sneak attack. The health of this black and white krite was not high. He had the artifact spear in his hand. As long as the sneak attack was successful, he could kill it with one spear. Lin Shun quietly approached the poisonous snake and swung his spear to stab it. But the poisonous snake reacted, opened its bloody mouth and pointed it at Lin Shun, spitting a stream of dark green liquid towards Lin Shun. Damn! Spit! You viper has no martial ethics! Lin's spear has been poked out, and his body can no longer avoid it. When the spear penetrated seven inches into the poisonous snake, the venom also splashed onto his body. Dash 500. The damage from the critical strike immediately appeared on the viper's head, and its health bar was instantly cleared. One second the viper was so ferocious that it wanted to fight back against Lin Sheng. But the next moment it fell limply to the ground. Lin Sheng looked down and saw that the venom attached to his leather jacket was already corroding his leather jacket. So poisonous! This was Lin Sheng's emotion. The next moment, Lin Sheng hurriedly took off his leather jacket. At the same time, I felt happy in my heart. Fortunately, I was wearing armor. If I had changed into ordinary clothes, the venom would have been attached to my body. So with the power of this toxin, I am afraid that I will be reincarnated in an instant. Or will I travel through time? Lin Sheng hurriedly made a new set of leather armor for himself and wore it. Then he walked towards the old hen. The battle between Lin Sheng and the poisonous snake had already aroused the vigilance of the old hen. But when Lin Sheng came over, the old hen did not immediately attack Lin Sheng, but still waved its wings to remove the unborn chicks from its nest, protected behind him. When Lin Sheng saw this, he understood that the old hen was afraid that he would try to get closer. But this was not a problem for him. Have you seen the feed? Lin Sheng took out a bag of feed directly from his backpack and sprinkled it in front of the old hen. The old hen was alert for a while, as if she realized that Lin Sheng had no ill intentions. And then she stepped forward and ate the feed on the ground. Lin Sheng looked at this scene with a smile on his lips. Uh huh. It will be easier to do things after eating. You have tamed a hen with a trace of phoenix blood. Hen. Bloodline. Phoenix bloodline. Not activated. Attack. 20. Skills. Grab. Peck. Resist poison. Lin Sheng's expression changed after seeing the attribute panel. No wonder the black and white cry just now was so cautious. It turns out that the attack attribute of this hen is so high. My blood volume is only 100 points. If I fight a hen, doesn't it mean that I will die after being pecked a few times? At this moment, the hens that had finished eating the feed came to Lin Sheng on their own initiative, as if they felt a sense of intimacy towards Lin Sheng, and lost their previous resistance. Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the nest of eggs again, and finally shook his head. These eggs were all fertilized eggs. It was better to keep the chicks to grow up, and then provide himself with eggs. As for the old hen, Lin Sheng said, Lay me an egg! After becoming Lin Sheng's pet, the old hen understood Lin Sheng's words just like the piranha. Immediately, he screamed, and an egg with a pure white sh. L fell to the ground. Lin Sheng was also curious. There seemed to be only one old hen on the island. So where did its fertilized eggs come from? Could it be? Your circle is really chaotic. Lin Sheng did not think too much, but settled the old hen here and continued to explore the island. When he came back, he would take the hen on his raft. Lin Sheng walked towards the target he had determined before, and put the egg in his hand into his backpack. We came to the foot of the coconut tree and climbed up. After a while, coconuts fell from the tree one by one and stuck in the sand. When Lin was born, there were some more seeds in his hands. You obtain coconut tree seeds times ten. Coconut plus twenty. Lin Sheng put all these things into his backpack and used a hundredfold increase. Chapter 16 Wild Wolf Coal Mine Coconut Seeds plus one hundred. Coconut plus two thousand. Lin Sheng knew that coconut oil could be made from coconuts and he had an idea in his mind. After returning to the raft, he went back to make coconut oil. I usually grill fish and the octopus claws, although it can be grilled in front of me without oil. The taste is always a little worse. When he was halfway through receiving it, Lin Sheng looked at the coconut in his hand and couldn't help but want to open one and taste it. Lin Sheng pulled out his spear and scratched the tip of the spear, peeling off the outer peel of the coconut, revealing the snow-white heart sh. 
Ellen sighed. He stabbed hard with the tip of the spear again. And a small opening was suddenly opened in the coconut sh. L. Grabbing a coconut. I looked up and wandered around for a while. The sweet and refreshing coconut flowed in Lin Sheng's mouth. After Lin Sheng drank up the cup of coconut water, he smacked his lips a few times and said, It's very sweet and tastes better than what was sold in the market before the disaster. Sure enough, it still tastes purely wild. After thinking about this, Lin Sheng couldn't help but think of giving Shen Ling a few tastes. Open the quaint book. Open the chat page. And privately chatted in the video chat initiated by Shen Ling. Sister, what are you doing? Lin Sheng suddenly saw that Shen Ling was grabbing a geoduck. The tip of her spear tilted up. And the sh. L of the geoduck was immediately pried open. And when she waved the spear a few times in her hand, the clam meat of the geoduck was immediately chopped into pieces. A few sections. Looking at the shapeless geoduck. Why does the clam meat look so much like that? After reacting, Lin Sheng's legs went weak. I just got a blueprint of a fishing gear. Didn't I make a fishing gear? I need some bait for fishing. So I used the geoduck I just picked up as bait. Shen Ling said calmly. Lin Sheng shook his head to get rid of the bad thoughts in his mind. Then he put on a smile again. He was really scared just now. Sister, would you like a coconut? Lin Sheng asked. Coconut? Why are there coconuts on the sea? Where are you? Xiao Sheng? After Shen Ling prepared the bait, he noticed this time that Lin Sheng's background was not at sea. Oh, it's on a small island. It's a pity that such a small island cannot be used as a camp. Otherwise, I would be planning to settle here. What Lin Sheng said was based on what he learned in his previous life. These islands in the sea are limited time, lasting up to 48 hours, and someone needs to obtain the map before the island will appear. After Lin Sheng finished explaining, he presented the coconut to him and then hung up the video. With only 48 hours left, Lin Sheng naturally had to seize the time to explore the island and obtain more supplies he needed. After Lin Sheng rested for a while, he continued to move forward. At the same time, the sky gradually became dark. The cold wind on the island blew on Lin Sheng's body, making Lin Sheng feel the cool feeling of the wind blowing on his crotch. He couldn't help but clasped his hands and shuddered. The temperature on the island is really low. If it weren't for the fact that I wanted to go back to the raft and take a nap before the island disappears. Lin Sheng sighed to himself. But at this moment, three pairs of green eyes looked particularly penetrating in the dark night. Wild wolf. This is actually a wolf with a copper head and iron bones and a tofu waist. Lin Sheng quickly grabbed his artifact spear. These three pairs of green eyes were staring at the weapon in Lin Sheng's hand as if they felt the threat posed by the weapon in Lin Sheng's hand. The three wild wolves retreated in unison, but did not leave, but kept a safe distance from Lin Sheng. One person and three wolves were in a stalemate. After a long time, one of the wild wolves seemed to be impatient and left. But when Lin Sheng glanced over, he found that the departing wild wolf quietly changed its direction and touched his back. Lin Sheng. These cunning guys. Lin Sheng leaned towards the big tree on the side, and climbed up the tree in threes and fives. He couldn't go head to head with these wild wolves. After all, he was only one person. But there were three wild wolves. Once these wild wolves united, he would definitely die. Lin Sheng, who climbed up the tree, looked at the three wild wolves, intending to wait for the wild wolves to leave before climbing down. But these wild wolves were extremely patient and waited hour after hour, until the sound of the sign in system rang in Lin Sheng's ears. These wild wolves were still unwilling to leave. Sign in and get a slave contract. Slave contract. You can sign a contract with a person or a savage on the island to make him a slave to work for you. Damn. Another day is over. These wild wolves are really patient. Do they have to wait for me to go down? Lin Sheng complained. But he was also a little surprised. After arriving on the island, Lin Sheng had actually been silently avoiding the primitive people on the island. He didn't want to encounter them. Without him, the savages were all stationed in a tribe. Once he encountered these savages, he would face dozens or hundreds of them. But now that he had the slave contract, Lin Sheng's mind changed. I will definitely upgrade the raft and develop planting, animal husbandry, etc. on the sea. But I will definitely be too busy by myself. Therefore, with the slave contract, I can capture some savages for myself. Effective. It's the fourth day after the disaster and the limit of a hundred times increase has been refreshed. Lin Sheng looked at the three wild wolves on the ground. He first amplified the items in his backpack, 
and then silently open the manufacturing page. You're not leaving. Are you? Then I'll let you have a taste of spear throwing. After finishing his words, Lin Sheng repeatedly made five artifact spears. Lin Sheng did not intend to use the strengthened spear. Instead, he aimed the newly made spear directly at the waist of the wild wolf and threw it hard. Before the wild wolves could react, their waists were pierced by the spears thrown by Lin Sheng, and they fell directly to the ground motionless. Lin Shum clapped his hands and came down from the tree, putting away the spear and the wolf's body. Wolf skin can also be made into armor, and wolf meat is also an ingredient. After being delayed by the wild wolf, Lin Shung ran forward quickly. Soon Lin Shum came to a mine. Looking around, I saw a large black area in the mine. There are lumps of coal here. If you want to create a forging furnace, you must use coal mines. With a forging furnace, Lin Sheng can forge iron pieces into fine iron. Fine iron is more useful than iron pieces. There are many tools, weapons, and equipment that are needed made of refined iron. Lin Sheng immediately wanted to dig, but his thoughts suddenly changed, and he realized that he did not have a pickaxe. Lin Sheng set his sights on the world channel again. After observing for a while, Lin Sheng found that it was the fourth day, and many people had already solved the problem of food and rafts. Although it's not very good, at least it won't be as hungry as it was at the beginning. Who has a pickaxe? Bring me the price. Lin Sheng immediately spoke on the world channel. Chapter 17 Mining Savage Leader Although it was early in the morning, the world channel was still very lively and not deserted at all. Master Shim, what are you doing again? Is it mining? But there are no mines on the sea. Master, have you found land? Please take me in. I'm drifting in the sea and I'm about to vomit. One message after another kept scrolling. Although Lin Sheng did not want to hurt these people, there was one thing he had to fight against to prevent them from having illusions. Don't think about it. Land can't exist. Even if it does, it's a limited time island. The island will disappear when the time is up. Lin Sheng's message was sent out. No way. Without land, wouldn't we have to wander on the sea for the rest of our lives? The sound of wailing continued to sound. Suddenly a private message was sent. By Xiao Bai. Brother Lin Sheng, I have the drawings of the manuscript. But if I want to exchange it for meat, can I exchange it for real meat? Not fish? Bai Xiao Bai soon discovered the main reason. That is, since Lin Sheng said that he knew the island, he must have gone to the island. There was no meat on the sea. So Bai Xiao Bai asked Lin Sheng to get meat instead. No problem. I'll give you a wolf leg. Lin Sheng sent out the news. And Bai Xiao Bai happily made a deal with Lin Sheng. Just use a wolf leg directly. That's because Lin Sheng really didn't want to dissect the wild wolf. So he gave the wolf leg directly. Iron pickaxe manufacturing drawing plus one. After receiving the drawings, Lin Sheng immediately learned how to make pickaxes. Iron pickaxe manufacturing. Plank one. Rope one. Iron piece ten. As for the materials needed for manufacturing, Lin Sheng was not bad at all. Directly proceed to, okay, manufacturing. Get ordinary iron pickaxe plus one. Common iron pickaxe. Durable 10. Soon an iron pickaxe appeared in Lin Sheng's hand. Time is limited. So Lin Sheng can only try to dig some coal. Besides, he has the ability to increase the amount by a hundred times. As long as he has one share. He doesn't have to worry about the quantity at all. Bob ba, ba. Lin Sheng vomited and grabbed the pickaxe with both hands. Bump bump bump. After bursts of mining sounds, pieces of coal or entered Lin Sheng's backpack. Coal plus one. Coal plus one. The fifth piece of coal entered Lin Sheng's backpack. And the ordinary iron pickaxe in his hand turned into points and dissipated in the air at this time. Lin Sheng just thought about making another iron pickaxe to dig five pieces of coal and call it a day. But Lin Sheng heard a rustling sound in his ears. The next moment, a savage wearing a feather hat and only a grass skirt walked out with three savages behind him. They all hold a stone spear in their hands. The faces of these savages are painted with different patterns. The leader of them had swirling patterns on his face, while the other three had three or two stripes on their faces. Feathered hat and swirly pattern. This is obviously the leader of this group of savage tribes. After the savage leader saw Lin Sheng, he was mumbling some words that Lin Sheng couldn't understand at all. Jaligulu, Abba Abba. As the savage leader finished speaking, several savages behind him showed angry expressions. Gala Gala. Gua La Gua La. These savages also spit out the fragrance one after another. Although Lin Sheng didn't know what they were saying, he roughly understood that these savages were hating him. 
Well, I definitely didn't come here to treat myself to a meal. At this moment, the savage leader raised the stone spear in his hand. And the three savages behind him also raised the stone spear in their hands and ran towards Lin Sheng. The tips of the four stone spears were aimed at Lin Sheng and thrown forcefully. Upon seeing this, Lin Sheng raised the spear in his hand and swung it away, cutting off the four stone spears in the air. The four savages showed horrified expressions and screamed for a while. They all regarded Lin Sheng as their strongest enemy. The savage leader suddenly took out a stone axe from behind and struck Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng picked up the spear in his hand and poked it. The stone axe in the savage leader's hand was immediately knocked away, and one of his arms was disabled. Goo! The savage leader cried out in pain and angrily, as if he wanted the other three savages to attack Lin Sheng. But Lin Sheng's spear had already touched its neck at this moment. A trace of blood dripped down from the neck from the tip of the spear. The other three savages saw this and ran away. How can we still regard leaders as cadres? If the leader is gone, he can still choose another one. They don't want to lose their lives. Jaligulu! The savage leader cursed loudly, and spittle flew everywhere. But he still couldn't keep his men. It turns out that savages also have sex with women. Lin Shung did not expect that these savages with low IQs would also run away. Stop screaming! Your men won't come back even if your throat is broken! Lin Shung raised his spear, and patted the savage leader on the face. Be my slave or die! Since he met a savage, Lin Sheng didn't want to let him go and kill him. With a slave contract in hand, a living savage slave was much more useful than a dead one. Although the savage leader didn't know the meaning of Lin Sheng's words, he knelt on the ground. Lin Sheng took out the slave contract that had been increased a hundred times from his backpack, then pointed at the savage leader and said, Since you have chosen to surrender, then sign the slave contract. The savage leader raised his head and looked at Lin Sheng in confusion. The next moment, a shadow appeared on his body. This phantom is almost identical to the savage leader. And a part of his phantom split off and entered the contract. The slave contract slowly flew into Lin Lingxing's mind. The next moment, Lin Sheng felt that there was a piece of ancient paper in his mind. And what was on the paper was the soul of the savage leader. Lin Sheng could also feel that he could punish this soul at any time. Making it worse than death. Or it could disappear into thin air. Master! Master! What are your orders? This slave will do as you say. Hey, master, your shoes are dirty. My slave will clean them for you. Just as Lin Sheng was feeling this magical feeling, the savage leader suddenly laid down at Lin Sheng's feet, reaching out to wipe his shoes while talking. Lin Sheng's mouth twitched. Guzi, you are such a dog. Lin Sheng did not expect that this slave contract not only enslaved the savage leader so that he could communicate with him normally, but also turned the savage leader into a living licking dog. Guzi! Oh no! Leader of the savages! Tell me how many savages there are in your tribe! Can they obey your orders? Lin Sheng asked with caution in his heart. Once the entire savage tribe is conquered, planting can really develop. Chapter 18 The Dog Licking Savage Leader and the Savage Tribe Master! If you like to call me Guzi, then I'll call you Guzi. There are 50 savages in my tribe, including 20 adult male savages, 15 female savages, and 10 children. If the master likes it, I will take him back to the tribe. The female savages will be given to you. The master, Guzi said with a smile. Lin Sheng glanced at Guzi's appearance, and his eyes twitched. No, I can't bear it. Don't you even look at what you look like? Do I dare to want a woman from your tribe? Is it because my kind is not fragrant or something? Ranguzi misunderstood Lin Sheng's meaning and said, Master, don't be afraid. Our savage tribe is proficient in planting animal husbandry, and manufacturing. At the same time, there are medicinal materials we grow in the tribe. I guarantee that you will not be tired for seven days and seven nights. Stop. Shut up. Don't talk. Lin Sheng said with a dark face. What I really need is some manpower. And you also provide me with supplements? Am I the kind of person who can't take supplements? The dog stopped talking. Lin Sheng then softened his expression and said, Take me to your tribe and ask them to sign a slave contract like you. And then follow me to leave this island and live on my ship. Although the raft is not big now. Lin Sheng and he have a lot of materials. Even if the raft is enlarged, there will be no embarrassing situation of not being able to accommodate these savages. Okay, Master Guzi, I will take you to Guzi's tribe. After Guzi finished speaking, he immediately led Lin Sheng towards the savage tribe. 
The savage leader and Lin Sheng had just arrived at the gate of the tribe. What caught Lin Sheng's eyes was a group of thatched houses surrounded by wooden fences. These thatched houses are all in the shape of an inverted cone. Is this your tribe? Lin Sheng asked Guzi. Yes. Master. Master. Please wait a moment and I will gather my men. After Guzi said this, he stood directly at the tribe's fence gate. Ah. Guzi took a deep breath and barked loudly. As the dogs barked, savages kept running out of the thatched houses in the tribe. They all came to Guzi one after another and knelt down respectfully to Guzi. Lin Sheng. Guzi. It turns out that you are still a local emperor. But your attitude of licking the dog before? I'm afraid it's not hereditary. Just as Lin Sheng thought. Among the savage tribes, the leader of the savages was the two emperor. Before becoming the leader, they were ordinary savages. Only after becoming the leader would they become the two emperor of the tribe. Then I thought about Guzi's attitude towards me before. I don't know why Lin Sheng felt a little happy in his heart. Jaligulu, give me some encouragement. Guzi said a lot of words. And the savages looked at Guzi in confusion. As for the savages who had abandoned Guzi before, they were also among the savages. But they were trembling with fear because of Guzi's return. Fearing that Guzi would settle the score with him. Okay, master. I have already communicated with you. All I need is master to take out the slave contract. Guzi turned back to Lin Sheng and said with a respectful smile. Lin Sheng was quite surprised. Do these savages have such high confidence in their leader? What about the three savages who escaped before? However, Lin Sheng didn't care about this and took out 50 slave contracts. With the existence of a slave contract, it doesn't matter whether the savages truly surrender or not. Didn't you see that the savage leader who wanted to fight you to death at the beginning turned into a bitch after signing the slave contract? Yeah. Let them mine up. After hearing Lin Sheng's order, Kuzi shouted, Ha. The savages came over in a queue. Whenever Lin Sheng faced a savage, he consumed a contract and successfully turned him into a slave. As Lin Sheng made all the 51 savages in the tribe, including the savage leaders, his slaves, the hazy sky became completely brighter. The sunshine on the sea once again reflected on the island. Master, please, we will receive you with the highest treatment. Guzi respectfully invited Lin Sheng to walk towards the tribe. Lin Sheng did not object and walked into the tribe. Lin Sheng was led by the savage leader to the tallest and largest thatched house and sat on a soft fur seat. Good guy. I still slept on a hard wooden bed on the raft. You have such a good fur cushion among your savage tribe. When I go back, I must ask all these savages to move away. The worst thing is that the raft needs to be expanded. Jagu Jagu. After the dog fell down several times, two female savages came over. When Lin Sheng saw this, he was shocked and said, What are you doing? You are all my slaves and cannot do anything wrong. I won't. Lin Sheng glared at the savage leader. Don't I want it? What do you want to do? Is my innocence going to be stained by a bunch of savages? Master, what are you talking about? I don't understand. I see that the master was mining all night yesterday and wants them to give you a massage so you can rest for a while. Guzi looked at Lin Sheng who was in intense emotion and said in confusion, Ah, that's it. Ha ha. If that's the case, then there's no problem. Lin Sheng laughed and said, Soon Lin Sheng fell asleep slowly under the massage of the savage. Well, not to mention savage's strength. This massage is also very powerful. Three days passed. And this was the first time that Lin Sheng had such a peaceful rest. Master, Master, are you awake? An hour later, Lin Sheng vaguely heard a dog barking at him. Lin Sheng opened his eyes. What's wrong? Is something wrong? Hey, Master, it's time to eat. As soon as Guzi finished speaking, a savage came in carrying roasted rabbit, roasted lamb, and roasted pig legs, and placed these meats in front of Lin Sheng. Huh? You can't do that. Come back and follow me to the raft, and I'll give you a taste of my food. After Lin Sheng took a few rough bites, he found that it really had no taste and had to give up the idea of continuing to eat. These savages don't know how to use seasonings at all. The method of grilling meat is probably just a slight roasting over fire. Guzi, did you get all these rabbit meat, mutton, and pork from hunting? Lin Sheng asked. Oh, no, we raised them. Guzi replied. Okay. I'll take you with me later. And you can take all these animals with you. Lin Sheng narrowed his eyes and said. In my mind, I was thinking, Damn it, I gained a lot from this trip to the island. Master, when will we leave? 
When are you leaving? I'm afraid the island will disappear in one day. Let's get ready today and leave. You can take me to your tribe later. Lin Sheng also wanted to know what else was in the savage tribe. Chapter 19 Take Away Take away! Take them all away! Link Wan. Okay, master. I will take you there now. When Guzi finished speaking, he was leading Lin Sheng towards the rear of the tribe. Above the vast and boundless sea. Daozi. Lao Hu and Jiu Yi. Are you sure they are going in this direction? We have been searching for such a long time. But we still haven't seen any trace of them. Even if the person is dead, we should be able to find traces of them. At this time, Su Fei, who was part of a small group that also wanted to find Lin Sheng and snatch supplies like Master Jiu and Lao Hu, frowned and said, Brother Su, this is the sea. Maybe those two guys were eaten by sharks. Daozi shook his head and said, It is really difficult to find one or two people on this sea. Wait a minute. Brother Su, what do you see over there? Knife pointed at a small island on the sea and said, What? That's an island. Su Fei took a closer look and said in surprise, It's land. It's really land. Everyone, come together and let's go to the island and have a look. Brother Su, Lao Hu, Jiu Yi and the others. Daozi said hesitantly. The boss asked them to come out to look for people. Now they have to give up looking for people and go to the island. This is obviously against the boss's wishes. Stop talking nonsense. We can look for people when we get back. The island is right in front of us. If other survivors get to the island, it would be a pity if all the supplies on the island are robbed. In addition, many people now choose to form cliques. And we are not the only group. Su Fei slapped Daozi on the head and said, Oh, oh. After Daozi finished speaking, a total of five of them came out, all gathered together, and drove the raft towards the number five island. Yes, that was the island where Lin Chun was located, although the appearance of the island requires a map to open it. After it is opened, anyone can see the island. Those who do not have a map need to have enough luck. Guzi, are you sure you are savages? Lin Chun said in shock when he saw the rear of the tribe. In Lin Chun's opinion, it would be great if these savages could trap the captured prey in a place where they could not escape. But the scene in front of him made Lin Sheng feel like he was raising livestock in the mountains before the disaster. Hee <laughs> hee. Master, this is what I told you about the savages of our tribe, who are proficient in animal husbandry, planting and manufacturing. Guzi said proudly, looking at Lin Sheng as if asking for praise. Not bad. After all, he is already his own slave. Lin Sheng's compliments were nothing. What method did you use to catch this rabbit? Now use the same method to take it with you. Then you will all go to the raft with me. Take these two cows with you too. Lin Shun pointed at the cow and said, One of the two cows is a bull, and the other is a cow. They are both used for breeding. Take these five sheep with you as well. You should not eat these cattle and sheep while you follow me from now on. I will provide you with food when there are more of them. Lin Shun first told Guzi what he thought. If he ate all the raft after taking it with him, wouldn't it be in vain? Okay, master. I will restrain my men. Guzi immediately promised. Then Lin Sheng saw three black wild boars chained to the edge of a big tree. Lin Sheng was not surprised that these savages caught the wild boar. But he was surprised that the savages actually had chains. Where did you get these chains? Lin Sheng asked. Master, are you talking about the chain that locked the wild boar? It was made by Guzi. Each of our leaders will inherit the craftsmanship of the previous leader. For example, hoes for farming, shovels for digging, and the manufacturing of these farming tools. Dogs can do it, Guzi said. Lin Shun looked at the dog in surprise. Dogs know all these things, so this will save trouble. When the time comes, the savage tribe can take full responsibility. Before, Lin Shun thought that he would have to spend a lot of effort to get there. Acquire blueprints for these farming tools. Very good. I really saw the right person. Guzi! Take these three wild boars with you too. Lin Sheng patted Guzi on the shoulder and said. Guzi smiled proudly after receiving Lin Sheng's praise. After Lin Sheng walked around, he found that there were no other livestock. It was because he was greedy. It is enough to have three wild boars, two cows, five sheep and three litters of hares. Just when Lin Sheng felt that it was almost done, he was ready to let Guzi take the people and leave together. Guzi took out two drawings and handed them to Lin Sheng. Master, these are the drawings for making bows and arrows. And the drawings for upgrading the ark. I am ashamed to say that I have studied these two drawings, but could not make them. I think you can make them. 
Master. So I drew them again, Guzi said. Yes, for the items that these savages learned to make. They could draw the manufacturing drawings and give them to others to learn. Obtain arc upgrade blueprints. Obtain bow and arrow manufacturing drawings. Lin Sheng was overjoyed when he got two drawings in a row. He didn't expect that he would have such a harvest in the end. He was originally worried about how to find the drawings of the arc. But he didn't expect that Guzi would have them in his hands. After you have the arc blueprint, you can really travel long distances by upgrading the raft. Lin Sheng looked at the drawing in his hand and thought, Sister Shen Ling, I will be able to find you soon. You are really good. After Lin Sheng was halfway through his compliments, he noticed an ancient well on the ground beside him. What a strange well. It was different from the wells Lin Sheng had seen before the disaster in his previous life. This well made people feel completely natural. And the smell coming out of the well was also refreshing. Guzi, who noticed something wrong with Lin Sheng's eyes, introduced to Lin Sheng. Master, this was built by the first leader of our tribe. Our well does not rely on groundwater. And the well water can also accelerate the growth of plants. Or animals grow. It's a pity that the rules of our tribe do not allow any tribesmen to go into the well. Which means that we cannot leave with the well. Speed up the growth of plants and animals. In his last life, Lin Sheng had heard about this well. Among them was a survival organization established at sea. Which had a steady supply of food. It was said that it was all made by himself. There are rumors that they got a spiritual spring. So many crops matured quickly. Later, this survivor organization also grew into the largest material export organization. Even after the people of various countries carried out national recovery. They were treated as guests of various countries. Chapter 20 The spring is in hand and ready to leave the island. Lin Shum did not expect that Link Wan would be here. But since he encountered it, he might as well take the spiritual spring into his pocket without hesitation. When Lin Sheng thought of this, he immediately wanted to go down into the well and fish out the spring. Lin Sheng stepped forward and just stepped into the well mouth when he heard Guzi stop him from the side. Master! No! The ancestral training forbids any savages from our tribe to enter the well. Seeing Guzi's extremely anxious look, Lin Sheng said with a straight face, Get out of the way! The spiritual spring was right in front of him and it was absolutely impossible for Lin Sheng to give up this spiritual spring. Guzi shook his head and said, Master, if you want anything else, Guzi, I will give it to you without saying a word. But the stone under the well is cursed, so I can't let the master risk it. After Lin Sheng heard Guzi's words, he really didn't feel that Guzi had any rebellious intentions. But this still couldn't change Lin Sheng's mind. It looks like I need to talk some sense into the dog. Guzi! You said this is the ancestral precept left by your first generation leader. Then I ask you, did your first generation leader just say that your people cannot go down? Lin Sheng explained the truth in an orderly manner. Guzi looked confused. My ancestors seem to have said so. Let me talk about my identity again. I am your master, but I am not your clansman. Logically speaking, since you have recognized me as your master, my status is the same as that of your ancestors. Your ancestor just didn't let you younger generations not be able to go. But he didn't say that me. His contemporaries can't go too. Right. Lin Sheng said plausibly. Well, that seems to be the truth. Guzi held the stone spear in his hand with a face full of uncertainty. Oh, as for the things left by your ancestors, your entire tribe must move away from here. If you stay, you will lose it. I, as your master, We'll take the treasures away with you so that you will not lose the things left by your ancestors. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, Guzi bowed to Lin Sheng with a face full of respect. Thank you, Master. Guzi thanks the Master on behalf of the entire tribe. Lin Sheng said no more and jumped into the well. But he chuckled in his heart. Wherever I go, how can I miss such a treasure? Guzi looked down into the well and looked at Lin Sheng worriedly. Although this was the case, there was still danger in the well and he could not help but worry about his master. In the well, after Lin Sheng jumped into the well water, he found a blue oxygen bar appearing in front of his eyes. O2 colon 60s slash 60s. Lin Sheng suddenly realized that this meant the time he could spend in the water. Lin Sheng understood that he did not have much time in the water, so he began to look for the location of the spring. After searching for a while, Lin Sheng saw a bright blue light under the dark well. That's the spring. Lin Sheng felt that his oxygen time was insufficient and immediately surfaced for ventilation. After the O2 time was reset, Lin Sheng sank into the water again and suddenly swam towards the fluorescent place under the water with all his strength. 
There is only one minute and every second counts. And within one minute, if it is too late, it is estimated that the end of this life will be here. Lin Sheng watched the time in O2 decrease second by second and couldn't help but feel anxious. What the H, L? Why did the ancestors of this savage tribe place this spring so deep without respecting martial ethics? O2 colon 45 S slash 60 S. Lin Shen suddenly exerted force on his limbs and struggled wildly in the water. 44 seconds and 20 meters to go. 40 seconds. 13 meters to go. 31 seconds later. It's finally here. Lin Shen grabbed it towards the spring. Hit the spiritual spring eye. Lin Quan Quanian. The origin of holy water. With it, you will get an endless supply of spiritual spring water, which can speed up the growth of crops and livestock. Long-term consumption can increase vitality and have the effect of beautifying the skin. Lin Sheng put the spring into his backpack, and for a moment, the space under the well shook violently. The well water is sinking. Lin Sheng felt it, and he raised his head and looked at the mouth of the well. No, I have to hurry up and get out. Otherwise, I might be trapped down here. Lin Sheng panicked and immediately swam up faster than he had come. But it was easy to get into the water and difficult to get out of the water. Lin Sheng felt that the pressure in the water was huge. Lin Sheng swam all the way up and felt that his limbs were about to become useless. There are still 10 meters, 5 meters left. Gulyalu! The countdown for item 02 has ended. Lin Sheng opened his mouth involuntarily. The oxygen limit in his body had reached its limit. Large mouthfuls of well water were poured into his mouth. Are you going to die? Sure enough. I'm still too greedy. Lin Sheng's consciousness gradually became blurred. No. I can't die yet. I must get rid of all the regrets from my previous life in this life. As Lin Sheng's thoughts became more determined, a force that exceeded the limits of the human body seemed to come from his limbs, causing Lin Sheng to fight to the death. Wow. Lin Sheng, who came out of the water, wiped the water off his face vigorously and breathed in the air on the water. Master. Master. Come up quickly. Lin Sheng, who was just congratulating himself for escaping from death heard the barking of a dog in his ears. When he looked again, he saw that the distance from the wellhead, which was less than 2.5 meters deep, had become 3 meters deep. By a rope as thick as a baby's arm was thrown into the well by the dog. One end of the rope was tightly held in the dog's hand, and the other end was falling beside him. Lin Sheng looked at the rope and smiled, and immediately grabbed the rope with one hand. Master has caught it. The dog will pull you up now. Guzi exerted force suddenly, and several members of the savage tribe, who were looking for Guzi for something at this moment, saw Guzi pulling people and came to help. With the help of three savages, Lin Sheng finally climbed back out of the well. Master, are you okay? Guzi asked with concern. It feels pretty good to have this subordinate. This was what Lin Sheng had in mind. Let's go. Let's get ready to leave. When we get back to my raft, I'll treat you to a big meal of meat and wine. Lin Sheng patted Guzi on the shoulder and said, not mentioning, that he almost drowned in the well water just now. Chief! Master! Do you want to take these seeds with you too? At this time, the helping savage member asked. Seed? What seed? Lin Sheng asked. It's the seeds of wild vegetables we found on the island. Savage said. Take them all away! Lin Sheng said. The gate of the savage tribe. Fifty savages carried large and small bags, pulled by large and small wooden carts and left with Lin Sheng with the wealth accumulated by the entire tribe over the years. Chapter 21 Meeting the Survivors Again The Flying Eagle Gang Walking all the way across the jungle on the island towards the seaside, Lin Sheng stopped a group of savages halfway. Master, is there anything else you can do? Wild Dog asked. Wait a minute. I have another pet here. I'll look for it. Just as Lin Sheng finished speaking, an old hen ran out from under a big tree in the corner of the jungle. Clucking running towards Lin Sheng. The old hen's eyes were filled with joy as she welcomed her master's arrival. At this moment, Lin Sheng noticed that there were several chicks behind the old hen, staggering towards Lin Sheng with the old hen. When the old hen came to Lin Sheng's side, the old hen and its children ran happily at Lin Sheng's feet. Hen! Are these your babies? Lin Sheng said. Kick kick! The old hen crows in response to Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng touched his chin and thought. These chicks are indeed extraordinary. It seems that all the chicks have the same attributes as the old hens. They all have the blood of the phoenix in their bodies. But it is a pity that none of them are activated. Lin Sheng thought silently. It seems that even if these chickens grow up, they will not be able to use them in the future. 
and they have to find a way to activate the blood of these chickens. Then let's go! After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he once again led the savage tribe and the hen family that had just joined the team towards the seaside where the raft was parked when he came. After a long time, the sun over the sea was in the sky. Lin Sheng and his party could already see the location of the raft. But it was at this time that I heard bursts of yelling and cursing. Damn it! Why are there so many piranhas? Don't you brag that you work in the kitchen and can cut live fish into fillets in one minute? Where is your knife? Cut the fish fillets for me quickly. Brother Sue, these are all piranhas. Can they be the same as edible fish? The sound of knife about to cry came. The tone was full of grievance. What's different about Ting Yong's trash? Aren't they all fish? Su Fei cursed. Brother, I kneel down for you. The knife can't do it. Ouch. Don't bite my ass. The heartbreaking sound of the knife resounded through the sky. And the sound must have been a bite on the buttocks. Lin Sheng waved his hand to stop the savage tribe's advance and frowned. Someone is attacking your own raft. Lin Sheng thought with certainty. And at the same time, he was glad that he had subdued such a group of piranha bodyguards before coming to the island. Otherwise, by the time you finish exploring the island, the raft will be gone. Master, what happened? Guzi looked at the frowning Lin Sheng and immediately stepped forward and asked, You? Lin Sheng was just about to say something, but he noticed that Guzi and the other barbarians had stone spears in their hands. The power of those weapons was not as powerful as his own. It is enough for hunting on the island. Going to sea with him is simply not enough. And after what happened before, Lin Sheng did not intend to let these savages just farm for him. If necessary, he would also be equipped with weapons to act as bodyguards on his ship. Lin Sheng immediately took out the five artifact spears from his backpack and handed them to Guzi. Guzi, you divide it up. And I'll make some more. Later, you all have a bunch of them and follow me to do things. While Lin Sheng was speaking, he had already opened the manufacturing page and immediately started manufacturing the artifact spear. Obtain artifact level spear. Obtain artifact level spear. After making 21 artifact level spears in a row, they were handed over to Guzi to share. Guzi said with admiration on his face, the master is so powerful that he can actually make artifacts. Sure enough, our entire tribe following the master has been favored by God. Come on. Don't lick it. Pick up your weapons and follow me. I want to see who the bastard is after my raft. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he ran forward. Master, wait for us. Guzi ran hard behind with 20 male adult savages in the tribe. Lin Sheng was also a little surprised that he seemed to be running faster. Lin Sheng couldn't help but check his personal attribute points. Strength, 10. Intelligence, 10. Stamina, 10. Speed, 10. When Lin Sheng saw his attribute points, he was stunned. When did my attributes double? Suddenly, I remembered the strange feeling I had when I almost drowned in the well. Could it be that real people can break through the limits of the human body when they are near death? Which leads to the improvement of their attributes. However, no matter if it is improved, Lin Sheng's own strength will be twice that of ordinary survivors. When Lin Sheng arrived at the raft, the savages were still chasing Lin Sheng desperately. Su Fei and his group were still fighting against the piranhas that had been surrounding the raft. However, Daozi suddenly noticed Lin Sheng who had just arrived. Brother Su, look, it's Mr. Sheng, Daozi said excitedly. Master, I gave birth to you. Now our goal is this raft. Su Fei cursed and said, that he was still having a headache that these piranhas were too difficult to deal with. So far, although there are no dead men, the piranhas are not dead. Their men were also injured. It's not Brother Sue. The target we are looking for is the old man who has a lot of supplies. Knife explained. Huh? Su Fei looked back. And sure enough, after seeing Lin Sheng, he hurriedly opened the world channel to follow Lin Sheng. Compare Lin Sheng's profile picture and Lin Sheng himself. Ha ha. Brothers, Let's talk about the raft later. These piranhas are difficult to deal with. Let's deal with Master first and steal his supplies. After Su Fei finished speaking, Su Fei and his group of six people all looked at Lin Sheng. Their eyes were shining like wild wolves that had encountered their prey. Brother Su, look at the weapons in Master Sheng's hands. It seems that Master Sheng is not easy to deal with either. Daozi noticed the spear in Lin Sheng's hand and said, What are you afraid of? He is alone. And six of us can't rob him? Su Fei was dissatisfied with Daozi's timidity and said. Then he said to Lin Sheng, Boy, I am the deputy gang leader of the Flying Eagle Gang. 
I will give you a chance to hand over all the supplies in your hands and then follow our Flying Eagle Gang. I can guarantee you that you can live a prosperous life. If you don't want to live a delicious life, you will be against our Flying Eagle Gang. So you have to think carefully about us brothers. After Su Fei finished speaking, Lin Shun was stunned. Have gangs been created? However, Lin Shun quickly realized that this was probably a clique among the survivors. Without a gang order. Also, are you preparing to bully yourself? The majority bullies the minority? Lin Shun asked slightly disdainfully. Uh huh. If there are so many people bullying you, what should you do? If you don't accept it, hack me? Su Fei shouted arrogantly. But as soon as he finished speaking, he swallowed hard. Gudong. Gudong. Chapter 22 I also like to bully the minority with more. Lin Shun immediately became happy after seeing Su Fei's expression. As for what happened, Lin Shun could think of it with his toes. I brought the men from the savage tribe here, but I arrived at my destination first, while those savages lagged behind. At this moment, after looking at the expressions of Su Fei and others, Lin Shun was sure that his savage team had arrived. What a coincidence. Guzi, you are finally here. After Lin Shun turned around and said H, low to Guzi, he said to Su Fei, Uh-huh. There are many people bullying the few. This is something I like very much. Listening to Lin Shun's hilarious words, Su Fei couldn't help but feel a chill running through his body. Ha ha ha. Sir, I was just joking with you. Don't mind. I sincerely invite you to join our Flying Eagle Gang on behalf of our Flying Eagle Gang. Looking at Su Fei's shameless smile, Lin Shun said, Get out. Okay. I wish you a long life and become younger and younger. After Su Fei said these words a compliment, he ran away as fast as if his feet were oiled. Knife? Everyone in the Flying Eagle Gang? The next moment they reacted. They quickly ran away with Su Fei. Are you kidding? Didn't you see more than 20 people on the other side? I originally thought that Lin Shun was alone and could easily hold the four punches with his hands. But, anyway, the deputy gang leader has already led his people to run away. And these subordinates are not stupid. Just as the Flying Eagle Gang and the others were running away in despair, Lin Shun's eyes turned cold. The Flying Eagle Gang? Keeping them alive? Isn't this creating trouble for yourself? Waiting for them to come back? Lin Shun winked at the piranhas under his command. And the group of piranhas immediately dived into the water. A group of people from the Feying Gang who had just escaped back to the raft. Dowsy gasped and said, Brother Su, how come there are so many savages under Mr. Shun to help? How do I know? If it doesn't work, you have to find the gang leader quickly and ask the gang leader for support. There are only about 20 people in Mr. Shun's place. Besides, our gang leader has obtained the blueprints of long-range weapons and bows. By then, there will be hundreds of people in our Flying Eagle gang. Come on! What if there are 20 or 30 people in his life? Are you going to be shot dead with bows and arrows across the sea by hundreds of our Flying Eagle gang? Su Fei gasped and said. He immediately took out a simple book and sent his location and information to Im Liang. Suddenly, the raft that the Flying Eagle gang had just left the island started to shake. What's going on? This bunch of losers can't even paddle. Didn't you see that I was contacting the gang leader? Su Fei almost threw the book in his hand and suddenly started to curse. Brother Su, no, we are not. The raft suddenly leaked. Do you think it was because it hit a rock? A young man from the Flying Eagle gang said. Um, Su Fei lowered his head to look and immediately saw a hole opened in the middle of the raft. Before Su Fei could see clearly what was going on under the hole, a piranha suddenly jumped out of the hole and bit Su Fei on the face. Being hit by the piranha, Su Fei lost his footing and fell directly into the sea. The next moment, Piranha swooped up and dismembered Su Fei. The bright red blood dyed the water under the raft red. The other members of the Flying Eagle Gang followed Su Fei's footsteps before they could react. The Eagle Gang's raft was also torn to pieces by a swarm of Piranhas. An ancient book floated on the sea. The page opened at the private chat interface and the address on the interface was here. But soon this ancient book gradually became transparent and disappeared. As if it had never been there. Appeared generally. On the edge of the island, Lin Shun looked at the disappearing eagle gang from a distance. The sea was the piranha's home ground. I hope it comes in time. It hasn't really developed yet. And Lin Shun doesn't want to have conflicts with too many survivors. After a while, Lin Shun looked at his raft and walked over leisurely. Guzi and his group of savages also followed Lin Shun to the raft. Lin Shun said, Guzi, let your tribe bring other people and things over. 
After Lin Sheng finished speaking, the savage leader immediately arranged for male savages to help bring out other savages and goods. At this moment, Lin Sheng silently opened the arc drawings and started studying. Arc made. Raph 1. Wooden board 15, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, after Lin Sheng saw the materials needed to make the ark, he suddenly took a breath of cold air. Hiss it actually requires so much material. Lin Sheng couldn't help but think that if he didn't have this hundredfold increase in skill, he might not know how long it would take to build the ark. Lin Sheng also recalled that in his previous life, the ark seemed to have to wait until the land recovery plan began before it began to appear. Those are the materials collected by millions of survivors to build the ark. However, Lin Sheng became extremely excited when he thought of this. He will be the first survivor to build an ark in this life. And he will also be a lone ranger. Manufacture! In an instant, more than half of the supplies that had been continuously increasing in Lin Sheng's backpack in the past few days were consumed. The raft in front of him also lit up with a dazzling white light. And the distance that this white light spread became wider and wider. Lin Sheng couldn't help but close his eyes under the influence of the white light. It wasn't until Lin Sheng felt the white light fade that he opened his eyes. Suddenly Lin Sheng realized that he could only see one corner of the arc in front of him. Get arc 500 m times 200 m times 20. Lin Sheng raised his head and looked at the top of the arc, swallowing his saliva involuntarily. This arc has a space of 10,000 square meters. And this 10,000 square meters is equivalent to the size of 15 acres of land. What was in front of Lin Sheng was the island ladder on which the arc rested. As long as he climbed the ladder, he could board the arc he had obtained. This is many times larger than the legendary Noah's Arkansas. At the same time, the announcement about Lin Sheng's creation of the Ark rang out on the World Bulletin Board. Congratulations to the survivor Lin Sheng for being the first to build an Ark. Everyone celebrates together. Those who have rafts will have their rafts doubled in size, and those who have no rafts will be rewarded with a raft. Times three. Another three consecutive world announcements dominated the chat channel. My raft has gotten bigger. And I finally don't have to worry about it falling when I sleep. It's so strong. This time, I didn't collect all the planks. I almost thought I was going to die. I didn't expect that I would give him a raft. I feel like I missed a hundred million. I was just a hair away from making a successful raft. But as a reward, my raft was gone and another raft was given to me. After the screen time disappeared, the survivors posted messages one after another. Chapter 23 Login to the Ark Crew at this moment, Lin Sheng was stuck in receiving achievement rewards. Arc achievements will reward a captain and a sailor who are 100% loyal. What about the captain and sailors? With this doubt, Lin Sheng went on the deck of the Ark with 51 people from the Savage Tribe. As soon as Lin Sheng stepped onto the deck, a loud voice came to his ears. Hello, boss. Times two. These two sounds made Lin Sheng feel like his eardrums were numb from the shock. Lin Sheng waved his hand and greeted the two captains and crew members who were rewarded by the game rules. Then he asked with some confusion, Are it just the two of you? Can you handle such a big boat? Forget it. Let me introduce myself first. Boss, I'm the captain. Just call me Old Jack. Old Jack, the captain, who was wearing a captain's hat, with white hair on his temples and a mustache, said, Boss, just call me Pie Pie said a little bald man wearing a blue sailor uniform, a white hat on his head, and a pipe in his mouth. Wait! Pie! Popeye! Are you the one who can explode with extreme strength by eating spinach? Lin Sheng asked Pie Pie. The little man Pie Pie said, Hey! Boss! How did you know? Then he took out a can of spinach from his body and ate it in two mouthfuls. The next moment his face suddenly turned red, and the veins on his biceps popped out. Boss! Let me show you! After Pai Pai finished speaking, he came directly in front of the savage. With one hand in each hand, he easily lifted the big savage and threw it upwards. The next moment, he caught another savage and threw him up again. These three savages weighing more than 100 pounds were thrown into the air by Pai Pai like they were juggling bottles. Pai Pai seemed to feel that this was not enough and wanted to catch a few more savages. But after the other savages saw how ferocious Dolly was, 
They hurriedly retreated and distanced themselves from Pai Pai. Lin Sheng covered his face and thought, it is indeed this spinach maniac. Okay. Okay. I understand. Pai Pai let them go. Lin Sheng stopped Popeye who wanted to continue. Oh. Popeye responded before putting the savage down. But after the three savages landed on the deck, they collapsed on the ground and started foaming at the mouth. It looks like I'm quite dizzy. By the way, old Jack, let me ask you a question. How long will it take for this ark to reach 10,000 kilometers away? Lin Sheng asked with a frown. After owning the ark, Lin Sheng's idea was to find Shen Ling. Now both ark and the captain have the natural right of inquiry. Old Jack pondered for a while and said, Boss, although our ark is big, it is not powerful. It depends entirely on wind power. No matter how fast it is, it will take a month. Okay, then I'll give you an address. And you'll be fully responsible for reaching your destination. Lin Sheng said immediately. No problem, boss. Leave it all to me. Lin Sheng first followed Old Jack to the captain's room and entered the location into the Ark's navigation map. After explaining to Old Jack, Lin Sheng returned to the outside of the Ark. At this moment, Lin Sheng was seeing Pai Pai smoking a cigarette, while Guzi looked at Pai Pai with curiosity on his face. The two seemed to say something, and then Pai Pai took out the spare pipe and handed it to Guzi. The dog has learned badly, Lin Sheng thought in his heart, but he didn't say anything. Instead, he started walking in the Ark. Those who hadn't noticed before found that there was a living area on the first floor below the deck of the Arkansas. There was no light in the dark room, although there are quite a lot of rooms. With 500 rooms, it is simply uninhabitable at this stage. Although this Ark exists, its transformation still requires a lot of effort. Lin Sheng returned to the deck after visiting the rooms below the deck. Apart from the captain's cabin on the bow, there is only one cabin of his own, which seems to have been left behind when the raft was upgraded. Lin Sheng left five acres of land in front of the Ark to facilitate future modifications to the Ark. Immediately, Lin Sheng I came to the middle and rear position of the Ark and left a circle around the Ark, waiting to be used to modify weapons and equipment in the future. Then he shouted to the savage clan in Pai Pai, Come over! Everyone! Guzi! Send me all of you! Each of you can take some of this! And then circle all these places like this and this! Lin Sheng took out a lot of coal and distributed it to Savage and Pai Pai and arrange for everyone to work. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can only use coal mine as a substitute. The group of people started taking action under Lin Sheng's command. Just when Lin Sheng and others were taking action, Old Jack had already started the arc and headed towards the route designated by Lin Sheng. On the World Channel at this moment, the topic about Lin Sheng has reached its peak. Does anyone know what the arc is? Why haven't I heard of this blueprint? How did I make it? I don't know. Isn't there only rafts? Why else would I be so mad at you? The headquarters of the Flying Eagle Gang is located on a piece of land on the sea with hundreds of rafts spliced together. The leader of the Flying Eagle Gang looked at the sea with cold eyes. What a wise man. He doesn't take our Flying Eagle Gang seriously and dares to kill our Flying Eagle Gang members. Hurry up and find me the materials. Our Flying Eagle Gang must not be bullied in vain. After I give each of you a bow and arrow, we will kill Master Sheng. At this time, Lin Sheng was leading the people on the Ark to plan out the area. After Lin Sheng looked at the planned deck, he began to make planting pots. Units of soul and wooden boards disappeared from the backpack. And Lin Sheng immediately took out planting pots one by one. Get planter pot. Get planter pot. Don't be stunned. Arrange these planting pots according to the location of the planned area. Under Lin Sheng's urging, the savage leader led all the savages to take action. Even Pai Pai came over to help. An hour passed quickly. In the blink of an eye, the sky gradually darkened. Lin Sheng looked at the neatly arranged planting pots and then made several fishing rods. Pai Pai, I'll give you a mission to take a few savages to go fishing. Lin Sheng said to Pai Pai. Under Lin Sheng's command, Pai Pai took him on a fishing trip. As for Guzi, Lin Sheng simply made several grills and boilers. You go and place these tools over there and then make a fire to cook. Lin Sheng made arrangements for the other savages. Although I just came alone to a place where there was no plan to farm. Lin Sheng took out the spring. The place where the spring was placed needed a well. Lin Sheng waved and said to Guzi. Can you make a well? Of course master. But we may not have enough stones. Guzi said. Chapter 24 Big Pot Rice on the Ark. After hearing what Guzi said, Lin Sheng was stunned. He actually forgot to collect stones when he went to the island. 
The main reason was that the use of stones was too little. So Lin Sheng forgot about this matter. So Lin Sheng asked Guzi, Did you bring any stones up here? Some owners. But our stones are all used as pillows or stools. Guzi replied, Oh, that's fine. Give me as many stones as your savage tribe has brought. Without collecting stones, this is not a difficult task for Lin Sheng. After all, he is a man with a hundredfold increase. As long as there are stones, one unit can be transformed into a hundred units in minutes. After waiting for a short time, Guzi and two savages transported the stones they carried to the Ark. Savages do not have backpack rails and can only rely on baskets or other containers to load and unload these items. After Guzi unloaded the stones, Lin Sheng put all the stones into his backpack in one breath. Just forget it if you count it yourself. Why not use the statistics in the backpack column? Get stone plus 20. There were a total of 20 units of stones. Lin Sheng immediately boosted the amplitude of these stones by a hundred times. Then he took out a hundred stones and gave them to Guzi. Take it. Hurry up and make a well for me. Guzi took the stone handed over by Lin Sheng. His eyes full of doubts. Although he didn't understand why his master had so many stones in his hand, he still had to collect the stones brought by everyone in the tribe. But he was he didn't even ask. A slave should do whatever the master tells him to do. Pai Pai soon pulled a big fish over. What I have to say is that the big fish caught by this faction is really big. If the small raft had not been upgraded to an ark, the raft would probably have shaken violently. Boss, the fish is here. Pai Pai came to Lin Sheng. Drop the big fish and then smoked the pipe in his mouth. Okay, let someone come over and process this fish. After Lin Sheng arranged and issued the order, he also discovered that the hunger points of his piranhas were almost full. Lin Sheng found a location closer to the sea and gathered all the piranhas. These are his seed bodyguards from the raft to the ark, and he cannot let these piranhas starve to death. Otherwise, where would you find so many sensible and obedient piranha bodyguards? At Lin Sheng's call, the piranhas gathered together. Lin Sheng fed most of the meat in his backpack to these piranhas. The shark meat has three days of shelf life left, and the quantity is 1,000. The bread has 26 days of shelf life left, and the quantity is 2,000. The octopus claws have 12 days of shelf life left, and the quantity is 2,000. After Lin Sheng finished feeding the piranhas, he returned to the deck, started making wooden tables and wooden chairs again. Sixty sets of seats appeared on the deck of the Arkansas Lin Sheng took over the 100-pound unknown fish that had been processed and ordered the savages to start placing the seats. And he went to cook the food. Lin Sheng collected hundreds of one-pound sea bass that others had caught and put them into his backpack to feed the piranhas. The rest were grilled on the grill. Then the big fish is divided into pieces and put into the pot to cook the fish soup. After a lot of work, Lin Sheng took out a lot of seasonings and waited for the right time to sprinkle these seasonings into each pot in an orderly manner. The fragrant fragrance immediately spread to every corner of the ark. Pai Pai came over, sniffed and said, Boss, what kind of food do you have? And why is it so fragrant? Isn't it just fish meat? Can't you catch it yourself? Lin Sheng rolled his eyes at the other person, and then continued cooking. Many savages from the savage tribe raised their heads and looked over. The laughter in his mouth could not help but flow down. Guzi was the first to react and wiped off his own hair and said loudly to the other savages, What are you doing? Wipe off your hair quickly and don't do such embarrassing things in front of the master. After Guzi finished speaking, the other savages obeyed his instructions very obediently. Start the pot! Lin Sheng shouted, indicating that it was time to eat. Then he began to use the tableware brought by the savage to serve the meal. Not to mention that although they are all savages, their life is still quite unique. There are actually stone bowls carved out of stones. Lin Shun looked at the stone bowl and thought in his mind, Alas, the revolution has not yet succeeded. It will take a long time before my life develops into a catastrophic situation. Lin Shun prepared two portions of fish soup and grilled fish, and took out four more loaves of bread from his backpack. Pai Pai, take the food to old Jack and eat with him as his companion. After Lin Shun finished speaking, Pai Pai did not hesitate, waiting beside Lin Shun. He was already so greedy for the fish soup and grilled fish that he almost drooled. If it weren't for the pipe in his mouth that made him smoke desperately, he might not have been able to. He had already eaten it secretly while Lin Sheng was not paying attention. Okay. After the words fell, Pipe Pai took the food and left to go to the captain's cabin. Guzi, come here and help carry it away. After Guzi heard Lin Sheng's words, he immediately brought the savage to line up. 
but this was not bad. Soon every savage took away a grilled fish, a bowl of fish soup and two breads. Lin Shum also took two meals and came to a quarter alone. Lin Shum opened the ancient book and sent a chat video to Shen Ling. The video opens. Lin Shum was immediately surprised. There is a dolphin next to Shen Ling. Sister Ling, what's going on with your dolphin? You wouldn't grab a dolphin so fiercely and want to eat it. Right. Lin Sheng asked jokingly. In the gamified world, dolphins can be said to be the only sea mounts that can become survivors. But it is also extremely difficult to obtain. Because generally dolphins will not be caught by survivors. No. My sister encountered a shark today. And it was thanks to your spear that I killed the shark. I rescued the dolphin by the way. And then the dolphin followed me and never left. Shen Ling explained. Lin Sheng smiled and said, That's a good relationship. Congratulations. Sister, you got a sea mount. At this time, Shen Ling also noticed the completely different style of background behind Lin Sheng and asked in surprise, Chao Sheng, do you really own the Ark? It's really amazing. Ha ha. Of course. Sister, now that I have an Ark, you can rest assured and wait for me to come find you. But it may take a little longer. Okay. Let's not talk anymore. You can accept the food I give you. After Lin Shun said this, looking at Shen Ling's pretty face in the video, he thought, it's almost time. We can reach you in a month at most. Maybe it can be faster. Chapter 25 Infinite Enchanted Books Planting As night fell, Lin Shun cut off the call with Shen Ling after eating. Then he looked at the dog beside him. Master, the water well has been manufactured. But if we install the water well at sea, and there is no land, there will be no water coming out. Guzi said seriously. Huh? Guzi, are you stupid? I really don't have land. So I brought the spring left by your ancestors. If there is a spring, won't there be water? Lin Shun said. Guzi patted his head naively and led Lin Shun to the location of the planting area. Lin Shun said, Let's put it next to here. The nine acres of land will be used for planting. When the time comes, two acres of land will be used for farming. The location where the water will be drawn will be the closest location on both sides. Although the initial idea was to plant 10 acres of land in the place summarized before. In the end, only about 9 acres of planting pots were placed. The dog placed the well on the deck and secured it. If it were on land, according to the current rules of the game, water would automatically come out as soon as the well was set down. But since it is not land, the well that is half a man high is placed. And the bottom is still the wooden planks of the deck. Lin Sheng immediately took out the spring and placed it in the well. The next moment, the blue light in the well lit up and then dimmed again. The well seemed to have turned into an ordinary well. But in the well, the well water was just full to the wellhead. Lin Sheng held up several handfuls of water and drank it into his mouth. Lin Sheng only felt that his mind had become much clearer and he seemed extremely comfortable. And the well water that just sank a little bit refilled the well the next moment. Okay, Guzi. Let everyone rest tonight. After Lin Shun said this, he made a dozen cabins and taught the savages to assemble them by themselves. A dozen or so cabins soon appeared on the ark. And these savages entered the cabins to sleep after their own discussion. Under the night, the bright moon is in the sky. And the white moonlight seems to be opening the way for the ark. Lighting up the way forward for the ark. The fifth day of world catastrophe. Lin Shun woke up leisurely from the raft and, as always, multiplied all the materials in his backpack hundreds of times. The sign-in system's prompt sounded in Lin Sheng's ears. Sign in to get the drawing method of infinite enchanted books. After hearing the rewards obtained by the sign-in system, Lin Sheng immediately became energetic. How to draw an enchanted book? Just don't be too awesome. The drawing method of this enchanted book is a very rare item. Only when you enter the underwater adventure can you have a certain chance of obtaining it. And the conditions for obtaining it are very strict. Of course, some people who are lucky can get it. For example, among the billions of survivors in the previous life, there were only a few dozen people who could become enchanters. And each enchanter had different enchanting abilities. In order to enchant their equipment, some people consume a lot of materials to get the opportunity to enchant. And the weapon I want to build next is a bow and arrow. Let's not talk about bows. As for arrows, they are consumables. Although they can be recycled after use. In this vast sea, it is undoubtedly a matter of finding a needle in a haystack to recover the arrows you shot. With this enchanted book, everyone equipped with a bow and an arrow will have a steady stream of firepower. Master! Master! When I woke up in the morning, 
I saw a treasure chest floating on the sea. I opened it and saw a gold coin and a blank enchanted book. Guzi hurried in and reported to him. Lin Sheng immediately stood up from the bed. Blank enchanted book. He had just obtained unlimited drawing methods for enchanted books. And now Guzi had given himself a blank enchanted book. This was simply unlucky luck. Oh. No. Did the sign-in system know that I would get a blank enchanted book today? Or did the sign-in system give myself this reward because I got a blank enchanted book? Lin Sheng shook his head and ignored the question of which came first. The chicken or the egg? And took the blank enchanted book from Guzi's hand. Putting the blank enchanted book into his backpack. Lin Sheng used the hundredfold amplitude ability in the next moment. Blank enchanted book plus 100. The method to draw an enchanter's book is rare. And enchanted books are not easy to obtain. Lin Sheng was also grateful that his hundredfold amplitude ability could be used on the enchanted book. Lin Sheng learned about infinity in the next moment. After learning infinity, Lin Sheng discovered that there was an enchanted page on the page of his book. When you open it, you will see that there is only one infinite drawing. Enchanted books unlimited. Function, enchant on weapon consumables. Blank enchanted book one. Spiritual spring water one. Lin Sheng finally understood at this moment that the infinite enchanted book needed to consume spiritual spring water. It's no wonder that the infinite enchanter in the previous life joined the force that got the spiritual spring. Everything is an exchange of interests. Lin Sheng immediately said, Guzi, let's go to the Link One water. Okay, master. But master, what should we plant today and how should we plant it? Guzi had been waiting outside and did not dare to enter Lin Sheng's room for fear of disturbing Lin Sheng's sleep. It was only at this time that the matter of planting was brought up. For example, when their savage tribe followed them to the Ark, they kept hearing Lin Sheng talk about farming. Lin Sheng slapped his forehead and then remembered this matter. Then let me make some arrangements for you later. As soon as he finished speaking, Lin Sheng followed Guzi to the planting area. Let me see what seeds you have in total. After Guzi heard Lin Sheng's words, he asked someone to take out the seeds without saying a word. Lin Sheng looked at the seeds and nodded. There are seven kinds of seeds, rice, wheat, peanuts, sweet potatoes, radishes, leeks, and green vegetables. As for Lin Sheng himself, he had six kinds of seeds, ginger, garlic, pepper, apple, coconut, and tomato. There are 13 types of seeds in total. Lin Sheng told Guzi, Go, take all these seeds, and plant one kind of seed in one plot. When planting, Lin Sheng followed the plan of dividing the land one by one. Now it is just a matter of planting a small area of land according to the plan. Okay, master. I will take my people to plant it now. After Lin Sheng sent Guzi away, he turned around and came to the edge of the spiritual spring. Lin Sheng opened a blank enchanted book and dipped his hand into some spiritual water. Then draw according to the drawing method. At the beginning, Lin Sheng felt that his speed was very unfamiliar. But after completing the drawing and measuring a book, Lin Sheng completely mastered this method. Get unlimited plus one from enchanted books. Chapter 26 Refining Furnace Infinite Arrows Lin Sheng continued to draw. Enchanted Book Infinite. According to the skills he had learned. Get unlimited plus one from enchanted books. Get unlimited plus one from enchanted books. After drawing 55 books in a row, Lin Sheng gave up and did not continue drawing. The remaining blank enchanted books can be drawn when needed in the future. Maybe the system will give him an enchanted book when he signs in. Ability. Comparing this sign-in system. It seems that it gives you the things you need most and are very rare. At this time, Lin Sheng took out the bow and arrow manufacturing diagram that Guzi had given him before and studied it. After learning this, Lin Sheng suddenly received two manufacturing items. Longbow manufacturing. Plank 2. Rope 1. Arrow manufacturing. Fine iron 1. Plank 1. Feather 1. After Lin Sheng saw the materials needed to make these two items, Lin Sheng immediately created a refining furnace. The smelting furnace is the tool necessary to smelt iron pieces into refined iron. Refined iron. Iron piece 2. Coal 1. Lin Sheng immediately took out 10 materials and put them into the refining furnace. It takes 10 minutes to wait for the refined iron to be smelted. Lin Sheng could not wait here forever, but walked towards the location of the hen. The manufacture of arrows also requires feathers. On this arc, except for hens, no other animals had feathers. Hen, do you think I'm good to you? Lin Sheng held the bread in one hand and spoke to the hen with a smile on his face. His expression was like that of a strange man who abducted a child. Giggle! 
the hand looked wary, and guarded the chick tightly behind her. The message conveyed by those eyes is, What are you going to do? I have promised to give you eggs. Are you still not willing to let go of my children? Of course, Lin Shun will not kill these chicks. Maybe when the bloodline is activated, it will be a treasure. If you want to eat chicken, just wait until the next time you find an island to catch a few ordinary chickens and raise them. What's that look in your eyes? Am I that kind of person? After Lin Sheng was suspected by the hen, he immediately said with a dark face, Giggle? The hen asked Lin Sheng what he was going to do. What to do? Of course. I just want something on you that is not painful or itchy. Lin Sheng looked at the hen with a smile and said, Giggle! After noticing Lin Sheng's eyes on the visitor's butt, the hen suddenly looked horrified. Cackle! Cluck! The hen crowed crazily, and Lin Sheng sensed the hen's meaning in his heart. Sir! Please let me go! I am a domestic chicken, and we are of different races. Lin Sheng. I'll go to your different tribes. What I want is your feathers. Okay? Do not move! Lin Sheng scolded him. And as Lin Sheng's pet, the hen immediately did not dare to move. Kakik! Sir! Please be gentle. Lin Shinka didn't care so much and just started plucking the feathers. Slightly. A mournful cry echoed through the sky. Okay. It's none of your business. Lin Sheng, who got the feather, left with excitement on his face. The hen that had its feathers plucked was lying on the ground with a look of despair. Ji Sheng's biggest shame is what happened today. But Lin Sheng is its master. Get feather plus ten. A hundredfold increase. Get feathers plus one thousand. When Lin Sheng returned to the refining furnace, Ten minutes had passed quietly. Lin Sheng opened the refining furnace and thought to himself, This refined iron can also be increased a hundred times. But the time it takes to refining the furnace is too long. I was decisive and used the hundredfold increase. Get refined iron plus one thousand. Lin Sheng now has all the materials he needs. The long forging journey began immediately. Get a normal longbow. Get the artifact longbow. Congratulations on your first creation of the artifact longbow and you will receive the achievement reward. God level archery hits the target 100%. Artifact longbow. Range 100 meters. Range plus 10 meters. Get ordinary arrows. Get artifact arrows. Congratulations on being the first to make an artifact arrow. And get the achievement reward critical strike special effects. Artifact arrow. Attack power 100. Attack power 10. As for those artifact level arrows and long bows, Lin Shun disintegrated them all. The enchanted book drawn before was used by Lin Sheng to enchant all the arrows. After possessing unlimited arrows, Lin Sheng strengthened the artifact bows and arrows he used. Strengthen plus 1. Strengthen plus 10. Artifact longbow plus 10. Range 100 meters plus 100 meters. Range 10 meters plus 10 meters. Artifact arrow plus 10. Attack power 100 plus 100. Attack power 10 plus 10. Additional damage times 10%. Enchantment effects, unlimited. Lin Shun looked at the longbow and arrows that he had strengthened. The shooting range of 220 meters is twice as far as the artifact before the enhancement. With the achievement reward, you can definitely hit within 220 meters. Looking at the attack power. It's amazing. The attack power of 220 plus 10% is 242. And adding 5 points of strength to your own strength is equal to 10 points of damage so you can deal 252 damage. Although this is the same power as the spear, it is stronger than the critical hit rewarded by the achievement, which is double to 504. If faced with 10% damage to marine life again, the octopus with 10,000 HP that we encountered before could only be solved with 20 arrows. Generally speaking, my combat effectiveness has doubled now compared to before. Lin Sheng made a bow and arrow and walked towards Guzi and others. When Lin Sheng came to Guzi and others, Lin Sheng found that Guzi and others had actually planted the seeds in the 13 points of land, and had even drawn water from the spiritual spring to complete the irrigation. Lin Sheng waved to Guzi and others and said, Come here, and we must equip you with weapons at sea. After Guzi heard Lin Sheng's words, his eyes suddenly lit up. Although their savage tribe is also a tribe that is proficient in manufacturing, but all their tools and weapons are made of stone, and their levels are pitifully low. Now after hearing Lin Sheng's words, Guzi immediately thought of the spear that Lin Sheng had given them before. That's an artifact. This time, they will be equipped with weapons, which must also be artifacts. Thinking of getting another artifact, Guzi excitedly said to everyone in the tribe, Come here and gather. 
after the people from the savage tribe came together. Lin Sheng distributed the artifact bows and arrows in his hands, and told them that the arrows and the artifact bows were inexhaustible. And after they were used up, an identical arrow would appear again. When Guzi heard this, he thanked Lin Sheng. Thank you, master, for the reward. Lin Sheng waved his hand, and Guzi couldn't wait to run to the ark to set up his bow and draw arrows. The arrow shot out suddenly. Lin Sheng? Isn't it just a 110 meter shooting range? Why would it be exceeded in the hands of savages? After a while, Lin Sheng could only define it as savages were not normal people, and the same weapons would reach different limits in their hands. Ah! A tender cry of pain suddenly came from the sea. Chapter 27 The Mermaid Asking for Help Could the dog have shot the survivor? This was what Lin Sheng had in mind. Master, am I causing trouble? Guzi asked a little uneasily after hearing the sound. The arrow shot by Guzi was probably 150 meters away. Lin Sheng was also unsure and said, Let's take a look first and then talk. Lin Sheng. Guzi and a group of people lay on the edge of the ark and looked into the sea. Everyone wanted to know if the dog had gotten into trouble. In Lin Sheng's eyes, on the sea, a figure had an arrow in his arm, his loose blue hair fluttering in the wind, and he only wore two sh ls on his upper body. Although there was a painful expression on his face, his eyes were full of determination, and he was fighting desperately. Looking behind her, there was a group of people chasing the woman. Master, what should I do? I seem to have really gotten into trouble. Do you want to save someone? Guzi saw that his arrow hit the fleeing woman, and he still felt regretful in his heart. At this moment, Pai Pai ran out of the captain's cabin. Boss, there's a situation. Before Pai Pai could finish his words, he found that Lin Sheng and others were already looking at what he wanted to report. What happened to Pai Pai? Lin Sheng noticed that Pai Pai was halfway speaking. So he asked, Boss, aren't you watching? What I want to say is about the mermaid tribe and the sharks. Pai Pai said helplessly. What? What did you say? Mermaid? Lin Sheng asked in surprise when he heard Pai Pai's words. Yes, boss, didn't you see that the girl has SH? LS on her body? She also swims with the tail of a fish, and her speed is not comparable to that of us humans, Pai Pai said matter-of-factly. Lin Sheng suddenly looked at Pai Pai with a strange look on his face. You are still a one-eyed person. Can you really see clearly something more than a hundred meters away? As if he understood the meaning of Lin Sheng's eyes. Pai Pai held down his pipe and said, Boss, I was born with small eyes. Besides, I am not one-eyed, but my eyes are too small. My eyesight is definitely not a problem. By the way, boss, what we have to face now is the shark chasing the mermaid. While the two were talking, the mermaid girl had already arrived under the ark. The mermaid girl looked up at the ark, saw the pursuers behind her, and immediately shouted loudly, Good people on the ship, can you help me? After I am out of danger, I will return to the mermaid palace and give us mermaid treasures as a thank you. After hearing the mermaid girls cry for help, Lin Sheng almost lost his footing. Are you being handed a good guy card by someone casually? Oh no. By a mermaid? But after thinking of the second half of the mermaid girl's words, his eyes lit up. The mermaid clan has a lot of wealth and treasures. Gold coins are not used so far, but they will be very useful in the later stages. In addition, there are those treasures that can emit light. The lower level of the arc is pitch dark. It would be good if we could get some mermaid treasures for lighting purposes. Lin Sheng touched his chin and looked at the mermaid girl in the sea. Lin Sheng was also curious about the mermaid. Even in his previous life, Lin Sheng had only heard of it but never seen it. What did this mermaid look like? Lin Sheng was still curious in his heart. I can save you, but I can only save you after you sign a slave contract with me to ensure that you will not be dangerous to us. Lin Sheng felt that this was a good sum, but he didn't know the mermaid's character and whether he would be greedy and retaliate after he saved others. After hearing that she was about to sign a slave contract, the mermaid girl also had the idea of reluctance in her heart. But the pursuers behind her were already approaching. If she hesitated any longer, she would definitely be caught by the Charmin tribe. Okay, I sign the slave contract, the mermaid girl said loudly. Lin Sheng did not hesitate and dropped a contract. Just press your fingerprint. I'll have someone rescue you. The mermaid girl looked at the contract she received in her hand. Are you going to become a slave? I am so unwilling. But, I hope the people on board are good people. She gritted her teeth and immediately put her hand seal on it. This was also a helpless move after being forced into a desperate situation. A ray of light shone. 
and the slave contract returned to Lin Sheng's mind. A smile appeared on Lin Sheng's lips. Guzi! Let someone shoot the arrow! Save the girl! Good master! Guzi waved his hand, and a group of savages stood on the edge of the ark, knocking arrows and drawing bows. Let that girl go, and let me do it! Guzi shouted. With a whoosh sound, the arrow flew out and penetrated the head of a sharp pursuer. Crit 220. The blood bar on the head of the sharp pursuer was immediately cleared. Then arrows from the hands of other savages flew out. The sharp pursuers in the sea suddenly panicked when they saw the rain of arrows in the sky. But before they could react, they were all killed by arrows. As for the corpse, the piranha can afford another meal less. The mermaid girl came to the deck. Since she had no legs, she could only sit on her knees on the deck. Lin Shun looked at it curiously. TSK TSK. It really is a tail. This face is delicate. And the eyes are not small. It is a relatively standard European and American face. The mermaid girl felt uncomfortable being slapped in the face by Lin Sheng's eyes. And said coyly, Thank you for your life-saving grace. Kong Kongi will try to contact his father as soon as possible to pay the reward. Kong Kongi? This name looks so familiar. It seems to be the boss of a certain instance in a game with 8 million warriors. Okay. Then you stay here first. Anyway, Lin Sheng is not afraid of her betrayal or runaway slave contract. Lin Sheng will be aware of any evil thoughts Kong Kong he has at the first time. Kong Kong he smiled when she saw that Lin Sheng had no other thoughts about her. Only, oh, it's a pity that a good face was ruined by just one tooth. Lin Sheng sighed in his heart when he saw Kong Kong he's pointed teeth under his smile. Pipey, let's go fishing. If the dog is fine, you should go and rest for a while. Lin Sheng took Pai Pai to go fishing. Guzi smiled apologetically at Kong Kongi and then left, leaving Kong Kongi alone as a fish on the edge of the deck looking worriedly into the sea. While Lin Sheng was fishing, a small raft suddenly floated on the sea. The man on the raft was looking at Lin Sheng with a telescope. After a while, the man shouted in surprise. Lin Sheng! Is that you? Lin Sheng was stunned, lowered his head, and saw the woman waving and calling him. This person looks familiar. I seem to have seen him somewhere. It's me! Shirley! We are colleagues! And you pursued me! When Xiaoli saw Lin Sheng seeing her, she immediately shouted in surprise. Can you let me go on your ship? Xiaoli suddenly began to plead pitifully again. Shirley, Lin Sheng's colleague before the disaster. Lin Sheng was obsessed with her at first. But in the end, she was treated like a licking dog who came and went away at a moment's notice. That was a sad memory. After all, who hasn't been young? As for what Shili is talking about now. Take her in? Lin Shum didn't have this idea in his mind. So why would he take an irrelevant people? When Xiaoli saw that Lin Shum didn't reply to her, she took it as Lin Shum's acquiescence and decided to get on the boat first. As for getting on the boat, Xiaoli believed that as long as she acted coquettishly and gave some benefits, no man would refuse her. Xiaoli paddled the raft closer to the ark. Lin Shum frowned and immediately grabbed the long bow on his back, knocked an arrow, and pointed the bow at Xiaoli. Get out of here or die! Chapter 28 The shark soldiers came riding on sharks, facing the bow and arrow in Lin Sheng's hand. Xiaoli also stopped paddling the raft and froze in fear. She also didn't expect that her former Diosi colleague, Cataclysm, had his own big ship these days, and was still so indifferent to her. But what she didn't expect was that for her. Less than a week had passed. But for Lin Sheng, it was a rebirth, and he had already looked down upon everything. Except for Shenling, a woman who was willing to die for him. His heart would never have any waves again. Lin Sheng, I am Shili. Didn't you like me before? Are you willing to point your bow and arrow at me like this? Xiaoli said pretending to be aggrieved. I know. But what does the past have to do with me? Who can have it easy in this catastrophic world? For the sake of my colleagues. Let's go! Lin Sheng said. Lin Sheng. As long as you are willing to help me. Everything I have is yours. She only looked at the ark under Lin Sheng's feet. And then at the raft under her own feet. She really wanted to go to Lin Sheng's ark. She only reluctantly approached Lin Sheng's ark. At this moment, the arrow in Lin Sheng's hand shot out suddenly. The arrow scratched off a corner of Shelly's clothes. And Shelly turned pale with fright. And she immediately knelt on her raft. Shelly was really scared now. The Lin Sheng she once knew no longer existed and her original idea of relying on her beauty to get close to Lin Sheng to gain protection was also gone. She stared at Lin Sheng blankly, and finally chose to save her own life. 
The raft beneath her body gradually moved away from Lin Sheng's arc under the paddling of her trembling little hands. Lin Sheng slowly lowered the long bow in his hand. Lin Sheng couldn't bear any turmoil in his heart. Anyway, as long as he didn't come looking for him, it would be fine. Besides, this was no longer the past. What is the purpose of Lin Sheng bringing Shili with him? She doesn't need vases. But will she do things like farming, breeding and guarding the ark? Lin Sheng said to Pai Pai. Continue to monitor every corner of the sea. As long as someone comes close to us, we will deviate from the channel with them. If we must chase them, use this to drive them away. If we can't deal with the temptation alone, let the savage brothers let's help you. After saying this, Lin Sheng handed Pai Pai a bow, an arrow, that had been blessed with infinite enchantments. Pai Pai nodded, but did not continue to stay on the ark and started patrolling. Lin Sheng returned to the savages and saw many savages building sheds to breed the animals they had brought. Master, we don't have enough wood to build a shed. A savage woman saw Lin Sheng's arrival and immediately spoke to Lin Sheng. Ah, that's it. You can use these. Lin Sheng took out a lot of wooden boards, iron sheets, and cloth from his backpack and placed them on the ground for the savages to use as they pleased. Lin Sheng continued to spin around on the ark again, and the hen and her chicks were walking on the deck. Suddenly, Lin Sheng saw the mermaid girl he had rescued before jumping up and down the deck in front of him. Hmm? Calm, Kongi. Are you okay? Lin Sheng asked. Faced with Lin Sheng's inquiry, Kong Kongi didn't know how to state his request. The atmosphere fell into silence for a while. Above the ocean, Shili, who was separated from Ark, drifted to an unknown sea area unknowingly. She didn't know exactly how long she had been floating. She just felt that a long time had passed. And the reason why she was so excited when she saw Lin Sheng before was because her supplies were completely exhausted. There wasn't a drop of water on him. Seeing that his lips were chapped, he collapsed on the raft almost dehydrated. Am I going to die? Xiaoli yelled the last sentence. And when her eyes turned completely dark, a pair of feet appeared in front of her. He he, he looks pretty good, but I don't know if he can survive. On the ark, after struggling for a long time, Kong Kongi finally said to Lin Sheng, Master, can you take me home? I promise that as long as you take me back home, I can give you double the reward. Lin Sheng looked at Kong Kongi and narrowed his eyes, thinking in his mind. I think this matter must not be that simple. Since you said such words, your status in your mermaid clan is probably not low, and you were hunted out by someone. Pai Pai also told me that mermaids and mermaids are the same race. It must be some kind of disaster that happened to your mermaid clan. Right. Lin Sheng expressed his judgment. Kong Kongi's expression changed after hearing this, and she could feel the reluctance in Lin Sheng's tone. Master, can you help me? Kong Kongi still looked at Lin Sheng with expectation in her heart. That our deal doesn't seem to be equal. You see, I saved you and you have promised to give me some thank you gifts. And once I send you back to your mermaid tribe, that's not just a simple matter of sending you back. I will definitely be targeted by your mermaid enemies. Isn't this just causing trouble for myself? Lin Sheng said seriously. To be honest, he would still go to the mermaid tribe, but he couldn't go in vain. At least, he had to maximize the benefits and get more materials to build his own ark. You must know that the mermaid tribe has always been just a legend. As for whether it's true or false, if it hasn't happened, why is it mentioned? Let's take it as true. After countless years of accumulation, there must be so many treasures. I feel sorry for myself if I don't make a good profit at this time. Master, I am actually a princess of the mermaid clan. I can decide on behalf of my father that half of the treasures in the mermaid palace's treasure house will be used as a thank you gift to the master. After Kong Kongi finished speaking, he looked at Lin Sheng with a faint look, expecting Lin Sheng's reply. Half. Quite a lot. Just when Lin Sheng was about to agree, Pai Pai hurried over and said, Boss, something bad has happened. Our ark is surrounded. What? Lin Sheng was immediately shocked. We are surrounded. Did the Flying Eagle gang from before come to find us? Did the survivors do it? Lin Sheng asked seriously. No. 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 The bosses are the sharks we killed before. This time a large number of sharks came. And they all rode sharks and surrounded us. There were hundreds in number. Pai Pai was also covered in cold sweat. He didn't expect so many sharks to come. Have the bosses stabbed the shark's nest? After Pai Pai finished speaking, he glanced at Kong Kongi with lingering fear, which meant that this mermaid tribe should be the fault. 
and Lin Chung doesn't have the intention to bargain with Kong Kong at the moment. So let's not mention the matter for the time being. It took less than a day to build my own ark. But it was destroyed by those sharks before my, but was even warmed up. Comparatively, the ark is currently just a slightly larger ship. Chapter 29 Resistance No doctor. Let's go! Pai Pai will lead the way! After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he followed Pai Pai, and then shouted loudly to Guzi who was busy. Guzi! All the people who have called you are ready to fight! After Guzi heard Lin Sheng's call, he immediately summoned all the busy savages over. When Lin Sheng came to the edge of the ark, what he saw was a vast sea, with green-faced and fanged sharks. Their bodies were tightly wrapped in fish scales, and there were sharks stepping on them. The mounts were surrounding the ark from a distance at extremely fast speeds. These sharks all held spears made of huge fish bones in their hands. If you count carefully, there are as many as 300 in number. And the total number of people on his ark, including himself, Pai Pai and the savages, was only 53 people, divided evenly, unless one person kills more than six sharks. And those who are truly capable of combat need to exclude those child savages. That is, there are only 43 people. Lin Sheng swallowed his saliva. This is the biggest crisis we have faced since our rebirth. Lin Sheng's expression suddenly became serious. Guzi, have everyone line up and aim at these sharks. When they get into range, they will shoot them hard. Lin Sheng was so anxious that he yelled out. The sharks riding sharks were only a thousand meters away from his ark. It wouldn't take long for these sharks to get close to the ark. If left unchecked, the ark would be lost. After hearing the order, Guzi responded and arranged for his tribe members. The sharks still have 900 meters to reach the ark. The sharks still have 500 meters to reach the ark. The sharks still have 200 meters to reach the ark. Fire the arrow! Lin Sheng roared. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. All the savages who had already knocked arrows and drew their bows released their hands on the bow strings. And the arrows turned into a rain of arrows and soared into the sky. Shooting towards the sky above the sharks. Arrows fell towards the sharks like falling stars. Bright red numbers lit up on the bodies of the 300 shark soldiers. Dash 100. Dash 132. Dash 123. The attack power of each savage is different. The arrow shot by Lin Sheng hit a shark. And large red numbers floated on its head. Dash 555. In an instant, the shark's blood volume was emptied, and he fell into the sea. Lin Sheng thought to himself that since he could kill the opponent instantly, he could still fight. At the same time, I felt lucky in my heart. These sharks were not the octopuses from before. Otherwise, with such a large number, they would really have no choice but to run away. Oh no, you probably can't escape either. Just as the arrow in the wildlings' hands was shot out of their hands, another arrow suddenly appeared. This was all due to the effect of the infinite enchantment book. Let this consumable appear continuously. Those savages who used to hunt a lot on the island were very annoyed by the lack of arrows after the arrows were consumed. Now the arrows can be used unlimitedly. And cheers continue for a while. The cheers turn into the sound of arrows being fired. On average, these savages kill a shark with three arrows. As for the shark at the shark's feet, after the shark was shot, it escaped from the shark's control and dived into the sea with a pop, and did not continue to emerge. Fortunately, these sharks have not been tamed by the sharks, Lin Sheng said happily, but the arrows in his hand kept flying. Facing the arrows, the sharks looked left and right, watching helplessly as their clan members died. But they were helpless. However, there was no fear on their faces. Instead, they became increasingly angry, making their faces even more ferocious. 80 meters, 50 slash 300 shark casualties. 50 meters, 120 slash 300 shark casualties. 30 meters, 210 slash 300 shark casualties. 10 meters, 270 slash 300 shark casualties. After all, 30 sharks slipped through the net. These sharks immediately gave up on the sharks under their feet, kicked their feet hard, and flew into the air, holding the fish bone weapons in their hands high. The shark used as a pedal was stepped on and sank into the sea. Lin Sheng saw the shark's jumping ability was so strong. He immediately put down his bow and arrow and took out his spear. The spear peeled off a piece of the shark's skin and blocked the fish bone weapon that the shark struck from the air. After blocking, the spear in Lin Sheng's hand turned and cut off the shark's head. Immediately, the shark fell directly from the sky and fell into the sea. Lin Sheng's side handled the battle in an orderly manner. But the situation in the savage tribe was completely different. 
Some savages were frightened by the jumping sharks. And when they were distracted, the sharks took advantage of the opportunity and left a wound on their body. The sharks also successfully boarded the deck. And after they came up, they continued to attack the injured savages relentlessly. Lin Shun became angry when he saw more than 20 sharks coming onto the deck. These are all troublesome labor forces for you. If you don't have them, who will farm for you? Who breeds them for themselves? In addition, he is also planning to teach them how to cook, so that he will not have to cook in the future. These beautiful futures will be destroyed by these sharks. The sin is unpardonable. Lin Shun waved the spear in his hand and killed one shark after another. The spear in his hand was thrown directly through the body of a shark and nailed it to the deck, taking advantage of the situation. He knocked an arrow in his hand and drew the bow and shot out arrows one after another, saving the savages who were almost killed from the hands of the sharks. Pai Pai was also angry. He took out a can of spinach and ate it. The anger in his body suddenly surged, and he tore the shark in front of him in half with his bare hands. After the battle, Lin Shum dropped the bow and arrow in his hand and sat directly on the deck. Gani, you are so tired, Lin Shum complained, and Guzi came to Lin Shum. How about the death of Guzi? Lin Shun asked when he saw Guzi coming. Master, I just want to say that our people are not dead at this time. But everyone is injured, and I am afraid they will not survive. Guzi reported with a serious expression. What? He's not dead, and he can't live. What nonsense are you talking about? Bitch? Lin Shun couldn't help but cursed. If he's not dead, he's not dead. Wouldn't it be better to get some treatment? Master, our savage tribe has no medical technology. Generally, if you are seriously injured, you have to wait for death without any treatment. Guzi said seriously. Lin Sheng. Medical treatment? Yes, my own ark does not have medical personnel and equipment yet. But where can we find medical equipment and doctors in this catastrophic world? Lin Sheng fell silent immediately. At this moment, Kong Kongi, who had been hiding just after the sharks got on the boat, popped out. Master, why don't you let me try? Chapter 30 Kong Kongi's Ability to Avoid Water Beats Um, it was only then that Lin Sheng discovered that Kong Kongi, who had just disappeared, actually came out to speak. After Kong Kongi said this, she jumped in front of a savage. The green light in her hand lit up, and she softly sang an unknown song. The light in her hand touched the injured savage brother. As the music ended, the savage's injuries immediately healed. It was as if he was not injured at all. And the only difference between the savage brother and the other man was that he fell asleep. Both Guzi and Lin Sheng's eyes widened. This, 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 healing magic? Lin Sheng murmured in his heart. It seems that the mermaid tribe is also a big treasure. But his ark lacks doctors. Why don't you leave this empty space behind and serve as a medical staff for your own ark? Lin Sheng felt uncertain for a moment. After watching Kong Kongi heal the injuries of the other savages, Lin Sheng looked at Kong Kongi with complicated eyes. Yes, Lin Sheng was greedy. He didn't think that the mermaid had this kind of ability before. So he thought about the mermaid going back in exchange for some treasures. At this time, Kong Kongi, who had cured the savages of the savage tribe, came over. He looked at Lin Sheng with a look of despair on his face. Master, Kong Kongi doesn't need to go back. From now on, I will follow you. Master, Kong Kongi said in a low mood. Lin Sheng? Hey, you are a mermaid. How can you not keep your words? I also plan to send you home with some more conditions. How can you say you won't go home if you don't go home? But looking at the mermaid girl's disappointed expression. The main thing is the pair of aggrieved and tearful eyes on this face that is absolutely stunning if you don't look at the teeth. Lin Sheng relented. Why don't you want to go back? Lin Sheng stroked Kong Kongi's head and said softly. Owner. Kong Kongi raised his head with a trembling voice. And suddenly threw himself into Lin Sheng's arms the next moment. Lin Sheng shook his little hand. Girl, please be more reserved. The key is that we have species isolation. Not to mention that there are already people in our hearts. At this time, Kong Kongi's lost voice came. The mermaid tribe only has 3,000 mermaid troops to attack our mermaid tribe. We, the mermaid tribe, are not vegetarians. Even if we lose the battle, the mermaid tribe will not have an easy time. Now that the sharks are able to send so many sharks, I am afraid that my parents have been captured or even killed. And my family is gone. Kong Kongi. Believe in the light. There will be hope for everything. Let the master take you to save your treasure house. 
Oh, not your parents and brothers and sisters. Lin Sheng comforted her softly, saying that the first words were well said, but later he accidentally said his true thoughts. The mermaid palace was occupied by the sharks. How could that be allowed? You know that half of the treasures in the treasure house are yours. How can you be robbed by these ugly monsters? Also, the mermaid tribe's homes are gone. So after saving them, doesn't it mean that they are adding medical personnel to their own ark? Kong Kongi was slightly stunned after listening to Lin Sheng's words, and then asked, Master, are you really willing to help me save my parents? Certainly. Listening to Lin Sheng's assurance, Kong Kongi actually knew it in his heart. But what Lin Sheng wants is just treasures. And that doesn't matter. As long as he can save his parents. What if all the treasures from the mermaid palace for thousands of years are given to Lin Sheng? Thank you. Master. Kong Kongi wiped her tears and said, Well, since we have to rescue the mermaid tribe, the most important thing is to get into the water. If we want to go to the sea, we can't breathe underwater for a long time. Lin Sheng explained his problem. Kong Kongi fell silent after hearing Lin Sheng's words. They were mermaids and could live in the water. But Lin Sheng was different. At this time, he was also at a loss. Both fell silent. An afternoon passed like this, and no one mentioned anything about going to the mermaid tribe. Of course, Lin Sheng was so unwilling in his heart. I was all prepared. But it was like that time. And I was suddenly not allowed in. It was uncomfortable. The next morning, after the disaster, day six, sign in to get waterproof beads. Waterproof beads. By holding it in the mouth, the user can isolate the seawater and have the ability to breathe underwater. Time, 24 hours. Lin Sheng woke up leisurely and felt happy when he heard the sign-in system prompt. Yesterday, I was thinking about how to get into the sea. As a result, I signed myself in now and the water-avoiding beads came out. Lin Sheng's direct use of a hundredfold increase in ability. Water repellent beads plus 100. After possessing the water-avoiding beads, Lin Sheng immediately walked out of the house and looked for Kong Kongi. He must tell Kong Kongi that he can go to the sea and prepare to go to the sea. But Lin Sheng looked left and right and didn't see Kong Kongi's figure. At this time, Guzi came over and Lin Sheng said, Have Guzi seen the mermaid? Master, Kong Kongi is at the other end of the deck, behind the planting area. Faced with Lin Sheng's inquiry, Guzi spoke without any hesitation. Good. Lin Sheng walked towards the planting area. When they arrived at the planting area, Lin Sheng saw Kong Kongi lying on the edge of the deck looking down at the sea from a distance. It's like a little girl who can never go home. Just as Lin Sheng was about to go over there, his eyes were suddenly attracted by the planting pot at his feet. Wasn't it just planted at this time yesterday? It's only been a day and these plants have grown so big. Lin Sheng also planted tomatoes before upgrading the raft into an ark. But the tomatoes were still the same as before the gamification of Cataclysm requiring a long wait before they could be planted. But what I plant now has grown in just one day. I am afraid it will be ready for harvest tomorrow. Right. Hello. Master. At this time, the savage who was watering saw Lin Sheng's arrival and immediately greeted him. Hello. These. Master. This is the function of the spiritual spring. Our tribe used to do it like this. It can be planted in one day, matured in two days, and harvested in three days. Lin Sheng heard the savage's reminder and immediately understood. After learning about the planting, Lin Sheng walked towards Kong Kongi. Lin Sheng asked, Is the girl still sad? Master, Kong Kongi doesn't. Kong Kongi argued, Okay, I know what you are thinking. I just found a prop that can go into the water. After dinner, I will go to the mermaid palace with you to save your parents. Lin Sheng said with a smile. Really? After hearing Lin Sheng's words about going to save her parents. Kong Kongi stood up excitedly. On the sea, a huge raft composed of hundreds of rafts came towards Lin Sheng's ark. There are three huge rafts in total. A hem-colored flag was hung on each raft. With the words, Flying Eagle Gang, written in big blood-red letters. Chapter 31 The Flying Eagle Gang is looking for trouble. After breakfast, everything was so peaceful on the ark. Lin Sheng just wanted to ask Guzi to inform Pai Pai to come and go down with him to the mermaid palace of Kong Kongi's family. After all, the only people on the Ark who are capable of fighting the ocean races are Lin Sheng, Pai Pai and Go Zi. The other savages are not strong enough. Not to mention the large number of women and children savages. And Guzi must stay on the Ark to manage the Ark. So the only ones who can be dispatched are Pai Pai and himself. But before Lin Sheng could say anything, 
Pai Pai almost ran over. Ah! It's Pai Pai! I just wanted to go find you! But I didn't expect you to come by yourself. So there's no need to call Guzzi to notify you. Get ready to go to the sea with me to harvest, not to help Kong Kongi protect her mermaid palace. Lin Sheng saw Pai Pai running from a distance and spoke immediately. Pai Pai suddenly stopped in front of Lin Sheng. Boss! Who who? Boss! Something bad is going on! Pai Pai said breathlessly. Huh? Why do you keep giving me trouble every day? When Lin Sheng heard Pai Pai's words, he immediately became dissatisfied. What's the big deal? The last time he said something big was bad. He was surrounded by the sharks. This time something bad happened again. Boss! No! Something really bad is going on! Just now! I saw three particularly large rafts heading towards us in the captain's cabin. And their targets were clearly aimed at us and not passing by. Pai Pai explained. Lin Xing's brows suddenly furrowed. Which blind bastard is here to cause trouble for him? Damn it. I am still preparing to seize the treasures of the mermaid palace. Are they still far away from us? What are the characteristics of those three rafts? Lin Sheng asked after thinking for a moment. Boss, their raft is the one with the flag that says Flying Eagle Gang. After hearing Pai Pai's words, Lin Sheng's heart suddenly sank. Is it true? The previous deputy leader of the Feiying Gang, Su Fei, was still slow to kill himself? This time it brings trouble to myself. But Lin Sheng wasn't that worried. It was only the sixth day. And not all the survivors were cheating like him. While Lin Sheng was speaking, the sailing arc stopped. Old Jack also ran out of the captain's room and came to Lin Sheng. Boss, our route is blocked by someone. The appearance of the other party is similar to yours. Boss, I don't know how to deal with it. Old Jack said seriously. Let's go. Come and see. Lin Sheng was also angry that the Flying Eagle Gang was actually delaying his affairs here. With Lin Sheng taking the lead, the group followed Lin Sheng in a mighty manner. Guzi waved his hand, and the savages picked up their weapons and followed the team. When Lin Sheng arrived in front of the Ark, he saw dozens of people on each raft opposite the Ark, holding bows and arrows in their hands, facing Lin Sheng with serious expressions. After a while, a guy who looked like the leader came out. He stopped and looked at Lin Sheng coldly and rebelliously. He pretended to be a gentleman and shouted from a distance. Sir, let me introduce myself first. I, Chen Ying Jun, am the leader of the Flying Eagle Gang. I wonder if Mr. Shun has met any of our Flying Eagle Gang members before. Chen Ying Jun said knowingly. He had originally arranged for the people from the Flying Eagle Gang to find Lin Sheng and plunder Lin Sheng's supplies. I haven't seen you before. Get out of the way. I don't have time to fool around with you here. Lin Sheng's tone was impolite. Facing these people from the Flying Eagle Gang, Lin Sheng didn't want to negotiate further. If the other party is sensible, he will get out of the way and save himself the trouble. Ha uh ha. -huh. Mr. Sheng, you are dishonest. Before I died, someone from the Flying Eagle Gang told me that I had seen you. I searched all the way and found you, and you actually told me that you had never seen anyone from the Flying Eagle Gang. As Chenang Jun spoke, there was a murderous intent in his eyes and his eyes were cold. You are so shameless. Old Jack drove the boat and hit the workers directly. Our ark is much stronger than the raft. Lin Sheng didn't want to talk nonsense anymore and asked Old Jack to sail the boat. Chin Ying Jun is just looking for trouble and is not a kind person at all. In Lin Sheng's mind, since the other party dared to target him, there was only one end. After hearing what Lin Sheng said, Old Jack didn't hesitate at all. Before, he only asked Lin Sheng's opinion because the other person was similar to Lin Sheng. As for the incident of hitting people with a boat, Old Jack naturally encountered many pirates when he went to sea when he was young. He was also a man who experienced killings. So he did not feel unbearable. Especially for those who want to rob him. He clearly understands that the benevolent will die unjustly. After discovering that Ark had actually started up again, Chen Ying Jun became panicked for a moment. He never thought that Lin Sheng would actually prepare for Ark to hit him. In his opinion, Lin Sheng was just an ordinary person with great luck, who would not dare to kill anyone. This is why he confidently brought hundreds of people to rob. These men brought more to move supplies. Spread out. Spread out quickly. When Chen Ying Jun saw that Fang Zhou was about to hit his raft, he shouted anxiously, If such a huge arc hits a raft, the raft will definitely be destroyed. As for the people, it's hard to say, but they will definitely be seriously injured. Chin Ying Jun hurriedly jumped to the raft on the side, and many members of the Flying Eagle Gang on the raft in the middle were also divided into two sides. 
the rafts on the left and right moved away from the ark. They watched helplessly as the ark moved forward and crushed the raft into pieces. Chinningjuan's eyes twitched, and his face was as dark as the bottom of a pot. Without the previous glow, Maid, when I call you my father, do you really think of yourself as my father? Flying Eagle helps everyone release arrows. Shoot this master to death and let him go and keep company with King Yama. Chen Ingjun said angrily. Swipe! 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 The people on the two rafts of the Flying Eagle Gang raised their long bows and knocked arrows, aiming at Lin Sheng. Yes, this is the confidence of the Flying Eagle Gang. Being isolated by the sea, long-distance attacks have become the best weapon for survivors to rob others. The people the Flying Eagle Gang recently robbed also relied on this method. Chen Ingjun smiled evilly and threatened. Master Sheng, I know you have a magical weapon but it is only a close quarters weapon. So how can you deal with the bows and arrows of hundreds of us by yourself? Alone? Who said I was alone? Who else told you that I have close quarters weapons? Lin Shun looked at Chen Ingjun with a smile. Guzi and others were still behind earlier and did not appear on the edge of the deck. Chen Ingjun and the others did not see them at all. And now, as Lin Xing's words fell, one head, two heads, three heads, including Lin Shun. There were 53 people in total and all of them held bows and arrows. People on both sides were at war with each other. Chapter 32 The group is destroyed. The direction of the mermaid palace. Well? Chin Ing Jun suddenly widened his eyes. There are more than 50 people, which is half of the entire Flying Eagle gang. How can this be? Chin Ing Jun had this ridiculous idea in his mind. He himself knew exactly how the Flying Eagle gang managed to win over so many people. It was a combination of coaxing and deceiving and it took the efforts of dozens of people from the entire Flying Eagle gang to have so many people. But Lin Shun was alone. Don't be afraid. We have more people than them, and they will not be our opponents. If we kill Mr. Shang and seize the supplies, this ark will also be ours, and we won't have to live a life of wind and rain on the raft. After Chen Ying Jun reacted, he gritted his teeth and yelled fiercely, raising his morale to its peak. Sure enough, under the leadership of Chen Ying Jun, these members of the Flying Eagle Gang became restless one by one, as if they had been shot to death. Each one of them fired arrows at Lin Sheng and others. Master, I'm here to help too. Kong Kongi had just learned that Lin Sheng was going to take her to find her parents. She was still excited but was interrupted. Naturally, I feel very unhappy. Immediately after saying this angrily, he opened his hands and started singing to the ocean. The originally calm sea surface suddenly rose into huge waves rushing towards the members of the Flying Eagle Gang. Under the lash of the tide, the arrows that had just risen encountered resistance and were pushed back by the big waves. In the waves, a group of confused piranhas had question marks on their heads. Hashtag, less than over equal to. But when they saw the members of the Flying Eagle Gang in front of them, their predatory instinct caused them to open their sharp teeth and bite them. Ah! Everyone in the Flying Eagle Gang screamed in agony. On the one hand, he had to prevent being knocked off the raft by the big waves. And on the other hand, he had to bear the bite of the piranha. There were heavy casualties for a while. Wait until the weather calms down. There were only more than 30 people scattered on the raft. As for the disappeared people, they might have been bitten to death by piranhas on the raft. Or they might have been swept into the sea by the big waves. In short, they could not escape death. Chin Ing Jun wiped the sweat from his face. His whole body trembling. There is fear. There is regret. And there is anger. The gang that was finally formed was defeated by Lin Chung. And his eyes fell on Kong Kongi, who had just launched the tsunami. And his eyes suddenly became greedy. Mermaid! Jia Jia! She is actually a mermaid! And she is so powerful! If this mermaid can become mine, then, cheer up! Everyone! If Mr. Shung doesn't want to give us a way to survive, then we can only kill Mr. Shung and find a way to survive ourselves. Chen Ing Jun said harshly. For a moment, everyone who was frightened by the huge waves and immersed in the fear of the death of their brothers around them also came to their senses. The desire for life arose in their hearts, and they were even more motivated than before. They all raised their long bows and shot arrows at Lin Sheng. I don't know what it means, but the dog lets people shoot arrows. Lin Sheng glanced at Chen Ing Jun, who was looking at him proudly, and said to the dog next to him. At the same time, he also drew an arrow in his hand and pointed the bow at Chen Ying Jun. The people of the Flying Eagle Gang obviously overestimated the power of their bows and arrows. 
The arrows had just taken off less than 10 meters away before they lost propulsion and fell towards the sea. Chen Ying Jun suddenly panicked. How can this be? His eyes were full of disbelief. He also tried making bows and arrows when they came out. The bows and arrows can shoot at least 20 meters away. But how could this be weakened? In fact, it was not the case. These people were exhausted after being washed by the big waves. And it was difficult for them to use their maximum strength. On the contrary, the arrows fired by the savages on Lin Sheng's side were so powerful that they seemed to break the air and were shot at the members of the Flying Eagle Gang on the raft. Puff, puff. There was a sound of arrows hitting flesh. And figures were killed instantly and fell into the sea. Chin Ying Jun finally panicked at this moment. He looked at Lin Sheng in horror. Just when he was about to pray, an arrow penetrated his head like electricity. There was only reluctance and regret in Chin Ying Jun's eyes. Slowly, his eyes lost the light and he fell into the sea with a plop. The piranhas swarmed up, and for a moment, it was as if these people from the Flying Eagle Gang had never appeared at all. Okay, everyone is busy. Pi Pi, you go and get ready, and then follow me into the water, Lin Sheng said to Pi Pi. Okay, boss. After Pi Pi answered Lin Sheng's words, he left to make preparations. Then Lin Sheng I asked Kong Kongi, Where is the direction of the Mermaid Palace? Master, the direction of the mermaid palace is 10,000 meters ahead. I came from the front. Kong Hong Yi pointed to the sea in the direction of the ark. Um. Lin Sheng nodded slightly. Finally going to the mermaid palace. Soon the ark sailed to the sea above the mermaid palace. Lin Sheng asked old Jack to stop the progress of the ark and wait for him here temporarily. However, Pipe Pai was also ready to come out at this time. Boss, I didn't find the oxygen machine. Pipe Pai scratched his head and said, oxygen machine. You ghost. I don't have one yet. Lin Sheng dropped a waterproof bead and handed it to Pai Pai. Put it in your mouth. Is this useful? Pai Pai asked doubtfully as he looked at the water avoiding beads in his hand. Lin Sheng immediately kicked Pai Pai's ass. Go down. You? As soon as Lin Sheng finished speaking, there was a plop sound and he fell into the sea. Lin Sheng also held the waterproof drop in his mouth. And the next moment, he turned over and jumped out of the deck. After seeing Lin Sheng and Pai Pai go into the sea, the mermaid Kong Kong Yi immediately jumped into the sea. Water splashed one after another. When Lin Sheng emerged, he also saw Pai Pai looking at Yin Shui Zhu with a confused look on his face. Look! Hurry up! The water avoiding beads only last for one day. If you don't return to the sea in time, you will be drowned. Lin Sheng sank directly into the sea as soon as he finished speaking. When Pai Pai heard this, he no longer hesitated to hold the water-avoiding bead in his mouth and chased after Lin Lin Sheng. Originally, Pai Pai was a little worried. But after entering the sea, he clearly felt that there was a protective film around his body, isolating him from the seawater. And when he could breathe underwater, he immediately relaxed a lot. Lin Sheng and Pai Pai, led by Kong Kong Yi, swam toward the quaint building under the ocean. Master, that's my home. As Kong Kong Yi spoke, Small bubbles kept coming out of his mouth, but Lin Sheng just nodded to show that he understood. As the three of them got closer to the castle under the sea, they could see more clearly the fish and shrimp guards surrounding the castle. Chapter 33 Power Crystal Scales Kong Kongi, it doesn't look like this place is occupied by the sharks. How peaceful do you think it is? After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he saw Lin Kong Kongi shaking his head and saying, That's not the case. We mermaids used to play outside the castle. But now there is no mermaid. After Kong Kong Ili finished speaking, Lin Shun also noticed that there were a lot of blood stains on the soil at the bottom of the sea. With so much blood stains on the soil at the bottom of the sea, how many times the blood would have to be diluted by sea water to achieve this? Lin Shun also understood that something was wrong with the situation. At this time, a strange looking little fish suddenly appeared around Lin Shun and the others. This ugly little fish has black and red patterns all over its body. But after Kong Kong he saw the ugly little fish, his eyes showed an expression of surprise. Cho Cho, is it really you? Princess, princess, why are you back? Didn't the king and queen ask you not to come back? Not only was the ugly fish not surprised, but he also showed a worried expression. How are my father, the queen and my queen doing now? Kong Kong he did not answer ugly little fish's question, but instead asked about the whereabouts of his parents. The king and queen. Before Ugly Little Fish finished speaking, Lin Sheng and others heard calls coming from behind. Here, there are mermaids who slipped through the net. 
if we catch the leader, we will be rewarded. Lin Sheng and others looked back and saw a group of sharks rushing over with different fish bone weapons in their hands. Princess, hurry up. Let's go. The ugly fish said anxiously. Pai Pai. Lin Sheng called Pai Pai and then gave Pai Pai a wink. Okay, boss. Pai Pai immediately grabbed a spear in his hand. Then I ate a can of spinach under the sea. Damn it. Yin Xian. While eating spinach, she accidentally drank some seawater and put it into her mouth. Pai Pai's face suddenly twisted together. The long bow in Lin Sheng's hand suddenly appeared and shot directly at a shark. Kulyalu. The arrow made a sound in the water and sank into the body of a shark. The shark was killed immediately. And the other sharks became angry when they saw the death of their companions. The excited expression he saw earlier on Kong Kongi also became serious. They also sensed that Lin Sheng was difficult to deal with. So they instantly killed one of their companions in comparison. But so what if he gained strength? Another shark fell under the arrow shot by Lin Sheng. Fight them! The leader of the sharks shouted loudly. The remaining ten sharks immediately came towards Lin Sheng. Before the sharks could get close, Pai Pai grabbed a shark. And his huge arm strength immediately tore the shark apart. Lin Sheng, like an archer with perfect accuracy, opened the distance and hit the sharks with arrows one after another. Under Pai Pai's obstruction, the sharks couldn't get close to Lin Sheng. And they couldn't defeat Pai Pai's huge power. A one-sided massacre killed the ten attacking sharks. Only then did Lin Sheng notice that after the shark died, crystals actually fell from underneath him. Lin Sheng stepped forward and picked up the crystal. Power crystal plus one. Strength crystal. Materials for refining strength potions. Special materials with a hundredfold increase cannot be used. After gold coins. Another prop that cannot be increased. In this case, Lin Sheng immediately swept away all the power crystals on the ground. As for the strength potion, Lin Sheng doesn't have a method to refine the potion so far. But that doesn't mean there won't be one in the future. Therefore, Lin Sheng's desire to collect such things that could not be increased became stronger and stronger. This is a key item to improve your strength in the future. Boss, do you want these things? At this time, Pai Pai asked. It turns out that in addition to the crystallization of power, the sharks also drop scales after death. Lin Sheng glanced at Pai Pai in confusion and took the scales. Merman Scales plus one. Merman Scales. Fish Scale Armor Manufacturing Material. Can make fish scale armor. Lin Sheng nodded. Both of them. The two of them were busy collecting scales. Fish scale armor is obviously more powerful equipment than leather armor. So collect the materials first. As for the manufacturing drawings, these things cannot be rushed. Princess, are these the friends you invited? Ugly Xiu Yu asked excitedly after seeing the scene of Lin Sheng and Pai Pai killing the sharks. In its view, the sharks are extremely powerful and cannot be dealt with at all. But her own princess hired two helpers who were even more powerful than the sharks. Kong Kongi had a complicated expression on his face. Her master is very powerful. But he is not her friend. She is just his slave. Okay. Cho Cho. What do you think about my father? The queen and my queen? Kong Kongi interrupted the topic and continued to ask. The king and queen are safe. But our mermaid clan has been wiped out. Now. Everyone is hiding in a safe place. Princess. Let me take you to see the king and queen. The ugly little fish said. At this time. Lin Sheng and Pai Pai came over after collecting the materials. Where are Kong Kongi going now? Lin Sheng decided to ask Kong Kongi. Even though there are sharks in the castle. And the things dropped by the sharks after their death make me very jealous. But I still have to listen to what Kong Kongi says when I agree to Kong Kongi. Just now. Lin Sheng had obtained 10 power crystals and 10 scales. Fortunately. Scales can be obtained with a hundredfold increase. But special materials such as power crystals cannot. So Lin Sheng thought of continuing to kill the sharks to obtain them. Thinking about the time when he killed the sharks at sea and fell into the sea. And failed to obtain these materials. Lin Sheng felt a burst of regret. As if hundreds of millions had flown away in front of him. Master, let's go. First go find my father. Queen and queen. After Kong Kongi finished speaking, ugly little fish's eyes widened. The noble mermaid princess of their mermaid clan calls those two strange long-legged creatures masters. This, this, this. The ugly little fish didn't know what to say for a moment. Let's go. Cho Cho will lead the way. After hearing what the princess said, the ugly fish could only lead the way. Even if it was confused about other things, it could not ask. Led by the ugly duckling fish.
Lin Sheng and others came to a huge underwater mountain. I am an ugly monster. Oh, I am an ugly monster. Lin Sheng. Pai Pai. I know you're ugly. Why are you shouting so loudly? After ugly little fish finished speaking, a crack suddenly opened in the huge stone mountain. And the crack slowly widened and opened. A small pink fish swam out. Cho Cho. You are back. Well, duo duo. Look who's back. Princess. Princess. You are back. The king and queen will be very happy. Pinkfish Duo Duo said excitedly. Chapter 34 Fluorescent Stone. Promise. Under the leadership of Duo Duo and Chaochu, these two strange fish surrounded Kong Kongi and entered the cave. Lin Sheng and Pai Yi looked at each other and followed suit. However, as soon as the two of them stepped into the cave, the cave behind them was immediately sealed. The dark environment was replaced by a bright light the next moment. This sudden alternation between black and white made Lin Sheng couldn't help but close his eyes. When Lin Sheng opened his eyes again, what he saw was a hole full of strange gems. These gems can emit such dazzling light in the dark, reflecting the dark environment like daylight. Lin Sheng reached out curiously to grab it, and a gem fell into Lin Sheng's hand. Get fluorescent stone plus one. At this moment, Duo Duo and Cho Cho immediately turned around and stared at Lin Sheng closely, full of dissatisfaction with Lin Sheng's behavior of asking for it. Lin Sheng felt awkward for a while when Duo Duo and Cho Cho stared at him like this. Just when Lin Sheng was hesitating whether to put the fluorescent stones back. After all, Kong Kongi also promised to give him treasures. There were so many fluorescent stones. So Kong Kongi would definitely give them to him. But Kong Kongi said, If the master likes it, just take it away. Duo Duo and Cho Cho turned around in surprise when they heard Kong Kongi's words. Cho Cho was surprised that his princess would actually give it to Lin Sheng himself. While Duo Duo was surprised that the princess actually let humans take over. Since Kong Kong Yidu said so. Lin Sheng directly put it into his backpack without any pretense. I walked all the way and found no other treasures. Soon a few people arrived at the depths of the cave. The environment here is like a paradise. But more than a dozen mermaids from the mermaid tribe were all lying on the ground with injuries. Next to these injured mermaids. There is a little Lolita-like mermaid who is treating them. King Father. Queen Mother. Kong Kong is back. Kong Kong Yi said to the two older mermaids, tears streaming down her eyes uncontrollably. When the older mermaid couple saw Kong Kong Yi, tears overflowed from their eyes. It'll be good to come back. It'll be good to come back. The noble-dressed mermaid woman hugged Kong Kong Yi and said, the mermaid king wearing the crown said with focused eyes, Here, who dares to enslave you? Tell your father, is it those bastards from the shark tribe? I will fight them. Even if we lose, I will not my daughter cannot be allowed to be humiliated like this. As he spoke, the mermaid king was full of hostility. Lin Sheng and Pai Pai also noticed the change in the mermaid king's momentum. Boss, the old man seems to be angry. Are we? Pai Pai was a little nervous. He felt the crisis in the mermaid king. Lin Sheng just shook his head. Lin Sheng was confident that he dared to come here. Since the mermaid king was so angry for Kong Kongi. And he still controlled Kong Kongi's life and death. Lin Sheng had the confidence to protect his own life. Father! It's not like this. I was hunted by the Sharman tribe. It was my master who saved me. He was worried that I would be harmful to him. So he signed a slave contract. But the master did not force me and came down to you for me. Kong Kongi explained to the Mermaid King. Oh! The Mermaid King was relieved when he heard that his daughter had not been wronged. And looked at Lin Sheng. The Mermaid King looked Lin Sheng up and down. And then said, in this case, this human friend, please also cancel my daughter's slave contract. We, the mermaid tribe, will thank you. Lin Sheng could feel that although the mermaids on the ground were injured, they were not weak in strength. It would not be a good thing if they could become the guards of his ark. As for Kong Kongi, things were promised before. But now they are different. The number of mermaids is reduced. And their families are all gone. And every one of them is injured. Lin Sheng said with a smile. Mermaid King, how about you and your tribe become my subordinates? Of course, I just need you to help me guard my territory. As for the rest, you can still live your normal life on my ark, and I will not interfere with your daily life. Of course, the only way to reassure me is that you all need to sign a slave contract. Bold human being, how can I become a slave? You are looking for death, the Mermaid King suddenly said angrily. Lin Sheng, however, looked at the Mermaid King calmly. If he died, 
his daughter would be buried with him. Lin Shun believed that he would not do such a thing. The other injured mermaids also looked at Lin Shun with hatred. For the human who saved the princess, they still had a good impression at first. But after hearing that the princess was enslaved, their grudges were divided. Now I heard that this human wanted to enslave their entire clan. And I became angry immediately. As long as the mermaid king gave the order, these mermaids would swarm up and attack Lin Sheng. At this time, Kong Kongi grabbed the mermaid king. And Kong Kongi communicated with the three mermaids, the mermaid king and the mermaid queen. For a long time, the expression of the mermaid king also softened. And he looked at his tribe with tangled eyes. After hesitating for a long time, he said to Lin Sheng, if you can help us take revenge, then our mermaid tribe will depend on you. So why not? After the mermaid king learned more comprehensive information about Lin Sheng from Kong Kongi, he was also tempted. There is no place for their mermaid clan to survive at the bottom of the sea. After many years of fighting against the sharks, the mermaid race has almost been exterminated. If possible, it would be a good choice for the mermaid race to live peacefully on the ark. In the ocean, the mermaid clan has mastered the secret treasure. Every time the mermaid clan moves, it will be found by the mermaid clan. Everyone who heard the words of the mermaid king looked at each other in shock. They never thought that the mermaid king would say these words. Lin Sheng was also particularly surprised. He had thought about incorporating the mermaid tribe. But it was too easy. However, Lin Sheng felt that it would be difficult to deal with the Sharman tribe. How many people are there in the Sharman tribe? Lin Sheng decided to ask before making a decision. There are a thousand sharks who came to attack us. We were attacked unprepared. As you can see, these are the only ones left in our clan. Although the sharks are having a hard time, there are still about 300 left. The mermaid king spoke slowly. 300. When I came to capture Kong Kongi before, I had to kill 100 sharks myself. Then 200 at most. Lin Chung looked at Pai Pai, wanting to see what Pai Pai thought. He couldn't face 200 sharks by himself. Pai Pai was silent for a moment and nodded thinking about the feeling of dealing with the shark. Those sharks were no match for him after he ate the spinach. Okay, don't worry. The mermaid tribe's treasure house. If you don't agree with those sharks, I will take care of them for you and help you avenge them. Lin Sheng said with a blushing face and a heartbeat. I almost let it slip just now. Mainly because Kong Kong Yi told him that the temptation of the treasure house in the mermaid palace was too great. Chapter 35 The Mermaid King's Blessing and Entering the Mermaid Palace even if there was no request from the mermaid king, Lin Shun would still go to the mermaid palace for a walk, at least to rob the treasure house. The mermaid king was stunned. I always feel like I'm at a loss. But he still nodded. Then, this is the agreement between our mermaid clan and you. Once the agreement is made, it will never be regretted. After the mermaid king finished speaking, the colorful light on the crown lit up, wrapping Lin Shun and him together. You make an oath with the mermaid clan. After completion, the favorability of the mermaid clan will reach full value. At this time, the game prompt sounds. The corner of Lin Shang's mouth curled up. This was indeed a sure thing. Human, this trip is very dangerous. I have to protect my people here. I can't go to help you, but I can give you a help. After the mermaid king finished speaking, the seven color light once again lit up on the crown. However, this time the light did not envelope Lin Shang like a package, but shone on Lin Shang and Pai Pai like the sun shining on the earth. You are blessed by the mermaid king. And your all-round strength in the ocean is doubled. Lin Sheng suddenly glanced at the mermaid king in surprise. He didn't expect the mermaid king to have such ability. Lin Sheng could originally use a bow and arrow to burst out 555 points of damage. But now with the blessing of the mermaid king, he can cause 1,110 points of damage to targets in the sea. Lin Sheng was extremely shocked by the terrifying improvement. When I saw Pai Pai again, I saw a dull look on his face. The next moment, he was showing off his muscles as if he had been given a shot of blood. Then go for the robbery. Then let's say goodbye first. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he led Pai Pai outside. Master, be careful. Kong Kong Yi said surprisingly worriedly behind Lin Sheng. This girl. Lin Sheng sighed inwardly and waved his hand and led Pai Pai away. Boss, I feel like I can blow up a shark with one punch right now. On the way, Pai Pai was talking. Oh. I'll leave it all to you later. I'll just watch how you perform. Lin Shun joked. Uh, boss, I was wrong. I shouldn't have pretended to be cool in front of you. Pai Pai said. Hee hee. The entrance to the mermaid palace. 
robbery and hand over all the treasures in the mermaid clan's treasure house. After Peep Eye ate a can of spinach, his muscles bulged and he roared loudly. Immediately, the shark guards at the entrance of the mermaid palace, holding fish bone weapons, all looked at each other. They looked at Pai Pai with extremely strange eyes. Lin Sheng covered his face. Why would I bring you? An idiot. With me. Huh? Boss? Isn't this what you always say? Pai Pai looked at Lin Sheng's expression and said in confusion, Is it my fault that the relationship is still there? Lin Sheng stared. When the two of them were talking to each other, the charming guards also reacted. The five shark soldiers took action one after another, carrying fish bone weapons and rushing towards Lin Sheng and Pai Pai. Put them down and let's go in and collect the treasures. Wouldn't it? After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he raised the long bow in his hand, and an arrow was shot by Lin Sheng. When the arrow hit the shark's body, the shark's health bar was immediately emptied, and he fell to the ground. Pai Pai, on the other hand, rushed forward. The artifact that Lin Sheng had given him before was thrown to the ground as it was too intrusive. When he got in front of the shark soldier, he punched the shark soldier's head directly. In just two breaths, Lin Sheng and Pai Pai cleared away the guards, touch the corpse and move on. When the two stepped into the gate of the mermaid palace, the shark soldiers in the corridor were stunned. How could someone actually break into the mermaid palace? In their impression, humans are creatures that can only live on the sea surface. The strength of the shark soldiers inside the palace is much stronger than that of the shark soldiers outside. In their hands were harpoon weapons. Ten shark soldiers left their positions one after another and sit towards Lin Sheng and Pai. Boss, leave these people to me. I felt uncomfortable when I was outside. Pai Pai laughed and said, now that Pai Pai decided to deal with these sharks by himself, Lin Sheng was happy and at ease. It feels good to have a beater. Lin Sheng's thoughts couldn't help but drift to the mermaid tribe. 18 mermaids, including 10 mermaid warriors and 6 mermaid girls, are all proficient in healing magic. The mermaid king also has powerful blessing skills. After subduing all these mermaids as subordinates, at least under normal circumstances, they can still walk sideways on the ocean. Pai Pai did not disappoint Lin Sheng's expectations. And with a few booms, he eliminated all ten shark soldiers in front of him. Just when Pai Pai breathed a sigh of relief, the door to the room in the palace suddenly opened. A group of shark soldiers poured out of the door. One, two, three shark soldiers. Well done. Your grandpa hasn't finished warming up yet. Pai Pai said carelessly. Be as arrogant as you want. Seven, eight, nine shark soldiers. Ha ha. Go ahead and let Grandpa relax his muscles and bones. Pai Pai's eyes became more and more excited. 25, 26, 27 shark soldiers. Boss, I may not be able to handle so many shark soldiers. Pai Pai saw a steady stream of shark soldiers pouring out, crowding the corridors of the mermaid palace. He immediately looked at Lin Sheng and said with aggrieved eyes, Ha! Pai Pai, I told you to keep a low profile. Lin Sheng Xiao was almost in tears. But you still have to be serious. The number of these shark soldiers is a bit excessive. After a hundred shark soldiers came out, these shark soldiers surrounded Lin Sheng and Pai Pai. Gudong, boss, how can we both work together? Pai Pai said. If you can't do it, you have to do it. Let's fight. Lin Sheng no longer uses long bows. To deal with so many shark soldiers, and the distance is so short, long bows are no more effective than spears. Also thanks to the blessing effect of the Mermaid King, the spear can exert its greatest power in Lin Sheng's hands. Every time Lin Sheng swung the spear in his hand, three or five shark soldiers were killed by Lin Sheng on the spot in a flash of cold light. Pai Pai also gritted his teeth. In this case, he would kill all the enemies or be eaten alive by them. He directly picked up a shark soldier in each hand and used it as a weapon to smash it wildly among the shark soldiers. Pai Pai shows what the true aesthetics of violence is. With the joint cooperation of Lin Sheng and Pai Pai, these number 100 shark soldiers finally turned into corpses. What a big loss! Because it takes too long. Lin Sheng saw that more than half of the shark's body had disappeared into the seawater, and the crystals and scales that did not fall from their bodies and needed to be obtained by touching the corpse also disappeared together. Lin Sheng said sadly, Quick! Don't be stunned! Hurry up and touch the body! After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he and Pai Pai began to touch the corpse to collect information. Chapter 36, General Shark. Fish Scale Armor Manufacturing Diagram. Finally, he obtained the power crystal of the last shark corpse 
before it disappeared. Now there are as many as 50 power crystals in hand. The same goes for the number of shark scales. Come on! Let's keep moving forward. There should be a hundred shark soldiers left. We can't let any of them go. For the materials that he had just lost money on, Lin Sheng felt that he needed to make up for it from other shark soldiers. At the end of the corridor, Lin Sheng opened the door. Enter the main hall with Pipe Eye. Above the main hall of the Mermaid Palace, the mermaid generals were feasting on the food left by the mermaid tribe. And in front of the mermaid soldiers was the body of a dead mermaid girl. The mermaid general bit down on the mermaid girl and tore a piece of mermaid flesh into her mouth. He noticed Lin Sheng and Pai Pai suddenly raised their heads and stared at Lin Sheng. His face was covered in blood. Lin Sheng couldn't help but feel angry when he saw this bloody and cruel scene. Perhaps this is because the mermaid clan leader is so similar to humans, which resonates with Lin Sheng. Although he knew that mermaids were not human beings, he still subconsciously regarded mermaids as human beings. The sight of humans being devoured by such ferocious-looking monsters as sharks shocked Lin Sheng. Humans? I didn't expect that this general would see humans one day. Since you are here, it means that all my subordinates outside have been killed by you. Right. Human. You piss me off. The shark general stood up suddenly and jumped in front of Lin Sheng. General Shark. Attack power 100. HP 10,000 slash 10,000. Attacks, harpoon throw. Harpoon bomb. Roar. Damn it. This shark general's blood is too thick. And his attack power is 100. If he is hit, wouldn't it only take one hit to cool him down? Too sloppy. At the same time, 50 shark soldiers suddenly poured out from all directions in the hall, rushing towards Lin Sheng's peace faction. For a moment, the hall fell into chaos. Pai Pai, can you protect me? Your boss? Lin Sheng's mind suddenly came up with an idea. Now that the situation was chaotic, it would be difficult for the shark general to attack him. Then we must use this advantage to attack the shark general from a distance. This way you can ensure you win. Boss, no problem. After Pai Pai said this, he stretched out his hands to block Lin Sheng from behind him. Ha ha, you guys killed these two humans. Today, the general will take you to eat something different. The shark general licked his lips as he spoke as if he was savoring the taste of humans. Mad, you are treating yourself as food. Lin Sheng cursed secretly. Under the obstruction of Pai Pai, these sharks couldn't get close. Lin Sheng took the opportunity to take out his bow and arrow and fired fiercely at the shark general. Buh! Three arrows were shot out in a row, and the proud smile of the general shark froze on his face. Puff puff. Dash 1110. Dash 1110. Dash 1110. Red numbers flashed above the head of the general. His health bar was immediately cleared by more than one-third. 6670-10,000. The shark general was immediately furious. Get out of here! You bunch of losers! This general is going to skin these two humans alive! After being attacked by Lin Sheng, the general's blood volume dropped sharply. And he was in great pain for a while. The pain made the general the shark become furious. The shark general hated Lin Sheng to the extreme. As for the shark soldiers who had blocked his revenge, the shark general was already running towards Lin Sheng angrily before he could wait. Swish, swish, swish. Lin Sheng was also extremely nervous. If the mermaid general approached him, he might not be able to withstand it at all. Or he was not strong enough. It seemed that building better equipment and increasing his blood volume should be put on the agenda as soon as possible. Lin Sheng shot out five more arrows. For a moment, the number on the head of the shark general kept popping up and deducting blood. Dash 11110. 1120 slash 10,000. After these five arrows were shot, there was no chance to shoot again. The shark general had already knocked aside the shark soldiers blocking his way and came to stand in front of Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng hurriedly called out his spear, which was in his hand. The shark general's harpoon plunged towards Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng hurriedly turned over to avoid it. And Lin Sheng thrust the spear in his hand towards the shark general's eyes. There was a puff sound. One of the shark general's eyes was pierced by Lin Sheng. The shark general ignored the pain in his eyes and threw the harpoon towards Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng, frightened by this throw, quickly blocked the harpoon with his spear. Pushed by the huge force of inertia, Lin Sheng took several steps backward. Fortunately, he blocked the harpoon in the end and didn't hurt himself. But at this moment, the shark general's mouth quickly revealed a ferocious smile. This reminded Lin Sheng of the attack method of the shark general he had just seen. Harpoon bomb. Hold. For a moment, Lin Sheng's forehead was covered with cold sweat. 
if the harpoon exploded? He would really have to answer here. No. It can't be done. How could I? A reborn person. Die here? Seeing the shark general clasping his hands. He seemed to be preparing to use some trick to cause the harpoon to explode. At this critical moment, a spear pierced the body of the shark general from bottom to top. The shark general's movements suddenly froze, and his eyes showed an expression of disbelief. He slowly turned around, only to see Pai Pai grinning at him. Humiliation! What a huge humiliation! You actually dare to attack my general! The blood bar above his head was completely cleared after General Shark finished speaking. His eyes were blank, unwilling to be ashamed and angry, but he still could not change his fate of death. Boss, I'm not too late, Pai Pai said to Lin Sheng with a smile. No, this move is great. Lin Sheng gave a thumbs up and praised. Pai Pai sneaked into the back garden of General Shark and finally saved himself. The sharks in the mermaid palace were completely wiped out by the two of them. Lin Sheng threw away the harpoon and sat on the ground, breathing heavily. Too dangerous. After resting for a while, Lin Sheng came to the body of the shark general and began to touch the body. Get Charmin Heart plus one. Get Power Crystal plus two. Obtain Fish Scale Armor Production Diagram. After touching the corpse, Lin Sheng's eyes lit up. Equipment Manufacturing Diagram. Fish Scale Armor Manufacturing. Scales 100. Leather 20. Fabric 20. Iron Piece 20. Rope 5. Then, he collected the scales that exploded from the remaining sharks. There are now a total of 100 units of scales on the body and the explosion rate of power crystals seems to have become smaller, with a total of only 70 units. After Lin Sheng watched the bodies of the Shark Clan disappear, he said to Pai Pai, Let's go! Now that the Shark Clan has been dealt with, let's go and loot the Mermaid Clan's treasure house! Chapter 37 Constitution Potion Incorporating the Mermaid Tribe Lin Sheng and Pai Pai stepped into the treasure house in the Mermaid Palace with great expectations. What catches the eye are countless gold jewelry. Pai Pai's eyes lit up when he saw this. But now, he was a wage earner under Lin Sheng. As a wage earner, he was not qualified to take these things without the boss's permission. Lin Sheng's eyes were full of hope after seeing these things. If these jewels were placed in the world before the disaster, they would definitely make him extremely rich. But it's useless now. Whether they can survive even if they don't have enough to eat is still a problem. Who cares about these extremely luxurious jewelry before the disaster? Lin Sheng sighed slightly and said to Pai Pai, if you like it, take as much as you can. Anyway, these jewelry are no different from the stones on the roadside. Lin Shang's words undoubtedly poured cold water on Pai Pai's head, and all his passion suddenly disappeared. Uh, boss, there's no use holding it, Pai Pai also said helplessly. But then Lin Shang found a small bag among the piles of jewelry. Lin Shang took it in his hand. Get Chienkuen bag plus one. Chienkuen bag. The universe in the bag contains everything and there is endless space to store items. Lin Shun looked at the Chienkuen bag in his hand. I have to say that there are really too many pieces of jewelry here, with millions of pieces in total. If you put them in your backpack, you might not even have enough space. And these are useless things. But now that he has the Chienkuen bag, Lin Shun feels that the entire mermaid tribe has become his vassal, and the treasures in the treasure house must also be taken away with him. Let's collect the treasure. After Lin Shun finished speaking, the two of them were busy collecting the treasures in the treasure house. Soon the mountains of treasures were swept away, leaving not even a hair left in the entire treasure house. As the saying goes, where the forest passes, no grass grows. After collecting the peripheral treasure house, Lin Sheng found a door in the empty treasure house. Pushing open the door and entering, Lin Sheng discovered something different inside the door. For example, physical strength crystals, speed crystals, and spiritual crystals. Get physical strength crystal plus 10. Get speed crystal plus 10. Get intelligence crystal plus 10. Obtain semi-finished primary constitution potion plus 1. Obtain the primary constitution potion manufacturing diagram. Get mysterious gold coins plus 100. After Lin Sheng put all these things into Lin Yi, he was immediately attracted to the constitution potion. What is the constitution potion? Lin Sheng curiously studied the manufacturing diagram. Elementary constitution potion manufacturing. Monster Spirit Element 1 out of 1. Monster Energy and Blood 1 out of 1. Monster Heart 1 out of 1. Lin Sheng was slightly startled. He didn't have these things. Right? But he suddenly remembered the semi-finished product in his hands. I'm afraid the semi-finished product contains essence and blood. 
As for the siren's heart, isn't it the same as the general mermaid's heart? But Lin Sheng fell into silence. He tried to multiply his heart a hundred times. But this was something special props couldn't do. After a moment of silence, Lin Sheng immediately started making. Soon a bottle of primary constitution potion appeared in Lin Sheng's hand. Elementary constitution potion. Number of uses. 0 out of 10. Hunger plus 100. Moisture plus 100. Life plus 100. Energy plus 100. After seeing the primary constitution potion, Lin Sheng's eyes lit up. During the previous battle with the shark general, Lin Sheng clearly discovered his shortcoming, which was that he had too little blood. He couldn't withstand the opponent's attack at all. But fortunately, Pai Pai finally helped him take down the shark general. Now this item that makes up for his shortcomings appears. Lin Sheng took the constitution potion without hesitation. For a moment, blue numbers popped out of Lin Sheng's body. Hunger plus 100. Moisture plus 100. Life plus 100. Energy plus 100. Lin Sheng checked his attributes at this moment. Lin Sheng. Strength, 10. Intelligence, 10. Stamina, 10. Speed, 10. Hunger, 200. Moisture content, 200. Life, 200. Energy, 200. Suddenly Lin Sheng was filled with desire for this constitution potion. If you have enough potions, your health can be increased infinitely. And you don't need to be timid when facing enemies like the Shark General. It's a pity that my hundredfold amplification ability cannot be used here. Lin Sheng suddenly had an idea in his mind. My ordinary supplies are almost unlimited. Materials such as wooden boards will increase every day. And there will be more and more. As for food, Ark Farm is on the right track. The crops can be matured and harvested in three days. And there is no shelf life of food. But the materials he needs can only be obtained by continuously killing monsters in the sea. How about starting your own business as a material tycoon? Use food boards and other materials to let other survivors work for you. After several battles with sea creatures, Lin Sheng clearly felt the crisis and became increasingly greedy for strength. Pai Pai! Let's go! After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he took Pai Pai out with him. He wants to go back and continue to obtain things that can enhance his strength and expand the types on his arc. Not only to live a better life in this catastrophic world, but also to face future enemies. Jialong Mercenary Group I really look forward to what it will be like when I see you in the future when my strength improves. It's time to have a good sale. Now you can almost live a basic life in peacetime on the Arkansas. Please hurry up and get Shenling back. Lin Sheng thought silently in his heart. The two came to the underwater cave where the mermaid tribe was hiding. Did you really kill all those sharks? The mermaid king's eyes were full of surprise when he saw Lin Sheng coming back. He originally thought that Lin Sheng would not be able to complete this matter. Lin Sheng casually threw the treasures packed with Chinkuan in the mermaid palace to the mermaid king. This should be proven. Right. Lin Sheng said calmly. The mermaid king subconsciously checked the treasures in the Chinkuan bag and smiled heartily. Uh-huh. As expected. Since you have completed our agreement, then take out the slave contract. We, the mermaid tribe, never break our promises. Lin Sheng took out the slave contract and took all the mermaids present as slaves. You have conquered ten mermaid warriors. You have conquered six mermaid healers. You conquered the mermaid king. You conquered the mermaid queen. After doing these things, Lin Sheng left the cave with his newly acquired men. But when they left, all the fluorescent stones in the cave disappeared. Needless to say, it was Lin Sheng who did it. The originally magnificent mermaid palace turned into a dilapidated ruin. One after another figures quickly emerged from the water. The sound of water breaking was heard. And a moment later Lin Sheng's feet stepped on the deck of the Ark again. Chapter 38 Fish Scale Armor As soon as he stepped onto the Ark, Guzi greeted Lin Sheng head on. Master! Lin Sheng nodded. And then Pai Pai brought the mermaid tribe to the Ark. Well, Guzi, please arrange a place for them to live. Lin Sheng explained casually that in the past two days on the Ark, Guzi was definitely more familiar than him. That's why Lin Sheng asked Guzi to arrange a place for the human fish tribe to live. But at this moment, the mermaid king said, Master, the location where we live must have sea water. But we have our own way. Just arrange a location for us with an area of one acre of land. After the mermaid king finished speaking, Lin Sheng frowned slightly, then nodded and said, Okay, then let's go over there. Lin Sheng pointed casually and saw that the lower level of the ark was far away from the seawater. We couldn't let the merfolk dig a hole in the ark. So we might as well arrange it directly next to the planting area. 
the Mermaid King came to the side of the planting area and chanted a spell. The deck of the Ark on that acre of land suddenly turned into a sea level. Lin Sheng was stunned. This shouldn't be leaking. Lin Sheng thought of this immediately. Kong Kongi, who did not leave with the Mermaid King, smiled and said, Master, don't worry. This is the ability of the Mermaid King. It can create a dimensional entrance. Inside the entrance is an independent ocean realm, which shows that it looks like an ocean up there. But it's actually a door connecting the dimensional world. Lin Sheng also understood that it was a small independent world for the ocean tribe to live. Suddenly Lin Sheng thought that if the sea water recedes one day in the future, it would definitely be troublesome to go to the sea to catch fish. Can I keep fish? Lin Sheng asked Kong Kongi. Sure. Although Kong Kongi didn't know why Lin Sheng asked, he still answered. What Kong Kongi didn't know was that in the future, the mermaid clan would not only be one of the guards on the ark, but would also take care of the cultivation of seafood. Lin Sheng, on the other hand, walked off the ark with the fluorescent stones and some jewelry brought back from the mermaid tribe's territory under the sea. In the compartment of the ark, Lin Sheng started the decoration mode. For example, fluorescent stones were placed on every ceiling and wall under the partition by Lin Sheng. The dark lower level of the ark also looks extremely bright because of these fluorescent stones. Lin Sheng Yu used some beautiful jewelry for decoration. The wooden tables in the lower room of the ark were filled with gorgeous jewelry. The originally ordinary wooden room looked extremely luxurious. After doing this, Lin Sheng calmly left the lower level and returned to the ark. If the layout here were seen by others, Lin Sheng would definitely be scolded for being extravagant. Lin Sheng, who returned to the upper level of the ark, began to make plans for the fish scale armor exploded from the shark general. Fish scale armor manufacturing. Scales 100. Leather 20. Fabric 20. Iron piece 20. Rope 5. In addition to scales, there are tens of thousands of other materials in Lin Sheng's place. In addition to the scales he obtained by killing himself, Lin Sheng also harvested thousands of units from the mermaid clan's treasure house. After using the hundredfold amplification ability, 100,000 units of scales were in Lin Sheng's hands. These materials are enough to make thousands of sets of fish scale armor. Lin Sheng started making without saying anything. Get ordinary fish scale armor plus one. Obtain artifact level fish scale armor. Congratulations on your first successful creation of artifact level armor. You will be rewarded with armor proof protection and a 10% damage free special effect. Fish scale armor manufacturing. Defense plus 100. Defense plus 10. Additional defense plus 10%. Lin Sheng looked at the fish scale armor in his hand and immediately strengthened it. Fish scale armor plus 10. Defense plus 200. 100 plus 100. Defense plus 20. 10 plus 10. Additional defense plus 10% defense. Lin Sheng put the fish scale armor on his body and carefully felt the changes the armor brought to him. Now that he has a defense power of 242, that is, when he encounters an enemy, as long as the damage caused by the opponent does not exceed 242 points of damage to him, his blood volume will not be deducted. Lin Sheng suddenly laughed from ear to ear, just like the previous shark general. When he didn't have this armor, he had to hide from the opponent to avoid being attacked. If he met other shark generals again, Lin Sheng was thinking about whether he should stand still and let them attack him. If you don't break the defense, you can't exhaust the opponent to death. When the other party becomes desperate, he says, Is the fight over? Of course. After Lin Sheng got his own armor, he wouldn't be stingy at all with his subordinates. 51 savages, 19 mermaids, and a total of 72 sailors and crew. They also need to be equipped with fish scale armor. They are not afraid of 10,000. Just in case. If one day, they are attacked by someone at sea and die without armor to resist the attacker. Where can they find these reliable and safe people? Where are his men? Of course. Don't even think about it after strengthening it. It's not that Lin Sheng has no materials. It's just pure laziness. However, with a defense power of 121 points, the average enemy really has no way to break through the defense. Lin Sheng made 72 sets of fish scale armor in a row and was about to go to Pai Pai and the others to distribute them. But suddenly, he saw five little chickens and one big chicken that had been hanging out on the ark. Compared with the newly born chicks, they are now much bigger. But what surprised Lin Sheng the most was not the change in their body shape, but the fact that the feathers on their bodies gradually turned fiery red. Look again. Aren't these chickens running to drink from the spiritual spring? Does spiritual spring water still have this effect? Lin Sheng shook his head 
and didn't care about it. They were all his pets anyway. No matter how powerful they became. They could also become a defensive force on the Ark. Lin Sheng came to the Mermaid King and handed 19 sets of fish scale armor to the Mermaid King. Is this the natural armor of the shark rays? No. No. This is more like the handiwork of a weapon refiner. Master, could it be that you are a weapon refiner? The Mermaid King said in great surprise. What's this? Oh, by the way, although you are all mages, I still give you some weapons. Your magic power will also be exhausted. But just as Lin Sheng finished speaking, he suddenly remembered that the enchanted book was not yet available for the next day, and there was not enough material. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Let's divide these armors first. Lin Sheng put down his armor and went to find the savage tribe. The mermaid king looked at Lin Sheng with eyes filled with emotion and seemed to have hope for the future of the mermaid clan. Lin Sheng found Guzi and also gave him the fish scale armor. Every savage who got the fish scale armor burst into tears of gratitude to Lin Sheng. After the thanksgiving, there was a burst of cheers. Chapter 39 Butter Crab Mermaid Fishing for Fish These fish scale armors are not only armors, but also look very domineering. Take the fish scales on the armor for example. Glistening in the sun. This armor is like a treasure to the savages, who only wear hula skirts and linen clothes. Lin Sheng finally gave the remaining two sets to Pai Pai and Old Jack. Apart from anything else, Pai Pai has become his right-hand man. His combat power is even more powerful than that of a dog. How can he not be given a set of armor? As for the captain, Old Jack, nothing can happen. He knows nothing about driving the Arkansas. How can he do it without a captain? If Old Jack is killed, won't his ark be drifting on the sea? After doing all this, Lin Sheng turned on fishing mode. Kong Kongi came to Lin Sheng's side. While waiting for the fish to take the bait, Lin Sheng asked, Aren't you going to stay with your parents? Kong Kongi looked at the fishing gear in Lin Sheng's hand without blinking. When the mermaid tribe eats fish in the sea, they usually catch it directly without using fishing gear at all. Therefore, the little girl also became curious about the fishing tackle in Lin Sheng's hands. No! My father and queen have just settled in a new environment. They need to appease those tribesmen. And they don't have time for a while. Master, what is this? Kong Kongi was very curious as to why Lin Sheng was holding a wooden stick with a rope tied to it and hanging it in the sea. Fishing. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, the fish hook began to struggle violently. Lin Sheng suddenly lifted the line. But the fish was not hooked. It's a big golden crab. When he saw that the crab had a lot of oil on it, Lin Sheng immediately knew that it was a butter crab. In the world before the disaster, this would have cost over a thousand yuan per caddy. Depending on the geographical environment, the selling price is also different. In some places, it even sells for 2,000 pounds. And look at the size of the butter crab in your hand. It weighs at least a pound. Not to mention anything else. The crab paste is quite filling. Lin Sheng originally liked eating this crab paste. But the price of butter crab was too expensive and Lin Sheng had never tasted it. It's just that I was lucky enough to eat it once in my previous life. That time was something Lin Sheng would never forget in his life. But now, Lin Sheng directly multiplied it a hundred times and left ten of them to Kong Kongi. Kong Kongi! How about helping the master raise them? Lin Sheng thought about leading it to the mermaid tribe's territory to raise, and then multiply it a hundred times tomorrow. Eat it again, and continue the day after tomorrow. I will eat enough of the rare things that I couldn't eat before. Kong Kongi nodded, but with a look of disgust on his face. Master, this thing is covered in SH. LS, hard, and not tasty at all. How about Kong Kongi help you catch some fish later? After saying this, Kong Kongi ran directly back to the mermaid space without waiting for Lin Sheng to say anything. Place the butter crabs in place. Return to the deck with a few mermaid girls, and jumped into the sea. Lin Sheng was stunned when he saw it. Hey, I was going to explain to you how to eat it. One look at you. This girl is just going to chew the crab sh. L. The hard crab sh. L is not afraid of breaking your sharp teeth. But Kong Kongi had already led people to jump into the water. The dog came over and asked curiously. What happened to the master? Just as Lin Sheng shook his head. A fish flew up into the air. And its tail hit Guzi's face. Guzi, dot. What happened? I got slapped in the mouth by a fish? The next moment, more fish flew onto the deck. Guzi's position was so special that almost all the fish that came up were slapped on Guzi's face. Gorjant, have you done something to the sea? Look at these fish that keep slapping you. No. 
Master, I just couldn't help but pee at the end of the arc before you came back. Guzi said aggrievedly. That shouldn't be the case. Isn't it okay if it was like this before? After Lin Shun teased the dog, he looked at the increasing number of various fish on the deck, such as grouper, salmon, tuna. Seeing that his ark was about to be stacked up, he immediately shouted to the sea, Kong Kong Yi! That's enough. If you add more, you won't be able to put it down. Lin Sheng didn't expect the mermaid to catch fish so fiercely. After hearing what Lin Sheng said, Kong Kong Yi took the six mermaid girls onto the boat from the sea. Okay, I'm going to cook, and I'll teach you how to eat butter crab later, so you can see how it's really eaten. Throw some fish that can be fed into your territory to feed them. It will be convenient to eat them when the time comes. Not all fish in the sea are the same. Kong Kong Yi nodded and took action. Lin Sheng steamed 90 butter crabs in a pot. Which one has the most original flavor? Of course, the steamed version has the most original flavor. Grill fish. Make fish soup. Boil eggs. Lin Sheng found the ingredients that could be put into the pot so far and started cooking. Soon the delicacies were served one after another. Lin Sheng saw that the butter crab had not been steamed yet. So he simply made another set of fish scale armor and contacted Shen Ling. After Lin Sheng gave the fish scale armor to Shen Ling, he chatted and waited for the butter crab to be cooked. At this moment, a large number of small wooden boats were sailing on the sea, heading towards Lin Sheng's ark. On the boat, a man was holding a woman in his arms and ravaging her unscrupulously. I hate it. Brother Huang, so many people are watching, the woman said coquettishly. Who saw it? Ask them who saw it? The man Huang Feng asked the younger brothers around him. No, no, brother Huang, we only saw the beautiful sea view. All the younger brothers responded one after another, and the woman held in Huang Feng's arms was Xiaoli. Huang Feng was originally a gangster, but later in the world that changed and became a game. He found his younger brother again and joined a powerful force. Only then did we get the boat we have today. Today, when I went out to look for supplies with my little brother, I met Xiaoli who happened to be unconscious. Ichiban insisted that Xiaoli was not dead and woke up while drinking water. Now the two of them got along smoothly. Ha ha ha! Huang Feng smiled and said, Look, they didn't even see it, but I just don't want anything else. Can we talk about it later in the evening? Shili said coquettishly. Okay, by the way, is the colleague's boat you mentioned really in this direction? Huang Feng asked. Yes, Brother Huang, you must avenge me. Not only is he unwilling to save me, he also wants to kill me with a bow and arrow. Shili said with anger in her eyes. Huang Feng and his party are her hope. There are more than 20 people in Huang Feng. And everyone has a bow and arrow. Don't worry. Since that kid dares to treat you like this, then I will kill him to avenge you. Take away his ship and supplies. And let him feed the sharks. Huang Feng said viciously while playing with Shili. Chapter 40 Potion Album Uninvited Guest At this moment, Lin Sheng, who didn't know that Xiaoli had plotted against him and was being targeted, was releasing the butter crab from the pot. The scent of crab meat filled the ark. And Guzi and a group of savages came towards it out of curiosity. Look at the wagging noses of these savages. Lin Sheng smiled and said, Do you want to eat? Dog? Guzi nodded. Since his master allowed it, he unceremoniously took the butter crab from his master's hand and opened his mouth to bite it. Gah bang! Guzi raised his head in confusion. Their savage tribe had always lived in the island's forest. They had never been near the beach, let alone eaten these crabs. Kick kick! Seeing this, Kong Kongi smiled coquettishly at the side. Although she was also curious about why this hard thing smelled so good, she knew that it was stiff and suppressed her desire to eat it. Guzi! Let go! This is not how you eat crabs! Lin Sheng said that he did not expect that the savages under his command would be so stupid. Then Lin Sheng took a butter crab, pried open the crab sh, l, and then split it in half, exposing the golden crab paste to the air. The rich aroma of crab paste burst out again. All the savages have bright eyes. It's more fragrant. That's what it tastes like. Lin Sheng's actions just now were seen by everyone. After Guzi saw Lin Sheng's actions, he immediately started to learn. He soon ate the crab meat and showed a satisfied smile. Lin Sheng looked at the other savages and said, What are you doing standing still? Come here. One for each. Under Lin Sheng's arrangement, they each got a butter crab, which seemed to be the first time they had eaten crabs in their lives. Lin Sheng looked at Kong Kongi next to him again, and said with a smile on his face, Want to give it a try? 
after seeing the savages eating and seeing how Lin Chun ate. Kong Kongi's saliva couldn't help but flow down. So she nodded quickly. I picked up a butter crab and imitated Lin Chun's movements for the first time. Hmm. Master. I didn't expect this hard crab to be so delicious. Of course. This is the king of crabs. The best tasting one. Lin Chung said lightly and started his new journey as a foodie. While eating butter crab, Kong Kongi's eyes kept rolling. And he was thinking about whether to catch some more. After all, it tastes so good. I felt like I missed out on a lot of delicious food if I didn't eat it before. What Lin Shun didn't expect was that one day in the future, the crabs under the sea would be almost extinct by Kong Kongi and this group of mermaid foodies. Otherwise, Lin Shun would never make the next move. By the way, you can also bring some to your tribe to eat together. Lin Shun thought that if Fang Zheng had enough crabs, eating too many crabs would lead to diarrhea, no matter how delicious they were. After meal, the mermaid king and the mermaid queen came to the deck together. They came to thank Lin Shun who not only helped them get revenge, but also gave them a brand new home. This is a small gesture. Please don't dislike it. Master. This is what the mermaid king said to Lin Sheng. He also held four bottles of potions of different colors in his hands. These potions, red, yellow, blue and green, respectively represent strength, intelligence, physical strength and speed. After Lin Sheng took the potion, get primary strength potion plus one. Get primary intelligence potion plus one. Get primary physical strength potion plus one. Get primary speed potion plus one. Lin Sheng was stunned immediately. He had a crystal in his hand. But he didn't have a recipe for making the potion. The Mermaid King's gift came just in time. Mermaid King, do you still have this potion? Lin Sheng looked at the Mermaid King with burning eyes. But the Mermaid King was slightly stunned. Not understanding what Lin Sheng meant. However, he no longer had the potion in his hand. His wife knew how to make potions, but the materials were very rare. These four bottles were the last remaining potions of the mermaid clan. Master, our mermaid clan can make this potion, but it is too difficult to obtain the materials. This is the only one left by our mermaid clan, the mermaid king said helplessly. He didn't expect that Lin Sheng would like this potion so much. But what the mermaid king said was different in Lin Sheng's ears. What is the most valuable thing in the world? Of course it is technology. If you don't have the materials, you can go look for them, buy them, or grab them. Anyway, there are plenty of ways to get them. But without technology, there is no way to turn materials into treasures. No matter how precious the materials are, they are just a pile of useless waste. It's easy to say if you have skills, but I wonder if I can learn. Lin Sheng's hot gaze fell on the Mermaid King. The Mermaid King was stunned and then said, Of course. Our entire mermaid tribe is now under the protection of the master. This is just a rudimentary technology that we, the mermaid tribe, are willing to give to the master. The mermaid winked at the mermaid queen. The mermaid queen immediately understood and took out a book. Master, this is a potion album. However, the potion album has been damaged by the years and only a fragment remains. We, the mermaid tribe, left a rubbing of this fragment. So I will give this album to you. Master. Lin Sheng took the medicine album, obtained one-tenth of the remaining potion album. After Lin Sheng opened the album, he immediately understood that potions were divided into levels 1 to 10. It is divided into five basic potions and various boosting potions. The diagram for making the constitution potion that I had exposed on the Shark General before was also a page in this album. Lin Sheng looked at the potion album in front of him and nodded. Thank you very much. No need. The things belonging to our mermaid tribe now belong to the master. After the mermaid king said this, Lin Sheng left. He wanted to go back to his house to study it. The ark was once again plunged into darkness as night fell again. Lin Sheng hid in his wooden house, holding the potion album in his hand. He placed other potions on the table. Elementary strength potion manufacturing. Power crystal one. Spiritual spring water one. As for the other four types, they are similar. Lin Sheng didn't have a lot of crystals on hand. After picking up Shen Ling, it was time to start his own plan. Then Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the potion on the table that he got from the mermaid tribe. Elementary strength potion. Number of uses 0 out of 10. Effect, strength plus 1. The effect of primary potion can increase strength by up to 10 points. The same goes for other potions. Lin Sheng immediately used all four bottles of potion in one go. Lin Sheng's four basic attributes have changed from 10 points to 11 points. Feeling the physical changes brought about by the improvement of attributes. 
although the changes were not very big. Lin Shum clearly felt that he had become stronger. This was different from the strengthening brought about by relying on equipment. And he felt more at ease. Just when Lin Shum was about to use the crystals in his backpack to make potions and go out to get some spiritual spring water. Outside the Ark. A hook flew towards the deck and hooked firmly on the deck of the Ark. Chapter 41. Vulnerable. The Final Struggle. It's dark now. And most people don't go out at night. Moreover, this was the sea. So Lin Sheng did not think that enemies would attack him. And there was no vigil at night. The savages from the Guzi Savage tribe were also resting in their own cabins. The mermaid tribe is resting in the dimensional sea. And the hook that had not been noticed by anyone began to shake violently. And a big hand suddenly reached out from the edge of the ship along the rope and grasped the ark tightly. A figure landed on the ark vigorously. The figure looked around, saw the bright light on the ark, and looked at the ark that was many times larger than their small boat, and couldn't help but exclaimed, Damn the nouveau riche. They are so irritating. What kind of life was that for me? Running around with my boss. But in the end, I could only stay in a corner of the boat. Look at this person again? One person occupies such a big ark alone. She only told these people that there was only one Lin Sheng. This person confirmed that no one was patrolling the ark and immediately confirmed that Xiaoli's words were correct. He immediately waved his hand to the people under the ark to show that there was no problem on the ark. I was even more excited at that moment. As long as people like me take the ark, then the ark will not be theirs in the future. After he waved his hand, people under the ark climbed up with the help of ropes. Soon 17 uninvited guests appeared on the deck of the ark. Brother Huang, this ark is really big. Hey, we won't have to live a crowded life in the future. One person said flatteringly to Huang Feng. Of course, Mr. Xiao and I are close friends. He will definitely leave this ark to us. You can rest assured that you will be able to enjoy the blessings. Huang Feng said extremely proudly. As for the young master Xiao that Huang Feng mentioned, he was the young boss of the big force they were backing. And Huang Feng became the proudest thing about him, becoming good friends. In this game-oriented world after the disaster, the only force with huge resources besides Lin Sheng is the Xiao family. And the Xiao family controls the Jialong mercenary group. Okay, hurry up and find the bastard who bullied my Xiaoli. Today, I will avenge my Xiaoli and let that kid kneel down and sing. Conquer. Wang Feng waved his hand and asked the younger brothers to get busy. It is not easy to find someone for such a big arc. After hearing what the boss said, the other boys dispersed. At this moment, Xiaoli was nestling in Huang Feng's arms and said softly, Thank you, Brother Huang. At the same time, there was a sinister light in her eyes. Xiaoli's mind immediately thought, Hum hum, Lin Sheng, you didn't think of it. Drive me away, and not only will I not starve to death, but I will also be on the list. Thigh, this time, I will make you lose everything and let you have a taste. The feeling of being homeless on the sea. At this moment, screams rang out from every corner of the ark. What's going on? A bad feeling suddenly appeared in Huang Feng's heart. On top of the ark, in the resting area of the savage tribe, Guzi was leading a few savages to surround the five people who had entered their resting area at night. Each of these savages held a spear in their hands and pointed it directly at them. Brother, if you have something to say, please tell me. We just got lost and got here. Yes. A group of people explained in a hurry. Guzi frowned, hesitating whether these people who looked similar to his master could be his master's guests. There was no time to kill them. He said to his savages, Watch them. I will go find the master. In the captain's room, Pai Pai sat down on a pile of five people. Enemy? Pai Pai said doubtfully. And the people under his but were all unconscious with bruises and swollen faces. In the mermaid dimensional sea area, five people were beaten up and thrown on the deck. Several mermaids also emerged from the sea, looking at these people in confusion. Wang Feng suddenly looked at Xiaoli beside him and asked, are you sure that the Lin Sheng you mentioned is the only one on this ark? Xiaoli said uncertainly for a moment. Yes. Yes. Snapped. Huang Feng slapped him fiercely. What kind of thing is this? Most of his subordinates will fall into trouble. And I don't even know how many people there are on the other side. You deserve to die. Huang Feng finally regretted that he should not have listened to Xiaoli's words in the first place. But it was useless to regret now. I could only grip my teeth take out the weapons I carried and look around cautiously. With a creak, a wooden door was suddenly pushed open. The bright light in the room suddenly illuminated the dark deck. Lin Sheng walked out of the room. Guzi led a group of savages 
and tied up five intruders and escorted them over. Kong Kongi also brought the mermaids from the mermaid tribe and escorted five people over. Pai Pai, on the other hand, ravaged the five people together into a sphere and pushed them over. You? Pai Pai, Kong Kongi, and Guzi all spoke in surprise at the same time. What's wrong with you? When Lin Shen walked out of the room, he saw three waves of people coming each with strange things. For a moment, he didn't notice Huang Feng and Xiao Li on the deck. On the other hand, the expression on Huang Feng's face had become extremely frightened, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. Didn't we agree to be alone? What is this scenario? There seemed to be more people in the group than him, and they were all ruthless men wearing armor. Huang Feng felt that the spear in his hand was so short and weak, he subconsciously put away his spear. What's going on with these people? After Lin Sheng finished speaking, everyone's eyes fell on Huang Feng's face. When Huang Feng realized that he had been discovered, his legs suddenly went weak. He felt that the people on the Ark were too scary. Xiao Li! Okay, so it's a superficial woman like you who is causing trouble for me? Originally, I let you go and let you fend for yourself. But I didn't expect that you still caused me trouble in the end. Lin Sheng saw Xiao Li slump on the ground and immediately understood what had happened. He said in a cold tone, No, I didn't. Lin Sheng, please listen to my excuse. No, it's an explanation. Xiao Li saw that Huang Feng was unreliable, and Huang Feng's subordinates were even more unreliable. So she wanted to quibble for a moment. Guzi, you don't need me to teach you what to do. Right, Lin Shun said. Understood. Master. Guzi and others replied immediately. A moment later, the 15 people who were still dying suddenly turned into corpses and were pushed into the sea to feed the mermaids. As for Huang Feng, when he saw the eyes of Guzi and others, he said in panic, No, you can't do this. If I die here, my elder brother will avenge me. Chapter 42 Enchanted Book Extreme Speed Sea Fog After hearing Huang Feng's words, Lin Sheng stretched out his hand to stop Guzi and others. After Huang Feng saw Lin Sheng's actions, he smiled proudly. As expected, it's good to have a background. Ha ha, do you think I will be afraid of your background? If I was scared, would I let them kill your men? Besides, if I let you go, won't you come to take revenge on me? I'm the one who made you become a polished commander. As for the person behind you, I will give him a chance. Anyone who dares to come to trouble me will suffer the same fate as you. If he finds out that he dares to come, you will not be alone on the way to H. L. The dog takes action. Lin Sheng finished speaking. Guzi walked towards Huang Feng, holding up the spear in his hand. The tip of the spear was particularly eye-catching in the moonlight. No, no, brother, I was wrong. Okay, I promise I won't come to you for revenge. But no matter how Huang Feng begged, Lin Sheng remained silent until Guzi stabbed Huang Feng's body with a spear and pushed him into the sea. At this time, Xiaoli stared blankly at the scene in front of her. She just felt that Lin Sheng was too strange and was no longer the Lin Sheng she knew. Suddenly her pupils suddenly dilated and lost focus. She never imagined that Lin Sheng would really let his men kill her. After the trouble was resolved, Lin Sheng waved his hand. It's all gone. By the way, Guzi, you and Kong Kongi can arrange for people to take turns patrolling. After what happened just now, Lin Sheng also felt that someone had to patrol. So he asked the two of them to handle it. After doing these things, Lin Sheng walked towards the location of the spiritual spring. Lin Sheng took some spiritual spring water and returned to his room. Production of medicines continued. Get primary strength potion plus one. Get primary physical strength potion plus one. Get primary speed potion plus one. Get primary intelligence potion plus one. Lin Sheng made all the crystals into potions. Lin Sheng looked at the backpack again. Primary physical strength potion 11. Primary strength potion 100. Elementary Speed Potion 10 Elementary Intelligence Potion 10 Looking at all the potions in his backpack, Lin Sheng took out 9 bottles each, and the number of times he wanted to use the potions reached the upper limit. All basic attributes have reached 20 points. This is undoubtedly a successful promotion. Lin Sheng put away the remaining potions. He didn't know if Guzi and the others would be useful. However, seeing that the sky was already extremely dark, Lin Sheng did not go out to look for them. Instead, he climbed into bed silently. Sign in to get. Enchanted book speed. Plus one and a drawing. Another double yoke egg sign in reward. But it also means the end of another day. Last time. 
The blank enchanted book was multiplied hundreds of times, and the created enchanted book could not be multiplied. This time the enchanted book can be increased a hundred times. Enchanted book speed plus 100. How to successfully learn extremely fast drawing. Enchanted book speed. Function. Increase the speed of the tool 10 times. Effect. 1H. Enchantment target. Vehicles. Mounts or ships. Etc. 10 times faster. The speed of the arc is only 100 km per hour. If you use this enchanted book, you can reach the 10,000 km distance in 10 hours. After thinking of this, Lin Shum couldn't help but feel helpless. He immediately went to the captain's cabin. Wait until tomorrow. No. Lin Shung is not sleepy at all now. How can he wait until tomorrow? When Lin Shung arrived at the captain's room. Boss, why are you here? Compared to old Jack, who was driving the ark seriously. Pai Pai was the first to notice Lin Shung's arrival. Oh, it's okay. Pai Pai, you can rest. I have something to talk to old Jack. Lin Shung turned around and walked to old Jack and said to old Jack. Want to experience the speed and passion? Ha ha. Bosses, we drive boats, not cars. Old Jack smiled slightly. No, 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 no matter it's a boat or a car. As long as the driver is good, it can drive at flying speeds. Isn't it possible, Old Jack, that your reputation is in vain? Boss, I don't like to hear what you are saying. Old Jack, come on. If you can make the arc speed up, I, Old Jack, will dare to float the boat for you. When Old Jack was stimulated by Lin Sheng, he suddenly became hardened. Lin Sheng grinned. Then make preparations. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, an enchanted book appeared in his hand, and he immediately pressed it on the rudder. The enchanted book turned into dots of light and covered the entire arc. For a moment, the speed of the arc suddenly increased tenfold. With a swish sound, the arc moved forward as fast as a turtle with a rocket on its back. Old Jack was stunned for a moment and almost didn't hit the iceberg. Fortunately, he finally reacted and pulled the arc back on course. Old Jack's originally cloudy eyes suddenly brightened. A captain who doesn't want to be a racing driver is not a good captain. Old Jack felt his blood boiling all over. Driving the boat is too slow, and you can't experience the passion at all. Fortunately, Old Jack's skills were strong enough. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to drive at such a fast speed. Pipe Eye fell off the bed and cursed. Old madman, are you crazy? I'm going to get seasick. Ha ha. Don't talk nonsense. This is the only time in my life that I can play boat racing on the sea. Old Jack laughed unbridled. Although Lin Sheng stood aside and was prepared and was not knocked down. The corner of his mouth twitched. He was such an honest person. It turned out that he was no longer a human being when he became crazy. Maritime. Other survivors float on a raft. It's time to go to bed. Alas. What a miserable day it is. Suddenly a gust of wind blew. And the survivor's raft was lifted up. And the survivor fell into the sea. It wasn't until he climbed back onto the raft that he rubbed his eyes in disbelief. What just passed? After the survivor calmed down, he immediately opened the world chat and sent a message. The wind has picked up. And there seems to be something scary. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to fall into the sea and not be eaten. And old Jack's boat racing continues. Many survivors who came one after another were frightened. The world chat channel also exploded. Ah, what's going on? Brother upstairs, I also encountered what you said. Is there a sea monster infested? That seems to be a monster. Haven't you watched Island Country anime? Monsters are all under the sea. They must have come out for air. There were endless discussions on the world channel. And everyone was extremely frightened. But Lin Sheng, the instigator, was looking at the sea with excited eyes. He would be there soon. When the third enchanted book was consumed, bursts of black mist on the sea shrouded the way forward for Lin Sheng's arc. Arc did not stop because it was too fast, but rushed into the black mist. Chapter 43 Black Mist Sea Ghost Ship The arc, which was still sailing rapidly, suddenly stopped. The speed became extremely slow. Boss, keep going. My old Jack is still going to race the boat. Old Jack said with an addiction to boat racing. Lin Sheng looked at the almost crazy old Jack and slapped him on the head. What are you talking about? Let's start the boat honestly. We seem to be in trouble. After Lin Sheng complained angrily, he said seriously? Ah? Uh? After being reminded by Lin Sheng, old Jack seemed to have reacted. Yes, it seems like less than an hour has passed. Why has the speed of this arc slowed down? 
Boss, where is this? After regaining his composure, Old Jack carefully observed the surrounding environment and then said with some surprise, The Ark is on the Dark Sea, and this sea surface is completely wrapped in black fog every day. Looking out of the window of the captain's cabin, he could only see the sea less than two meters away in front of the Ark, and the rest of the starting point was completely dark. Just when Old Jack was asking, a cold wind blew on the Ark, and the cold wind passed through the cracks in the door, making Lin Chung and others in the captain's room shiver. Master, it's not good. Guzi hurriedly ran into the captain's cabin and said, before Guzi could finish his words, the Mermaid King and Kong Kongi also came to the captain's room to look for Lin Sheng. Just when the Ark entered the black mist, everyone on the Ark felt a bone-chilling chill, which gave them a sense of danger. The savages and mermaids, who couldn't make up their minds for a while, walked out of the top representative to look for Lin Sheng. Of course, there is now a scene of gathering together. I know. But I want to know what exactly is this place. Why does such a place suddenly appear on the sea? Lin Sheng waved his hands and said calmly. After Lin Sheng's words fell, everyone fell into silence. Old man, are you too arrogant? Now you've screwed everyone up. Pai Pai didn't understand what happened. So he directly blamed Old Jack. Old Jack is the one who drives the boat. As for Lin Sheng, the instigator of the acceleration of the arc that drove Old Jack crazy? Forget it. He is the boss and he cannot afford to offend a wage earner. I didn't. Although I was very excited just now, I still followed the route. Old Jack didn't understand and took a moment to explain. He would not take the blame. Okay, stop arguing. Let's think about it together and see if you have heard of any legends about sponges. After saying this, Lin Sheng subconsciously took out the book and prepared to ask about it on the World Chat Channel. This had never happened to him in his previous life. And even when Shiling found him later, he never said there was any danger on the road. Lin Sheng, who took out the ancient book, discovered that the world chat page was actually blank. It's like being isolated and unable to connect with the outside world at all. Now Lin Sheng couldn't help but think of another thing. The big force that suddenly disappeared in the previous life also disappeared overnight. As for why Lin Sheng remembered it, it was because after that force disappeared, the entire world channel exploded, and no member of that force was alive. Master. I seem to have remembered something, the Mermaid King said when Lin Sheng was extremely nervous. What's the matter? Lin Sheng suddenly looked back at the Mermaid King. He really didn't understand what this mist was. There has always been an ancient legend in our oceans. That is the legend of the ghost ship. In ancient times, there was a group of pirates who were causing trouble at sea and bullied many ordinary people's ships. One day bad news came. All the pirates on the pirate ship were killed overnight and the pirate ship sank into the sea. Hundreds of years later, not only did the pirate ship and the pirate's corpses not be soaked and rotted by the seawater, they also a legend spread. Although we, the mermaid clan, first proved that this legend was meant to scare children, the pirate ship suddenly disappeared just half a year ago, and not long after, the legend became a reality. When the pirate ship appeared in front of us again, it was accompanied by black mist. The appearance of this black mist swept our mermaid clan and many clan members also disappeared into the black mist. This is also the reason why our mermaid clan will be destroyed by shark. The reason why people are easily defeated. The black fog in front of us was exactly the same as the black fog that accompanied the pirate ships at that time. The mermaid king finished telling the story. Everyone swallowed loudly. Oh my god! Is this a collision? Pai Pai shuddered and said. Lin Sheng also fell silent. But at this time, Old Jack said tremblingly, Boss! Do you think that is the pirate ship that the Mermaid King mentioned? No, this should be a ghost ship. Old Jack asked with trembling fingers pointing to a dark green light in the darkness in the distance. Lin Sheng and others looked in the direction pointed by Old Jack. Sure enough, a sail appeared looming in the black mist, and a black skull was printed on the worn flag. Along with this, there was dark green fluorescence. I am a good young man who has received nine years of compulsory education. How can I believe this? Lin Sheng complained silently in his heart. But this also gave Lin Sheng a bad premonition. Is it possible that some kind of creature in the sea is causing trouble? Have you ever fought against them? Lin Sheng asked the Mermaid King. No. The black mist appeared and disappeared very suddenly. As if it was hunting. After our tribe was kidnapped. It disappeared. The Mermaid King felt regret in his heart. He hated that he was so shocked that he did not react immediately. Which resulted in the loss of his clan members. Go and have a look. 
Otherwise, we won't have anywhere to go. You too. Guzi and Mermaid King. Go back and gather everyone to get weapons and equipment. It is very likely that we will have a tough battle to fight. Lin Shun said seriously. After Guzi and Mermaid King heard what Lin Shun said. They went back one after another. Old Jack and Pai Pai looked at each other. Boss, how about if we retreat? Maybe we can still get out of here? Pai Pai said first, his eyes wandering as he spoke. Although he may not be considered powerful, he was facing a real enemy. To be honest, this kind of ethereal thing was just empty. Pippa, you see? You are not afraid of Old Jack anymore. What are you still afraid of? Boss, are you sure? Old Jack, tick tock tock. Lin Shung heard that the sound was wrong and looked back. Eh? There were water stains all over the ground. Come on. Why are these two guys so cowardly? Haven't you seen that neither mermaids nor savages are afraid of them? Old Jack, Lin Shung said suddenly. Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? What's wrong? Boss? Old Jack asked after coming back to his senses in panic. Let's sail. So what about the ghost ship? Damn it. We can leave if we blow up this ship. Lin Sheng said very domineeringly. Chapter 44 Headless Pirate Night Mysterious Island Lin Sheng's words were full of exaggeration, which suddenly brought the two people's hearts back. Yes, screw him. Pai Pai seemed to be a different person. All the previous fears had disappeared, and Old Jack also recovered from Pai Pai's voice. Lin Sheng immediately discovered something was wrong. Was his mentality affected? Boss, what did I just do? Why are my pants wet? Just when Lin Sheng was confused, Old Jack felt that his pants were wet and felt very uncomfortable. Aren't you afraid of ghost ships? Lin Sheng said. Ha uh ha! -huh. What am I afraid of? Ghost ships? I'm not the boss. I'm really not afraid of ghost ships. I haven't encountered anything in so many years at sea. Isn't it just a ghost ship? Just bump into it. People are more ruthless than Gui. Scary. Yes. Yes. Boss. If you are afraid... I can protect you. Pai Pai also showed off his muscles and said as if he was punching a nursing home and kicking a kindergarten. Lin Shun looked at this scene and suddenly understood in his heart. It seemed that the black mist had the effect of confusing the mind. My words just now should have awakened these two guys. It's okay. By the way, old Jack, go change your pants. Let's go out first. Lin Shun's words immediately made old Jack blush. It wasn't until Lin Shun and the two left that Old Jack's eyes showed shame. Damn it for someone so old to be frightened by this thing. Then Old Jack quickly changed his pants and headed towards the ghost ship. Are you really not afraid? What are you afraid of? That's okay. Pai Pai looked confused. Isn't it a ghost ship? It's not like I haven't seen it before. Pai Pai murmured in his heart, not showing the slightest fear at this moment. Lin Sheng nodded silently. This needs to be recorded. Tip, you have entered the realm of black mist. The black mist may disorient your mind and amplify the fear in your heart. Tip, please get rid of the black mist as soon as possible to avoid being trapped in the black mist for a long time and die. Late game tip. Lin Sheng covered his face. Is this really a change in the gamified world? As a result, I didn't issue a prompt until I understood. Everyone on the Ark was waiting for the Ark to approach the ghost ship. The layers of black mist were peeled away. And the Ark came to the ghost ship behind the black mist. The size of this ghost ship is no smaller than my own ark. As expected, the island flag was hung high on the ghost ship, and it was obvious that it was a pirate ship. It was at this time that the eyes of the mermaid king beside Lin Sheng suddenly turned blood red. He had an angry expression, as if he wanted to rush to the opponent's deck at any time. Master, this is the ship that kidnapped many of our mermaid tribe members. The mermaid king gritted his teeth and said, Master, please allow me to pass. If the Mermaid King had not become Lin Sheng's slave, he would not ask for Lin Sheng's consent at all. Because of the slave contract, the Mermaid King must have Lin Sheng's consent if he wants to leave a certain area of the Arkansas, especially after he just understood the role of the Black Mist. Lin Sheng deliberately tightened the control of the slave contract. Calm Kong Yi, do you have any songs that can purify your soul? Lin Sheng asked, thinking that in the legend he knew, the mermaid singing could cleanse the soul. Huh? Oh. I have it. Master. Sing. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Kong Kong immediately sang a sweet song without any hesitation. The song rippled across the ark, and the mermaid king's blood-red eyes suddenly returned to normal. Even Pai Pai, whose legs were almost weak from fright, also recovered. I made a mistake. Master. 
The Mermaid King also noticed the changes in himself and apologized. It's okay. Don't go over there yet. The black fog is very weird. And this ghost ship is also very weird. Just shoot arrows at the ghost ship. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, everyone on the Ark took out their arrows and shot at the ghost ship. Swish, swish. There was a continuous sound of arrow shooting. But the result was so sudden that the arrows did not fall on the ghost ship, but penetrated the ghost ship and fell into the sea. How is this going? Lin Sheng muttered in his mind, but stopped others from shooting. In Lin Sheng's opinion, the only way to break through the black fog and leave is to destroy the ghost ship. The culprit? Right. But the ghost ship cannot be destroyed. So how can I leave? At this moment, bursts of horse hooves came from the ghost ship. Tap, tap, tap. It sounds very leisurely. Finally, a horse covered in green light appeared on the deck of the ghost ship. There was a headless man on the horse. Dressed like a pirate, the headless pirate is holding a knife as long as his arm. The headless pirate rode a ghost horse to the deck, facing Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng pulled the long bow in his hand, and the arrow shot out suddenly. But in the end, he was still unable to attack the opponent. Suddenly, the other party's panel appeared in front of Lin Sheng. Headless pirate knight ghost. Life, 10, ignore normal attacks. Attack, 10, ignores defense. Skill, ghost fire slash. Lin Sheng. MMP injury free? Armor breaking? No. Old Jack is sailing away. Lin Sheng shouted hurriedly. Old Jack in the captain's room, not far away heard Lin Sheng's words, and immediately prepared to sail away. The headless pirate knight waved the sword in his hand, and a blade made of blue flames flew towards him. Get away! This is armor-piercing damage that ignores defense. The headless pirate knight attacks one after another. Who can withstand it? Everyone on the Ark managed to dodge a slash of Will-o'-the-Wisp. But another one came. A mermaid warrior from the mermaid clan took the lead and launched a magic attack at the headless pirate knight. A water column shot towards the headless pirate knight. The next moment, the headless pirate knight just swayed and froze. But there was no hint of blood deduction. Useful, but impossible to kill. This is what everyone who sees this scene thinks about. But it was also at this time that Ark had distanced itself from the ghost ship. Lin Sheng breathed a sigh of relief and just wanted to say something. The headless pirate knight took steps forward while riding the ghost horse on his crotch. After penetrating the ghost ship, it headed toward Lin Sheng's Ark above the sea like flat land. This. Everyone suddenly looked at each other. It can't be beaten to death. And it hurts so much. If it is caught up, won't everyone on the Ark be killed by this thing? Don't be stunned. Just keep attacking and hold him back. The Mermaid King said to the Mermaid Tribesman, who can attack with magic. Boss, is there an island over there that we want to go to? Pai Pai asked as he discovered a small island with sharp eyes. Go over and check out the island first. Lin Sheng thought that there was a small island in the Black Fog Sea area. And there must be some good way to break the Black Fog. Chapter 45 The Strange Wooden House The ever bright light that guides the way. It was confirmed immediately. The Ark had just stopped on the island. But the headless pirate knight chasing behind him seemed to be isolated in some way. He watched from a distance as Lin Sheng and others did not approach the island. But he didn't stay away. He just kept waiting for Lin Sheng and others to leave the island. Lin Sheng was also glad that he had chosen the right place to stay. The headless pirate knight didn't dare to chase him, fearing that there would be something to restrain him on this island. As for the previous hints from world gamification, I guess the so-called leaving the black mist is also related to the items on this island. Right? Lin Sheng landed on the island from the Ark. As for how many people to bring, Lin Sheng only brought one person. Pai Pai? This was on an island. It would be inconvenient for a mermaid to leave the ocean. And the savage tribe didn't know if there would be others on the island. Danger? If you bring the savage tribe with you, if you encounter danger and escape, you will need to bring a group of burdens with you. Instead of doing this, it is better to stay on the Ark and guard your own Ark. Lin Shum led Pai Pai along. Boss, what are we looking for? Pai Pai asked doubtfully. Just keep walking. Those weird headless pirate knights who dare not come to the island must have something to restrain them. Besides, didn't you see that the headless pirate knight just walked out of a room on the ghost ship? What if there are such monsters in other rooms, and if we don't find a way to restrain them? How can we leave this sea of black mist? Seeing that he had the speed enchanted book, he should have been able to reach his destination at dawn. But in the end, he accidentally entered the black mist sea and was trapped here. After encountering this kind of monster, Lin Sheng couldn't be in a bad mood. That's right. But the island is so big. 
Where can we find it? As soon as Pipe Eye finished speaking, the sand in front of him began to shake. The sand quickly accumulated and formed a line of sand people. With a touch sound, the sand on the sandman shook off a pile of accumulated sand. And the sandman suddenly turned into a vivid sandman. They turned and aimed at Lin Sheng and Pai Pai one by one. Lin Sheng's heart sank. This sea area was really too weird. There is an air of danger everywhere. Lin Sheng had really never encountered the sandman in front of him in his previous life. Could this sandman be the same as the headless pirate knight? Lin Sheng watched the sandman approach step by step. And the thoughts in his heart became heavier and heavier. But you can't be desperate all the time. You won't know until you fight whether you can do it or not. Lin Sheng shot an arrow from the long bow in his hand. And something surprising happened to Lin Sheng. After the arrow hit the sandman, the sandman turned into a pile of sand again. Lin Sheng breathed a sigh of relief after seeing the scene. This sandman is almost two meters tall. But he can kill him instantly. Pai Pai! Don't be stunned. These are just bluffs. Pai Pai was also fooled by the headless pirate knight. But after hearing Lin Sheng's words, he grinned and rushed towards the sandman quickly. One punch after another. The long-lost pleasure of fighting made Pai Pai say he was addicted. No. No more. Pai Pai was still immersed in the feeling of killing the sandman instantly. But he found that there were no enemies left. The monster Pai Pai faced before was at a loss. Okay. Hurry up and leave. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Pai Pai put away his disappointed mood and walked towards Lin Sheng. Soon the two came across a dilapidated wooden house. Go in and take a look. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, the two pushed the door open and entered. With a creak, the door of the wooden house was opened. But when it was halfway open, the wooden house fell directly to the ground. It's so old. This is the common thought in the minds of both of them. Entering the wooden house. A skeleton with only a skeleton left was sitting on a wooden chair. There is a wooden table next to the skeleton. With three boxes displayed on the wooden table. The wooden box was covered with dust and had a strong sense of age. Hoo hoo. Snapped. Lin Sheng slapped Pai Pai on the head. What are you doing? Why are you blowing such big dust? Boss, wouldn't it be easier to open after blowing it clean? Pai Pai said aggrievedly. Did you see that? What is this? Azabu, be careful if you absorb too much dust and get lung cancer. Lin Sheng pointed to the tablecloth and then gently wiped away the dust on the box. Lin Sheng opened the first box. Inside the box was a packet of seeds and a note. There is a ghost ship on the sea. But there are sand people on the island. Isn't this trying to kill me? Alas, I will never have the chance to eat strawberries again. And I can't plant these strawberry seeds. I'll leave them to those who are destined to get them. Time of signing, the second day after the disaster. Lin Sheng was stunned when he saw the payment time. It's the second day after the disaster. But why does it feel like hundreds of years have passed when looking inside this wooden house? Lin Sheng suddenly turned his head and looked outside. Even though the sky was full of darkness and fog, Lin Sheng could faintly feel that time was passing extremely fast in this wooden house. Lin Sheng collected the strawberry seeds and hurriedly opened the second wooden box. Get a pack of strawberry seeds. Inside the wooden box is a piece of parchment. Survivors, welcome to the cabin. If you can open this box, you must have dealt with the sand people on the island. After getting your things, leave quickly. Even if you kill all the sand people, one day in the house is equivalent to one year outside the house. Lin Sheng understood something after looking at the parchment. He hurriedly picked up another piece of parchment in the wooden box and hugged the other wooden box and said, Pai Pai, let's go quickly. Lin Sheng and Pai Pai hurriedly left the cabin. What happened boss? Pai Pai asked in confusion. How long do you think it has been now? How long? Didn't we just enter the cabin for a while? Lin Sheng shook his head and said, See for yourself. Lin Sheng also understood now why the survivor who mistakenly entered the island on the second day of survival was left with only a skeleton. After killing so many sand people, time flowed so fast in the wooden house. And the survivor was obviously an escapee. If you don't solve the problem of Sandman, time will flow faster. Lin Sheng handed the parchment in his hand to Pai Pai and then opened another piece of parchment. Obtain the manufacturing diagram of the True Xian Sword. Fine Iron 100. Soul Crystal 1. True Xian Jin. Special Weapon. Adds 1% real damage. Hitting the opponent ignores everything and causes 1% damage to the opponent. After Lin Sheng saw the weapon manufacturing diagram, he was overjoyed. As long as he made the weapon, he would have a way to deal with the headless pirate knight. But after seeing the materials, Lin Sheng had a weird look on his face. What is the Soul Crystal? 
But I don't have any. In desperation, Lin Shun opened the last box. Eternal light. The guiding light will take you out of this dark and foggy sea. The ghostly creatures in the sea will definitely be avoided with the ever bright light in hand. Not to mention anything else. With the ever lighting lamp in hand, there is already hope of leaving this dark sea of mist. As for the weapons that can kill those monsters, we should wait until later to figure out how to make them. Lin Sheng took Pai Pai back to the Ark. Get ready for us to leave this dark sea of mist. Lin Sheng returned to the Ark and immediately said with an ever burning lantern. Chapter 46 The Disappearing Sea Area. The Last Hour. Ha! Huh? Master, have you thought of a solution? But the headless pirate knight is still guarding outside. After Guzi heard Lin Sheng's words, he was the first to react and asked. Lin Sheng looked at Guzi's anxious look and waved the ever bright lantern in his hand. The next moment, Lin Sheng used the ability to increase the power a hundred times on the ever bright lantern. The ever bright lamp in his hand suddenly turned into a hundred lights all over the arc. Go! Light all these everlasting lamps for me! And distribute them evenly around the arc! Lin Sheng left a small part of the ever burning lanterns and left the rest to Guzi and others for arrangement. Soon, the arc was covered with ever burning lamps. After all the ever burning lanterns were lit, Lin Sheng's arc suddenly turned into a lantern ship on the sea shrouded in light. Directly in front of the bow of the arc was an ever bright lamp. This ever bright lamp seemed to disperse the black fog in front of the arc. Every time the arc travels a certain distance, the black mist avoids it as if it has encountered a natural enemy. Seeing the arc coming out, the will o' the wisp in the eyes of the headless pirate knight, who had been waiting for Lin Sheng and others on the sea, became more and more powerful. It wanted to get close to Lin Sheng's arc, but the light of the ever burning lantern seemed to restrain it, making it unable to get close to the arc. For a moment, the headless pirate knight looked up to the sky and let out an angry scream. The sound was so harsh that Lin Sheng on the arc quickly covered his ears. And even the other crew members did the same. The ghost ship in the black mist in the distance moved, seemingly slowly, but it was moving towards the arc very fast. When approaching the arc, the ghost ship seemed to be isolated from the outside by a barrier. When the people on the arc saw this scene, they all breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, this evergreen lamp is indeed useful. The ghost ship couldn't get closer, and the headless pirate knights on the ghost ship seemed to be irritated, and they all ran out on ghost horses from each ship. The sounds of ghosts and screams surrounded the ark, but they couldn't get any closer. Lin Sheng was covered in cold sweat. He was not just doing this just as a precaution. He did not expect that after the everlasting lamp was multiplied a hundred times and covered the ark, it would actually have such an effect. Lin Sheng couldn't help but think that if other survivors strayed into this black mist area and encountered these ghost creatures, even if they were lucky, how would they rely on a long-lasting light to escape? But what Lin Sheng didn't consider was that his was an ark. The other survivors wouldn't have entered by mistake in a large group. In that case, only the survivors who used rafts would have strayed into the sea area. Just big enough for a raft. As the ever bright lantern opened its way, the black fog that was supposed to trap Ark in this sea area could no longer trap Ark. As Ark moved forward, it seemed as if it had torn a hole in the black fog and rushed out of the black fog. And those ghostly creatures that had been surrounding Lin Sheng's Ark stopped and stayed in the black fog of the forest. They were angry but their voices seemed to be blocked by black mist. They could only look at Ark's back with vicious eyes. As if threatening Lin Sheng, if he dared to enter the black mist sea again, they would definitely skin him alive, as soon as possible. It finally came out, and I was scared to death. Guzi wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and said, At this time, everyone looked behind them, and saw that the original black mist sea area seemed to have never appeared before. The sea surface was still that clear, and there were even sparkling spots of light on the sea surface which did not look like the black fog that had appeared before. If he hadn't experienced the crisis, Lin Sheng would have thought that he was dreaming, causing him to see creatures that were unreal and unbeatable. After everyone went through an ideological struggle, Pai Pai covered his head and said, Boss, I'm definitely having a nightmare. I'm going to take a nap. It'll be fine when I wake up. Pai Pai left unreliably. The people from the mermaid tribe and the people from the savage tribe looked at each other and didn't know what to say or what to do. Okay. Everyone who needs a rest can go and rest. You were quite tired last night. As for those who still have energy, you can do whatever you want. Just as Lin Sheng finished speaking, Guzi glanced at the people in his tribe. Are you tired? It seemed that he had fired a few arrows, but couldn't hit anyone and then stopped moving. At most, he just stared at the headless pirate knight's legs for a long time. After Guzi thought for a while, 
He looked at the energetic tribesman and finally said, Master, it's okay. Let's go harvest the products. Lin Sheng nodded and waved his hand to signal Guzi to take the people away. Today is the third day of planting agricultural products. It should have been harvested early in the morning. But it was already noon due to the black fog and sea. Just let Guzi and others leave. Wait a minute. We won't eat at noon. Let's share the bread equally and then start working after eating. Lin Sheng multiplied the supplies in his backpack a hundred times. Took out the bread and gave it to Guzi and others. After lunch, everyone was busy with their own things. Lin Sheng came to the captain's cabin and saw old Jack sleeping drowsily. While Pai Pai fell asleep with a satisfied look on his face. Lin Sheng kicked Pai Pai on the butt. Boss! Enemy attack! There are enemies! Pai Pai, who was kicked in the butt by Lin Sheng, tilted his sailor hat on his head and stood up in fear. You slept soundly! Didn't you see old Jack driving tiredly? Shouldn't you have changed seats? Lin Sheng said angrily. Of course, this is not the fault of Pai Pai. Originally, Pai Pai was on duty to open the ark in the middle of the night. But who allowed the incident to happen last night? Resulting in no shift change later. Boss, I'm fine. As long as I don't sail for more than 24 hours, there will be no problem. Old Jack took out a candy from his pocket and ate it. The brown ones should be coffee sugar. But Lin Sheng was also curious about these two people. One had coffee candies in his pocket, and the other had spinach in his pocket that seemed like he couldn't finish it. However, Lin Sheng did not pay attention to these curiosity. It was not good for him to be too curious. Okay, by the way, old Jack, how far are we from our destination? Lin Sheng asked curiously. Oh, there are only 100 kilometers left. Boss, how about we do the same thing last night again? Are you sure you're okay? Certainly. Oh well. After a while, the speed of the arc became extremely fast, and Lin Sheng also came out of the captain's room, arriving on the arc. Although the speed of the arc increased, the people of the savage tribe on the arc were not affected at all. On the sea surface of the mermaid tribe's dimensional sea, the mermaid girl was playing happily. Look again. Guzi and the mermaid king. The two are quite chatty. They are fishing together on the edge of the arc. The scene is extremely harmonious. They are both leaders of the same race. It is no wonder that there are fish to talk to. Lin Sheng took out some ancient books. Lin Sheng. Sister Ling. Has your position changed? Shen Ling. Probably not. Look. What are you going to do? Xiao Sheng? After Shen Ling sent the message, Lin Sheng sent a location fix. It's not that far away from the previous location. It's probably still in the same sea area, and you can see it wherever you go. I'm going there soon. Right. I'll be there in about an hour. Shen Ling was stunned when she saw the message from Lin Sheng while sitting on the raft. And then her face was full of surprise. Really? Chapter 47 Harvest Arrival Lin Sheng smiled and replied. Of course. I have lied to you before. The chat between the two stopped. Shen Ling held the dolphin lying on the raft beside him in his arms. With a face full of joy. He said, Little Piggy. Do you know? I will be reunited with my relative soon. Little Piggy. This is the name Shen Ling gave to the dolphin. The dolphin had already regarded Shen Ling as its master. Facing the master's joy. The dolphin also made a cry of joy. Under the sea next to Shen Ling. A two meter long giant lobster approached quietly. But it seemed to be worried about something but it patrolled around vigilantly. Outside the sea area where Shen Ling was. A large wooden boat was heading in another direction. But suddenly changed its direction and headed towards Shen Ling's location again. Of course. Neither Lin Sheng nor Shen Ling thought of all this. In the last life, Shen Ling drifted aimlessly on the sea, but was not targeted by sea monsters. But this time it was different. She and Lin Sheng had agreed to do activities in the nearby sea area. This eventually led to the sea beast targeting her. And on that wooden boat was Xiao Shirlong, Lin Sheng's enemy in his previous life. The culprit who killed Shen Ling eventually led to Lin Sheng being chased to death by a group of dragon mercenaries. Originally, Shen Ling shouldn't have been encountered if he hadn't been wandering around. But it was because of Lin Sheng's killing of Huang Feng earlier that Xiao Shirlong wanted to avenge his younger brother and almost met him again. On wooden boat, a younger brother next to Xiao Shirlong said, Brother Long, things he is cold. Oh, what happened? Was it eaten by a sea beast? Xiao Shirlong said calmly, relying on the relationship between his eldest and second brothers. He had abundant supplies and gathered many younger brothers from the first day of the disaster. His eldest brother and second brother had their own dragon mercenary group, 
and he wanted to create his own power. So he would only go back to his two brothers when supplies were insufficient. Some of the younger brothers he attracted also died. But most of them were eaten by sea beasts while searching for supplies. Xiao Shirlong also asked nonchalantly about this matter. No. Yesterday Fingzi said that he had found a pretty woman and wanted to bring her back to us to honor you. Brother Long. She was supposed to find her and join us in more than a month. But yesterday he said he was going to do a little favor for that woman. But when I paid attention to him today, I found that he was dead. Killed? Right. Xiao Shirlong suddenly became furious. It doesn't matter if Mud was eaten by a sea monster. But if he was killed by someone, wouldn't the labor and supplies be given to him in vain? Who else dares to touch my Xiao Shirlong people? The younger brother beside Xiao Shirlong didn't dare to speak. But he was thinking in his heart. Brother Long, you are great. But the world is so big. And you are not your eldest brother or second brother. How can you be famous? Turn around. We take the initiative to go to the place where Fingzi died. If there is any news about the person who killed Fingzi, we will deal with that person smoothly. Just after Xiao Shirlong said this, his younger brother received a private message from someone. After a while, the younger brother said, Brother Long, someone under Fingzi contacted me and said that he was lucky enough not to act with Fingzi and saved his life. And the person who killed Fingzi was the man who caused the uproar in the first place. Xiao Shirlong smiled. Ha ha, Lin Sheng, I know. Rumor has it that he is very rich in supplies. And there is also Arkansas TSK TSK. Needless to say, let's go hunt that Lin Sheng. You must know that my elder brother has not made Ark either. I've come out before. After all, we need too many supplies. This scene that happened on the wooden boat was what caused the wooden boat to turn around and head towards the sea area where Lin Sheng was. Lin Sheng, who was thinking that everything was a foregone conclusion, was watching the harvest of Guzi and others on the Arkansas. The savages gathered the crops that had matured and resowed them. With the irrigation of spiritual spring water, these crops can be replanted as soon as they are harvested. Lin Sheng looked at several large baskets full of tomatoes, walked over, picked up a tomato, tasted it and said, It's good, sweet and sour, and tastes just right. This is much more delicious than the previous genetically modified tomatoes. Not only it's big, and the original flavor of the tomatoes is not lost at all. As Lin Sheng ate the tomatoes, he thought of the tomatoes he had eaten before the disaster. Not to mention the big ones with thick skins. They tasted as bland as drinking water. I'll use this to make ketchup later. Lin Sheng thought that this taste could be cooked directly into tomato sauce without adding any seasoning. Lin Sheng looked at the harvest of peanuts again, and an idea came to his mind. Peanuts? Peanut oil is so fragrant. Lin Sheng suddenly asked curiously, Do you know how to squeeze peanut oil? Guzi nodded. Of course. Master, you may not think that we are all savages, but we know a lot of skills. Guzi's answer subverted Lin Sheng's cognition. Perhaps? These savages were restricted by the island and did not become socialized. Okay, let's squeeze these peanuts for oil. Seeing that a total of peanuts were harvested in baskets with a height of one meter, I thought it would not be a problem to squeeze out a small barrel of oil. And keep the peanuts? Forget it. There will be more peanuts if you want to eat them later. The oil must be squeezed out. It's been almost a week since I've had oil. Of course, it only refers to after rebirth. Wait and so on. After harvesting. The savages are processing it one after another. The speed of these savages really cannot be explained by science. They are simply faster than machines. Just when the savages were busy, Pai Pai ran out and said to Lin Sheng, Boss, we have arrived at our destination. An hour passed so quickly. Lin Sheng was surprised and then looked towards the sea. No, no, still no. Lin Sheng's eyes were looking everywhere. How could it not be there? For a moment, Lin Shun was extremely anxious. This was wrong. The location Shen Ling shared with him was here. Why didn't he see it when he searched for it after arriving at the destination? The previous joy of watching the savages' harvest was completely gone. Boss, what are you looking for? Pai Pai asked doubtfully. A raft. Well, there should be a woman and maybe a dolphin on the raft. Lin Shun continued to search the sea without looking at Pai Pai's words. Ah? After Pai Pai heard Lin Sheng's words, he also helped to search, although he didn't know why the boss was so anxious. It must be important. Two minutes passed, and the ark moved forward some distance. Pai Pai pointed to a raft on the sea and said, Boss, do you think that's where it is? Lin Shun looked towards the location Pai Pai was looking for. By the way, 
That's it. Lin Sheng patted Pai Pai on the shoulder and praised. Well, your little eyes are quite useful sometimes. Pai Pai was helpless and thought to himself. Boss, are you praising people or hurting them? It's not my fault that my eyes are small. They were born from my father. As the ark got closer to the raft, Lin Sheng could faintly see the woman on the raft playing with the dolphins beside the raft. Lin Sheng was thinking, will they finally be reunited? A week's wait is not in vain. Lin Sheng was extremely excited. But he didn't shout out. He wanted to give Shen Ling a surprise. Suddenly the surprise turned to horror. Lin Sheng saw a huge pliers quietly surfaced on the side of the raft. And Shen Ling was playing with the dolphins without knowing it. Chapter 48 Convergence Gone. I saw that we were about to be reunited. But in the end I saw this scene. If I had arrived just one minute later, wouldn't the reunion have turned into a world apart forever? Damn Leviathan! Lin Sheng cursed in his mouth. And the long bow appeared in Lin Sheng's hand. Lin Sheng pulled out a full moon bow with full anger in his hand. Close! Closer! Seeing the giant pincer getting closer and closer to Shen Ling's back, Lin Sheng became more and more anxious when he saw that Fong Ark was not close enough. Close! Just a little bit close, go to H, L. The distance finally reached the shooting distance. Lin Sheng roared. The arrow in his hand seemed to break the air and hit the giant pincer in the blink of an eye. And Shen Ling was frightened and turned around at Lin Sheng's roar. After the arrow hit the giant pincer, the sea beast in the sea surfaced in pain. A huge lobster had long eyes. And its interest in Shen Ling was also drawn away by the anger brought by the arrow. The giant lobster turned back and stared directly at Lin Sheng. But Shen Ling was covered in cold sweat after seeing the scene. It was too dangerous. I just should have been careless and almost fell into trouble. Just now. It was because of the excitement of knowing that she was about to be reunited with Lin Sheng that she temporarily forgot about the dangers in the ocean. The giant lobster swung its tail and rushed towards Lin Sheng quickly. Be careful. Young student. Across the water, Shen Ling shrank her pupils on the raft and shouted to Lin Sheng in panic. The next moment, a large group of savages suddenly appeared next to Lin Sheng on the ark. They each held a long bow, knocked an arrow and drew the bow, and aimed their arrows at the huge lobster. The lobster that was charging suddenly froze, and forcibly restrained its forward momentum. It clearly felt the threat posed to it by those arrows on the Arkansas. This was absolutely certain. With so many arrows, once all, no, as long as one-third hit it, it would die on the spot. Although he is huge, he does not have much health. The big lobster never thought that it would encounter such unfair treatment today just when it came out to hunt. First, it was attacked by a sneak attack and hit its shrimp claws with an arrow. And then a large group of people bullied it into a lobster. If the lobster could talk, he would definitely jump on his feet and curse. If you don't have moral ethics, a group of people will bully a shrimp. The giant lobster wanted to retreat and escape, but it suddenly discovered that a group of piranhas appeared behind it. This group of piranhas completely blocked its escape route. The giant lobster immediately petrified on the spot. There are archers in front and piranhas in the back. This is simply not the way a shrimp should be treated. If the owner wants to eat this hard sh, l prawn, we can help him catch it. If it is shot by an arrow and turns into a hedgehog, it will definitely not taste good. Kong Kongi came out and said at this time. After eating crabs, her little mind also became curious about this huge lobster. Crabs are so delicious after removing their hard sh. Ls. But what about this big lobster? Is it just as delicious with the sh? L removed? For a moment, Kong Kong Yixiang's mouth watered. It's okay. I'm worried that my sister's reception banquet doesn't have the staple food. So I'll choose this today. Kong Kong Yi nodded and immediately took the mermaid sisters into the water. As the melodious singing sounded, the giant lobster suddenly fell into a deep sleep. Lin Sheng looked at this scene and suddenly felt as if he had discovered a new use for Kong Kongi. Eh? Can I catch big sea beasts and eat them more often in the future? Lin Sheng's idea got out of hand. One day in the future, a message like, Cherish life and stay away from arcs on the sea, will be spread among the sea beasts. When Kong Kongi and other mermaids carried the huge lobster onto the ark, Lin Sheng decisively handed over the rope and said, Tie it up. Don't let it escape. After saying this, Lin Sheng turned over and jumped into the sea without caring about other things. With a pop sound, Lin Sheng stirred up huge waves. Shen Ling, who was stunned by what Lin Sheng showed before, was hit by sea water in the face and reacted belatedly. Lin Sheng also poked his head out of the sea and swam towards Shen Ling. 
seeing Lin Sheng swimming towards him in the sea. Shen Ling reached out and grabbed Lin Sheng's arm, who was close to him. Xiao Sheng! Okay! Don't be afraid. Let's go to the Arkansas. No one will bully you while I'm here. Lin Sheng thought that Shen Ling was frightened, although Lin Sheng kept calling Shen Ling's sister. In fact, Shen Ling only lived as long as Lin Sheng for a few months. No! What I want to say is that the lobster is so big and there must be more meat than what I have eaten in the hotel before. After Shen Ling finished speaking, Lin Sheng suddenly became ashamed. Lin Sheng thought, Sister, you are a girl. Okay, shouldn't you have thrown yourself into my arms for comfort when you were so frightened? But you do care about whether the lobster has a lot of meat. After seeing Lin Sheng's helpless expression, Shen Ling blinked and showed a moving smile. Then Shen Ling kissed Lin Sheng's face gently, as quickly as pouring water and said with a smile, I am your sister, and you should be the one who should be protected. Lin Sheng touched his face and muttered, I don't regard you as my sister. Yes, after the experience in the previous life, Lin Sheng no longer regarded Shen Ling as his sister. You deserve a beating. Please take my sister to your ark and have a look. Shen Ling heard Lin Sheng's muttering and immediately went to pull Lin Sheng's ears. In the experience of the previous life, Lin Sheng had already sharpened his perception of the surrounding environment. Not to mention that his basic attributes were now improved. Lin Sheng dodged Shen Ling's ear-pulling attack and gave Shen Ling a princess hug. Yeah, let me down, my stinky brother, Shen Ling exclaimed. But Lin Sheng had no intention of letting go and jumped directly into the water and swam towards the ark. The dolphin that had been accompanying Shen Ling tilted its head in confusion and followed him. Arriving under the ark, Guzi quickly put down the step ladder. Lin Sheng, on the other hand, hugged Shen Ling and walked up the stairs. Xiao Sheng, please let me down. I can leave by myself. Besides, it's embarrassing for so many people. Shen Ling also noticed a large group of dark figures on the ark looking at him. He lowered his head and said with a blush, No matter what happens, we are all our own people. From now on, we will all be a family. Lin Sheng said calmly. In fact, at this time, Lin Sheng had already determined in his heart that Shen Ling definitely still had the same thoughts as in the previous life. He knew this just by not rejecting his actions. Then my little piggy. Lin Sheng paused and looked down at the dolphins in the sea. Piggy. It's okay. I'll send you down here to get the dolphins up. Lin Sheng came to his senses and gave instructions to Pai Pai. Okay, boss. Pai Pai took action as soon as he finished speaking. As for the dolphins, they didn't resist and allowed themselves to be carried on Pai's shoulders. Arriving on the ark, Lin Sheng let go of Shen Ling and let Shen Ling step on the deck. Sister, this will be our new home from now on. Look, that's the residential area over there. Of course, it's just a log cabin now. Don't worry, it will be converted into a big house in the future. That's the planting area over there. Come on, come on, try this tomato. The freshest ones just picked not long ago. Lin Sheng first took Shen Ling for a walk on the ark while Guzi and others followed Lin Sheng. Chapter 49 Miracles in Savage Eyes Lin Sheng led Shen Ling to visit everything on the ark. Shen Ling was shocked and fell into a daze. Although Lin Sheng also told him this in the previous video chat with Lin Sheng. Are the things he heard with his ears the same as what he saw with his own eyes? If Lin Sheng hadn't brought her to the ark, then when would she have seen such a scene? On the raft, Shen Ling still relied on Lin Sheng's help to avoid starving. Xiao Sheng, did you do all this alone? Shen Ling asked Dizzy. Certainly. Looking around, Lin Sheng saw the barbarian who was preparing to process peanuts and extract oil from them. Lin Sheng hurriedly stopped him. Etc. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, the savages stopped what they were doing. Lin Sheng was previously overwhelmed by the thought of meeting Shen Ling. I actually forgot that these crops can increase hundreds of times. Lin Sheng quickly came to peanut. A hundredfold increase. After Lin Sheng's words fell get 5,000 pounds of peanuts. The 50 kilograms of peanuts originally grown in one plot of land suddenly became 5,000 kilograms, which is equivalent to the output of 10 acres of land. Lin Sheng was not worried about being betrayed. All the people on the ark were trustworthy. Lin Sheng waved his hand and said, Take 1,000 caddies to squeeze oil. Well, boil another 2,000 caddies, and then dry the remaining 2,000 caddies directly. As soon as Lin Sheng finished speaking, he suddenly found that none of the savages in the savage tribe made any move. Instead, there was a popping sound. Lin Sheng looked down. I'm going. What are you doing? 
All he could see in front of him was the fifty savages, all of whom were kneeling and worshipping Lin Sheng. Master, it turns out that you are an envoy of God, and we are honored to be your slaves. One after another the savages shouted. Lin Sheng was confused at this moment. If it was said that these savages surrendered to Lin Sheng before because of the slave contract, then this time it was true and sincere surrender. For these savages, besides the messengers of God, who else can do the trick of making things appear more out of thin air? Even Guzi now came to Lin Sheng with great respect. Owner! Lin Sheng seemed to understand something, and suddenly thought that without a slave contract, he seemed to be able to conquer these savages just by showing off this method. Come on! Everyone! Get up and go to work! After Lin Sheng said this, he increased the other harvested crops a hundred times. Get 10,000 kilograms of rice. Obtain 10,000 pounds of flour. Obtain 60,000 pounds of sweet potatoes. Get 50,000 caddies of radish. Get 30,000 caddies of leeks. Get Shanghai Qing 20,000 Jin. Get 20,000 pounds of ginger. Get 20,000 pounds of garlic. Get 10,000 pounds of pepper. Get 50,000 pounds of apples. Obtain 10,000 coconuts. Get 30,000 pounds of tomatoes. A large amount of harvested food, measured in tens of thousands of kilograms was sent to the storage rooms below the deck for storage by the people on the ark. Lin Sheng took out the coconut and returned to Shenling's side. Sister, you haven't had sweets for a long time during these days of drifting on the sea. Try the coconut juice. Lin Sheng opened the coconut in his hand as he spoke. Because he was not used to it, Lin Sheng cut the coconut into two parts. The coconut turned into two small bowls, and the coconut milk was evenly divided into the two bowls. Lin Sheng presented one of the bowls of coconut juice. Shen Ling took the coconut milk from Lin Sheng's hand, smelled a faint fragrance of coconut milk, and couldn't help but swallowed and took a sip. Well, it tastes really good. After Shen Ling drank the coconut juice, she praised it without hesitation. It doesn't matter who planted it, Lin Sheng said proudly, although he did not grow it himself. Without his own efforts, would he still have coconuts to drink? So Lin Sheng decisively took the credit for himself. Look at how proud you are. I think it's all thanks to the savage. Shen Ling's beautiful eyes rolled slightly. When did my younger brother become so boastful? It's all the master's fault. The dog beside him flattered Lin Sheng at the right time. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced you to these friends yet. As Lin Sheng spoke, he stretched out his fingers to gently wipe away the coconut juice still hanging on the corner of Shen Ling's mouth and subconsciously sucked the coconut juice away from his hand. Seeing Lin Sheng's actions, Shen Ling blushed, but Lin Sheng took Shen Ling's hand and came to the savages. Um, how do I introduce them? Guzi, please introduce them to my sister. Only then did Lin Sheng remember that Lin Sheng himself didn't know any of these savages except Guzi. Anyway, Lin Sheng was too lazy to pay attention to Guzi's management. Okay, master, mistress, this is Dalong, Erlang, 29 Lang, 30 Lang. They are the eldest mother, the second mother, the nineteenth mother, the twentieth mother. After hearing Guzi's introduction, Lin Sheng and Shen Ling were stunned. Lin Sheng felt lucky that he was a young talent in a civilized society. Otherwise, if he had become a member of the savage tribe, he would have been called a man. The names of the savage tribe are too casual. Just add man to the male number and mother to the female number. Okay, the dog is ready. Lin Sheng interrupted Guzi's words and then let Shen Ling get to know a group of mermaids from the mermaid tribe. In the end, of course, I also met the Captain Old Jack and Pai Pai. When Shen Ling comes to the mermaid sea, it will be called Mermaid Lake from now on. She saw a dolphin happily emerging from the mermaid lake and spraying a jet of water from its mouth. Shen Ling felt as if she had returned to the world before the disaster on the huge ark. Looking at Mermaid Lake is like being by the pool. I felt like going into the water and swimming. Lin Sheng on the side saw this and said, don't worry. There are no dangerous creatures like sharks in the water. You can go swimming. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Shen Ling was about to say yes. But then she blushed and shook her head. What? You're welcome. The mermaid tribe won't welcome you. Right, Kong Kong Yi? Lin Sheng asked Kong Kong Yi as he spoke. Of course. We welcome the mistress to swim in our mermaid lake. Mistress, let's go in the water and play together. Looking at Kong Kong Yi's fiery eyes, Shen Ling finally blushed and whispered, My underwear is ruined. Huh? Lin Sheng was stunned for a moment before he reacted. Suddenly Lin Sheng also felt something wrong. 
and it seemed that he hadn't changed his pants for a long time. Now that I have the conditions, I should think about more comfortable clothes. Of course, the most important thing is to look at the swimsuit. Chapter 50 Trading Daily Necessities Lin Sheng nodded and said, Okay, Kong Kongi, let's go with my sister later. Sister, please wait a moment. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he opened the world chat channel. This time, the chat channel that I haven't visited for several days has changed a lot. For example, of the previous 7 billion people, there are now only about half of them. 3.3 billion slash 7 billion. Those who survived and were able to chat in the world channel all had a title on their names. This is a function in the chat function that can be set to add a title. Ax Gang Zhao Daoong. Our boss killed a shark yesterday. Anyone who wants to join our Ax Gang can message me privately. Those who join our Ax Gang can eat meat. And everyone can get an axe and a fine axe as a reward. Weapons. First come. First served. White Scarf by Yang. Our White Scarf has just discovered 10 tons of water resources on the island. Join our White Scarf, so you don't have to worry about running out of water. If you want to join our White Scarf's private chat. A large group of people with titles were frantically sending provocative words on the world channel. Lin Sheng was a little dazed for a while. This seemed a bit early. He remembered that in his previous life, it was almost a month before a large number of survivors began to organize their own groups to recruit people. But this time, various groups began to form in less than a week. But Lin Sheng looked at his arc and soon became calm. These titles are just in black font, indicating that these people have not yet obtained the tools to form a gang and are essentially a group of ordinary survivors. Lin Sheng, who was busy swiping, edited a message in the world chat channel and sent it with, Okay, a large amount of Shanghai Qing is sold and those in need can trade it for daily necessities or manufacturing drawings. Lin Sheng looked at the survivors who had formed a group and knew that it would be very difficult to collect the blueprints at this time. Then it is okay to trade the finished products directly. And vegetables are the food that cannot be stored for a long time. Selling Shanghai Qing is the best choice. Otherwise, you will definitely not be able to eat all the Shanghai Qing in three days. Three days later, it will be eaten again. There will be new Shanghai greens to harvest. Lin Sheng's news has just been sent out. All the survivors seem to be silenced. A moment later, Vulcan Gang Xiao Yang, Master Sheng, it turns out you are still alive. And you are actually selling vegetables this time. Sun Gang Yufeng, Master Sheng, I want vegetables. What do you want? There are people in our gang who can make daily necessities. Ding ding ding. As the screen in the world chat channel continued to refresh, Lin Sheng's private chat also kept showing notification sounds. Luo Yu, do you want soap? Lin Sheng, of course. Luo Yu, one pound of Shanghai green is exchanged for a piece of soap. Shanghai green is a vegetable, and you won't be full. Lin Sheng, that won't work. Shanghai green is a vegetable that supplements vitamins. If it can't supplement vitamins, then Lin Sheng's knowledge on the importance of vitamin supplements on Biliva's popular science and technology finally made it clear to exchange two pounds of Shanghai green for five bars of soap. Soap is a must-have for bathing. I have plenty of fresh water. Now that I have joined Shenling, the hurdle in my heart is now over. After gathering these daily necessities, I can enjoy the feeling of taking a bath. Soap plus five. Su Shijian, brother, do you want some pants? Women's ones? You know. Lin Sheng, get out. It looks like LSP at first glance. The pants bought by such a person do not know what ulterior things have been done to them. So how can they be exchanged for them? Fortunately, Lin Sheng soon found a professional tailor. I got a lot of clothes from her in exchange. Women's underwear plus two. Men's underwear plus two. Lin Sheng then exchanged other daily items from different survivors one by one. Mask plus ten. Slippers plus six. Beach shorts plus eight. Short sleeves plus seven. Toothbrush plus five. Toothpaste plus ten. Shampoo plus three. Shower gel plus five. After a whole exchange, Shanghai Qing's quantity was suddenly reduced by half. Of course, the reward is that I now have all the daily necessities in my hands. After Lin Sheng multiplied all the items he had harvested a hundred times, he took out a set of underwear and handed it to Shen Ling. Sister, okay, your problem is solved, Lin Sheng said with a smile, and the memory flashed through his mind. Shen Ling's swimsuit was what he saw in his memory when he was a child. It's just that at that time. I was still a child and didn't have much to see. Later, when they grew up, 
They were separated by different schools and even worked in different cities thousands of miles apart. This also led to the huge gap between the two after the disaster. Come on. Let's go swimming and relax together. Lin Shun said with a smile. No. Do not want. Shen Ling blushed and grabbed the underwear and quickly fled from Lin Shun. Of course, Lin Shun didn't care about this, but took out the kitchen knife he had just exchanged and came to the big lobster. Big lobster, danger. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's better to come early than to come by chance. Do you think you have to rush to deliver the ingredients? Lin Sheng said to the big lobster with a smile while talking. The kitchen knife in his hand reflected the sunlight onto the big lobster's eyes. Puff puff. The big lobster struggled violently. There was fear in the two long eyes. But no matter how hard he struggled, it was in vain. Lin Sheng took out the spear to deal with the lobster. He had to open a wound in the lobster's belly first. Drain the water from the lobster's body and let the lobster die before proceeding to the next step. The spear stabbed into the lobster's belly. The sound of splashing water continued to flow out of the lobster's body, and the lobster's spirit became increasingly depressed. The flapping sound of the shrimp tail also became weaker and weaker. It is strange to say that some of these sea creatures will disappear after killing them, while others will not disappear after killing them. Confirmed. After the big lobster died, Lin Sheng took out the kitchen knife. The sound of Chong 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 kept coming out. Fortunately, Lin Sheng had the foresight to increase the OK of the kitchen knife by a hundred times. This not only successfully opened the lobster sh l, but also used up 80 kitchen knives. Lin Sheng divided the lobster meat into pieces and set up a large pot. The lobster was so big that it was divided into several pots for steaming. The disassembled lobster sh ls were also blanched with hot water. After taking care of all this, wait for the lobster meat to be steamed. Lin Sheng looked at the thousands of kilograms of tomatoes, nodded, and went to look for the hens on the ark. Kakik, the hen, which was walking around with her chicks, trembled for some reason when she saw Lin Sheng's arrival. I always feel like something bad is going to happen. Chapter 51 The Loveless Hen A Special Private Message It was this human being who plucked his feathers last time, causing him to recuperate for a long time before his feathers grew back. The hen looked at Lin Sheng coming over and stretched out her hands to cover her but That look seemed to say, don't move. I don't have any feathers for you to pluck. Lin Sheng laughed and said, don't worry. I won't pluck your hair this time. After listening to Lin Sheng's words, the hen breathed a sigh of relief and then became alert again. Giggle. The hen crows to Lin Sheng, as if asking you what to do. Hee hee. No, it's not too much to ask you for a few eggs. Kakit. The hen crows and shakes her head. No. No. Nothing. Lin Sheng. TSK. Don't mention it. These chicks grow up pretty fast. TSK. Lin Sheng touched his chin and licked his mouth while speaking. Giggle. Seeing Lin Sheng's dangerous gaze. The hen had no choice but to come to Lin Sheng and stick out her but Golyalu. One egg after another fell out of the hens but enrolled on the deck. Yeah. Good performance. Lin Sheng praised while picking up the eggs. Looking at Lin Sheng's back after picking up the eggs and leaving. The hen's face was filled with disappointment. I should have known better than to follow this master. Chickens have to lay eggs under the eaves. He watched his eggs being taken away by Lin Sheng. After getting the eggs, Lin Sheng decisively ordered a pot of tomato scrambled eggs. Immediately afterwards, all the harvested rice was steamed in a pot. While Lin Sheng was busy working, Someone sent him a message in his private chat interface without Lin Sheng noticing. Special Warfare, Pajun. Is Mr. Sheng here? We know that you have a lot of food in your hands. I hope we can make a deal. We can provide you with rare materials and hope to get food from your hands. Pajun. This is the captain of a team of domestic warriors from the original Dragon Kingdom on Blue Star. In the past two days, these soldiers who survived the disaster had contacted the highest commander. And some of the soldiers had already gathered together and Pajun is also one of them. After the disaster, although the country is gone, there is still hope as long as people are still there. After discussions between the Supreme Commander and the country's leader, the soldiers decided to carry out a plan to restore the country. And this restoration plan seems to be very difficult under the current situation. Not to mention the food problem for everyone. This will throw the restoration plan into the abyss. However, it felt like Pajun suddenly saw the news about Lin Sheng. And after asking many people, he confirmed that this man named Lin Sheng, who was also called Master Sheng by other survivors, 
must have huge resources in his hands. Of course, as warriors of the Dragon Kingdom, in view of the values such as democracy and freedom that the Dragon Kingdom adheres to, they would not rob Lin Sheng, and finally decided to complete it through trade. During this period, they also killed sea beasts and obtained many strange items. But Jun thinks these things should be eligible for trading. That's why I chose to chat with Lin Sheng privately. But Lin Sheng was still in the joy of cooking. The expectation of eating rice soon made Lin Sheng not notice Pajun's news at all. Pajun. Master Sheng. Are you here? Pajun sent another private message. Finally, he shook his head helplessly at the officer beside him and said, Master Sheng didn't reply. The commander with extraordinary temperament nodded and said, Okay, you keep the contact person and wait for him to reply before telling the other person our purpose. Clear. On top of the ark. Okay, it's time to eat. The first meal after the harvest includes not only steamed lobster, but also vegetables, rice, and even after dinner fruits such as tomatoes and apples. Even in the world before the disaster, it was very rare to have such a sumptuous meal in one meal. Master, the mistress is still playing with Kong Kong over at the Mermaid Lake. Do you want me to go over and call the mistress back? Guzi brought the savage tribe over and said to Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng shook his head and said, No, I'll call him myself. After Lin Sheng said this, he walked towards the mermaid lake. When he arrived at the edge of the mermaid lake, Lin Sheng Zheng saw Shen Ling with his back turned to him, playing with Kong Kong Yi and other mermaid girls. Of course, the dolphin named Zhu Zhu was also there. Kong Kong Yi saw Lin Sheng's arrival and just wanted to speak, but was stopped by Lin Sheng's signal. Lin Sheng quietly entered the water and sneaked close to Shen Ling. Kong Kong Yi looked at Lin Sheng's performance with confusion on his face. Wondering what his master was going to do, Shen Ling picked up a handful of water and spread it away. Looking at the golden light of the water droplets reflected in the sky by the afterglow of the setting sun, suddenly he noticed something was wrong with Kong Kong's expression. What's wrong with Kong Kong? Shen Ling asked curiously. Ma'am, I'm fine. Shen Ling's face turned red when she heard this. Although the title was a bit wrong, she did not let them change their words. Suddenly, Lin Sheng emerged from the water from behind Shen Ling and hugged Shen Ling from behind. Ah! Shen Ling screamed. The elbow was jerked back. And there was a pop sound. Hey! 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 Lin Sheng felt that his ribs were almost broken. If his attributes and physique hadn't become stronger, Shen Ling's elbow would probably have to be blamed here. Sister, are you planning to commit murder so that you can inherit my ark? Lin Sheng said after he regained his composure. Shen Ling also reacted and looked back at Lin Sheng, her face blushing for no reason. Who asked you to sneak up on me from behind? But after saying this, Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng's uncomfortable expression and couldn't help but feel distressed. He secretly blamed himself for being too harsh just now. Shen Ling approached Lin Sheng, put her hand on Lin Sheng's waist and rubbed it gently. Does it still hurt? Lin Sheng blinked after listening to Shen Ling's words. Does it hurt? It was quite painful just now. But it seems to have recovered now. Don't you feel it anymore? But, ouch, it hurts. Sister, please be gentle. Lin Sheng suddenly said in a dramatic tone. Oh, let me help you ashore first. Shen Ling said, while helping Lin Sheng ashore. And Lin Sheng quietly admired Shen Ling under the swimsuit with his eyes. Of course, only secretly. After landing, Lin Sheng's voice was calm as he said. I just wanted to tell you that it's time to eat. But I didn't expect you to be so harsh. That's not because you're seeking your own death. Shen Ling said angrily. Hey, I'm in so much pain that I can't even eat. Sister, you have to compensate me. Listening to Lin Sheng's words and looking at the expression that didn't seem to be fake, Shen Ling had no choice but to say. Then how do you want me to compensate you? Feed me. I'm very hungry now. Okay. Shen Ling said helplessly. Lin Sheng was overjoyed. What an unexpected gain. Chapter 52 Dark Shadow Under the Moonlight Giant Crossbow Manufacturing Diagram Under Lin Sheng's encouragement, Shen Ling helped Lin Sheng to the dinner table. At this time, Shen Ling also noticed a huge lobster with red eyes on a huge table made up of multiple wooden tables. Is this the lobster? Shen Ling asked curiously. Of course. This is the lobster that delivers food to us. Lin Sheng said this because he subconsciously wanted to feel proud in front of Shen Ling. The bit waist straightened unconsciously. Huh? Don't you feel any pain? Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng with a faint look. And when Lin Sheng answered, she had already turned back. Hey! Hey! It hurts! 
Lin Sheng said, while covering his left rib. Did you cover the wrong place? Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng's performance and asked with a half smile. Huh? That's right. I just twisted it when I stood up straight, which caused the pain to transfer. This is called pain transfer. Lin Sheng said it was natural, and Shen Ling did not expose him. She was more concerned about Lin Sheng's okay. Do you think I will believe it? Shen Ling said. Well, things are exposed. Just when Lin Sheng was about to confess, he heard Shen Ling say, Sit down and eat. As he spoke, Shen Ling picked up the rice that had been served earlier, picked up a piece of lobster meat, and fed it to Lin Sheng. Hey, shouldn't we no longer have this kind of treatment after this was exposed? But why? In confusion, Lin Sheng ate his meal. This made Lin Sheng feel really bad. After all, Shen Ling hadn't eaten yet. Okay, stop pretending. Let me confess. Sister, you should also take the time to eat. Lin Sheng said. Is this not what you want? Shen Ling said with a smile, and had no intention of letting Lin Sheng eat by himself. It feels like I am at the pinnacle of my life. The largest ship so far has more than 10 acres of land. I want to move my family wherever I want. There is also a farm of his own, which can't be eaten up with the ability to increase hundreds of times, and a group of capable subordinates. The most important thing is that there is a beautiful woman beside him who feeds him bite by bite with his own hands. But Lin Sheng's contented thoughts were interrupted by the sound of hunger coming from Shen Ling's abdomen. Okay, brother, I'm not old enough to eat yet. So you can go eat too, Lin Sheng said seriously. Shen Ling was unmoved. And Lin Sheng could only pick up his job and said, Together, it's great to be young. It's time for me to keep an eye on the arts course and not hit anything. Old Jack left in a hurry. Pai Pai looked at the small, half bowl of rice at the bottom of the bowl and suddenly felt that it didn't taste good. After swallowing it in one gulp, he followed old Jack back to the captain's cabin. Boss, I've finished eating. Guzi said that he should not stay any longer and left with the savage tribe who had eaten in a hurry. Even the mermaids from the mermaid tribe left one after another. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling were left on the ark. After the meal, Lin Sheng took out the remaining red wine and opened a bottle. And the two of them drank under the moonlight as the sky gradually darkened. I haven't seen the moon like this for a long time. Shen Ling sighed with emotion. Yeah, the last time was probably when I was a kid. Lin Sheng also sighed with emotion. Lin Sheng looked at the moon and suddenly felt that there seemed to be two black spots moving on the moon. What is that? Lin Sheng said in surprise. The two black shadows chased each other, leaving a trail of numbers in the moonlight. 37705749, password, and then dissipated. When Shen Ling looked carefully, they were gone. Xiao Sheng, are you dazzled? There is nothing, Shen Ling said with confirmation. Maybe. Lin Sheng did not continue this topic. As for the two black shadows, Lin Sheng had a premonition that he would know when he should know one day. Besides my parents, you were the first person to feed me since I was little. The two of them were under the moonlight. Shen Ling rested her head gently on Lin Sheng's shoulder. But when these words were spoken, the atmosphere became a little subtle. Sister, don't worry. Your parents will be fine. It's just that we haven't contacted them yet. Lin Sheng comforted. But Lin Sheng was thinking maybe. After all, half a year passed in my last life without finding them. Late at night, Lin Sheng looked at Shen Ling, who was leaning on his shoulder, snoring slightly and falling asleep. You must be very tired during this period. Lin Sheng gently picked him up by the waist and walked to his wooden house. He hasn't prepared Shen Ling's room for her yet. So she can only make do with it in her own room first. As for other things, we will talk about them later. After Lin Sheng settled Shen Ling, he walked out of the wooden house and was alone on the ark blowing the sea breeze, thinking about the future direction. When he was reborn, he had only one goal, which was to catch Shen Ling. Of course, the final result also made Lin Sheng very satisfied. Without meeting that Xiao Shi Long, the same Shen Ling would not have that memory. So the future goal is to try to find his adoptive parents. After all, he and Shen Ling miss them very much. Without these two people, there would be no Lin Sheng today, and he would not appear in their family. Another goal is to improve the living environment here. The world is full of oceans. Who knows if there will be a day when we can return to land? The Ark is undoubtedly our last guarantee. Only by equipping the Ark with better weapons and equipment and providing all the entertainment facilities on the Ark can we live a stable life. In the future, there will not only be that powerful dragon mercenary group, but even more powerful gangs will appear. If you are not strong enough, 
you will only have the fate of being cannibalized. The sea breeze blew on Lin Sheng's face, and a pleasant reminder sounded in Lin Sheng's ears. The sign-in time has been refreshed. Do you want to sign in? Yes. Sign in to get a complete set of giant crossbow manufacturing drawings. Lin Sheng took out the manufacturing drawings he had just obtained from his backpack. Giant crossbow manufacturing. Plank 10,000. Refined iron 10,000. Rope 100. Giant spear manufacturing. Fine iron 1,000. Sure enough, when the weapon becomes powerful to a certain level, the basic materials are no longer enough. As for refined iron, it is synthesized using iron sheets. Without the ability to amplify time a hundred times, there is no telling how long it would take to collect light materials to build this giant crossbow. Lin Sheng studied the two drawings. Okay, let's wait until tomorrow to make the giant crossbow. Facing the sea breeze, Lin Sheng gradually fell asleep. Snapped. Huh? Lin Sheng frowned. What's that early in the morning? The early morning sun shone on Lin Sheng's face. But Lin Sheng's feeling was not so good. The most important thing is the sticky mess on my face. Wipe it over. Lin Sheng vaguely saw a blue-black lump on his hand. Sorry. Mother. You're ruining people's dreams. Don't run away if you have the guts. You'll be cooking today. Lin Sheng looked at the pigeons flying in the sky and became angry. Chapter 53 Pigeon Soup Pot Noodles Giant Crossbow The white pigeon that didn't rush away after pooping was still flying above Lin Sheng's head. This was simply provoking himself. Lin Sheng immediately grabbed his longbow. Watching the white dove want to fly away. Lin Sheng snorted coldly. I've been provoked, and you still want to escape? Breakfast is yours. As Lin Sheng spoke, the movements of his hands did not stop at all. The arrow penetrated the white dove, which was shot and fell before it could fly out of the area of the ark. Lin Sheng stepped forward, grabbed the white dove, and drew out the arrow. I can't eat hens, so why can't I eat pigeons? Hundred times increase. Pigeon plus one hundred. At the same time, on a wooden boat on the sea. Huh? My pigeon is dead! One of the crew members frowned. Before the disaster, he was the person who raised and trained pigeons. After the disaster, by chance, he caught a pigeon and successfully tamed the pigeon through the previous training methods and used it as a tool for this crime. What did you say? Xiao Shirlong, who was waiting for the news, asked. That crew member was also Xiao Shirlong's younger brother. Brother Long, my white pigeon is dead. It should have been killed by someone seeking survival on the road. Where are you going? You can do other things before you find that old man, Xiao Shirlong said. There. The pluck pigeon, recently dead, is still warm. Lin Sheng decisively boiled water, and boiled a pot to stew pigeon meat. As the saying goes, how many chickens is better than a pigeon? I found that the nutrition is much better than that of chickens. After the pigeon meat was put into the pot, Lin Sheng took out a lot of flour, eggs and salt. After mixing it according to a certain proportion, Lin Sheng began to knead the dough. Hack! I'm so tired! Ten minutes later, Lin Sheng rubbed the big lump of dough and said he couldn't bear it. Master! What are you doing? Guzi suddenly stepped forward and said, Yes, it's you. Don't even think about running away. Lin Sheng saw Guzi coming forward, and his eyes suddenly lit up. The coolie was coming. Guzi pointed to his nose. Yes, that's you. Come master and teach you how to knead the dough. Like this, this, this. Lin Sheng pulled Guzi to his side and taught Guzi. Guzi, who was kneading the dough, couldn't help but feel suspicious. Did I come at the wrong time? With this energy-saving and emission-reducing manual kneading machine, Lin Sheng walked leisurely towards the pigeon soup that was simmering in the pot, silently waiting for the pigeon meat to be cooked. After 30 minutes, Master, do you think this is okay? Guzi asked, waving his hands. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, Guzi, you have a talent for making pasta. The dough kneaded by Guzi is extremely smooth. Of course. The most important thing is that the dough is half the size of a person. This is a great test of endurance. And Guzi did it. So Lin Sheng also praised him without hesitation. Boss, I'll continue patrolling. After Guzi finished speaking, he hurriedly ran away. For fear that Lin Sheng would catch him again and continue doing these things. For the dog, patrolling the ark is much more comfortable than needing dough here. Lin Sheng looked at Guzi's leaving figure and shook his head helplessly. Alas! Rotten we cannot be carved. After sighing, Lin Sheng took out the rolling pin and began to roll out the dough, cutting it into strips of uniform width. While Lin Sheng was rolling out the noodles, 
Shen Ling also woke up from the bed. Shen Ling had a very comfortable sleep last night. When she woke up, Shen Ling mistakenly thought it was just a beautiful dream she had and was afraid that everything would be gone when she woke up. But after she confirmed her surroundings, she got up from the bed in surprise and found out that it was not a dream. When Shen Ling walked out of the room, what he saw was Lin Shun putting noodles under the pot. The hot water in the pot is boiling, and the noodles quickly tumble together with the boiling water after entering the water. Heat the pot! Seeing that the noodles were almost ready, Lin Shun said and started to cook the noodles. Sister, you're up. Let's get ready to eat some noodles. The toiletries are in the room. After Lin Shun got the toiletries yesterday, he put them away when sending Shen Ling back to the house. Soon, everyone on the ark gathered in front of Lin Shun. Everyone took away a bowl of noodle soup with pigeon meat and left to find a suitable place to eat. After breakfast, Lin Sheng found a place alone to start making the giant crossbow. Get ordinary giant crossbow plus one. Giant crossbow manufacturing experience plus 100 excellent giant crossbow manufacturing 90 out of 100. Common giant crossbow. Range, 100 meters. Durability, 100. Lin Sheng looked at the giant crossbow that had just been made. The range and durability of this giant crossbow were 10 times higher than the bow and arrow that could be equipped with it. And this giant crossbow is as big as three beds. The giant crossbow is not a weapon that can be worn. It is more accurate to use tower defense equipment to represent it. But Lin Shun did not stop there. He continued to make the giant crossbow as he did when making equipment. And made the giant crossbow to the level of an artifact. Get the artifact giant crossbow plus one. Artifact giant crossbow. Range, 1000 meters. Lin Sheng made multiple giant crossbows in succession. Get the artifact giant crossbow plus 10. Looking at the huge crossbow. Fortunately, there are wooden tires under the crossbow to push it. Otherwise, this weapon would have consumed 10,000 units of fine iron to manufacture. From this, we can see the weight of the giant crossbow. It would take someone to carry this weight. And calling all the savages to help would be tiring. Lin Sheng then created 10 giant spears of artifact level. Get the artifact giant spear plus 10. Artifact Giant Spear. Attack Power 1000. Additional 10% damage. After Lin Sheng made these 10 giant spears, he also enchanted the giant spears with infinite enchantments. Otherwise, once this giant spear is used, 1000 fine iron will be consumed to make it. Even if Lin Sheng had a hundredfold increase, he still couldn't consume this fine iron. Dog. Master. I'm here. As soon as Lin Sheng finished speaking, Guzi hurried over. Take people and arrange these giant crossbows on the defense platform of the Ark. There is a defense platform on top of the Ark. But there are defense towers first for arrangement. After Lin Sheng made arrangements, he disassembled the extra giant crossbow. Obtain defense tower fragments plus 200. Tower defense fragments can be used to enhance tower defense weapons. Each enhancement consumes 100 pieces. Lin Sheng used a hundredfold increase on the defense tower fragments. Tower fragments plus 20,000. Lin Sheng walked towards the defense tower that had been installed. Strengthen these 10 giant crossbows to plus 10. After this enhancement, the range of the giant crossbow can reach 2,000 meters, and the damage it explodes can also reach as high as 2,200. The most important thing is that the length of this giant spear is 3 meters long and as thick as a thigh. Once it is shot, it can poke a hole even if it hits the same arc as the one under your feet. Boss, look over there. There is a wooden boat approaching us. Everyone on the wooden boat is armed. It looks like the person coming is not good. Pai Pai, who had been staying in the captain's cabin, ran over to report to Lin Sheng as soon as he saw an enemy approaching. Here comes the crossbow tester. An intriguing smile appeared on Lin Sheng's lips. Although he didn't know who was approaching, if he had ideas about his own things, he wouldn't mind testing the power of the crossbow with him. Chapter 54, Test of Power New and Old Grudges I understand. Let's see if they are passing by first. If so, let them go. Your boss, I am not a robber. After Lin Sheng said this, Pai Pai wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Passing by? I couldn't see it. I was looking at the crossbow arrow that my boss had made and was about as big as his head. And I silently held a minute's silence for those guys with no eyes on the opposite side. Boss, take a look. When Pai Pai came over, he brought the telescope equipped in the captain's cabin. At this moment, he handed the binoculars to Lin Sheng and let Lin Sheng make the decision. Lin Sheng came to the edge of the arc with a telescope. He raised the telescope. 
and the face that caught Lin Sheng's eyes was one that Lin Sheng would never forget in his life. Xiao Shirlong refers to the third son of the Jiao mercenary group, the one who set out to establish his own force. In his previous life, it was because of this person that Lin Sheng had to run for his life. In this life, Lin Sheng originally thought that with his intervention in the previous life, Shi Ling would never meet this person again, and those things would never happen again. Although Lin Sheng will not let go of his grudges from the previous life, he will have enough time to develop and destroy the Jialong mercenary group in one fell swoop. This left Xiao Shirlong without a backer. But under the current circumstances, fate finally allowed Lin Sheng and Xiao Shirlong to meet again. Should Goibo wait until the Jialong mercenary group is dealt with before dealing with Xiao Shirlong? Lin Sheng was a little unsure. If he were still alone, he would kill him decisively. But now there was more than one person beside him. The huge arc also carried dozens of people. And the target was too big. As Lin Sheng thought this, his fists clenched tighter and tighter. On the wooden boat, Brother Long, are we going to do it directly? Xiao Shirlong's younger brother asked enthusiastically. Idiot, don't arrows need to be made of materials? Of course, it would be best to ask the gentleman to give up the ark and supplies to us. Otherwise, it won't be too late to take action. Xiao Shirlong slapped the other person on the forehead and educated him. Oh oh. The younger brother, who was slapped on the forehead by Xiao Shirlong, not only did not dare to get angry, but also nodded with a smile. If you know, why don't you hurry up and shout? Xiao Shirlong kicked his younger brother on the butt in an angry manner again. Master Sheng, put down your weapons and honestly give up the ark and the materials in your hands, and our brother Long will let you go. When the wooden boat was less than a hundred meters away from the ark, the man shouted loudly. Although he was very tired from shouting, the man's face was smiling with pride. In his opinion, he had weapons given by brother Long, and dozens of people had bows and arrows in their hands. He didn't believe that Mr. Sheng would not be afraid of him and hand over the supplies honestly. Lin Sheng, who was on the ark, was stunned. Almost no one fell down due to unsteadiness on their feet. Where did by porcelain come from to be so arrogant? But after hearing these words, Lin Sheng felt relieved. There was no need to hesitate about things that I had hesitated before. I waved my hand and asked Guzi to click on that to be ready and test the effect of the new weapon at any time. On the wooden boat, Brother Long, this old man seems to be ignoring us. The younger brother ran back to Brother Long and said, Ignore us. That's fine. Let's just go up and take down this master. Are you not taking us seriously? Xiao Shirlong also expressed his anger at Lin Sheng's reaction. Did he bring so many people here to have fun? If you don't take yourself seriously, who are you looking down on? Xiao Shirlong was so angry that he didn't care about the consumption of arrows and immediately said to his men, Get ready. Let this old man see how powerful we are today. Xiao Shirlong was mobilizing his men to head towards Lin Sheng's ark. On Lin Sheng's side, Lin Sheng also led the savages to push all the giant crossbows over. After the giant crossbows mounted their giant spears, they all aimed at the wooden boat. Put one in first and see the effect, Lin Sheng said. Guzi operated the giant crossbow in response, and the three-meter-long giant spear shot out like an arrow, heading towards the wooden boat. Brother Long, what do you think that is? A sharp-eyed boy on the wooden boat suddenly saw an arrow shooting from the ark and hurriedly asked Xiao Shi Long. Huh? This gentleman is also very arrogant. I haven't even attacked him yet. But he has already given me some power. Xiao Shirlong said with a sneer. Seeing the arrows getting bigger and bigger, many of the boys on the wooden boat broke into cold sweats. Is that an arrow? The arrow in his hand is about the thickness of his thumb. It's not Brother Long. Look at that. A younger brother said tremblingly. Um? It was only then that Xiao Shirlong took a serious look at the arrow shot by Lin Sheng. His pupils suddenly dilated. He didn't even pay attention to the popping sound in his ears. This was of course the sound made by a man who had been frightened and wanted to escape from the wooden boat diving into the water. The man jumped into the water and fled outside. The piranhas in the sea looked at each other in confusion, wondering whether to go out. But they did not dare to move without Lin Sheng's order. Each piranha could only stay put and wait for Lin Sheng's order before taking action. The giant spear landed on the wooden boat. The giant spear made of fine iron immediately penetrated the five younger brothers, and then penetrated the base of the wooden ship and sank into the water, leaving a hole in the wooden ship. The five younger brothers, who were pierced by the giant spears, all had huge bloody holes in their bodies, and fell on the wooden boat unable to move. Seawater gushes out from under the cave entrance. Everyone on the wooden boat, 
including Xiao Shirlong. Panicked? TSK! TSK! It's powerful enough! This is simply crushing! Lin Shum could clearly see the effect through the telescope. This giant crossbow was simply a killer weapon. Although it was not as powerful as the thermal weapons in peacetime. It was still more powerful when there were no thermal weapons so far. Go on! Three more comes will be enough. Lin Shun said calmly. But with Lin Shun's calm tone. The wooden ship in the sea had to withstand an unbearable blow. Three giant spears were shot out in succession. Xiao Shirlong also became cannon fodder due to bad luck. Lin Shun waved his hand and said. Put it away and leave the rest to those piranhas. As soon as Lin Sheng finished speaking, the piranhas in the sea couldn't hold back anymore. Stimulated by the blood, they became extremely excited and manic. In just a moment, the people and wooden boats brought by Xiao Shirlong turned into nothingness. On a sea far away from the Ark, Xiao Shirlong's younger brother, who was lucky enough to escape, looked back at the disappearing wooden boat and said with lingering fear, It's so scary! It's really better to follow the Jialong mercenary group. He had already thought of escaping back to the Jialong mercenary group. He was a survivor brought by Xiao Shirlong from the Jialong mercenary group. Chapter 55 New Island Route Transaction Lin Shun on the Ark just wanted to return. But he saw a piranha swimming towards him with a treasure box on his head. Huh? Why is there a treasure chest? Lin Shun waved his hand to signal the piranha to come closer to him. Then reached out and took the treasure box into his hands. Get a kill treasure chest. Kill treasure chest. Which can be obtained by killing survivors with a probability of being unable to collect items from the other party. Items carried by dead survivors can be obtained. Lin Shun chuckled. This Xiao Shilonghai is really his lucky star. So he will send him supplies. Lin Shun opened the treasure chest. Get the map of island number 96. Island number 96 map can indicate your route to the island and expose the hidden island. Lin Shun held the map in his hand and immediately saw a route indicating his route. And there is still one day's journey from the island number 96 that he wants to go to. Lin Sheng walked to the captain's room and handed the map in his hand to the captain. Old Jack. And said, Let's go here this time. After Old Jack took the map, he nodded and said, Okay, boss. The Ark set sail. Lin Sheng didn't know what surprises or scares there would be on island number 96 this time. After Lin Sheng stepped onto the deck again, Shen Ling walked towards him. Xiao Sheng. I just saw you holding a map in your hand. What kind of map is that? Shen Ling looked at the captain's cabin curiously and asked. Island map. We are going to explore the island next. Lin Sheng explained with a smile. When Shen Ling heard that he was actually going to the island, he suddenly became excited. During this week of drifting at sea, she had not seen land. Then can we settle on that island? Shen Ling asked curiously. For people in peacetime, compared to the ocean, they still prefer land. Only by being down to earth can you bring yourself a sense of security. No. The island only appears for a limited time and will not exist forever. It will disappear 48 hours after we arrive at the island. Lin Sheng shook his head helplessly. He also wanted to land. But in this world full of oceans, islands cannot be used as land. All right. Shen Ling was a little disappointed, but quickly adjusted her state. Don't worry. Our ark will one day be like land. You see now it can not only farm, but also breathe. Lin Sheng comforted confidently. Xiao Sheng, these animals are probably brought back from the island you went to last time. Right. Shen Ling smartly thought that Lin Sheng had been to the island before. And when he came to the ark, he saw this animal and the savage. Um. After Lin Sheng finished answering, he opened the chat interface. As soon as he opened it, Lin Sheng saw the news about Pajun. Make a deal with yourself. The prefix is still special war. According to the expression in the words, this is the restoration plan. This day has indeed come. In his previous life, Lin Sheng now also heard about the plan to restore the country. But unfortunately, the amount of materials needed was frightening. There is simply no way to complete it in a short time. Even before his death, he did not see the prototype of the restoration plan. Lin Sheng thought carefully. He still wanted to drive his own arc to develop his own power. But the blood of the Dragon Kingdom in his bones made him want to help complete the restoration plan. But I also need to develop myself. Lin Sheng carefully looked at the chat interface for exchanging special props for the supplies in his hands. Lin Sheng then thought that the first group to obtain special props in the previous life was the organization in the National Restoration Plan. Lin Sheng immediately replied to Pajun. Okay, but I want to see the items in your hands first. Lin Sheng's reply message was just sent out. Pajun. 
who had been guarding the news, was shocked and stood up suddenly from the raft. His face was full of excitement. Finally replied. Mr. Shun finally replied to him. Pajun immediately ran to find his superior and told his superior about Lin Sheng's request. Okay, you can send one of the crystals that fell from those monsters over. Think of it as a test for the other party. If he keeps his word, we can continue to trade. Otherwise, sooner or later we will stop thinking of trading with him. The chief said after thinking for a while. He wasn't sure about this old man's integrity either. Get physical strength crystal plus one. Lin Sheng. Damn it. Are these people so confident about themselves? I'm very worried. Lin Sheng looked at the crystallization of physical strength he had just obtained in his hand and couldn't help but feel black lines on his forehead. Aren't you afraid of being corrupted by yourself? You must know that this is a world after a disaster, not a peaceful era, and any laws are invalid. It's just that he, Lin Sheng, is not this kind of person. Lin Sheng picked up the physical strength crystal in his hand with a smile on his lips. Lin Sheng immediately gave back 10 kilograms of flour. This is calculated based on the crystallized universal value of a good previous life. Lin Sheng did not lower the price. But Jun and his commander were nervously waiting for Lin Sheng's reaction. Could this be true that he ran away? But Jun couldn't help but feel worried. Just then a bag of flour appeared in his hand. Get 10 pounds of flour. But Jun looked at the flour in his hand and then looked at his commander. This. The commander nodded. He didn't have much hope for the crystal. After all, it was very difficult to make the crystal into a potion. First of all, there is no need to mention the manufacturing blueprints. Secondly, the price of food is already a very difficult thing for survivors, who basically have no cultivation ability. Ask how much food Mr. Sheng has. After the officer's words fell upon Pajun, he immediately contacted Lin Sheng and asked, How much food can you trade with us? Lin Sheng smiled immediately after seeing the news about Pajun. It seems that the other party has a lot of crystals. In that case, I want as much as you have. The commander also smiled for a moment. I want as many as I can. What a loud tone. They had encountered a lot of sea beasts in the past few days and naturally gained a lot of crystals after killing them. One crystal is exchanged for 10 kilograms of food. Thousands of crystals are needed. Is it possible that this old man still has 10,000 kilograms of food? Does he really think he is the landowner before the disaster? The commander snorted in his heart. His original intention was to exchange food from various survivors. But what he didn't expect was that Lin Sheng was really a landlord. And he was a landlord with the ability to increase his income by a hundredfold. Tell him the amount of crystals we have and ask him if there is enough food? Okay, sir. After Pajun finished speaking, he immediately started to operate. Pajun. Master Sheng, we have 248 crystals of each of the four colors, totaling 992 crystals. Do you have enough food? Lin Sheng. Huh? This is just the result? Then the food for your restoration plan is not enough. Pajun. You mean you still have food? Chapter 56 Shock Pajun. Potion Manufacturing. Lin Sheng. Yes. But you don't have enough crystallization? Breaking the military. What you said makes so much sense. Pajun. I would like to ask. How much food do you have? Lin Sheng. Currently there are only rice and Shanghai green. Let's start with 100,000 caddies. There will be more in the future. If you want to cooperate for a long time, I hope you are smart people and don't try to have other ideas. When preparing for the transaction, Lin Sheng gave all the food a hundredfold increase. Lin Sheng also issued a warning. If the other party was dishonest, Lin Sheng believed that he could beat the other party to be honest. Pajun was completely stunned. Sir! Sir! He! Pajun looked at his commander in a daze and said, How's it going? Doesn't that old man have that much food? The chief asked disdainfully. Sir. No. Mr. Sheng said that he has a starting point of 100,000 kilograms. And. And. And what? Don't hesitate for me. Bring it over and let me see for myself. As a soldier, the commander was very resolute in his work. But he couldn't stand Pajun's hesitant way of expressing himself. He snatched the book from Pajun's hand in one fell swoop. Da 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 da. Just after seeing Lin Sheng's reply clearly, the officer staggered back several steps in shock. Starting at 100,000 kilograms, there are also vegetarian dishes, and even more in the future. The number of their crystals seems not that impressive. So much food. Just take rice as an example. One kilogram is enough for four people. And 100,000 kilograms is enough for 400,000 meals. So far, there are only 40,000 soldiers 
who have returned to their positions, and the food is enough for them to last ten days. But no matter what, the crystals in their hands were only enough to exchange for ten thousand kilograms of food. Young man, don't make fun of us. What we want is to be down to earth. Lin Sheng. Of course I'm not joking. It all depends on what you need. As long as there is enough crystallization, I will provide you with enough food so that you will not have any worries about your plan to restore the country. The warrior commander was moved, although he still had doubts about Lin Sheng. He was indeed moved. After sending the message, Lin Sheng smiled proudly. Let him hunt for the crystals by himself. Ha uh ha. -huh. This is a joke. The ocean is so big, although there are many sea beasts. Not everyone will have crystals. It is still difficult to even encounter a large number of sea beasts. After the warrior commander hesitated for a long time, he replied, You give us 5,000 kilograms of rice first. Lin Sheng. It's easy to say, but are you sure you can take in so much in one go? The officer glanced at the raft at his feet. It was big enough. Certainly. After the officer finished speaking, Lin Sheng immediately sent over 5,000 kilograms of rice. Lin Sheng didn't care about the rice. As long as the other party was honest, he would continue the transaction. If they are dishonest, uh-huh. Anyway, the loss of 5,000 kilograms of rice from a million kilograms is not a big deal to Lin Sheng. On Pichu inside, he saw the rice constantly appearing at his feet, and his jaw almost dropped in shock. Too much. He suddenly felt that this period of time was so unreal. Is this still a catastrophic world where we don't have enough to eat three meals a day? Mr. Sheng has gone too far. Could it be that he upgraded and discovered a small island full of rice? The commander was stunned for a long time before he sent the crystal in his hand directly to the other party through the transaction interface. As soon as the crystals were delivered, another 5,000 kilograms of rice from Lin Sheng's side was delivered to their feet. Lin Sheng. It's a pleasure to cooperate. If you need food, you can come to me. 10,000 kilograms of rice is enough to feed these soldiers. But the number of crystals made the officer frown. Finally, he said, distribute them all. Let everyone eat first and then go hunt sea beasts. Lin Sheng had no time to care about the situation on the soldier side. Instead, he looked at the crystals in his hands and started making potions. The number of potions before was limited and could not be used by everyone. But it was different now. After making one, Lin Sheng had a lot of potions in his hand. Elementary Physical Strength Potion 250 Primary Strength Potion 339 Elementary Speed Potion 249 Elementary Intelligence Potion 249. The total amount of medicine still did not reach the standard amount per person. Of the 19 people on the mermaid side, apart from the mermaid king and mermaid queen, there are still 17 people in need. This requires 170 of each type of potion, while the savage tribe requires 510 of each type of potion. Pai Pai Old Jack and Shen Ling also need 30 each of various potions. Lin Sheng distributed the potions. First to Shen Ling. Then to old Jack and Pai Pai. One is his important person. And the other two are capable men on the Ark. Then, they were given to Kong Kongi and Guzi. These two are also the main force. This means 50 bottles of various medicines have been used. After Lin Sheng looked at the members of the Savage Tribe and the mermaids of the Mermaid Tribe, he decided to select the nine strongest people and distribute 180 potions. At this point, the potion distribution display comes to an end. Even the potions are still waiting for the quantity to be increased before dividing them. Sister, how do you feel after taking the medicine? Lin Sheng asked after seeing that Shen Ling had taken all the medicine. Look here. The data table of my strength. Survivor, Shen Ling. Physical strength 5 plus 10 15. Strength 5 plus 10 15. Speed 5 plus 10 15. Intelligence 5 plus 10 15. Shen Ling's basic attributes were the same as those of ordinary people. After taking the potion, her overall attributes increased to 15 points. In other words, the unarmed damage can burst out to 30 points. Shen Ling has returned to him, and he will not worry that the enhanced equipment will bring danger to her. Shen Ling was immediately pulled into the room. Undress! Lin Sheng said quickly after closing the door. Huh? Shen Ling was stunned when she heard Lin Sheng's words. We are siblings. This won't work. Shen Ling blushed and said, but in her heart, she was secretly blaming Lin Sheng. How could you be so direct? The atmosphere was wrong. There were so many people outside, and it was still broad daylight. Whatever is okay. Besides, I won't hurt you, Lin Sheng said doubtfully. But, Shen Ling's face was as red as a little apple, and she said coquettishly, 
The equipment I gave you before was probably dangerous if it was not strengthened. Sometimes it would be too much. But now I will protect you. And at the same time, it is also to give you, Sister Ling, a better way to protect yourself. I will now to strengthen your equipment. This, this is it. Suddenly he realized that he had misunderstood. And his already red face suddenly became like a burning mark. Eh? Sister, do you have a fever? Lin Chung reached out to touch it as he spoke. His, why didn't you say you were sick? Lie down quickly. There is no medicine now, and we can only use crude methods to solve the problem. As Lin Chung said this, he pressed Shen Ling on the bed, and pieces of clothes were kept draped on Shen Ling's body. Sister Ling, please wait a moment. I'll heat some hot water for you. Just lie down and let the sweat come out. Lin Chung was about to run outside as he spoke. Chapter 57 Preparations Before Going to the Island Being Wanted No, I'm fine. Just when Lin Sheng was about to run away, Shen Ling quickly sat up from the bed and grabbed Lin Sheng's arm. No, sister, listen to me. There used to be antipyretics for fever, but now we don't have antipyretics. So don't be careless. Lin Sheng still insisted on heating hot water. I'm really fine. Shen Ling simply pressed Lin Sheng on the bed. Otherwise, she would have asked Lin Sheng to boil hot water and misunderstood her as having a fever. She felt that she would never forget this in her life. Lin Sheng looked at Shen Ling who was pressing on him and did not dare to struggle too hard for a while to avoid accidental injury. Is it really okay? Lin Sheng said suspiciously. Real, Shen Ling said firmly. After this torment, the blushing face returned to normal. Then I'll touch you again. Lin Sheng reached out and touched Shen Ling's forehead. Does the fever go away so quickly? Shen Ling didn't care what Lin Sheng said, and took off the fish scale armor he was wearing and handed it to Lin Sheng. He also took out the spear, bow and arrow from his backpack. Hurry up! Take it and strengthen it and return it to me! Shen Ling urged. Oh oh! After Shen Ling changed the equipment again, Lin Sheng saw that he was almost ready, and the thoughts in his heart started to move again. The two eldest brothers of Xiao Shirlong in the Jialong mercenary group will probably get the news soon about his killing of Xiao Shirlong. Although I don't know if the other party will know that it was me who did it. But I have to think of the worst in the situation. It is imperative to go to island number 96. And you need to go there as quickly as possible and complete the exploration of the island to improve your strength. Since the Jialong mercenary group can become so large, it might also have plug-in capabilities like its own sign-in system. So I became stronger as soon as possible to deal with the Jialong mercenary group. Lin Sheng walked towards the captain's cabin, planning to let old Jack raise the boat again. But just as Lin Sheng was walking on the deck, Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the dog, who was working with the savages with his butt sticking out. Guzi, what are you doing? Lin Sheng asked. The dog looked back. Boss, the sow has given birth to piglets. Oh, is that so? Lin Sheng also stepped forward to take a look out of curiosity. It's just that the dog has already finished the process of giving birth, and he didn't see the process. How long will it take for this piglet to grow up? Lin Sheng asked him. With the blessing of the spiritual spring water, you can grow pigs in one day, Guzi said, pointing to a litter of three piglets. Lin Sheng suddenly felt that the piglets in front of him were not pigs, but plates of meat. Well, braised pork ribs, braised pork trotters, pan-fried pork chops, braised pork, braised pig tails. It's all big meat, and the whole steamed bun is made of flour, full of flavor. Okay, Guzi arranges for people to take care of these piglets for me. If something happens, I will ask you for questions. Okay, master. Don't worry. We are professionals in raising pigs. Listen to Guzi's swore assurance. Lin Sheng walked towards the captain's cabin. Old Jack, here's a bowl of twice-cooked pork. Oh, you said it wrong. Are you ready to face the strong wind? It's all because the piglet Guzi just delivered triggered memories deep in his memory. Lin Sheng said that he was definitely not greedy. Well, that's it. Ah, boss. Can you still race the boat? Old Jack's originally calm expression turned red at this time. What are you waiting for? Seeing Old Jack's excitement, Lin Sheng immediately smiled and took out an enchanted book as quickly as possible. Call out. The Ark moved forward at a very fast speed again. Lin Sheng returned to the deck and heard the Mermaid King and Guzi talking. Hey, I'll fish at night. I'm afraid I won't be able to catch it now. These two guys put away their fishing gear leisurely. See Dragon Mercenary Group. Second brother, tell me how long it will take for Xiao San to come back after leaving this time. 
the leader of the Jialong mercenary group said. I don't know. Last time I went out. I was so scared that I came back within a day. Ha ha. Maybe it will be soon. The deputy leader said. That's right. I've only been following us since I was a kid. I don't think there's any need to go out. There's that mysterious altar where you can exchange food and supplies for survivors and sea beasts. There's no need for us to go out on our own initiative. Those who are seeking survival will come by themselves. The group leader chuckled. Okay. I'll try to contact Na Shirlong and see where he is now. Deputy Leader Xiao Shirwei opened the chat channel and just wanted to contact his third brother. However, he saw that Xiao Shirlong's profile picture was actually black and white. Xiao Shirwei's hands trembled. And he turned around and said in shock, Shirlong is gone. Xiao Shijun, who was still contentedly watching the survivors who had surrendered to him on the surrounding sea and were working hard, suddenly looked at Xiao Shirwei and said, What did you say? Sherlong is dead. The two looked at each other. Impossible. How could that kid die? He has a lot of people under his command. Even if he encounters a sea beast and other people can't escape, will he still be unable to escape? Xiao Shijun shouted. Captain. Commander. Ah Fu sent me a message. Saying that he was the only one who left with the 3rd Regiment Commander and survived. An original member of the Jialong Mercenary Group hurried over to report the news he had just received. Before the catastrophe, they were members of a mercenary group. After the catastrophe, the name of this mercenary group was once again used as the name of the new force. As for this mercenary, he had known about the feelings of the three regiment leaders for a long time. And he came to report as soon as he learned the news. Have you asked about the specific situation? Xiao Shirwei asked eagerly. Yes. They said they wanted to rob Mr. Sheng, who had a great reputation before. But Mr. Sheng killed them with a terrifying giant crossbow. Mata, Lin Sheng. Very good. Do you dare to kill Xiao Shirwei's younger brother? Do you really think that good luck and development are so strong that you are arrogant? Xiao Shirwei said bitterly that he thought Lin Sheng not only didn't give face to their Jialong mercenary group, but also didn't give him face. Brother, I will take people to find Lin Sheng for revenge. Xiao Shirwei looked at Xiao Shijun with red eyes and said, Stop. Come back to me. Just as Xiao Shirwei was about to leave, he was stopped by Xiao Shijun. Where are you going to seek revenge from Lin Sheng? Also, didn't you hear that they have giant crossbows? Is this the same as taking them to hit missiles and sending them to death? Xiao Shijun calmed down and said after accepting the death of his third brother. He analyzed Lin Sheng's strength from the news he learned. He also wanted to take revenge. But if he was not strong enough, he would die. So he suppressed his anger and waited for his strength to become stronger before killing Lin Sheng. That's not possible. Aren't there a lot of survivors who want to join us? The same goes for those who have formed gangs. Then it's okay if I put them on a wanted list and let them take action. Right. Xiao Shirwei said unwillingly. Okay. Let's do this first. Xiao Shijun was unwilling to accept it. So he agreed to his approach. On the sea, the speeding arc suddenly stopped. Seeing that the island was not very far away from the arc. But the front of the arc was blocked. What is that? Lin Sheng looked at the looming green circles in front of the sea. Oh. Lin Sheng frowned and looked at these strange green circles. At first glance, they seemed to be plants. Gradually these plants break through the seawater and emerge from the water. At first glance, they look like an island. Huh? There's something wrong with this island. Why would you take the initiative to approach your ark? Chapter 58 The True Face of the Strange Island Seeing the strange island approaching his ark, Lin Sheng became wary. Go around! Lin Sheng asked someone to inform Old Jack. But this strange island seems to be determined to oppose itself. No matter which direction the Ark sets sail, the strange island will be ahead of the Ark. Dog, bring my Italian cannon over here. No, it's a giant crossbow, Lin Sheng said angrily. Master, here we come. Guzi pushed a giant crossbow to Lin Sheng's side. Aim it and release it for me. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, Guzi operated the giant crossbow and released the giant spear. When the giant spear was ejected, the sound of cutting through the air was numbing. However, the seemingly powerful giant spear was blocked by the trees on the island the moment it landed on the strange island. It's hard to save half a point, let alone hit the island. Here, master, there are too many trees on the island, and the giant spear seems to be weak. Guzi looked at the giant spear that could not hit the island and said, Try going around again. 
Lin Shun also noticed that it was very strange that the giant spear with more than 2,000 damage could not penetrate the trees on the island. Therefore, if possible, Lin Shun still hopes to avoid this island and avoid conflict with the other party. There are all kinds of weird things happening in the ocean. And he doesn't want to be delayed. But things were not as Lin Shun imagined. Ark's change, of course, was still blocked by the island. I want to go up and see if this island is man-made. They are actually making things difficult for us like this. As he spoke, Lin Sheng was about to go into the water and take a look at the island. Xiao Sheng, I will go with you. Shen Ling saw Lin Sheng's movements about to go into the water and said quickly, This island was too weird. And she was worried that Lin Sheng would be in danger if he went there alone. So one more person would be able to take care of it. No need. Just wait peacefully on this ark. It's just a strange island. I won't be in danger. Lin Sheng looked at Shen Ling's concerned eyes and immediately understood what Shen Ling was thinking, and spoke to comfort him. If it doesn't work, you're not allowed to go either. I'll give you two choices. Either you don't want to go, and we try to find another way, or you let me go with you. Shen Ling did not agree with Lin Sheng's decision, but made a firm request. She felt that she had to follow Lin Sheng to feel relieved. Okay, stubborn woman. Although Lin Sheng said this, his heart was still very warm. After all, there were still people who were willing to take risks with him. Plop, twice. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling jumped into the sea and swam towards the island. When he came to the edge of the island, Lin Sheng grabbed the rocks on the edge of the island with one hand and climbed up. After he stabilized his steps, Lin Sheng stretched out his hand. Shen Ling, who was following Lin Sheng closely, looked up at Lin Sheng, smiled and grabbed Lin Sheng's hand, and quickly landed on the island with Lin Sheng's help. After landing on the island, the two walk together. The plants on the island are lush and green. And you can see that they are getting enough sunlight. And when I saw it just now, the island emerged from the sea. Lin Sheng frowned. Nothing strange happened along the way. There doesn't seem to be any danger. Shen Ling also expressed her feelings. Let's take a walk and see. Lin Sheng's words came as he walked with Shen Ling on the island. Mainly because they couldn't get around this small island. The Ark couldn't reach their destination this time. As the two of them went deeper into the island. Both Lin Sheng and Shen Ling saw more and more fish bones on the land of the island. These fish bones don't look like they have been eaten, but rather they have been fried after being exposed to the sun. The island that wasn't weird at first became extremely weird because of this incident. It's live shrimp! At this time, Shen Ling saw a nine-section shrimp that had just been dehydrated and was still alive and said. The next moment she observed carefully, and after confirming that there was nothing wrong with the nine-segmented shrimp, she caught the nine-segmented shrimp in her hand. Let's keep walking. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he took Shen Ling around the island and found nothing strange. This made Lin Sheng extremely depressed. You are just a small island with bad intentions. Why can't you get along with me? Lin Sheng complained and left the island with Shen Ling. Returning to the shore where he came from, Lin Sheng was the first to enter the water. He reached out and gently helped Shen Ling into the water. Let's go back. Um, as the two just left the island. The mermaids of the mermaid tribe on the ark also came out of the mermaid lake and stayed on the deck. Brother Guzzi, what are you all doing here? Kong Kongi asked doubtfully. There is a strange island over there. The master and mistress will go down to the island to see what is going on. Guzzi replied. Um. Kong Kongi let out a soft cry and looked at the location pointed by Guzzi. Is that? It seems like a familiar feeling. This was what Kong Kongi was thinking. The mermaid king and mermaid queen also came to the deck and they also felt this way after seeing the island. Wang, do you think that island looks like? Maritime. Xiaosheng, hurry up. It seemed that after discovering that there was no danger in this island, Shen Ling's mood changed from nervous to relaxed, and she made a joke. She quickly swam in front of Lin Sheng, picked up a handful of water, and poured it on Lin Sheng, shouting with a smile. After Lin Sheng was stunned for a moment, he came back to his senses, smiled and said, Okay. Let's see if I catch you and take care of you. Lin Sheng also quickly waved his arms and chased after Shen Ling. Under the seawater, at the bottom of the island, bubbles kept popping up. Gulyalu! A pair of red eyes in the sea suddenly opened, like a pair of lanterns under the dark seabed. Suddenly a head protruded from the bottom of the island, followed by four thighs as thick as a thousand-year-old tree. Behind the island, a thick and long tail stretched out and whipped in the seawater. The entire island suddenly floated up at this time. The seawater around the island slid down from the island. Xiaosheng, 
should Ling turn around and wanted to play again. But when she saw that the island turned into a giant turtle creature, her words of surprise were stuck in her throat. Sister Ling? Faced with Shen Ling's sudden dullness, Lin Sheng quickly came to Shen Ling's side. When he looked back, he saw the island transform into a giant forest turtle. I'm going. It's going to be cool this time. Lin Sheng looked up at the image of the giant turtle and shouted. The giant turtle's head looked around and finally landed on Lin Sheng. After reacting, Lin Sheng said anxiously, Sister, hurry up and get on the ark. Lin Sheng did not dare to hesitate and urged Shen Ling to board the ark which was just around the corner. Chapter 59 Mermaid friends arrive at the island. In fact, this small island is not too big for a giant turtle. I'm afraid even Ark can't resist it. You must know that the previous giant crossbow could not even penetrate the big tree on the back of the giant turtle. Xiaosheng, come up quickly, Shen Ling said to Lin Sheng in the sea while logging into the Ark. There was also anxiety in his words. You go up first. I'll be fine. Lin Sheng didn't have the confidence in his heart. He also wanted to go up, but the eyes of this giant turtle were staring at him all the time. He couldn't get on the ark because he was afraid that if he made any move, the giant turtle would attack him. Attack? Who would have thought that after the giant turtle's eyes swept across the ark, it actually came towards the ark without saying a word? Ho ho! The giant turtle made a dull roar. Kudong! Lin Shun swallowed. This giant turtle was deadly. How to deal with it? Watching the giant turtle break through the sea water like a water fortress and come directly. Lin Sheng took out his longbow and shot fiercely at the giant turtle. But after the arrow hit the giant turtle's head, it bounced out. Damn it! I can't even break through the defense. What should I do? Although the arrow did not hurt the giant turtle, it seemed to have angered the opponent. The giant turtle opened its mouth and took a deep breath at the sea water. After taking this gulp of water, an abyss seemed to appear on the sea surface, swallowing the sea water. The giant turtle raised its head and pointed it at Lin Sheng. The seawater it sucked into its mouth turned into a water column as thick as a water tank and shot toward Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng hurriedly avoided the water column. Fortunately, Lin Sheng's reaction was quick enough, and the water column passed over his shoulder. But even so, the fish scale armor that was accidentally brushed by the water column also made bursts of steel collision sounds. The fish scales on the fish scale armor were almost shattered by the shock. It is conceivable that if he is hit by a water column, even if there is no hole left in his body, his internal organs will be shattered. The giant turtle failed to hit a single blow, but instead became even more angry. This time, he immersed himself in the sea water even harder. The sea water seemed to be poured into the mouth of a giant turtle, creating a small whirlpool directly on the sea surface. Just when the giant turtle raised its head again and was about to shoot a water column at Lin Sheng, a sweet voice sounded. Damao! The water column that was about to be shot turned into water mist sprayed from the shower head and fell in the air. The giant turtle raised its head blankly and looked towards the direction from which the ark's voice came. Ho ho! Two greeting sounds came from the giant turtle's mouth. After hearing this, Kong Kongi jumped into the sea excitedly. It's really you! Damao! Kong Kongi came to the giant turtle, laid down on the giant turtle's head and rubbed it affectionately. The red light in the giant turtle's eyes dissipated and the blue pupils returned. Master, this was a good friend of our mermaid tribe. But then he got lost for a while. It will not hurt the master. The one just now was also misunderstood by Damao. It thought that the master had kidnapped our mermaid clan. So it attacked the master. Kong Kongi finished speaking. Lin Sheng wiped the cold sweat on his forehead. Won't it hurt me? I almost got GG. Okay? Lin Sheng looked at the giant turtle and thought silently. The giant turtle has long green hair on its limbs. No wonder it is called Big Hair. The water column is obviously much larger than the previous one. If it is targeted, can it still be avoided? Ha ha. In that case, you can have a good chat with it. Lin Sheng breathed a sigh of relief and said helplessly. After logging into the ark, Lin Sheng expressed that he was too frightened and needed a good rest. What Lin Sheng also didn't understand was why his weapon couldn't hurt the giant turtle. Logically speaking, his weapon was a divine weapon and could still be strengthened by plus 10. As a result, it couldn't even break through the defense. What level is this giant turtle? Following Lin Sheng's muttering, Ark successfully arrived at island number 96 without the obstruction of the giant turtle this time. After adjusting, Lin Sheng and Shen Ling logged into island number 96. But Guzi and Pipai left everything on the Ark. As soon as Lin Sheng set foot on the island, 
he walked towards the island. The difference is that this island is much larger than the one he visited before. Xiaosheng, is this the island? As Shenling who landed on the island for the first time after the disaster, her eyes were full of curiosity. Yes, let's go. After Lin Sheng said this, he took Shenling's little hand and felt a slight cold touch. Shenling did not resist but let Lin Sheng hold her hand and walk on the beach. The two walked side by side further and further until the ark was no longer visible behind them. What's going on? Are you still on the beach after all this time? Lin Sheng frowned in confusion. But soon the two of them felt cold all over their bodies. The warm feeling from before is still there. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling turned back together. And they were both stunned at the same time. On the island just one step away, there is a world of ice and snow in front of it. And behind it is sand that is somewhat hot due to the sun. These are simply two worlds. What a beauty! Shen Ling couldn't help but sigh. In front of her eyes, in this cold world, there were white snowflakes falling in the air. Shen Ling stretched out her hand to take it and several snowflakes suddenly appeared on her hand. She stared blankly at these snowflakes of different shapes. Lin Shun also took advantage of this time to go in and out of the isolated location on the ground, sometimes experiencing ice and snow, and sometimes scorching heat. After confirming that the climate on both sides was different, Lin Shun said to Shen Ling, Let's continue walking. It seems that this island is mysterious enough. As soon as Lin Shun said these words, Shen Ling noticed something wrong in his words. Xiao Sheng, is this different from the islands you have been to before? Shen Ling asked curiously while walking, reaching out to catch the falling snowflakes in the air. After he finished speaking, he tried to blow up the snowflakes in his hand again. Well, the previous islands were still the same as they were on the island. There was no such polarity, Lin Sheng said calmly. It's just that my heart is really looking forward to it and wandering. The weirder the island, the better the things that can be obtained on the island. Of course, the difference is that the island is more dangerous than the original one. The two of them walked on the snow, dragging two rows of long footprints behind them. Oops. Suddenly Shen Ling exclaimed. What happened? Lin Shen asked anxiously. I think I stepped on something. Shen Ling said with some uncertainty. The exclamation just now was caused by the fact that he stepped on something unknown under his feet. What did you step on? Lin Shen lowered his head to look. But the land was covered with snow so he couldn't see what was underground. Chapter 60 Hugely Different Environments Ice and Snow Snakes However, since Shen Ling stepped on something and did not cause any accidents, there should be no danger. But seeing the nervous expression on Shen Ling's face, Lin Sheng had the idea of teasing her. Sister, as far as I know, what is covered under the snow must be the creatures on this island. Of course, these creatures must be some kind of snakes. Rats or the like. Sure enough, Shen Ling was listening to Lin Sheng's words, and her face became a little ugly. Shen Ling is afraid of snakes and rats, which has not changed since she was a child. Then, help me get it away. Shen Ling's words were a little stiff. Ha ha. Lin Sheng laughed unbridled when he looked at Shen Ling Tong. When Shen Ling heard the laughter, she didn't know that she was being played by Lin Sheng. He stamped his feet fiercely and immediately pounced on Lin Sheng, opening his mouth and biting Lin Sheng's neck. Of course, the most important thing was that Lin Sheng was wearing fish scale armor. The armor was too hard. If he bit his shoulder to vent his anger, Shen Ling felt that her teeth might not be saved. It hurts. It hurts. Sister, I remember you are not a dog. Why does the bite hurt so much? Let go quickly or I will really kill your brother. Lin Sheng screamed. Okay. Stop barking. I didn't even bite hard. Shen Ling patted Lin Sheng on the shoulder and said, but at first, she was very angry at being teased by Lin Sheng. But when she was about to bite him, she couldn't bear to hold back her strength and bite lightly. Hey, let me see what it is first. Lin Sheng smiled playfully and squatted down, pulling away the snow on the ground to see what was under the snow. A snake skin? Lin Sheng was stunned when he understood the snake skin. Snake skin. Only snakes can shed it. And in this world of ice and snow, shouldn't all snakes be hibernating? But why can it still be active in the ice? Lin Sheng picked up the snake's skin in confusion. With bright light, Lin Sheng saw that the snake's skin was blue and white. Obtain an ice snake skin. Ice and snow snake skin has strong cold resistance and can be made into leather jackets to wear on the body to resist the cold. Lin Sheng looked at the snake's skin in his hand and slowly came to his senses. Resistance to cold is just the function of snake skin. So living snakes are not afraid of cold at all. Right? While Lin Sheng was thinking, 
There were swishing sounds in the snow under his feet. Lin Sheng hurriedly put away the snake skin in his hand and stared at the snow at his feet seriously. Xiao Sheng, snakes are cold-blooded animals. They need to hibernate. Right. Shen Ling asked Lin Sheng with a trembling voice and common sense. It can be seen that she is really afraid of snakes. Um, sister, the world after the disaster can no longer be viewed with the same common sense as before. Lin Sheng said helplessly. How about you come up and I'll carry you? At least this way, you don't have to be afraid. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, Shen Ling let Lin Sheng carry him without hesitation. Brush? A snake's head poked out of the snow. And the blue snake spit out and then retracted it and quickly burrowed into the snow. This scene was keenly observed by Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng also took out a spear in his hand. Always preparing for battle. The ice snake entered the snow and did not leave. Instead, it continued to move forward. Although Shen Ling was afraid and hit on Lin Sheng's back. Shen Ling still took out a long bow in his hand. Knocked an arrow and drew the bow. Aiming at the snow at any time. As the sound of the ice and snow snake approaching was heard. A blue-white snake shadow sprang out from the snow and rushed toward Lin Sheng. Court death. After Lin Sheng's words fell. The spear in his hand was shot out by Lin Sheng as a javelin. The target landed on the seven-inch position of the ice and snow snake. And directly nailed the ice and snow snake into the snow. Dash 572. Hitting the ice snake seven inches. A critical strike occurred immediately. For 28 slash 1000. This ice snake, which is no more than an arm long, actually has 1000 life points. Lin Sheng frowned and was just about to take out the long bow. I just felt like my waist was being clamped by life. Looking down, it was Shen Ling who had her legs tightly clamped around her waist. She straightened her upper body, aimed the arrow in her hand at the ice snake, and fired two arrows in succession. Dash 275. Dash 275. The ice and snow snake was still trying to struggle in the snow. But the two arrows hit the snake's head without any mistakes. And the ice and snow snake died instantly. Come on! Praise me! Shen Ling asked, finding Lin Sheng turning his head to look at him, raising his head proudly. Aren't you scared? Lin Sheng asked with a smile. I'm afraid of snakes, but I don't dare to fight them. If you laugh at me again, be careful and I'll bite you again. When Lin Sheng asked, Shen Ling was a little embarrassed. But in the end, she bit her mouth cutely to express her dissatisfaction. She still had the guts to hit a snake that wouldn't come close with a bow and arrow. Awesome. Sister Ling is an expert at last hitting. As soon as these words of praise fell, Shen Ling put away her bow and arrows and lay on Lin Sheng's back. Lin Sheng stepped forward and approached the body of the ice and snow snake and put the snake's body away with a tug. Just when Lin Sheng Kai was about to continue walking forward, she was surprised to hear the swishing sounds ringing around her. Um, this voice is so familiar. Xiao Sheng, there shouldn't be a lot of snakes here. Right. When asked by Shen Ling, Lin Sheng was immediately unsure. Wasn't the previous brushing a reminder that the snake was coming out? Now this sounds the same as before. Lin Sheng looked sharply. In the pure white snow, blue and white snake heads emerge from the snow. It looks like there are more than ten of them. Sister, we seem to have fallen into a snake's nest. Lin Sheng said helplessly. However, Shen Ling suppressed the fear in her heart and no longer relied on Lin Sheng. She stood directly on the snow and defended the ice snake back to back with Lin Sheng. She also knows that in the face of a real crisis, fear is useless. And the fear that should be overcome still needs to be overcome. Xiao Sheng, whether we live or die depends on our cooperation. After fear is suppressed, fighting spirit rises. The long bow in Shen Ling's hand kept firing arrows. Each arrow penetrated seven inches of the ice and snow snakes, pitting them in the snow. And Lin Sheng's side is similar facing the large and flexible ice and snow snakes. There is no other way except to attack them with arrows. Spears can be used for close combat, but they are far from enough to deal with so many ice and snow snakes. Lin Sheng's every arrow hit the ice snake, pinning it in the snow to prevent them from getting closer, and then started the last ditch work. But Shen Ling did not give in too much, and the speed of shooting arrows was not much slower than Lin Sheng. The group of ice and snow snakes that attacked Lin Sheng and the others all turned into snake meat, and were put into Lin Sheng's backpack. Chapter 61 Ice and Snow Snake Gallbladder Striking the hole to scare the snake Get Ice Snake Skin Plus 12 Get Ice and Snow Snake Gall Plus 12 Get Ice and Snow Snake Meat Plus 12 After harvesting the ice and snow snake, Lin Sheng looked at the bumpy snow on the ground. 
shook his head, and continued to lead Shen Ling forward. The road of exploration is inherently dangerous. As Lin Sheng walked along, he examined the functions of snake gallbladder and snake meat. Ice and snow snake gallbladder. All attributes plus one, unlimited. Ice and snow snake meat. It tastes cold and can restore 30% of its peak state after eating it. After Lin Sheng saw the properties of snake gallbladder and snake meat, an idea came into his mind. And he immediately thought of multiplying the snake gallbladder and snake meat a hundred times to increase his strength. Due to the particularity of these two materials, ice and snow snake meat can be multiplied by a hundred times. But ice and snow snake gall cannot be multiplied by a hundred times. Do you want to amplify ice and snow snake meat by a hundred times? Lin Sheng was instantly confused when he saw the limitations of a hundredfold increase. But I soon felt relieved. If such a powerful item that can enhance strength really increases infinitely, how can others play with it? However, it's not bad that snake meat can be multiplied by a hundred times. As long as you are not instantly killed by wild monsters, you can take unlimited drugs. Lin Sheng made snake meat a hundredfold increase. Get ice and snow snake meat plus 120. Lin Sheng took out a snake gallbladder and said to Shen Ling, Sister, try it. It's just that girls are not as receptive to such weird things as men are. Of course not all men dare to eat it. No, this is snake gallbladder or raw. Shen Ling said with a look of resistance. Sister, this is good food. It is nourishing. No, it will enhance your strength. Lin Sheng almost told the story before the disaster. Drinking snake gall soaked in wine before the disaster does have an effect on the body. The specific effects can only be understood but cannot be explained. Then don't be too disgusting. Listening to Shen Ling's words, Lin Sheng frowned. He was really not joking. For example, if we go on adventures together in the future, or if we are not strong enough on the ocean. The danger may kill him at any time. That won't work. If you don't eat, sister, then I won't be able to take you with me when I go out to explore the island in the future. As my strength increases, you will become a burden to me. Lin Sheng also said it very straightforwardly. As for Shen Ling, if she doesn't eat, of course she won't abandon her. She could only raise her as a canary on the ark. Maybe it's good that the people she cares about won't be hurt. It's also a good thing. Then let me eat. Shen Ling stared at the snake gallbladder in Lin Sheng's hand and hesitated for a long time. After all, she was not a woman willing to be a canary. So she reached out and took the snake gall in Lin Sheng's hand. Just die. Close your eyes. Open your mouth slightly. And swallow the snake gall in your hand with a gudong sound. His expression was that of a hero who died generously. When Lin Sheng saw this, he covered his waist and laughed. Ha! Sister! This is a great tonic. Not poison. There is no need to look like you are dying. Yes, it's a great supplement. Isn't it a great supplement to improve strength? After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Shen Ling did not react. Instead, he carefully felt the feeling of the snake gall he had just eaten. Cold, silky, and slightly sweet in the mouth. After eating it, she also felt that her body had warmed up a lot. Eat another one? Lin Sheng took out a snake gallbladder again. This time Shen Ling just nodded slightly. As the saying goes, Shen Ling would not refuse something that is harmless and beneficial after tasting it. After eating the second piece of snake gallbladder, Shen Ling had the same experience again. Lin Sheng simply took out all the remaining snake gallbladders and gave four to Shen Ling. The effect of these snake gallbladders is so strong, so it would be good for the two of them to share them equally to increase their strength. Shen Ling consumed all the snake gallbladder and his strength increased dramatically. Survivor, Shen Ling. Strength, 21. Intelligence, 21. Stamina, 21. Speed, 21. Lin Sheng also took six pieces of snake gallbladder and his attributes were greatly improved. Survivor, Lin Sheng. Strength, 26. Intelligence, 26. Stamina, 26. Speed, 26. After both of them increased in strength, Shen Ling asked, Shall we continue walking? Lin Sheng shook his head. Wherever my father-in-law has gone, how could he leave good things behind and not take them away? Besides, if you don't take it, you won't get it. If you don't take it, this island will not appear again after you explore it. This is called a shameful waste. Keep looking. There may be these ice and snow snakes. You should also know the effect of the snake gallbladder just now. Right. This is much more useful than the potion I gave you before. Not only will all attributes be improved, but there are no restrictions on the use of upgrades. 
after hearing Lin Sheng's words. Shen Ling's eyes also lit up. She looked at Lin Sheng blankly. After Lin Sheng joined her family, although she bullied Lin Sheng a lot, she was the only one who bullied him. If others dared to touch Lin Sheng, she had the strength to protect him. However, now he looks like he is being protected by his protective brother. The desire to become stronger suddenly burned in her heart. Well, let's find it. After Shen Ling finished speaking, Lin Sheng's jaw dropped in shock at the scene that followed. Why does my sister Ling seem to hate waste more than I do? He saw Shen Ling holding a spear and carefully exploring every place under the snow. For fear of missing it. Not to mention, many of the ice snakes that were napping in the corner were killed. As the two men swept away, the ice and snow snakes were dying and running away. There are no more here. Let's go quickly. Those snake gallbladders have gone over there. Shen Ling said excitedly, seeing her sweating profusely in the ice and snow. Lin Shun smiled and said, It's okay. I guess she went back to the snake den. We'll get there in a while. While Lin Shun was talking, he took out a towel to wipe the sweat from Shen Ling's forehead. The two of them took a short rest and then chased in the direction where they hoped the ice snake would escape. What a big pit! Shen Ling said in shock. Lin Sheng touched his chin and looked at the traces of the ice and snow snakes around him. The white snow falling from the sky was not very large, so it could not cover the traces on the snow in this short period of time. It should be right here, Lin Sheng said. Then let's go on. If you don't go down, you'll end up in a snake's den. Lin Sheng took out his long bow and fired an arrow into the cave. Here comes a trick to scare the snake away from the grass. No. Hit the hole to scare the snake. After the arrow entered the cave, there were bursts of rustling sounds in the cave. It's really here, Shen Ling said in surprise. All right, sister, let's catch a turtle in a jar. You keep an eye on it. As soon as the ice snake comes out, you're welcome. Beat it hard, even to death. Chapter 62, The Whole Litter White Wolf Good, full of snake courage. After becoming stronger, Xiao Shang no longer needs to protect himself. And he can continue to protect Xiao Shang. Shen Ling was filled with this thought at the moment. As the ideas come up, the fighting spirit is also strong to the extreme. His. His. The harsh sound came out. And the ice and snow snakes were also extremely angry from the stimulation. What do you mean? Not only are they provoking the ice snakes outside the cave, but they are also planning to make a pot of them outside? It is intolerable, but a snake cannot tolerate it. A group of ice snakes rushed out of the hole in anger. The full snake head filled the hole the size of a watermelon. When Lin Sheng and Shen Ling saw this, the spears in their hands kept slashing. One time, two times, two times, three times. The snakes that were killed all just ran out of the cave. The corpses of ice and snow snakes were also scattered around the two people's feet. The ice and snow snakes under the cave didn't know whether it was because of the large number of deaths of their companions or because they were stunned by Lin Sheng's provocative anger. They kept emerging from the cave. An hour passed. Finally, no ice snakes came out of the cave. Lin Sheng fired an arrow and shot it down again. There was no movement at all. It's time to reap the spoils! After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he began to clean the battlefield. A total of harvest this time. Snow snake skin plus 288. Ice and snow snake gall plus 288. Ice and snow snake meat plus 288. With 288 points of snake gall. Each person can improve their attributes by 144 points. After this wave of distribution, Lin Sheng's attribute points increased to a total of 170. While Shen Ling's attribute points were 165. Both of them showed satisfied smiles. A breakthrough in attributes not only means an increase in strength, but also an increase in health making you no longer afraid of high damage sea monsters. Okay, let's go! After dealing with all the ice and snow snakes, Lin Sheng decided to continue on the road. There were only 48 hours on the island, and three hours had passed since arriving on the island. Two hours had been spent on the ice and snow snakes alone. Time. The two of them walked forward. However, as the two of them advanced a little bit on the island, they felt that the temperature was getting colder and colder. Um. What is going on with this island? The deeper you go into the island, the cooler the temperature of the island becomes. This. A sneeze. Shen Ling was so cold that she suddenly sneezed. Although there was no long crystal noodles hanging on her face. There was indeed a little runny nose on the tip of her nose. Seeing the uncomfortable look on Shen Ling's face, Lin Sheng hurriedly handed Shen Ling a tissue. Seeing Shen Ling shivering a little, 
Lin Shun thought for a while. Thinking of the ice and snow snake skin he had obtained earlier, and the leather armor manufacturing diagram that I have mastered could also make leather armor. Try replacing the shark skin originally used to make leather armor with ice and snow snake skin. Lin Shun did whatever he thought of. Started making leather armor directly. This time the ordinary leather was replaced with ice snake skin. Get ice snake skin plus one. The same leather armor without equipment level. But the difference is that the leather armor has an additional attribute. Ice and snow leather armor. Defense plus 10. Ice resistance plus 50. Can be worn inside? Lin Shun looked at the leather armor and tried it on himself first. In this cold weather. If it didn't work and asked Shen Ling to change clothes. Wouldn't it mean that she would suffer in vain? After Lin Shun put on the leather armor. He immediately felt the silky touch against his skin. After the slight coldness. Lin Shun felt that the low temperature brought him less discomfort. It feels like being on the ark now. Not too cold. Not too hot. Lin Shun decisively made another set of leather armor. Sister, take it and put it on. Since Shen Ling was about to catch a cold, Lin Shun did not make fun of him, but walked aside and turned his back to Shen Ling. Shen Ling didn't ask, but started changing clothes directly. After changing it, I felt warm and no longer cold at all. She put the fish scale armor on herself again. Then he came to Lin Sheng's side and said to Lin Sheng, Okay, Xiao Sheng, let's move on. After hearing Shen Ling's words, Lin Sheng also noticed that the little red face that had been frozen returned to normal. And then he nodded and said, Let's go! With the ice and snow leather armor included. Walking in the ice and snow was like walking in the outside world. And the speed of the two people's journey also became faster. After a while, we entered the middle of the island. But the problem before Lin Sheng was that there was a lake in front of him. And the water in the lake was strangely not frozen. As for the lake water, forget it. Lin Sheng just stretched out his hand and took it back. The fingers that had just touched the lake water were covered with frost. And there was a hint of cold air. Even if you are wearing leather armor made of ice and snow snakeskin. If you enter the lake, you will probably tremble with cold even if you are not frozen. And you will not be able to pass through the lake at all. Lin Sheng frowned and thought hard. If he didn't go to this lake, he wouldn't be able to reach the other side of the lake. And he wouldn't be able to explore the entire island. A small island's opportunity would be wasted in half. Suddenly Lin Sheng saw a big white wolf slowly approaching the lake. The big wolf raised his feet and touched the lake surface. It seemed like he was testing whether he could step on the lake and pass by. But this makes it difficult for him to get through. The white wolf took two steps back, opened his mouth and breathed towards the lake. The lake that could not freeze even if the weather was cold was slowly freezing at this time. As the range of the white wolf's breath becomes larger and larger. The frozen lake also becomes larger and larger. Lin Sheng's eyes lit up when he heard Shen Ling say, Can we find a white wolf to help? Lin Sheng turned back and glanced at Shen Ling, thinking about it himself. Of course. Look at me. Lin Sheng took out a pack of dog food from his backpack. Just throw it at the white wolf's head. Bump. The white wolf was hit on the head by Lin Sheng's bag of dog food. He stopped breathing the frozen lake and looked back at Lin Sheng. There was anger in his eyes. I didn't find fault with this human being. But in the end, this human being came to find fault with me. It's just too much bullying. Xiao Sheng, what are you doing? You angered the white wolf. Let's leave quickly. Shen Ling was about to pull Lin Sheng and run away. That's a big wolf that can freeze lake water. If it comes to attack you, Shen Ling said, she didn't want to become a popsicle yet. But Lin Sheng smiled and said, It's okay. The white wolf won't attack us. Following Lin Sheng's words, Bai Lang sniffed his nose and looked down. His eyes were attracted at this sight. The dog food just hit the white wolf on the head. And the packaging bag broke when it fell. The smell of dog food filled the air. Chapter 63 Taming Eyes collapsed. Bai Lang raised his head and glanced at Lin Sheng again. Then lowered his head. Although he was wary of Lin Sheng. He couldn't resist the temptation of dog food and just opened his mouth to eat. After eating the dog food, the ferocity in the white wolf's eyes disappeared and turned into a ha-ha-like expression. It ran towards Lin Sheng. Xiao Sheng, didn't you say you wouldn't hurt us? But it came right after eating the dog food. Shen Ling was still worried in her heart. How about we take a detour and save our lives first? Shen Ling had never seen the effects of dog food. So she was so worried. But when the white wolf came to Lin Sheng, he immediately calmed down. Ouch. He yelled twice and lay down next to Lin Sheng. Like a pet that had been tamed for a long time. Get a pet ice and snow white wolf. 
Shen Ling was stunned when she saw this scene. Tame! Tame? She said in disbelief. Lin Sheng frowned and said, I'm so good to this guy. Let's give it a try. Lin Sheng asked. When Shen Ling heard this, he thought, Well, it's furry. And it still feels good when it's not fierce. So Shen Ling tentatively stretched out her hand. Unexpectedly, the white wolf suddenly bared his teeth and looked like he was going to bite Shen Ling. This frightened Shen Ling, and she quickly stopped. Ouch. Humph. You, a humble human being, want to touch my head regardless of who I am as the wolf king? Just when Bai Lang was feeling proud, Lin Shun slapped him. Why are you so mean? Believe it or not, I will stew it for you later, Lin Shantong said. And the white wolf immediately shrank, looking aggrieved, with two drops of tears still hanging in his eyes. This time Shen Ling's heart was captured. Shen Ling reached out and stroked Bai Lang's head to express comfort. The white wolf raised his head and did not show a fierce look this time. Instead, he stuck out his tongue and licked Shen Ling's palm. It didn't want to be beaten by Lin Sheng again. And Bai Lang's behavior also made Shen Ling very happy. Not only were they unable to get along with each other just now, but now they are in such harmony. Even Lin Sheng was stunned. Bai Lang followed Shen Ling directly, completely ignoring his master. I, you are a wolf, not a dog. Lin Sheng felt disdainful of Bai Lang's behavior. Okay, Xiao Sheng, please stop bullying Xiao Bai, Shen Ling said. Lin Sheng, a wolf status surpasses mine? Xiao Bai, open the way. After hearing Shen Ling's words, Bai Lang immediately ran to the edge of the lake to breathe. The lake condensed little by little, and the ice formed a road. Xiao Bai opened the road in front, and Shen Ling followed. Xiao Sheng, come quickly. Seeing Lin Sheng in a daze, Shen Ling greeted him. Lin Sheng followed without hesitation. After crossing the lake, we reached the land on the opposite side. Lin Sheng Gang wanted to ask Xiao Bai to continue clearing the way. After all, Xiao Bai was a native creature on this island, and the terrain must be more familiar to him than himself. But after Xiao Bai crossed the lake, he seemed to be motionless. It just squatted like that. There was no response even when Shen Ling called it. Lin Sheng also noticed that Xiao Bai's mood was not right, and the whole wolf was trembling. Xiao Bai, are you leaving? Ouch. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Xiao Bai dug a hole in the ground and buried his head in the ground. Lin Sheng, come on, just wait here. Sister Ling, let's go, Lin Sheng said. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he took Shen Ling away. But Xiao Bai shouted as if to remind him something. Oh, Lin Sheng waved his hand and ignored Xiao Bai. Xiao Bai wanted to catch up but the fear in his heart made him afraid to move his legs. He could only stop and wait for Lin Sheng to come back. Of course it didn't leave. It just waited in place. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling continued to move forward without looking back at Xiao Bai. What are Xiao Bai afraid of? Shen Ling asked after thinking carefully. No matter what we are afraid of, we have no reason to retreat. This is already equivalent to a society where people cannibalize people. Sister Ling, we must all become stronger. The two continued to explore the island. There was a group of people riding a wooden boat on the sea. Everyone on the wooden boat was smiling. Zhou Yu, I didn't expect that before we joined the Jialong mercenary group. They were willing to give us supplies first. The only condition was to search for Master Sheng's whereabouts at sea. As long as we find Mr. Sheng, they don't care whether he is alive or dead. As long as we bring people there, they will give us more supplies. A young man with sinister eyebrows said with a smile. That is... If Su Dong follows the labor and management and catches Mr. Sheng, he will get the reward of the Jialong mercenary group. I will give you half of it. Zhou Yu patted Su Dong's shoulder proudly and smiled. Hey, brother Zhou, look over there. Su Dong suddenly discovered that there was a small island not far away in front of him. It's a small island. TSK. TSK. Last time I was lucky enough to grab an island discovered by others. And this time it's a good start. I can still see the island while looking for Mr. Sheng. Zhou Yu looked at Xiao Dao with fiery eyes. Brother Zhou, do you want to rob it? This is called taking. What's the point of grabbing? The supplies on those small islands are owned by no one. Of course, those who can get them can get them. They are not as strong as us. So of course they belong to us. Zhou Yu said confidently. Brother Zhou. Su Dong flattered him from the side. The wooden boat also quietly approached the island from the other end of the island so that Guzi and others on the ark in the opposite direction discovered it. However, the wooden boat is far from the island, and at the speed of the wooden boat, 
It may take until the next day to reach it. On the island, Lin Sheng and Shen Ling were still walking together. After walking through the snow everywhere, I finally saw the empty road ahead. Are we going to the other side of the island? Lin Sheng nodded, but his expression was full of disappointment. Could it be that there are just a bunch of ice and snow snakes on this island? However, Lin Sheng was quite satisfied with the gains from the sudden increase in strength, and thought in his mind, well, this is pretty good. Lin Sheng was just about to say something, but there was nothing at their feet. Lin Sheng blinked, and so did Shen Ling. Not good. The two looked at each other and exclaimed. But at this moment, it was too late. For a moment, both of their eyes went dark. They felt like they had lost their center of gravity, and their bodies suddenly sank and fell. Ah! Shen Ling's eye exclaimed. Bump! They both fell to the bottom of the cave. Lin Sheng touched the darkness, shook his head and shouted, Sister Ling, are you okay? Where are you? Lin Sheng wanted to look for Shen Ling, but found that he seemed to be surrounded by walls. After Shen Ling's dizzy head heard Lin Sheng's words, she was stunned for a moment and then woke up. Xiao Sheng, I'm fine, but it seems like there are walls around me. Shen Ling replied and told her situation. Due to the increase in attribute points, neither of them was injured. Lin Sheng was stunned. There were walls around him, but they were not in the same space. He should have fallen into a cave. Chapter 64 Two Ways Lin Sheng was thankful that he and Shen Ling had improved their strength before continuing to explore the island. Otherwise it would be really dangerous to fall. But soon Lin Sheng became worried about the situation of the two of them. Sister, look for any entrance through which we can advance. Lin Sheng shouted loudly. Since it's a crypt, there must be an entrance. It can't be said that the two of them are trapped here. Right? Okay, I'll look for it. After Shen Ling heard Lin Sheng's words, she responded immediately, while Shen Ling pressed her palms against the wall and groped around. Lin Sheng was also doing the same movements as Shen Ling, also groping for the wall. No, no or no. Lin Sheng thought anxiously as he groped around. Are you really going to trap people here to death now? Just when Lin Sheng was extremely anxious, their hands touched the same position in the two caves at the same time. This position was exactly where Lin Sheng and Shen Ling were facing each other. There was a boom, and suddenly a mysterious light illuminated the entire cave. The ice wall in front of Lin Sheng also showed Shen Ling's appearance. It turns out it's just a wall. After Shen Ling saw Lin Sheng's appearance, she was also pleasantly surprised. Xiao Sheng, I can see you. Well, sister, stay back and watch me break through this ice wall. Lin Sheng took out his spear. The ice wall was the only obstacle between the two of them. Naturally, he could see Shen Ling on the other side of the ice wall. Lin Sheng believed that the ice wall was not very thick. He should be able to break it and walk with Shen Ling again. Right? Lin Sheng watched Shen Ling retreat, pressing his back tightly against the wall to ensure that Shen Ling would not be accidentally injured. The spear in Lin Sheng's hand swung hard and hit the ice wall suddenly. Um, not to mention that this ice wall is really hard enough. And it was not broken even by such reckless knocks. No. Not even a single shard of ice was knocked off. Lin Sheng's own strength is 170. His own strength alone can burst out 340 points of damage. Adding the amplitude of the artifact spear, it can produce an attack power of more than 500 points. With a blow of over 500 attack power, many skinny sea beasts could not withstand even a few blows. Of course, the previous giant turtle was just an accident. Lin Sheng looked at the ice wall without any scars and said with disbelief. This ice wall is quite hard. It can't be broken in one blow. So I'll hit it a few more times. As Lin Sheng finished speaking, he launched a fierce attack as expected. Dang, dang, dang. The spear struck the ice wall, making bursts of sound, and ice shards flew everywhere on the ice wall. Lin Sheng thought something was going to happen. So he hit the ice wall harder and harder. The speed is also getting faster and faster. No, there are more and more cracks on the ice wall. Come on. Come on! With a few more strokes, you should be able to crack the ice wall. Right? This was what Lin Sheng was thinking. But within a few moments, Lin Sheng plunged his spear directly into the ground in despair. The ice wall that looked like it was about to crack suddenly healed. The dents that were knocked out before were immediately filled up. Lin Sheng looked at the ice wall and cursed. This ice wall can actually recover on its own. Could it be that he has become a spirit? Just when Lin Sheng was thinking this, Shen Ling said, Xiao Sheng. Let's forget about the horror. Shen Ling had also seen before that when Lin Sheng attacked the ice wall with all his strength, 
The spear almost bounced back to him. But in response to Shen Ling's words, Lin Sheng just said, If you don't give it a try, how can you give up so easily? Lin Sheng is also very stubborn in his ideas about doing things. Xiao Sheng, please be careful and don't hurt yourself. After Shen Ling reminded him, he immediately stepped aside and silently watched Lin Sheng Ye fight against the ice wall. Of course, Lin Sheng failed in the end. Every time he felt that he was almost done, the cracked ice wall would come back. After several attempts, Lin Biology said helplessly, It seems that I really have no way to deal with this ice wall today. Seeing Lin Sheng's giving up, Shen Ling breathed a sigh of relief and at the same time felt sorry for Lin Sheng. Through the transparent ice wall, Shen Ling could clearly see the swaying man holding a spear in one hand and breathing heavily. Okay, Xiao Sheng, isn't there an entrance over there? There's no need to knock on the ice wall to see. We'd better go through the passage. Maybe we'll meet again. Shen Ling's words are not unreasonable. The two looked at the entrance and both noticed that the light seemed to come from deep inside the cave. Perhaps, as Shen Ling said, the end of the cave is where the two of them met. Sister, let's go. But remember to be careful and run away when you encounter danger that you can't defeat. Don't worry. I'll go back to the end of the cave entrance and find a way to you. Shen Ling said, Okay. Following Shen Ling's words, both people entered the entrance one after another. After entering the entrance, the two completely lost contact. Sister? No one responded to Lin Sheng's call. Another entrance. Xiao Sheng. Can you still hear me? There was also no response to Shen Ling's shout. As if after entering the cave entrance, the two of them entered a small world. Well, now you're on your own. Shen Ling thought silently, but she was not a weak woman who had to be protected by someone. Shen Ling held the martial spear in his hand and carried the long bow on his back. Xiao Sheng, I hope you are safe. After Shen Ling muttered something, he headed towards the entrance fully armed. As for Lin Sheng, Lin Sheng was worried for Shen Ling. Sister Ling, wait for me. Don't let anything happen. After thinking about it, Lin Sheng also ran towards the depths of the entrance. The two of them headed towards their own paths. Everything is fine with Shen Ling, and she has not encountered any danger. It seems that the path she is walking on has some powerful and mysterious power that keeps all dangers at bay. But things didn't go so smoothly for Lin Sheng. Not long after Lin Sheng advanced, the path forward was blocked by a lizard. Unlike ordinary lizards, the lizard standing in front of Lin Sheng was completely transparent and almost blended into the passage. If it weren't for the fact that it was larger than a human, Lin Sheng might not even be able to see it. The lizard was swallowing the snake-like words and stared directly at Lin Sheng. Ice Lizard. Life, 500. Attack Power, 20. Skills, Stealth. Sneak Attack. Freezing. Such a big guy only has 20 points of attack power. And it's so squishy that you can kill it instantly. This is just ridiculous. Lin Sheng smiled slightly. He would not tolerate this lizard if it dared to block his way. Then prepare to be his own spear dead soul. Just as Lin Sheng raised his spear, the ice lizard turned transparent and then disappeared. Lin Shun was a little wary at first. This ice lizard had sneak attack skills. Chapter 65 Ice and Snow Lizard King Shen Ling hatches eggs. The result was good. The ice lizard with 500 HP ran away directly. Lin Shun had been vigilant for a long time in vain. But Mao didn't even wait. TCH It turns out he's just a coward and made me nervous for nothing. Lin Shun complained and continued running towards the depths of the entrance. There was no danger on the road. But Lin Sheng saw that the bright light was right in front of him. And he only had to run for a minute to reach the finish line. Just when he was about to speed up and run over. The sick lizard that disappeared earlier appeared in front of him. Blocking his way. And it showed a hostile attitude toward Lin Sheng. It did not run away this time. But felt like it was going to fight Lin Sheng to the death. Hey! Why don't you run away? Are you planning to die this time? After Lin Sheng finished speaking. He stabbed the ice lizard with the spear in his hand. He must have to go through the road himself. After all, he still has to find Shen Ling. It's just that Lin Sheng's movements froze midway. Lin Sheng was wondering what happened when he suddenly saw the air in front of him shaking. Eh? It wasn't the air that was shaking, but a lizard's tongue that had wrapped around its own spear, preventing it from moving in. And there was a huge pulling force, as if trying to pull the spear out of his hand. Lin Sheng couldn't bear it anymore. Not letting him go, he insisted on blocking his own way, and in the end, he had to snatch his artifact spear. Lin Sheng's spear was picked up in his hand and turned into a ray of moonlight. 
The next moment, the giant lizard's tongue was cut off by Lin Sheng. Roar. A deafening roar of pain came from the end. The next moment, a lizard that was two times larger than the lizards Lin Sheng had seen before crawled out. Its eyes were full of anger. Ice Lizard King. Attack power, 100. Life, 10,000. Skills, entangle. Sneak attack. Invisibility. Freezing. Bite. Is entanglement the same move you used to take away your weapon? But my tongue was cut off by myself. So I can't wrap it around now. But when Lin Sheng saw the ice and snow lizard king, he was so angry that he didn't even use stealth to attack him, but ran towards him and opened his mouth to bite him. I felt very guilty. This lizard king was three meters tall just lying down. It is also ten meters long. Although it is big enough, its moving speed is not slow at all. Lin Sheng jumped up in a hurry to avoid the lizard king's attack. The lizard king, who was too fast, stopped after rushing over, twisted his body, and looked back at Lin Sheng in the cave. You are setting yourself up to hold a grudge! Lin Sheng thought in his mind. Seeing that the lizard was about to charge again, Lin Sheng hurriedly avoided the attack of the lizard king. But this time Lin Sheng saw the opportunity and struck down the lizard king with a spear. This lizard king was cruel enough and cut off his own tail. The lizard king, who was injured by Lin Sheng again, could no longer hold back his anger and roared. But as the lizard king's tail was broken off, his speed slowed down a lot. When Lin Sheng saw the opportunity, he fired arrows one after another. The arrows landed on the Lizard King's head, and one of them happened to be stuck in its eye. This caused the Lizard King to lose one of his eyes. Dash 1232. Dash 1232. Dash 1232. A series of injuries appeared on the Lizard King's forehead, triggering critical hits one after another. 3840-10,000. After this round of attacks, the Lizard King's health suddenly dropped by more than half. The Lizard King stared at Lin Sheng resentfully but no one made a move first. At this time, the little lizard actually flashed in front of the lizard king. The lizard king opened his mouth and swallowed the little lizard. His! Eat all the same kind! This lizard is indeed a cold-blooded animal! Lin Sheng took a breath of cold air. But at this moment, a sudden change occurred, and the lizard king's tail and tongue that had been chopped off grew back again. Moreover, his blood volume suddenly recovered by 2,000 points. 7082-10,000 all this happened so fast that Lin Sheng didn't even react. After recovering, the Lizard King instantly became invisible. Lin Sheng suddenly felt a violent impact on his abdomen, and his whole body flew out. A tingling sensation spread throughout Lin Sheng's body. But fortunately, due to the extremely high defense of the fish scale armor, almost all damage was avoided. Dash 1. There was only a little blood floating on the top of Lin Sheng's head. Lin Sheng, who was still flying upside down in the air, was suddenly caught by a tongue and pulled violently. Only then did the ice and snow lizard king appear, and with his mouth wide open, he almost bit Lin Sheng into pieces. Click! Lin Sheng was pulled by the ice and snow lizard king to his mouth and bit down decisively. But the feeling of food that the lizard king imagined did not come to him. Instead, his teeth were broken and painful. The ice lizard king opened his mouth, and most of his fangs fell out. And Lin Sheng also fell out of the lizard king's mouth, Lin Sheng pushed hard with both hands, stood up from the ground, shook his head, which was still dizzy, and raised the long bow in his hand. The Lizard King also felt fear for the first time. It can't hurt Lin Sheng, but Lin Sheng can hurt it. The Lizard King wanted to run away, but Lin Sheng's arrows had begun to output like crazy. First it cut off the Lizard King's tail, and then hit the Lizard King one after another. Dash 1232. Continuous drops of blood appeared on the head of the Lizard King. In the end, Lin Sheng killed the Lizard King on the spot. Obtain Lizard King Essence. Get the blood of the Lizard King. Get Lizard King Heart. After killing the Ice Lizard King, three items exploded. These three items together are the ingredients for making a physical potion. After taking it once last time, Lin Sheng was very interested in the Constitution Potion. But the materials were hard to come by. But this time I actually got it. Lin Sheng created it without thinking. Get primary constitution potion plus one. After Lin Sheng hesitated for a long time, he finally gave up on the idea of using it. Leave this potion to Xinling. Both of them need to improve their strength. As for himself, he will have a chance in the future. Lin Sheng looked at the end of the passage in front of him and stepped in, in the passage on Xinling's side. Xinling, who encountered no danger along the way, was caught by a big bird covered in ice at the last moment. 
after Shen Ling was caught. Big Bird did not harm Shen Ling, but placed Shen Ling in the bird's nest. Shen Ling, I can't hatch eggs. But seeing the Big Bird staring at her, Shen Ling finally gave in. When the Big Bird saw Shen Ling hatching the eggs in a proper manner, he waited motionless. The illusory figure of the Big Bird gradually became blurred. Chapter 66 Alchemist's Experience and Treasure Map Shen Ling wanted to escape, but only Big Bird was very powerful. And Shen Ling felt that she couldn't escape at all. In the passage, Lin Sheng stopped just as he took a step forward. There was only a skeleton that had been dead for a long time. Lin Sheng looked at the withered bones, and his inherent vigilance made him cautious. After hitting the withered bones with a spear in his hand and confirming that there was nothing wrong with the withered bones, Lin Sheng stepped forward and came to the withered bones. Lin Sheng observed carefully. A black robe was wrapped around the withered body. Lin Sheng looked at the bulge in his black robe and reached out to dig it out. You have passed through the pile of dead people in your previous life. So what else do you have to be afraid of? Lin Sheng grabbed the black robe and pulled it. And the whole black robe fell into Lin Sheng's hands. Lin Sheng took out another bag from the pocket of his black robe. The bag looks very simple and has a sense of age. The simple patterns on the bag were fascinating. But Lin Sheng quickly opened the bag. Get the Atlanta treasure map. Get the experience of the alchemist. Lin Sheng opened this bag and got a total of two items. Atlan treasure map. You can find ruins, which contain huge treasures and Poseidon's scepter. The alchemist's experience. The notes left by the once powerful alchemist before his death. Survivors can learn how to make second level potions through this experience. Lin Sheng started studying. Okay, without even thinking about it. As for the treasure map, you still need to leave the island before you can take further action. But that's Poseidon's scepter. Isn't it the legendary trident? Regarding the idea of the trident, Lin Sheng was still very curious about its function. After putting away the treasure map, Lin Sheng walked in a different direction than when he came. That should be the passage where Shen Ling is. Lin Sheng couldn't wait to run towards the other end of the passage when he thought of this. Sister Ling, are you there? Lin Sheng shouted as he ran. After running forward for who knows how long, Lin Sheng shouts finally received a response. Xiao Sheng, I'm here. After Shen Ling heard Lin Sheng's cry, she immediately responded excitedly. She just wanted to leave to find Lin Sheng. But she was glared at by the big transparent blue bird in front of her. And she continued to lie on the egg next to her. When Lin Sheng arrived in front of him, he was stunned. Sister, what are you doing? The big transparent blue bird did not attack Lin Sheng, but stared closely at Shen Ling. Xiao Sheng, please help sister. I don't want to hatch the eggs. Shen Ling said to Lin Sheng agreeably. Ta ha ha. Hatch the eggs. Sister, when will you hatch eggs? Lin Sheng smiled unkindly. The big bird in front of them slowly dissipated and turned into another wave of energy that poured into the egg under Shen Ling. Hey! The big bird disappeared. Shen Ling said in surprise. Then can I be freed? Just when Shen Ling was about to leave, Lin Sheng said. Don't move! The egg is about to be born. The appearance of the big bird just now was too blurry. And Lin Sheng couldn't see clearly what it was for a while. But now that I think about it, this egg is probably the descendant of that big bird. And when the big bird disappears, it's obvious that the egg is about to hatch. This can be regarded as Shen Ling's opportunity. She has persisted for such a long time. No matter what, she cannot give up at this time and lose the opportunity. But this is too shameful. Xiao Sheng, please turn around and don't look at me. Shen Ling also suddenly understood. But in front of Lin Sheng, lying on the eggs and hatching them like this was really embarrassing. Lin Sheng saw Shen Ling's embarrassment and withdrew his gaze and stayed aside. He did not continue to look at Shen Ling. Shen Ling breathed a sigh of relief. But when will this strange egg under her body come out? Just when Shen Ling felt helpless, the strange egg suddenly started shaking. Well, I'm going to fall, Shen Ling exclaimed. The egg was naturally round, and she was very reluctant to lie on it. But now it was shaking, making her feel very unstable. Sister, come down quickly. This little guy is coming out. Lin Sheng shouted hurriedly after seeing Shen Ling's scene. Okay. Shen Ling replied and got off the egg. Click. Click. As soon as Shen Ling came down, the strange egg began to crack. This made Shen Ling cover her mouth in shock. Collapse. A small head popped out of the egg. L. With a pointed snow-colored mouth and a bare body. The little head shook, as if observing the outside world. And his eyes were full of curiosity about the unknown world. So ugly. Shen Ling couldn't help but said when she saw that the thing she hatched from an egg was naked and ugly. 
Lin Shun also stepped forward. But he did not speak. But looked at the naked bird. The next moment, I saw the little bird biting its own egg shell, swallowing the eggs, ls one by one. As the eggs, ls were eaten, the bird's feathers continued to grow, and its body grew in size little by little. It wasn't until all the eggs, ls were eaten that its true appearance was completely exposed. This is a little bird that is always covered in ice blue. There is a phoenix crown on the head and three slender tail feathers hanging from the tail. The long, blade-like wings spread out and flew toward Shenling. Shen Ling only felt that the temperature around him had dropped a lot again. Mother! A childish voice suddenly came from the blue phoenix's mouth. Yes, this little bird is also a phoenix. Shen Ling was shocked by this cry. What did you call me? Mother! Shen Ling blinked, looked at the little phoenix and said, I'll call you sister from now on. Okay, sister. After hearing what the little phoenix said, Shen Ling I hugged the little phoenix, and the little phoenix nestled affectionately in Shen Ling's arms. This little phoenix regarded Shen Ling as its mother. After Lin Sheng saw this scene, he suddenly became depressed. Why are they both phoenix, and why is there such a big gap? Well, hen's just a blood. That won't work. You need to give the hen a good whip when you go back, so that the hen can seize the time to become stronger, so that it can even learn to speak. Lin Sheng thought silently in his heart. Lin Sheng saw that there was nothing left to explore on the island. So Lin Sheng took Shen Ling back to the way he came. The hen far above the ark trembled. Kick kick. It's not that hateful human beings who are thinking about themselves. Right. After the hen drank a mouthful of spiritual spring water, she clucked twice and uttered human words. On the island. Brother Joe, this island is so weird. Why is it so cold? It's such a bright sun outside. But it's so cold inside. Su Dong asked Zhou Yu. Go away. How did I know? If I had known this was so strange, I wouldn't have come here. Take the time to go and see if there is anything good. If not, leave quickly. As soon as Zhou Yu finished speaking, more than ten people following Zhou Yu bumped into Lin Sheng, who had just come out of the cave. Brother Zhou, that's Mr. Sheng, Su Dong said excitedly. Chapter 67 Zhou Yu Bounty Quiet! Zhou Yu scolded the excited Su Dong. Oh! Su Dong could only calm down. Do you guys come to see me for something? Lin Sheng smiled, and looked at the survivors in front of him. As for what he came for? If he had to come to die, Lin Sheng would not be polite to these people. Ha ha! My life is so leisurely! In this desolate world, I am really lucky to have beautiful women by my side even when I'm exploring the island! Zhou Yu said angrily. At the same time, he was making gestures with his hands to indicate to his men to be ready to deal with Lin Sheng. That's necessary. Otherwise, I wouldn't be what you call your father-in-law. Right. Let me guess whether you came to me to exchange supplies with me. Lin Sheng raised his eyebrows and said with a smile, Change! Ha ha! I'm afraid you don't know. Sir, you are wanted all over the world now. I really admire your courage. You even dare to provoke the Jialo mercenary group. Now they have made huge conditions. As long as someone takes your body, you can not only join them, but also be sacrificed by them. Zhou Yu said with disdain. As soon as Zhou Yu finished speaking, Lin Sheng's eyes flashed with sternness. Has this been targeted? I am also planning to wait until I am strong enough to fight against the Jialong mercenary group. It turned out to be a good thing. As the other party blatantly wanted me, we have all been targeted in this way. If we don't fight back, wouldn't it make people all over the world laugh out loud? Honestly, give me all the supplies you have. As long as you hand over the supplies, we can make your death more pleasant. The younger brothers around Zhou, you took action to surround Lin Sheng in the crowd. He looked very confident, looking at Zhou Yu's proud expression. Lin Sheng said with a smile, Why do you think the Jialong mercenary group wants me? Lin Sheng took another look at the survivors holding weapons and said calmly, Of course, why do you care so much? They are willing to arrest you, so we can take advantage of it. Ha ha. Ignorant. That's because their people died in my hands. Do you think you people can be better than the people of the Jialong mercenary group? Lin Sheng said with a smile. But Zhou Yu was stunned. He stared at Lin Sheng. But my heart became nervous. Yes, since the Jialong mercenary group can pay such a high price, they must have some leftovers. And if their people really died in Lin Sheng's hands, how could these ragtag group of people defeat Lin Sheng? But the principle that birds die for food and people die for wealth clearly reflects the current situation. Besides, now that Lin Sheng is in front of him, there is no reason to retreat. 
Zhou Yu prayed in his heart that his people could drag Lin Sheng to death. This is not a loss. Zhou Yu gritted his teeth and said. Do it! Lin Sheng immediately took out the spear. And Shen Ling also hurriedly took out the spear side by side with Lin Sheng. Ready to fight side by side. Mom! Leave it to me! When these survivors were about to take action, the eyes phoenix on Shen Ling's head spoke. Ah? Leave it to you? Lin Sheng and Shen Ling spoke simultaneously. At the same time, his eyes fell on Ice Phoenix. At this moment, I saw the Ice Phoenix flying up, its body suddenly getting bigger, and the next moment, it opened its mouth to spit out ice breath at the survivors, who were about to pounce. A white breath blew through, and these survivors were frozen one after another. Their postures were extremely awkward. Their eyes turned rapidly among the ice sculptures, and their eyes were full of fear. But he really couldn't move even half a minute. Is this the end? I haven't even started yet. Lin Sheng said in surprise, thinking back to the phoenix blood hen on his arc. It's time to hit. Lin Sheng and others ignored the ice sculptures that Zhou Yu and others transformed into and directly bypassed them and walked towards the arc. Zhou Yu and others were so wrong that they had no choice but to leave now. Until Lin Sheng and others returned to the arc. Zhou Yu and others were not free from the ice sculptures. Of course, what happened to these people was that they disappeared with the island. And no one knew where they went to get them. Lin Sheng returned to the Ark and saw the hen, and immediately jumped over to it. Where is the bloodline you promised, and the bloodline of the phoenix? You bastard! You can't even speak! Let's roast chicken next time! Lin Sheng said. Damn it! Master! You've gone too far! As soon as the hen heard that Lin Sheng wanted to roast chicken, she immediately spoke uncomfortably. Lin Sheng, were you forced to make a sound by me? What about your transformation? If you don't transform into a phoenix for me, I'll still roast you. Master, you are making things difficult for me. I have blood, not a phoenix. The hen was still trying her best to explain. But the ice phoenix flew over. When Lin Sheng saw Bing Feng coming to see the hen, he thought that if the hen could spend more time with Bing Feng, maybe he could really turn into a phoenix. So he stopped staying here. Instead, open the Lin Shiji channel. Mr. Sheng. Well, if you kill one of the people who killed the Jialong mercenary group, I will give you a hundred kilograms of rice. Of course, the higher your status in the Jialong mercenary group, the reward will be doubled. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, the world chat channel suddenly became quiet. After a while, the quiet world chat channel started to boil. Master Sheng is going to get involved with the Jialong mercenary group? Damn it! Is one hundred pounds of rice really a fake? There were different opinions for a while. And some people were already making preparations. Some people can only watch helplessly. They are too weak to deal with the Jialong mercenary group. Inside the headquarters of the Jialong mercenary group. Captain. Deputy Commander. What's wrong? That gentleman is offering a reward for our people on the World Channel. A member of the regiment hurriedly ran over to report to Xiao Shijun and Xiao Shirwei. What? How dare that kid be so bold? Xiao Shirwei stared with wide eyes. Why are you excited? Do you think someone would dare to attack us? Xiao Shijun said calmly. Captain, it's not good. The peripheral personnel we recruited before are constantly decreasing. At this time, another younger brother said. Xiao Shijun, do you want the slap in the face to come so quickly? I dare say that no one dared to do it. But now, he was suddenly up to his waist. Brother, just let me take people to find Lin Sheng and kill him directly. Xiao Shirwei said, having long wanted to take action. You are not allowed to go anywhere without my order. Just stay with me. We have other things to do. But Lin Sheng is a bit interesting. So let's go. Xiao Wu. To increase the reward for Mr. Sheng. This time, not only can we act in small groups, but also in multiple groups. As long as we kill people. When Xiao Shijun's order came, his men immediately left to do their work. Chapter 68 The Baggage of Time The Brewing Vessel After sending the message, Lin Sheng quickly ignored the manual in his hand. It's rather embarrassing. Just after issuing the wanted order, someone can't immediately kill a member of the Jialong mercenary group and come to ask for the reward. Right? It was already evening when Lin Sheng returned to the Ark. Looking at the people on the Ark, Lin Sheng said to everyone, Let's all go and have a rest. Old Jack will start the Ark and leave. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, the crew members, who had watched Lin Sheng remain motionless since his return, and did not dare to come forward to disturb Lin Sheng left one after another. Guzi and Kong Kongi, two representatives of the Savage and Mermaid respectively, 
stepped forward and said to Lin Sheng, Master! Lin Sheng nodded. If nothing happens on the Ark, you all should leave too. Lin Sheng sat down silently and sorted out his thoughts. After Guzi and Kong Kong Yi looked at each other, Guzi stepped forward and handed a sheepskin picture to Lin Sheng. Master, this is the drawing we picked up when you were exploring the island today. Guzi said. Um. Lin Sheng raised his eyebrows and then picked up the manufacturing diagram. Get Brewer Blueprint Plus One. Lin Sheng's slightly narrowed eyes suddenly widened. First, the food crisis was solved. And then a brewer for leisure drinks was obtained. Lin Sheng felt that there was hope for a comfortable life in the future. But now looking at the sky getting dark. Lin Sheng thought it was better to rest first. The next day, Lin Sheng climbed out of bed. The sign and reminder sounded in my head. The baggage of sign and time. This is day 8 of the journey of survival. Lin Sheng looked at the baggage of time in his hands and thought of yesterday's brewing vessel. Wine is brewed from grain. And grain needs to be fermented to make wine. And the fermentation time can be very slow and long. With time baggage, this fermentation time can be greatly shortened. Just as Lin Sheng was thinking about it, he immediately walked out of the wooden house, came to the deck. Lin Sheng studied the drawings of the brewing vessel obtained yesterday. You learned brewer making. Brewer. Glass 20. Iron piece 20. Plank 20. Can make various drinks. Making brewing vessels. Get brewer plus one. Lin Sheng placed the brewing vessel on the deck of the ark and chose to make liquor. Liquor. One pound of fermented rice. Lin Sheng greeted. Pai Pai. Give me one kilogram or less of ten kilograms of rice. Pai Pai. Who was busy? Nodded and immediately went to get rice for Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng placed the rice in a large wooden basin. And after processing it for a while, covered it with the baggage of time. Accelerated by the burden of time. The rice in the wooden basin fermented rapidly. When Lin Sheng unpacked the baggage of time again, the fermentation of rice had been completed. The fermented rice was poured into the brewing vessel by Lin Sheng. Then Lin Sheng lit the fire for the brewing vessel. The wooden board was consumed quickly. And the pure wine flowed into the storage vessel of the brewer little by little. Lin Sheng brought a cup and poured it on the kiln. Sniffing the tip of his nose. And the fragrant smell of liquor hit his nostrils. Guzi also smelled the smell and immediately came forward and asked. Master, what is this? Lin Sheng took a sip of white wine. Which tasted delicious. After a while, Lin Sheng felt like his whole body was burning. Cool? Lin Sheng sighed with emotion. A satisfied expression on his face. I haven't had a drink in a long time. Of course, Lin Sheng still felt a little helpless. The alcohol content was too high, and it was not suitable to drink too much. It's just that the beer itself doesn't have enough material. Tick tock. Tick tock. A strange sound reached Lin Sheng's ears. Is it leaking? Lin Sheng turned around in confusion. Lin Sheng still believed in the quality of the ark. But I just don't know where the sound of water comes from. Upon seeing this, Lin Sheng was immediately stunned. Guzi and some male savages were surrounding him, looking at him eagerly. They did not dare to step forward without Lin Sheng's permission, and could only let tears flow from the corners of their mouths. Lin Sheng said, Put away your saliva. If it continues, the ark will become a sea. If you want to drink, pour it yourself. Lin Sheng's words fell. All the savages stopped their saliva. And Guzi chuckled. Master, I'm not welcome. After Guzi said this, he drank a glass of white wine first. The burning sensation in the mouth makes the dog want to vomit. But the white wine he had never drunk before made the dog reluctantly vomit it out. Thinking about Lin Sheng's comfortable look just now, Guzi swallowed it hard. The next moment, its face turned red. Ha ha! After panting hard, Guzi felt a happy and divine feeling. Drink it well, Guzi said with a red face. I want it too. Leader. All the savages spoke one after another. Guzi quickly made arrangements for the savages. Lin Sheng took the cup and stepped aside, looking at the cup in his hand with some helplessness. Hops. Where are you? Shi Ling came over at this time, looked at the liquor in Lin Sheng's hand, and frowned. Why do you have liquor? There. I brewed it myself. Lin Sheng's answer shocked Shen Ling. How could his younger brother even drink? Then drink less. Shen Ling could only remind him that drinking too much wine was not good. But since there was such a recreational item, he had to let Lin Sheng drink. Hmm. Do you want it? Lin Sheng asked. No. The white wine is too spicy. I don't like it. Lin Sheng thought for a while and then said, I want to see if there is any way to get the ingredients for beer. If so, 
Let's go back to the barbecue and drink beer. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he opened the chat interface. Before Lin Sheng could go to the world channel to look for hops, he saw the private message. Sir, we have 1920 crystals to trade for food. This is the message Bajun sent to him. Lin Sheng was slightly shocked when he saw the news. This action was fast enough. What Lin Sheng didn't know was that yesterday's transaction made Bajun and the others go crazy. For food. A team of 40,000 people were frantically searching for sea beasts to hunt and obtain crystals at sea. Come over here. I'll give you 20,000 kilograms of food. The transaction was completed quickly. And Lin Sheng received 1,920 crystals and sent 20,000 kilograms of rice to Bajun. All these crystals were then made into medicines and distributed. With this distribution, everyone on the Ark used potions to increase their strength. I would like to ask you, Sir, what do you need these crystals for? Lin Sheng fell silent after looking at Bajun's answer. Should I tell the other person? Forget it. You will know it in the future anyway. So Lin Sheng said, Basic potions are used to improve strength. You should notice that everyone has attribute points. Adding a little of the corresponding potion will increase the strength. After Lin Sheng said these words, Pajun was stunned. Chapter 69 Barbecue Wine Thief Pajun thought Lin Sheng collected these things just as a hobby. Now that he knew the use, he regretted it all at once. Is it a big loss to exchange 2 kilograms of food for an item that can improve his strength? But at this time, Lin Sheng said, Don't think too much. This kind of medicine has manufacturing requirements. If you don't have the blueprint, don't even think about manufacturing it. And hundreds of millions of people may not be able to obtain this potion blueprint. Looking at Lin Sheng's words, although it was true, but Jun felt that Lin Sheng was arrogant. But Jun, then can we exchange this potion with you? Lin Sheng thought for a while and said, Of course, but I need to be paid. In this way, if you give me one crystal for one potion, it means two crystals for one potion. Lin Sheng silently opened the secondary potion manufacturing diagram. Second level strength potion. Level 1 strength potion asterisk 10. Spirit water asterisk 1. If you want to use the second level medicine from now on, you will need a lot of crystallization. Only Lin Sheng would make such a decision. After being silent for a long time, Pajun said, Okay sir, it's a pleasure to work with you and I look forward to our next cooperation. By the way, I'll give this to you. It's useless for us to have enough food and clothing. Get hop seeds plus 100. What the HL? Lin Sheng was immediately pleasantly surprised. He was still thinking about looking for hops. But he got the seeds. The dog sows the seeds. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he saw a group of savages lying on the ground. Guzi blushed and laughed. Hiccup! Master! What are you talking about? Master! What are you doing wandering around? Pa! Lin Sheng covered his face. I drank it all. Then who can I plant hops for? Guzi! You are a stumbling block on my way to drinking beer. Well, master, our men are all drunk. If you have any physical needs, you can tell me. A female savage walked up to Lin Sheng and said, Okay, then I'll leave it to you. You can lead people to plant these hops. Lin Sheng said. The savage woman left with 10,000 hop seeds that had been boosted by Lin Sheng and went to plant hops. Lin Sheng looked helpless at Guzi and others. So he walked over to put away the remaining liquor. Don't let the dog and others drink anymore. Look at this drinker who can't do anything well. Lin Sheng stepped forward to put away the liquor. And Shen Ling also walked over with a smile and said, Let me help you. Lin Sheng smiled and said, Okay. The two of them worked together to collect the remaining half a kilogram of liquor. Use 100 times amplitude. Get 50 pounds of liquor. Lin Sheng looked at the collected liquor with satisfaction before walking towards the planting area. When he came to the planting area, Lin Sheng saw the female savage who was sowing seeds. The seeds haven't been planted yet. So Lin Sheng can only wait. Certain steps are needed to speed up the hops maturity. As long as you wait for the hops to come out, you can brew beer. All that's left is the meat on the skewers. Lin Sheng looked around and saw that yesterday's little piglet had grown up a lot. But it was still a long time before it was ready to eat. He went straight up and put the burden of time on a little piglet. The burden of time kept rising. And it was only when Lin Sheng finally couldn't wrap up the little piggy that he put away the burden of time. And the little piglet that was originally half a year old also turned into a fat man weighing more than 200 kilograms. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling were almost drooling when they saw the scene. Xiao Sheng, you pig, you grow up so fast. Gudong, 
Shen Ling said with stars in her eyes. Hey! No, wait! Lin Shun looked at the little pig and stepped forward with a spear. The little piggy, who had just been born and had not yet felt the dangers of this world, became a dead soul under the spears in the forest. Lin Shun began to work for a while, breaking down the pork and getting a bunch of seasonings. Doing pickling work? Less salt. It's too salty and doesn't taste good. Shen Ling emphasized from the side. Don't worry. There will be beer later. It won't be too salty. Lin Shun said while adding salt. After stirring, kneading, and turning, Lin Sheng placed the large basin of diced meat in front of Shen Ling. Sister, I'll leave the skewers to you. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he went to Mermaid Lake to find a mermaid to help Shen Ling. As for himself, he came to the hops planted by savages in the planting area. Even here in Ark, with the acceleration of spiritual spring water, it takes at least three days for hops to mature. But Lin Sheng, who already had the burden of time, could not bear to wait for such a long time. So it was just a baggage. The seeds under the soil in the baggage quickly sprouted and grew into mature plants, which produced hops. When Lin Shun unpacked the baggage of time, what he saw were bunches of hop buds, like bunches of wheat. Repeat the same steps. Picking hops one by one, Lin Shun brought the hops to the brewer and added wheat, hops, and spiritual spring water. The brewer starts working. The beer slowly flows out of the spout. After Shen Ling skewered the meat skewers, she came to Lin Sheng. Xiao Sheng, the meat skewers are ready. Well, you go back and put the beer in the bucket, and I'll go barbecue and eat the kebabs later. Lin Sheng walked towards the meat skewers, picked up the big bucket containing the meat skewers, and walked towards the place where the grill was originally placed, lighting the flames of the grill. Lin Sheng began to grill the meat. The meat skewers were slowly grilled on the flames, and the oil and water in the meat came out of the meat. The sound of oil explosion came. Lin Sheng brushed a layer of oil on the meat skewers again, continuously turned the meat skewers to cook them evenly. As time passed, the surface of the meat skewers became brown, and the aroma of barbecue permeated every corner of the ark. Boss, why is there barbecue? Pai Pai, who had never come out of the captain's room, was also attracted to come out. Come and help if you have nothing to do. Why are you still sitting in the captain's cabin when old Jack is sailing the boat? Lin Sheng scolded Pai Pai and asked Pai Pai to come over and help. The drunken Guzi and the savages suddenly got up from the ground and staggered over after smelling the smell. After everything was ready, Lin Sheng placed the barbecue on the table. Suddenly, Shen Ling's urgent cry was heard. Chao Sheng, come here quickly. The liquor seems to have been stolen. Huh? Lin Sheng was confused. In the vast sea, there are so many people on the ark. Why are thieves coming on the ark? Lin Sheng ran towards the direction where Shen Ling's voice came from. When he came to Shen Ling, Lin Sheng looked at the position pointed by Shen Ling. He and Shen Ling originally put the liquor together, and it was clear how much it contained. Now when I looked at it again, I saw that there was only 60 kilograms left, which was almost half of the original amount. As for the people on the Ark, they committed suicide? Lin Sheng didn't believe that the slave contract would fail. So the question becomes, where did the guy steal it? Chapter 70 the Drunken and Mysterious Businessman The Roll of Gold Coins Xiaosheng, are there thieves on our ark? After thinking about it, Shen Ling just came up with this result and asked with some uncertainty. When I asked this question, my mood suddenly became tense. This thief was not discovered by Guzi and others on the Arkansas. If he was hiding in a corner on the ark, he would conduct a sneak attack at night. Shen Ling didn't dare to think about the consequences. Absolutely impossible. Well, it seems possible. Guzi and the others just got drunk. Lin Sheng just wanted to say that it was impossible for Guzi and the others to be there. But when he thought of the scene of Guzi and the savages lying there sleeping soundly, he suddenly felt helpless. Pressure down what you want to say. Forget it. Let's gather everyone in the entire Ark to search together. This person who stole the wine must be found first. Lin Sheng said. Then he went to find all the people on the Ark and said to them, now everyone is looking for a person who stole alcohol. Of course. I don't know who he is. Lin Sheng said to the people of the Savage Tribe and the Mermaid Tribe. Oh? Master, why did someone come to our Ark? We didn't see any ships coming outside. Guzi said doubtfully. Do you still dare to say that this would have happened if you hadn't led the people drunk and caused Ark's defense to become loose? Lin Sheng kicked Lin Guzi in the butt out of anger. Guzi suddenly felt guilty. This time it was really his fault. Everyone on the Ark began to search for it. It's just that the life of eating skewers 
and beer will be postponed again. After a search, everyone returned to Lin Shun with no results. It would not be an exaggeration to say that the entire arc was turned upside down when we first arrived. No one was found, Lin Shun said to himself. I couldn't help but feel worried in my heart. It would be okay if the other party ran away. If not, the entire arc would be in danger. Bah! 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 Just when everyone fell silent. In addition to the sound of the roaring sea wind and the sound of sea water lapping against the ark, the sound of eating suddenly sounded on the silent ark. Huh? Who's eating secretly? Guzi immediately asked in front of Lin Sheng. He has taken the blame. And he still doesn't know how he will be punished by his master. Now he takes the credit first. And maybe his master will punish him if he is happy. But after Guzi finished speaking, there was no reply. When he looked again, he saw that there were all the mermaids from the mermaid tribe and the savages from the savage tribe around him. Even the Pat Pai Pai looked around in confusion. When the sound of chirping sounded again, everyone looked at it. Huh? Are you looking for me? Why don't you come to eat the meat skewers after they are grilled? They won't taste good if they get cold. Burp. Everyone looked at a man in black robes, who was sitting on a wooden chair with a red face and taking off his hat, drinking white wine with grilled skewers. After Lin Sheng saw this person, his pupils shrank suddenly. This person is. Guzi hurriedly came to the front of the black man and shouted loudly. Old man? Who are you? The old man with silver hair and beard tied into pigtails said without caring at all. Since you won't eat it, I won't be polite to you, old man. Hey! 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 The man in black robe ate the meat skewers. One mouthful of old meat and one mouthful of the delicious essence mixed with white wine. Kudong! Who said I won't eat? Guzi snatched the kebab from the old man's hand and said, Hey! Young man! What are you doing? There are so many things on the table. But you don't want to eat. But you insist on snatching mine from me? The old man in black robe picked up a skewer of barbecue as he spoke. Yeah. It tastes pretty good. I haven't eaten anything like this for a long time. The old man in black robe sighed again. That is? Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng in confusion, holding Lin Sheng's arm tightly with her little hands. Lin Sheng patted Shen Ling's little hand and said, Don't worry. He is not in danger. Yes. Lin Sheng recognized it. The only place where the gold coins obtained from those treasure chests can be spent is with this man in black robe. He is the only merchant after the disaster. And he has a large amount of supplies in his hands. The items he sells are different every time he appears. Hello. Senior mysterious businessman. Lin Sheng interrupted Guzi, who was about to scold the mysterious businessman, and said to the man in black robe. Huh? Young man. Your craftsmanship is pretty good. The black man glanced at Lin Sheng and said with a smile. Ha ha. Senior, I'm grateful. Don't you know what I can buy from you? Yes. Lin Sheng wants to buy his goods. If the sign-in system gives you what you need most, then everything this mysterious businessman has in his hands is prepared to improve his strength. Ha ha. Of course. But young man, are you sure you have that many gold coins? Bah. Bah. TSK. 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 I'm not an old man. If it weren't for your grilled meat and liquor being too tempting, I wouldn't have showed up so early. The man in black robe said minding his own business. Lin Sheng felt helpless, knowing that even if this mysterious businessman appeared, he would never see the end. Now, he was actually attracted by his barbecue and liquor. I want to see if it's okay. Of course. For the sake of the food, everything is easy to say. The mysterious businessman directly took out a list. And what was written on the list was the mysterious businessman's goods. Red Sakura gun. Priced at 18,888 gold coins. Water will enter. Selling price is 5,888 gold coins. Mountain knife technique. Priced at 3,888 gold coins. Lin Shum looked down and saw that the prices were all several thousand gold coins. But he only had 102 gold coins in his hand so he couldn't buy anything useful at all. Lin Sheng sent the list back with some embarrassment. As for all kinds of crystals, there are all kinds of crystals, but each crystal costs 10 gold coins. It is better to hunt them by yourself. You must know that it is extremely difficult to obtain gold coins. Lin Sheng does not want to waste gold coins. Okay, old man, I've finished eating too. Remember to treat me to a drink next time. The old man put on Lin's hat as he spoke and the whole person disappeared immediately. And he left a badge in its original place. Guzi hurriedly handed over the badge. 
a pentagonal diamond made badge with a word, Shang, printed in the middle. Lin Shang couldn't help but smile. What would people think if they knew that the badge that could summon a mysterious businessman at any time was exchanged for a drink? In the previous life, there were many people who sought out mysterious merchants to improve their strength. And some even paid a heavy price. Lin Sheng put away the badge and waved his hand and said, Okay, if you don't eat meat, you will get hard. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, everyone sat down one after another. Chapter 71, Cold Beer Then opened the treasure chest. Everyone on the ark was drinking beer and eating barbecue. Is it delicious? Lin Sheng asked with a smile as he watched Shen Ling eating barbecue. Uh-huh. Shen Ling nodded in response. It's really been a long time since she had a decent meal of meat. Lin Sheng took out a tissue and gently wiped away the oil stains from the corners of Shen Ling's mouth. But at this moment, he saw Ice Phoenix and Hen falling in love with each other. Old Popsicle. Are you trying to freeze me again? The Hen said angrily while jumping and uttering human words. Bakken Chicken. You still have the blood of the Phoenix. You can't even fly. You still have the blood of the Phoenix. Ice Phoenix shouted while flying in midair. Yeah. Yeah. Come down if you can. Come up if you can. The hen was so angry that her comb immediately burned. As soon as the chicken's mouth opened, sparks flew towards the ice phoenix. Ice phoenix was also startled and hurriedly avoided the sparks. Banji, how dare you spit on me and wait until I freeze you to death. Ice phoenix also became angry at being hacked by the hen. Ice phoenix opened its mouth and spat out bursts of snowflakes. Snowflakes and sparks collided. And the whole sky was filled with smoke. Lin Sheng, Shen Ling, other people, while eating skewers, I saw an incompatible battle. Hen, come here, here. You want to be plucked again. Right, Lin Sheng said. Xiao Bing is back. Shen Ling also shouted. Only then did the chicken and the bird stop bickering, and each came to Shen Ling and Lin Sheng's side. You need to clean it up. Right. You also learned how to use sparks. Use them where they should be used to heat up these barbecues for me. Lin Sheng knocked the hen on the head and said, No, I won't. The hen shook her head. Then let's eat roast chicken. Oh, I will. The hen surrendered to Lin Sheng's lust and began to heat the barbecue. TSK, TSK. Hen, your ability is quite useful. You can save the board by grilling the meat later. Lin Sheng said, while eating the heated barbecue. Hen, please be human. Ha ha. Kenji, your role is quite good. Xiao Bing said human words as soon as he opened his mouth. Lin Sheng's eyes suddenly fell on Shen Ling's arms. Xiao Bing suddenly felt like something bad was about to happen. Xiao Sheng, please don't bully Xiao Bing. After Shen Ling saw Lin Sheng's gaze, she hugged Xiao Bing tightly and said, The master's embrace felt so warm and suddenly felt so at ease. Xiao Bing thought in Shen Ling's arms, Sister, you misunderstood me. Look, the hen heats the skewers. The sun is so bright in the sky and it eats hot skewers. It makes you thirsty easily. If you want a cold beer at this time, do you think it tastes good? What would be better? Lin Sheng said matter-of-factly. At this moment, both Guzi and Kong Kongi looked at Lin Sheng curiously. He looked at the beer in his hand again. Chilled? What's the meaning? But if the owner says it tastes good, then it's good. It seems to be like this. Shen Ling looked at the sky and thought. No, the master has changed his mind. Xiaobing's heart tightened. Sure enough, the next moment it heard Shenling say, Xiaobing, I'm sorry to bother you. Xiaobing tearfully added ice to the beer on the table. His, hiccup it feels so good. Lin Sheng drank the freshly chilled beer and felt a good appetite. Sure enough, beer still tastes better with ice. The rest of the people followed Lin Sheng's example. And after drinking the cold beer, their eyes suddenly lit up. It tastes really good. In this way, Cold beer and hot skewers have become everyone's favorite pairing. Shopping! Please chill it again. The beer is not cold anymore. The hen is heated here. But the barbecue is cold. The chicken and the bird looked at each other, each seeing helplessness in the other's eyes. This is the helplessness of being a tool chicken, bird. After everyone had eaten and drank enough, hen and Xiaobing lay down together tiredly and fell asleep. Hey! What is that? The dog is clearing the table. Lin Sheng had just stood up and stretched when he saw the treasure chest on the sea. After finishing his words, he walked towards the edge of the ark. Long time no see, Lin Sheng sighed, already taking out the hook in his hand. I haven't seen a treasure chest since the super large raft was built, and I didn't expect that I would encounter a treasure chest at this time. 
Lin Sheng threw the hook and was about to catch the treasure chest and pull it over. Shi Ling came to Lin Sheng's side and helped to pick up the treasure box. Wow, it's a treasure chest, Shi Ling said in surprise. Sister Ling, you look very excited. Can you drive? Lin Sheng looked at Shi Ling expectantly and said, Okay, with a click sound. The treasure chest was opened. Shi Ling took out five gold coins and a blueprint from the treasure box. Lin Sheng, is it because the way to open the treasure chest is wrong? He remembered that the treasure chest would only get one item at a time. And there was a high probability that it would be one gold coin. Sister, you, I seem to have a lucky ability. Shen Ling didn't wait for Lin Sheng to finish speaking. Lin Sheng fell silent for a moment. Lucky, it seems like this. Thinking of this, maybe Shen Ling would not have died in the previous life. Just because of himself. Lin Sheng sighed helplessly. At this time, Shen Ling handed the things to Lin Sheng. What's wrong? Why aren't you happy when you open the treasure box and get good things? Come and show me a smile. Shen Ling said as I asked. Lin Sheng raised his head and looked at Shen Ling. And he was sure in his heart. Yes, that kind of thing will never happen again. The Jialong mercenary group will kill you sooner or later. Lin Sheng took the gold coins and drawings. Get gold coins plus five. Obtain the wooden villa manufacturing diagram, including bedroom, kitchen, living room, bathroom. Lin Sheng explained the drawing to Shen Ling. Shen Ling was pleasantly surprised when she heard that there was a bathroom. Although there is no shortage of water now. Bathing is really inconvenient. And there would be a bathroom soon. And Shen Ling was excited to pick it up. It's been a long time. Eight days. And I haven't had a good bath. Lin Sheng studied the drawings. Okay. Come on. Xiao Sheng. Sister. I want to take a bath. Shen Ling said expectantly. Hey. Sister. I actually want to take a bath too. Lin Sheng said helplessly. What are you telling me to do? Just get the small bill out. Shen Ling's face turned red and she thought. Do you still want to be with me? That would definitely not work. It would be too shameful. Sister, this small villa needs plastic, copper, and rubber. We don't have these materials. Lin Sheng said helplessly. Aw? Can't take a bath? Shen Ling said disappointedly. Sister, ha ha. It's okay. We will just find these materials when the time comes. It shouldn't take long to find them. It was imperative to create a small villa, which looked too shabby in comparison. Lin Sheng was beginning to dislike it now, just as the two of them were talking. A transparent long whip suddenly emerged from the water and whipped towards the location of the two of them. Chapter 72 Stinging Jellyfish Unexpected Visitor Um, Lin Sheng was alert. With a fierce look in his eyes, he pulled out his spear and held it against the transparent whip. But at this moment, an electric current was sent to Lin Sheng's body with the help of the medium of the spear. Zitzi! Um! The electric currents flowing through Lin Sheng's body made a sound. Lin Sheng frowned and felt a numb feeling on his arm. But fortunately, Lin Sheng wore leather armor underneath, which had an isolation effect and prevented the electric current from hurting him in large quantities. Lin Sheng quickly withdrew his spear and distanced himself from the transparent whip. Shen Ling looked at the transparent whip in shock and was still immersed in the joy of opening the treasure box and did not react for a while. When Lin Sheng passed by Shen Ling, he picked up Shen Ling and ran away. It wasn't until the transparent whip could no longer touch Lin Sheng that he stopped and looked back at the sea. The transparent whip slowly entered the sea. Lin Sheng lowered his head and asked, Sister Ling, are you okay? Feeling swollen, Shen Ling was pinched under Lin Sheng's arm and Lin Sheng's arm was squeezing an indescribable place. Shen Ling's entire face was as red as if it had been burned by fire. Put me down. Shen Ling's voice was as thin as a mosquito. Um. Lin Sheng let go of his hand in embarrassment and said, I'm sorry. Lin Sheng's movements here also attracted the attention of other people on the ark. Savages and mermaids came around Lin Sheng one after another, staring at the sea with solemn expressions. It's still very worrying to know what the transparent tentacles are. As for the sea surface that had not yet returned to calm, waves were still rippling, and transparent tentacles penetrated the sea water and attacked towards the ark. The owner of the tentacles was also revealed in front of Lin Sheng and others at this time. It was a hat-like head the size of a small villa on the second floor. The whole body was transparent. Through the transparent skin, a huge jellyfish with a little blue light inside could be seen. Countless tentacles spread under the beanie-like head, except for the eight transparent tentacles that attacked the ark. The other tentacles dragged the huge jellyfish head out of the water. The jellyfish's scarlet eyes stared intently at Lin Sheng. 
and the ends of its tentacles extending toward the arc flashed with conspicuous electric light. Get out of the way! Guzzi quickly arranges for someone to point the giant crossbow at you. Facing the attack of the giant jellyfish, Lin Shun dodged the attacking tentacles and hurriedly gave orders. Okay! The dog responded and led the person away. Lin Sheng and the others took out their bows and arrows to attack the giant jellyfish. But when Lin Sheng's arrow shot at the giant jellyfish, the jellyfish's tentacles directly blocked the arrow. Dash 1355. A high amount of damage bursts out from the jellyfish's tentacles. The jellyfish in the sea screamed in pain. But after the scream, the jellyfish's scarlet eyes became even more angry. After the damage occurred, a blood bar appeared not on the jellyfish's head, but on its tentacles. 645-2000. After Lin Sheng saw this scene, his heart suddenly tightened. This situation might not mean that every tentacle of the jellyfish had a blood bar. If you want to attack the jellyfish's head, you will undoubtedly have to deal with these tentacles first. If you don't deal with these tentacles, you can't attack the head at all, and don't even think about hurting the jellyfish. Thinking of this, the arrows in Lin Sheng's hand fired faster. But just after destroying one tentacle, the jellyfish's new tentacle grew out. Damn it! Lin Sheng cursed lowly. But faced with such a situation, he could only deal with it with all his strength. So did everyone else on the Ark. But even though there are many people in Lin Sheng, the jellyfish's tentacles regenerate faster than they are destroyed. Even the eight tentacles started to split. From eight tentacles to sixteen. After seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. Even the mermaid tribe uses water magic to attack. But it is only as fast as the regeneration speed of jellyfish tentacles. Kong Kongi's eyes were anxiously searching the sea surface, as if he was looking for the giant turtle. But there is indeed no sign of the giant turtle. The giant turtle that Kong Kongi was looking for was lying lazily sleeping on the seabed. Kong Kongi opened his small mouth and sang loudly. The song spread slowly, and the giant turtle in the sea suddenly opened its eyes, and then chased the ark in the distance. The fight on the ark was fierce. The jellyfish threw one of its tentacles on the hen, electrifying the hen until its whole body was numb. The hen jumped up angrily, swaying around and avoiding the tentacles, and came to the jellyfish's head. The jellyfish was already charging in while attacking, and now its head was touching the deck of the ark. I saw the hen approaching but I didn't bother to look at the hen. When the hen points at the jellyfish's head, sparks shoot out, but the hen's sparks did almost no harm to the jellyfish. And the jellyfish felt like they were being roasted on fire. Ha! Kanji! You useless guy! Ice Phoenix actually taunted the hen at this moment. But when the hen heard this, she was furious. If you have the ability, come and do it. Just come. After the quarrel, the ice phoenix flew to the hen's head and attacked the jellyfish with snowflakes. For a moment, the jellyfish panicked. The jellyfish's body is almost entirely filled with water. If it is attacked by ice, it will freeze. Ice phoenix felt that its snowflake attack power was not enough. If it couldn't attack the jellyfish, wouldn't it mean that it would be ridiculed by the hen? For a moment, Xiaobing dared not increase his strength, condensed a beam of light in his mouth and attacked the jellyfish. The jellyfish suddenly panicked and wanted to escape. But as the light hit, the jellyfish's tentacles actually froze at this time. Xiaobing became more and more excited, and his attacks became more and more powerful, until the jellyfish was frozen on the edge of the ark. How is it? Xiaobing said proudly to the hen. When Lin Sheng saw this, he saw that the jellyfish's blood was slowly falling, but the freeze on its body was also slowly undoing. Everyone, please work harder. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, Guzi also pushed the giant crossbow over. For a time, arrows and giant spears continued to shoot out. The jellyfish's blood volume dropped crazily, until it finally turned into a human-sized jellyfish and three power crystals. The jellyfish fled towards the sea. Unexpectedly, a creature in the sea opened its mouth wide and ate the jellyfish that jumped into the water. The strength is a bit lacking. The strength of the sea beast is getting stronger and stronger. It seems that we have to hurry up and obtain the Poseidon Scepter. Lin Shun sighed. On the sea, a survivor on a wooden boat looked at the Ark from a distance. Dumbfounded. And for a while, he even forgot about coming to find a survivor. After they came to their senses, they looked at Fong Zhou, who was about to leave, and shouted loudly. Master Shun, walk slowly. Wait for us. Um, Lin Sheng, who had just raised his steps, turned back and looked at the sea in confusion. Chapter 73 Come to receive the reward. As Lin Sheng turned around, Guzi and others on the Ark also had the same reaction as Lin Sheng. 
after seeing a human being like Lin Sheng on the wooden boat on the sea. The weapons that had been put down while fighting the jellyfish were raised again. And even the giant crossbow was pushed up again and aimed at the wooden boat on the sea. After so many experiences, Guzi and others subconsciously associated these people as bad guys who came to destroy their masters. As long as Lin Sheng gave the order, they would never hesitate to attack the wooden boats on the sea. On the sea, several people on the wooden boat also saw the weapons on the ark being pointed at them. And they suddenly panicked. The leading man hurriedly shouted, Master, please don't do anything. We are not here to trouble you. We have received the reward from you. And we are coming to you with my loot to redeem the reward. The man said shivering. His eyes kept wandering over these bows. Arrows and giant crossbows. I was secretly glad in my heart. Fortunately, they were short of supplies and chose to accept Lin Sheng's bounty instead of accepting the bounty from Lin Jialong's mercenary group. Otherwise, if the representative of the Jialong mercenary group comes to Ark to look for Lin Sheng's trouble, I'm afraid I don't know how I'm going to die. Oh, that's right. Come up first, Lin Sheng said calmly. Oh, sir, let's go up. The leading young man was still preparing to get off the boat and swim over after he finished speaking. But I did suddenly feel that the wooden boat connected to me was being jacked up high at this time. The man looked down and saw that the huge turtle was easily pushing up the wooden boat with its back. Ah! The man was extremely frightened. But he didn't dare to speak until he was halfway through speaking. Looking at the giant turtle below, I felt even more nervous. I have never seen this huge turtle before. Come on! The giant turtle has pushed the wooden boat to the edge of the ark. Good. The man stepped forward and came to Lin Sheng. Then he took out some tokens from his backpack. Sir, look at this. We got these from the members of the Jialong mercenary group. These are the only things that can prove it. After the man said this, he was actually still feeling uneasy. He thought there was no way to bring the body. So he looked for evidence. But the man was really worried about Lin Sheng's belief or disbelief. Well, they are indeed from the Jialong mercenary group. Five of the ten identification cards. I confirmed it. Guzi. Please arrange to go down and get me a thousand kilograms of rice. Lin Shang's words must be taken action as soon as Guzi's words are heard. But the man did speak. Sir, can we have some other food? Hmm? What do you want? Are there any vegetables? We haven't eaten vegetables for a long time. The man remembered that Lin Shang had traded vegetables at that time. So he asked this question now. Of course. How much do you want in proportion to 100 kilograms? Lin Shang asked looking at the 10 things that could prove the identity of the members of the Jialong mercenary group. Let's take 300 kilograms of rice, flour and vegetables each. Master, hey, master, actually I have other business to discuss with you when I come here this time, the man said with a smile. What business? Lin Sheng suddenly became interested when he heard that the other party wanted to do business with him. Hey, sir, look at this island route map. How much is it worth? Lin Sheng looked intently and saw what was written on the root map. Rubber Island. Isn't this one of the materials Lin Sheng needs to find now? The map is useless. If you want to accurately find the location of the island before it appears, you can't do without the root map. So Lin Sheng asked with a playful expression on his face. Are you going to sell this to me? Yes. So it depends on whether you are interested. Sir. The man looked at Lin Sheng and asked expectantly. To put it bluntly, the rubber island is a rubber tree. In addition to getting rubber, I also know that there is no way to get other things. The man on the island is not too interested in the supplies. So he took it out and exchanged it with Lin Sheng to see if he could exchange it. What supplies? Lin Sheng hesitated for a while and then said, I can give you another 200 kilograms of food. In total, I plan to give you some random food before. Now there are 300 kilograms of food for you to choose. After hearing what Lin Sheng said, the man immediately said happily, then exchange three kinds of food for 100 caddies each. Lin Sheng nodded and made arrangements. The man who was waiting for the food followed Lin Sheng towards the inside of the ark. When their eyes met the vigilant Guzi and the others, they were all startled and did not dare to look around anymore. But the scene they just saw still shocked these people. Although I looked at it roughly, I still saw what I should see. Wooden houses, fields, food, fruits, savages, and mermaids. Relying on this ark. This man has entered the age of farming. Look again. They just upgraded their rafts to wooden boats and relied on fishing to make a living. There's just no comparison. However, they did not dare to have greedy thoughts. 
although they also had weapons in their hands. How could these 18 of them be the opponents of the more than 70 people on the Ark? The weapons in the hands of everyone on the Ark seemed to be much better than theirs. What surprised them even more was after they followed Lin Sheng to the dining table. Gudong! The sound of swallowing saliva kept coming. The man in the lead was named Chen Xiuwen. He swallowed his saliva and pointed to the beer that had not been put away in disbelief and asked, Master, are you drinking? That's right, beer. How about a drink? Lin Shun also saw that these people were not threatening. And he still had plenty of wine. In addition, Lin Shun certainly had other thoughts in his mind. That is, after surviving eight days at sea, these survivors must have something in their hands that he didn't know about. Maybe after arousing their greed, they might be able to come up with something good. He was not a gangster and could not rob Lin Shanghai, who was not a gangster. Can! Is it okay? Chen Xiaowen and the others looked at Lin Sheng excitedly. Lin Sheng nodded. After receiving Lin Sheng's confirmation, these big men couldn't bear it any longer. They all started pouring wine and started drinking, regardless of whether the bowls on the table were clean or not. The mood that had been suppressed at sea suddenly relaxed with the big bowl of wine. It's cool. I haven't drank for a long time. Yes, I didn't expect Mr. Shun to drink. I'm so impressed. A group of people started chatting while drinking. Master, can you sell these wines? Lin Sheng raised his eyebrows and said, Oh, why do you want to buy it? It depends on whether you have anything worth looking at. Chapter 74 Gold Coins for Wine Rubber Island Map This, that, Mr. Sheng, we don't have anything good in our hands. After all, what you have is more complete than us. Chen Xiaowen said with some frustration. You can see if there is anything good on you. It doesn't have to be very rare. But it must be something I can see. Lin Sheng said leisurely. After hearing Lin Sheng's words, Chen Xiaowen hurriedly took out the contents of his backpack. There are a lot of bubble gum, wooden boards, and stones among them. Suddenly, a crashing sound caught Lin Sheng's attention. That's a gold coin. Ha ha. I'm sorry. I thought these gold coins, Mr. Sheng, were gold. I might be able to exchange them for money after the seawater recedes for a while. So I kept them, Chen Xiaowen said awkwardly. After all, when survival becomes a problem, who would deliberately save gold coins? Lin Sheng narrowed his eyes and said, No, I like this gold coin very much too. Huh? Chen Xiaowen was stunned for a moment, and then looked at Lin Sheng in shock. The next moment, he suddenly said excitedly, Master, are you telling the truth? Then can I exchange gold coins for wine with you? Lin Shun became excited. That's a gold coin. If you don't find the mysterious merchant, it's worthless. But if you find the mysterious merchant, the gold coin will be a hot commodity. However, Lin Shun said that he did not show it. But he said calmly, Yes, but these gold coins cannot be measured according to their previous value. At most, one gold coin can be exchanged for a pound of wine. Change. Sir, I'll change it right now. Chen Xiaowen said excitedly. He originally had a headache about his special ability. In the world of survival, why would he give himself a chance to get a gold coin treasure chest every day? It can't be used to buy food. But it seems to be used now. Fearing that Lin Sheng would regret it, Chen Xiaowen hurriedly handed over all the ten gold coins in his hand. Sheng, give me ten pounds of beer first. Lin Sheng waved his hand and pushed the 10 kilograms of beer on the table directly to Chen Xiaowen. Chen Xiaowen was overjoyed when he looked at the beer. But after seeing the looks in his brother's eyes, he silently put away the beer. Chow, let's let you laugh at me for having a useless ability. Is this okay? Labor and management can buy wine if they have money. For a moment, everyone else was angry, wondering why they had lost all the gold coins they had gained following Chen Xiaowen. But regret is no longer useful. Yes, some people have special abilities that can affect those around them. But Lin Sheng didn't know that he felt helpless after seeing the mysterious merchant's products. I finally got 107 gold coins. But I can't buy any products. Master, can I come to you again tomorrow to buy wine? Can I also buy the food? Can. Lin Sheng replied decisively. No way. Does this thing still have gold coins? How did you get so many gold coins? Lin Sheng finally couldn't help but asked curiously. Lin Sheng's question made Chen Xiaowen feel embarrassed. He rubbed his head and said, Well, sir, please don't laugh at me. I have the ability to get gold coins every day. This is a useless ability. Lin Sheng. Hack. Is this ability useless? Are you afraid that you don't know what this ability does? 
The mysterious businessman only recognizes gold coins. Suddenly Lin Shun fell silent. Everyone's ability is not unique. And although there are few people with abilities, there are still many people with these abilities based on a large enough base. Others can't develop arc planting. Maybe you can. You can grow food in your own arc. When the time comes, you can sell the food into gold coins. And then use the gold coins to go to the mysterious merchant to buy things that enhance your strength. This seems to actually work. Lin Shun looked at Chen Xiaowen and didn't know whether he should say that the freight was good or bad. So he said, As long as you have gold coins, you can come to me to buy food. And even other things can be sold to you. Thank you very much. Sir, I'll contact you then. Chen Xiaowen took the people away. But Lin Shun didn't know that it was Chen Xiaowen who relied on this ability to create a huge organization. Lin Shun looked at Chen Xiaowen's leading figure and shed tears silently. Why is this? However, the only thing that could comfort Lin Shun was the restrictions on the use of the items in the hands of the mysterious businessman. Although the items were good, they were not strong enough to use. Lin Shun took out the drawings again and compared them. The root of the treasure map obviously overlaps with that of the rubber island. Lin Shun brought both drawings to Old Jack. Old Jack, follow this route. Let's go to Rubber Island first, Lin Shun said. Okay, boss. Lin Shun did not use the acceleration rune, but asked Old Jack to sail the boat by himself. The distance was not very far anyway. Lin Shun returned to the deck of the Ark and began to think carefully. I just learned about this ability from Chen Xiaowen. I can continuously produce all kinds of food and even restore food to the level of peacetime. This is definitely a huge charm for those who have the ability to pursue a better life and survive. As for the types of food, we need more seeds for crops. And after possessing those things, Ark's defensive strength must continue to improve. The afternoon always goes by quickly. It was evening in a blink of an eye. And Ark also arrived near the rubber island. Looking at the rubber island just around the corner. After going up to get the rubber, you could upgrade the wooden house. As soon as the Ark docked, Lin Shun jumped out of the Ark. Lin Sheng raised his head, stretched out his hands, and took Shen Ling, who jumped into the ark with him, into his arms. Sister Ling, in order to live in a small villa and be able to take a bath, we have to work hard, Lin Sheng said while putting Shen Ling down. Shen Ling nodded slightly and followed Lin Sheng towards the island. After the two entered the island, what they saw was a large area of rubber trees. This large area of rubber trees made Lin Sheng realize that the rubber he needed was immediately available. Lin Sheng quickly took out the barrel and used a spear to make a wound on the rubber tree, allowing the milky white resin to continuously flow out from the tree. Resin dripped from the trunk into the barrel, resembling tears. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling continued to place wooden barrels on the island and cut the bark of the trees. One tree, two trees, three trees. The two of them cooperated and continued to do the same operation. With the combined efforts of the two of them, hundreds of wooden barrels filled with resin were quickly prepared. Lin Sheng looked at the sweaty Shen Ling who was working with him. Shen Ling stretched out her hand to wipe the sweat from her face. But she suddenly turned into a cat face. Lin Sheng suppressed his laughter. But Shen Ling saw it. Xiao Sheng, what are you laughing at? No, I suddenly remembered something funny. Come on, let me wipe away your sweat. Chapter 75, Full of Harvest. Return to the Ark. As he spoke, Lin Sheng reached out and took out a tissue to gently wipe off the stains on Shen Ling's face. At this time, Shen Ling also reacted. He looked at his dirty little hands, and wiped Lin Sheng's face. Sister, you've gone too far, Lin Sheng said pretending to be angry. But Shen Ling stuck out her cute tongue and said, Let you laugh at me, then everyone will be the same. Okay, what else can we do? The two of them were fooling around, waiting for the resin to be connected. Lin Sheng's eyes fell on the ground where there were eyeball-sized spheres all over the ground. There are also black spots on these balls, which are the seeds of the rubber tree. These seeds can be used to plant rubber trees, and even squeeze out industrial oil that can be used to make soap. Lin Sheng knelt down to pick it up. Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng's actions, and came to help. After the two collected a large bag full of seeds, they looked at the resin that had been collected, each containing half a bucket. Put away these barrels decisively. Get a pound of rubber. Are we going back? Shen Ling asked after seeing that the rubber had been collected. Lin Sheng shook his head and said, I just noticed that there are beehives on this island. Maybe we can still have honey to drink. Honey? Shen Ling looked towards where Lin Sheng was looking. Sure enough, there are many beehives on the trees over there. But there are a lot of hives. And the bees are so big. 
Shen Ling observed it for a moment, and then said worriedly. Lin Sheng nodded and said, Let me think about how to get the honey. At the same time, inside the camp of the Sea Dragon mercenary group, Xiao Shirwei said angrily, That damn Lin Sheng actually dared to put a bounty on our people? And those desperate survivors actually dared to come against our Jialo mercenary group? You are simply tired of living. Brother, I really can't bear it. Quiet. Just stay there. Someone from Lin Sheng's side will take care of it. Xiao Shijun had a confident smile on his face. Not long ago, other mercenary groups, who were also mercenaries, came to him. They wanted to develop their own strength and obtain a batch of resources from him. The matter of dealing with Lin Sheng was also left to Xiao Shijun. Brother, do you mean the Black Blood Mercenary Group? Xiao Shiwei also suddenly understood. Xiao Shijun smiled without saying a word and pushed a survivor who came to seek refuge with them directly into the altar. No, leader. I have handed over all my belongings. I really have no secrets at all. The survivors who were tied up by the five flowers began to plead hard. Ha ha. I can only blame you for being so useless. You can't even collect supplies. They will just think that you died outside at sea. Xiao Shijun showed a cold smile. All the people and sea beast corpses on the altar suddenly disappeared. And what appeared were several bottles of blood red potion. Take it and increase your strength as soon as possible. Our Jialong mercenary group is the overlord of this world. Xiao Shijun threw a bottle of Scarlet Potion to Xiao Shirwei. Scarlet Potion. The product of a deal with the devil. All attributes plus 5 after use. Side effects. Demonic will distort people's psychology. On the island. Lin Sheng wrapped the rag tightly around his body. Leaving only his other eye exposed. Sister. Have you wrapped it up? Lin Sheng asked. It'll be ready soon. Shen Ling also imitated Lin Sheng. Well. I'll go and dig down all the beehives. I'll lure the bees away later. And you can take the opportunity to collect all the beehives. Lin Sheng said to Shen Ling. Good. After the two were confirmed, Shen Ling first found a place to hide, while Lin Sheng quietly walked under the hive. He took out his spear and stabbed it at the hive. After the spear hit the honeycomb, his arm shook vigorously. Lin Sheng thought in his mind, honey water can be added when you squeeze the juice later. This is a good thing, and you can take the beehive with you. Maybe you can raise bees when you return to the ark and plant a variety of flowers and plants, which can be used by then. There is a constant swarm of bees. With a clang sound, the honeycomb fell to the ground. Lin Sheng walked towards the next hive without any hesitation. From the hive that landed on the ground, bees kept flying out. These bees were as big as a thumb. A dark swarm of bees was hovering on the top of the hive, making a buzzing sound. Lin Sheng had already arrived at the second hive and knocked down the second hive. As Lin Sheng continued to poke the hive, more and more angry bees surrounded Lin Sheng. Thanks to Lin Sheng's tight wrapping of himself. Otherwise, he would have become a meat bag by now. After poking down 20 beehives in a row, Lin Sheng put away his spear and ran away. After Lin Sheng lured away the bees, Shen Ling emerged from the grass and hurriedly took away the hive. Hey! Why are you running so far away? Where can I find you? Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng, who had long since disappeared, and said helplessly, I had to pay attention not to be discovered by the bees and search for Lin Sheng's whereabouts. Lin Sheng, who was chased by the bees, jumped directly into the lake. Gulyalu bubbles emerged from the water. How could he be so cruel and still not leave? Lin Sheng opened his eyes in the water and looked at the bees on the water. They were still waiting for Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng could only sink in the water like this. If he went up, his head would definitely be covered with hair. After waiting for a long time, Lin Sheng saw the bees on the water slowly dispersing. And then he dared to resurface. Lin Sheng, who had just emerged from the water, was stunned by the scene in front of him. White king oyster mushrooms, black fungus, green bamboo shoots and water spinach. He actually discovered these vegetables that he didn't have in Ark Shanghai. Xiaosheng, have you run far enough? Shen Ling ran from a distance and said breathlessly, Sister, you are here too. Let's collect these vegetables. The types of food will be increased again. After this wave of harvesting is completed, we will go back to the ark to add some food. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, Shen Ling looked at him. Sure enough, these vegetables were not available on the ark. So Shen Ling joined the team collecting vegetables. Obtain a water spinach. Obtain water spinach seeds. Get king oyster mushroom. Obtain king oyster mushroom spores. Harvest reminders kept ringing. And Lin Sheng became more and more excited as he watched the space in his backpack being filled. Vegetables. 
When I ate barbecue, I had the idea of eating hot pot. But the number of vegetables was too small. Which caused Lin Sheng to give up the idea of eating hot pot. But now looking at these vegetables, the desire to eat is aroused again. As the two gathered, the sky gradually darkened. Is this a copper block? Lin Sheng suddenly picked up a fist-sized copper block. After playing with it, Lin Sheng thought that he had collected all the materials for these small wooden villas. Lin Sheng put away the copper block and used the hundredfold increase. Get copper plus one hundred. Sister, let's go back. That's enough. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he took Shen Ling back to the Ark. Chapter 76 Beehives and Honey Back on the Ark Lin Sheng hurriedly unloaded the vegetables from his backpack and found a cool place to store them. After all, it was already dark enough. And Lin Sheng felt that his body was extremely tired. Lin Sheng dragged his tired body back to the wooden house. Just as he lay on the bed, he saw Shen Ling walking over. Xiao Sheng! Shen Ling called softly. Huh? Why don't you go and rest? Sister? Lin Sheng opened his eyes slightly and vaguely saw Shen Ling's figure. Suddenly my whole body was shaken. I was alone in the middle of the night. Could something be happening? Of course. If this is the case, Lin Sheng himself would still agree. But Shen Ling's next words let Lin Sheng know that he was overthinking. Are you sure you're okay today? There are so many bees surrounding you. While on the island, Shen Ling had no time to worry about Lin Sheng. And just after she returned to her cabin on the ark, when Shen Ling closed her eyes, her mind was filled with images of Lin Sheng being chased by black clouds of bees. So she became more and more worried about whether Lin Sheng had been stung. Only then did they arrive at Lin Sheng's room. It's okay. I'm really fine. Lin Sheng was sure that he had not been stung. Get up and let me take a look. Shen Ling still insisted on checking Lin Sheng. Um, isn't this bad? Lin Sheng felt uncomfortable wearing clothes before going to bed. So now he only has a pair of underpants left on his body. And the rest is just a blanket covering his body. What's so bad? It's not like I haven't seen it before. Shen Ling now. Yes, I did see it when I was a child. Looking at Shen Ling's determined expression, Lin Sheng understood that Shen Ling would not go back to sleep unless she was really sure that she was fine. With no choice but to stand up and put on his underwear, he walked around in front of Shen Ling. After observing, Shen Ling confirmed that Lin Sheng was fine. And then said with confidence, Don't do these things in the future. It's too dangerous. After saying this, Shen Ling was about to leave. But Lin Sheng smiled and said, How about, Sister, you can sleep at my place tonight? Lin Sheng was thinking in his heart that if Shen Ling really agreed, plus his original feelings, everything else should be fine even before the last step. But after Shen Ling heard this, she didn't dare to look back. Stay? But they don't have that kind of relationship yet. Not to mention, Shen Ling pretended to be calm and said, Chao Sheng, you have grown up. Your bed is not big enough for two people. After saying this, Shen Ling left as if running away. Lin Sheng. Well, a bed is too small. Um, the wooden bed is indeed a single bed. But crowding is not a problem. But looking at Shen Ling's left figure, Lin Sheng silently thought that after the small villa was built and the room became bigger, it would be up to you to say that the bed was too small if he didn't put two beds side by side. Lin Sheng looked at the empty room and fell asleep helplessly. Everything returns to peace under night. The next day, the ninth day of the disaster, Lin Sheng got up and vibrated everything that could be vibrated before saying, Okay, for today's check-in. Sign in and get a super beehive. Super beehive. The bees can hatch faster and be 100% loyal to their owners. Did the system give it to me after seeing it bring back the hive? So that you can keep bees yourself. Use a hundredfold increase. Get super beehive plus 100. Master, have you sown the seeds you brought back yesterday? As soon as Lin Sheng walked out of the door of the room, Guzi asked immediately, Well, the old rule is that each type of planting is allocated a piece of land. You can make your own arrangements to plant it, Lin Sheng said. Then he looked at the sun that had just risen on the seed level in the distance and stretched. Then his eyes fell on the hives he brought back yesterday. Lin Sheng came to the hive and cut one hive open with a knife. Golden honeycomb honey immediately flowed out of the hive. Lin Sheng took a basin and took out the honey piece by piece. Halfway through the collection, Lin Shengbian found a lot of bee pupae. Among the bee pupae, there were some newly hatched bees crawling slowly. Lin Sheng carefully peeled off the bee pupae and placed them smoothly on the table. Huh? The beehive was cut open by yourself. So these bees have to find a way to find a home. 
Lin Sheng thought in his mind that as for eating fried bee pupae, Lin Sheng didn't have such a strong taste. Lin Sheng transferred the strip bee pupae and young bees into the bee box. Then Lin Sheng returned to the pieces of honey that he had peeled off. This honey is not the kind I bought before. Real natural honey. A cup of honey water in the morning is actually the best. There were no ingredients before. But now they are. Lin Sheng brought two cups of spiritual spring water and cut off two small pieces of honey and added them to the spiritual spring water. Lin Sheng stirred the honey evenly and put it to the tip of his nose to smell it. Honey water is golden yellow in color and smells very refreshing with the sweet aroma of honey and the fragrance of flowers. After taking a sip, Lin Sheng felt that his whole body had a feeling of sublimation. Huh? Something seems wrong. Lin Sheng tasted it carefully. And immediately, he turned his attention back to the abandoned hive. When Lin Sheng picked up the hive again, he discovered something like a small bag inside the hive. Lin Sheng peeled off the debris on the surface of the packet and saw only a green bead-like spherical object. Lin Sheng took it in his hand and squeezed it. The size is only as big as a marble. But the surface is very elastic. Get the heart of the wild bee. Heart of wild bee. A mysterious bead produced by a large number of bees converging their power inside. After eating, all attributes are plus five. Lin Sheng was stunned immediately. This thing can also be eaten. And its effect is even more powerful than the snake gallbladder obtained before. Lin Sheng couldn't bear it and dissected all the other hives. The result is that every hive contains a heart of a wild bee. Lin Sheng obtained a total of 20 items. These items are all special items and cannot be multiplied by a hundred times. Lin Sheng looked at the honey that had not been put away and thought that it would be wasted if it was left alone until it got dirty. Lin Sheng was busy sorting the bee pupae into the hive and taking out all the honey. This honey occupies five pots. Get 50 pounds of honey. While Lin Sheng was sorting the honey, Shen Ling also woke up and came to Lin Sheng. Sister, are you up? Come and have a drink and see the result of our hard work yesterday. Lin Sheng picked up a cup of soaked honey water and handed it to Shen Ling. Is this all the honey we got yesterday? Lin Sheng nodded. He had long been disgusted by the honey in the supermarket. But now the honey water in his hand made Shen Ling unable to help but taste it. Chapter 77 Wooden Villa Bathing Delicious! After Shen Ling drank the honey water, she exhaled in surprise and praised the deliciousness of the honey water. Lin Sheng smiled and said, If you like it, drink more to beautify yourself. After Lin Sheng said this, he put a heart of wild bee into Shen Ling's hand. This is? Shen Ling looked at the beads in her hand and asked Lin Sheng curiously. Things that enhance strength are similar to snake gallbladder. After hearing this, Shen Ling no longer hesitated in her heart. Eat it directly with honey water. Hmm? It tastes much better than snake gallbladder. It feels a bit like jelly beans. Shen Ling commented on the taste of wild bee heart. There are still 19 pieces left. Let's each take half. Lin Sheng handed nine wild bee hearts to Shen Ling. And he also ate the remaining ten. After this wave, the strength of both of them soared by 50 points in all attribute points. The distance to 1,000 attribute points is shorter. Only after the strength of attribute points reaches 1,000 points can you use the potion sold by the mysterious merchant for a breakthrough improvement. Lin Sheng clapped his hands and began to look at the construction plan of the small villa. Upgrade wooden villa. Cabin 1. Wood 10,000. Glass 50. Rubber 100. Copper block 100. All the materials for the wooden villa met the conditions in Lin Sheng's hands. The next moment, Lin Sheng chose his own wooden house to upgrade. The wooden house was wrapped in layers of thick fog, and the scope of the thick fog was gradually expanding. The shadow of the cabin under the thick fog also slowly changed at this time. The thick fog did not stay for a long time. After only a moment, the thick fog gradually dissipated. What reappeared in front of Lin Sheng and Shen Ling was no longer the dilapidated cabin on that level, but a two-story villa covering an area of three cabins. There is also a balcony on the second floor of the small villa. Xiaosheng, let's go up and have a look. When Shen Ling saw the appearance of the small villa, she immediately felt longing for it and pulled Lin Sheng to go up to the second floor to have a look. Okay, let's go up and take a look. Lin Sheng responded and let Shen Ling pull him towards the small villa. The newly appeared small villa also immediately attracted the attention of other people on the ark. The savages stopped what they were doing and looked at the small villa on the second floor. This was a very strange thing for them. Compared with their original living environment, they were either caves or low-thatched houses. It wasn't until we arrived on the ark that we lived in a cabin. But now looking at this two-story villa, 
The servants are curious. How can people live in such a high house? Lin Sheng and Shen Ling walked into the villa. When they opened the door of the small villa, they saw rooms separated to the left and right, with a hall in the middle. At the back of the hall is a circular staircase. There are bathrooms and toilets on the left and right sides of the stairs. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling first looked at the houses on both sides. The layout of the house was similar to that of a log cabin, but slightly larger in size. But after arriving at the bathroom and toilet, I discovered that there was a wooden bathtub in the bathroom. This bathtub was two meters long and one meter wide. It was more than enough for one person to take a bath in Indiana. There was also a copper shower head on top of the bathtub and rubber water pipes. There is a wooden toilet in the toilet and next to the toilet is a wooden bucket. The drainage system in this small villa is sound, but the water supply system has not kept up. As a result, water sources can only be provided manually. After the two looked at the first floor, they walked towards the second floor. On the second floor, the same two rooms were separated by a small corridor. At the end of the corridor was the balcony seen outside. The two came to the balcony and looked down. From a distance, I saw the mermaid that had just emerged from the mermaid lake, and the savage looking at the small villa curiously. The scenery is great. Lin Sheng watched the scenery on the sea from the balcony inside. Then Lin Sheng Kai saw a reservoir on the balcony, which was empty without a drop of water. Well, Lin Sheng sighed. There was no way to bring the water up. Sister, you see there are only so many rooms in the small villa. Why don't we all live here? Each with one room? After Lin Sheng sighed, he looked at Shen Ling's face and said, Um, Shen Ling did not refuse. Sister, just keep looking at the scenery and I'll leave first. After Lin Sheng said something, he left the balcony and walked towards the first floor. After Lin Sheng arrived on the first floor, he chose a room to use as the kitchen. If there is a room on the second floor, it would be more comfortable to sleep on the second floor. So Lin Sheng built a boiler in the selected kitchen for hot water for bathing. Lin Sheng directly took out a large amount of mineral water from his backpack and poured it into the boiler. After Lin Sheng lit the fire in the boiler, the water in the boiler started to boil. Lin Sheng fetched another wooden bucket, filled it with hot water, and sent it to the bathroom. After several times in a row, hot water was ready in the bathroom, and it was ready for a bath. Lin Sheng looked at the fully equipped bathroom and touched his chin as he thought. Maybe it would be quite enjoyable to take a bath while drinking a bottle of red wine. After thinking of this, Lin Sheng ran towards the compartment below the deck. Lin Sheng had left all the red wine in the compartment below the deck. As soon as Lin Sheng left, Shen Ling stepped down from the balcony. She looked at the bathroom with dissatisfaction on her face. It's a shame that sister was so kind to you before. And now she secretly enjoys such a good thing. Shen Ling's eyes suddenly lit up. And he smiled and ran into the bathroom with his toiletries. She closed the bathroom door with a bang and locked the lock. The sound of running water sounded in the bathroom. Lin Sheng, who was walking back to the bathroom door leisurely with red wine, was suddenly stunned. My bath? Sister, are you in there? Lin Sheng asked, lying on the bathroom door. Well, is something wrong? Shen Ling was lying in the bathtub, her body covered with foam. Her face flushed and she looked extremely comfortable. He replied lazily, Well, I'm here. Thank you. Xiao Sheng. Sister, actually I also want to take a bath. I don't mind the two of us together. Lin Sheng lay on the door and said, No, the bathtub is too small. Shen Ling replied decisively, No, I think it's just right. Lin Sheng said, Shen Ling. Shen Ling did not answer. And Lin Sheng continued, that sister is very comfortable taking a bath with red wine. Do you want to try it? Don't want. Lin Sheng gritted his teeth and looked at the bathroom door. Hum, it is impossible to stop me from taking a bath. With a click sound, the bathroom door was suddenly opened. Shen Ling looked at Lin Sheng at the bathroom door in horror and hurriedly buried herself in the bathtub with only her head exposed. Xiao Sheng, what are you doing? Get out quickly. You can't believe it? I have the key. Lin Sheng waved the wooden key in his hand and said, Actually, two people can rub their backs together, which is very comfortable. Lin Sheng smiled and closed the door. Chapter 78 Preparing Hot Pot Fleet at Sea After bathing, Shen Ling walked out of the bathroom with a blushing face, while Lin Sheng's face was full of pride. Sister, is my technique comfortable? Humph, I don't want to talk to you. Shen Ling said shyly and angrily, but in her heart she was thinking, don't tell me. It's quite comfortable to have someone rub your back. Sister Ling, 
Do you think you would still have this experience without me? A sincere back rub expert? After taking a nice bath? Let's go have a nice meal later. What do you think about hot pot? Lin Sheng shamelessly ignored what was wrong with him. And Shen Ling was helpless. They had already taken a bath together. So what else could they do? It must be delicious. Otherwise, just wait for me to deal with you. Shen Ling said. That's a must. Lin Sheng finished speaking and walked outside. Lin Sheng came to the breeding area above the deck, but saw that there were new members in the breeding area after not coming for a few days. There were three more cows. Lin Sheng chose a calf and left two, one male and one female, to continue breeding. As for the piglets, one had already been eaten last time, and the remaining two were one male and one female. Lin Sheng did not move any further. The goats also had three more lambs. Lin Sheng also chose to keep a new breeding tool and took one away. Lin Sheng's eyes swept over. Master, my bloodline is about to be activated. You can't try to trick me. After seeing Lin Sheng's eyes, the hen said in a panic, How about I give you a few more eggs? The hen dropped a few eggs in a panic, stretched out her paws, and pushed the still warm eggs towards Lin Sheng. Yeah, good performance. Lin Sheng said picking up the eggs. The next moment, he walked towards the rabbit cage. Originally, there were only five litters of 25 rabbits. In just a few days, the number of rabbits has increased from 25 to 75. Lin Sheng selected 25 rabbits and left 25 pairs of breeding rabbits. A small cow quickly becomes a mature and edible beef cow under the acceleration of time. A little lamb also became a naked-eyed sheep under the acceleration of time. Lin Sheng looked at the pile of living ingredients in front of him and greeted Guzi. Guzi, call for help quickly. We will have a good meal today. After Guzi heard what Lin Sheng said, he brought the savages over to help. For a time, blood flowed three feet above the ark, and everyone couldn't help but shed tears from the corners of their mouths. The rabbit is so cute. How can you eat it? Remember to add more pepper and salt. Shen Ling couldn't help but said, while watching the scene of meat rabbits being slaughtered beside Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng couldn't laugh or cry when he heard this. It doesn't matter. They will live happily in your stomach, because they won't be eaten again. Lin Sheng said ha ha. The mermaid king and queen came over with Kong Kongi. Master, is there anything we can do? Lin Sheng looked at Kong Kongi and thought, How could Hot Pot be missing seafood? Of course, I need you to go to the sea and bring me seafood, such as crabs, conches, abalone, shrimps and so on. Lin Sheng touched his chin, reminiscing about the Hot Pot ingredients he had eaten before, and said leisurely, Okay. Kong Kongi answered cheerfully and left with his parents. After a while, the mermaids of the mermaid tribe left the mermaid lake one after another and jumped into the sea. Boss, I'm here to help too. Feeling deeply, Pai Pai left old Jack behind and drove the ark alone and ran out of the captain's room. When he saw Lin Sheng and others, he immediately understood that the boss was going to cook food again. He immediately asked for help. Just when the members on the ark were busy, above the ocean, a team composed of wooden boats was moving quickly towards the target on the wooden boat headed by the leader. A fat middle-aged man with an unshaven beard was holding a simple book in his hand. What opens on the book is the chat interface. Continue to report the coordinates. Coordinates longitude 1089 latitude 365. How are things going on the arc? The target is slowly leaving. Leader, we don't dare to get too close to alert the enemy. So we can only follow from a distance. Okay. Remember to update the coordinates in real time. After finishing his reply, the middle-aged man put down Lin Gupu's books. Then he looked back at the wooden boats around him. The middle-aged mind is thinking, I really don't know how lucky Jialong and the others are to have so many good things. But now, as long as Ark's own mercenary group is dealt with for Jialong, the combat effectiveness will soon be re-established. When his team becomes stronger, he might be able to swallow up the Jialong mercenary group in the world before the cataclysm. Their two mercenary groups were almost the same and they even wanted to devour each other. But now, he still has to rely on the Jialong mercenary group to improve his strength. The middle-aged man said to the men behind him, How are the preparations going? Have those giant crossbows been adjusted? Yes. Their mercenary group got a batch of giant crossbows from the Jialong mercenary group, and they were all installed on wooden boats. There are a total of 16 wooden boats, 10 of which carry people, and 6 of which carry giant crossbows. Everything is ready. Our giant crossbow can be used as soon as we find the target. The subordinate replied, Good. Get everyone up to speed. The middle-aged man said, 
boss. In fact, we don't need to work for the Giallo mercenary group. We at Black Blood have already obtained the things. Can they still ask us to take them back? The subordinate's eyes rolled, and he said sinisterly, Ha ha. You don't understand Shuechi. The boy who owns Ark definitely has no less supplies than the Jialong mercenary group. You said we use the things of the Jialong to defeat the enemies of the Jialong. And then use the things of the enemies of the Jialong to kill the Jialong. Do you think they will? Do you feel hopeless? The middle-aged man said with a smile, his face full of pride. The boss is mighty. Seven pads of blood. On top of the Ark. Calm Kongi. Please slow down. Lin Sheng said with a helpless smile. There was a satisfied smile on his face. Abalone. Lobster. Sea cucumber. Etc. These high-end ingredients used to be more expensive than others. And the most important thing is that the seafood caught by the mermaid tribe is much larger than before. Things that I couldn't afford before can now be eaten openly. Good master. Although Kong Kongi and other mermaids agreed. Their actions were not slow at all. Lin Shun looked at the beef that Guzi and others had slaughtered. And then walked over. He put the butter separately and picked out the beef bones. Xiaosheng, let me help you. Shen Ling said immediately when she saw Lin Sheng packing up the prepared ingredients. Um. Lin Sheng and Shen Ling took the meat to the boiler. Turn on the boiler. Immediately blanch the beef bones with onion and ginger to remove the flavor. And then boil the stock over high heat. Chapter 79 Hot Pot Dinner Suffering Enemy Sister, please help wash the vegetables we brought back yesterday. Lin Sheng pointed to the vegetarian dishes such as king oyster mushrooms and fungus that had been taken out long ago. Good. After Shen Ling finished speaking, the women from the savage tribe also stepped forward to help. Lin Sheng used the baggage of time to turn the beef bone soup that took more than 10 hours into a large pot of thick white soup in the blink of an eye. Lin Sheng boiled the pot of broth, then cleaned the boiler, reheated it and poured in the butter. After the oil temperature reached the standard, Lin Sheng put the dried chili peppercorns, ginger and garlic into the pot and sautéed until fragrant, and then took out the red oil. Stir-fry the bean paste slightly. Then add the prepared beef bone stock. When the soup comes to a boil, Lin Sheng pours in some 5 spice powder, 13 spices and basic seasonings and seasoning. Finally, Lin Sheng carefully took out the hot pot base ingredients that he finally obtained and added them to the soup. The red soup was boiling. Lin Sheng took the blanched rabbit meat and poured it directly into the pot. The boiler continued to burn. And Lin Sheng waited until the rabbit meat was cooked before turning down the heat of the boiler. Under Lin Sheng's simultaneous operation, a total of 10 boilers were turned on. Wait until all 10 boilers are ready. Lin Sheng greeted Guzi and others to surround the boiler with wooden tables. Various vegetables and seafood are placed on these tables. After all preparations were made, Lin Sheng clapped his hands and said, Okay, everyone, come over for dinner. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, everyone gathered around him. Guzi, go and call old Jack here. We are all members of the Ark family. No one can be left behind. As for the goal of sailing, let's stop here first and continue sailing after finishing the hot pot. Okay, boss. After Guzi finished speaking, he hurriedly ran to bring old Jack over. The hot pot meal started as soon as everyone gathered. Lin Sheng picked up his chopsticks and took out a piece of rabbit meat from the pot. When the rabbit meat entered his mouth, the spicy, spicy and tender texture burst out in Lin Sheng's mouth. Cool. As the spicy food entered his mouth, sweat suddenly broke out on Lin Sheng's forehead. Lin Sheng glanced around and saw the savages headed by Guzi, all in pain and happiness. They were blushing and pulling at their tongues while being reluctant to spit out the food in their mouths. Looking extremely funny, Lin Sheng smiled slightly. This is the charm of hot pot. Looking at the mermaids of the mermaid tribe, they carefully took out the food from the hot pot but did not eat it immediately. They soak hot food in water before putting it in their mouths to eat. Merfolk cannot eat hot food. When Lin Sheng looked around and glanced at Pipe Eye and Old Jack, he nodded slightly. After all, Old Jack and Pipe Eye were normal human beings, and they quite enjoyed hot pot. After Lin Sheng grabbed the bowl of beer and took a sip, he noticed that Shen Ling was timidly trying to pick up the food in the pot. But after holding it for a long time, he was forced to stop by the boiling red soup in the pot. Chopsticks. Shen Ling's face was filled with annoyance. She is so difficult. The pot is so big. And the table puts so much distance between itself and the pot. Just when Shen Ling's face was full of annoyance, Lin Sheng reached out and picked up the bowl in front of Shen Ling. Picked up a few pieces of rabbit meat from the boiler. Put it in Shen Ling's bowl 
and handed it over. Shen Ling was stunned for a moment, then smiled when she looked at the rabbit meat handed over by Lin Sheng. He lowered his head and started eating with happiness in his eyes. Sister Ling, tell me what you want to eat later and I'll get it for you. Good. Shen Ling now, asterisk carrot omega carrot asterisk. Lin Sheng began to cook Shen Ling's food while eating the food himself while drinking beer, enjoying this hot pot meal comfortably. Lin Sheng felt as if he had returned to the old days. After eating, he subconsciously took out his pants to take out his mobile phone. Then I discovered that there was no cell phone left to use. Lin Sheng smiled helplessly, and then took out the manual. Open the chat interface of the manual. It's been a long time since I took a leisurely look at the situation of other survivors. Lin Sheng also wanted to use the world chat channel to see how other people are doing now. 33E slash 70E. The number of people alive has completely stabilized so far. Chat interface. Brothers, please congratulate me. After nine days, I have finally escaped poverty and no longer have to starve to death. That's good. I escaped poverty yesterday. Do you dare to think? I, a child from a mountainous area, was forced to become a fisherman. Lin Sheng looked at these chat messages and then looked at the leftover food in front of him. After looking at Shen Ling who was holding out his belly and looking satisfied, Lin Sheng reached out and touched Shen Ling's head. Shen Ling turned around and gave Lin Sheng a slap in the face and said, If I hadn't eaten so much, look at how I would deal with you. How dare you touch your sister's head? Lin Sheng laughed and took back his hand. Hmm? Feeling uncomfortable sitting? Lin Sheng readjusted his sitting posture and leaned directly on Shen Ling's arm before sending a message on the world chat channel. Lin Sheng. Oh, hot pot is so filling. What should I do if there is still a lot of food that I can't finish? Survivors. Master, you've gone too far. I suddenly felt that the grilled fish in my hand no longer tasted good. Damn it. Why are people so different? I thought my steamed king crab was already awesome. But my husband gave me an unexpected hot pot dinner. Please take me in. I also want to eat hot pot. Plus one. Plus one. After seeing the news about many survivors, Lin Sheng suddenly felt very happy. Xiao Sheng, you are so bad. Shen Ling let Lin Sheng lean on her, so she could completely see the messages sent by Lin Sheng and the messages on the chat channel. So she patted Lin Sheng's arm and said, Ha uh ha, -huh. do you still like it? Lin Sheng said. Shen Ling was silent. Lin Sheng's private chat message was received. Chin Xiaowen, Master, can you sell me some hot pot and wine? I have gold coins. Uh huh. Lin Sheng suddenly felt envious of Chen Xiaowen for having so many gold coins. Then trap! Trap to death. Lin Sheng. Sell. One gold coin per pound of beer. One gold coin per plate of hot food. Chen Xiaowen. Okay. Two kilograms of beer and five stacks of vegetables. Sir. Let's trade. Lin Sheng. Wait. After replying to Chen Xiaowen, Lin Sheng Sheng stood up from Shen Ling's body picked up the unfinished dishes from the pot and dropped some food. Lin Sheng poured the cooked food into a bowl and also thoughtfully poured some hot pot soup on it. Transaction complete. Get gold coins plus seven. Lin Sheng. You're welcome. If you don't have enough soup and water, you can make some rice. Chun Xiaowen. Maritime. Boss, are you almost here? I find that following Ark is simply torture. The boss of the Black Blood Mercenary Group. They actually eat hot pot. The aroma still wafts far away. The boss of the Black Blood Mercenary Group. Dawn. Please hurry up. Those who eat hot pot these days will definitely have enough food and supplies. Haven't you all eaten yet? Hurry up. We'll eat hot pot too if we catch up. Chapter 80 The Forgotten Xiao Bai. The Wooden Boat Team. After completing the transaction, Lin Sheng, who was still unaware, asked Old Jack about the distance to the location recorded on the treasure map, and then lazily stretched out and prepared to take a nap. Time flies, and the warm sea breeze blows through the window and hits Lin Sheng's face like a girl's delicate hands caressing him. Uh-huh. Lin Sheng, who was sleeping, frowned slightly. Why is my face so itchy? Lin Sheng opened his eyes in a daze, and a scattered figure appeared in front of him. And as the figure continued to solidify, Lin Sheng I saw clearly the appearance of the person coming. Shen Ling was grabbing her hair, lowering her head, and sweeping Lin Sheng's face with her hair with a smile on her face. Sister Ling, don't make trouble. Lin Sheng yelled twice, and even felt a little sleepy and wanted to continue sleeping. But Shen Ling did not listen to Lin Sheng's words and continued to play with the hair. 
as if she was addicted. A naughty smile on his face. I've all gone to bed. It's only one afternoon. Get up soon and watch the sunset with me. Yes. The sun was setting on the sea at this time. And the golden sunlight reflected the golden sea. After seeing this scene, Shen Ling felt a little lonely enjoying it alone. Only then did she find Lin Sheng who wanted Lin Sheng to be her companion. But at this time, Lin Sheng was sleeping. Lin Sheng was too sleepy and ignored Shen Ling. This actually made Shen Ling puff out her mouth a little bit. Like a little puffer fish. Shen Ling looked dissatisfied at Lin Sheng who turned his head to the side. And the hair in his hand suddenly reached into Lin Sheng's ears. A burst of itching sensation made Lin Sheng tremble all over. When he turned around, he was about to scold Shen Ling and tell him to take a good rest. But when she turned around, she saw Shen Ling's bulging cheeks and a hint of dissatisfaction in her eyes. Finally, Lin Sheng's eyes fell on Shen Ling's pink lips. The distance between the two was so close that Lin Sheng suddenly felt his mouth was dry and he swallowed his saliva. Get up quickly and watch the sunset with me. Otherwise you won't be able to rest. Shen Ling said while staring at Lin Sheng. Lin Sheng, who already had special feelings in his heart, had never dared to go further. Just because Shen Ling didn't say what was in his heart. Even the previous massage was just the purest back rub. But now what Lin Sheng was thinking was to make his body stretch out his right arm and directly pull Shen Ling into his arms. The big mouth just printed it. Shen Ling's complaining eyes suddenly widened and she looked at Lin Sheng in disbelief. She resisted and struggled twice but finally gave up her resistance and relaxed on Lin Sheng's body. As the kiss lasted longer, Lin Sheng's hand slowly became dishonest at this time. Shen Ling felt as if her clothes were being pulled by a big hand, and her brain, which had been silent in the gentle countryside, suddenly became active. She pushed Lin Sheng hard and broke free from Lin Sheng's arms. With his back to Lin Sheng, he said with red cheeks, Young man, you can't do this. It wasn't until Shen Ling's words reached Lin Sheng's ears that he finally reacted. After hearing Shen Ling's words and seeing Shen Ling's performance, I felt pleasantly surprised. She didn't get angry but showed the expression of a little daughter. So Shen Ling's thoughts were still the same. Why? We grew up as childhood sweethearts. Although I regard my uncle and aunt as my biological parents. That is not the case. Lin Sheng couldn't help but want to tease Shen Ling to see his reaction. I'm not ready. Shen Ling's weak voice came and Lin Sheng now felt no sleepiness at all. He stood up from the bed and came to Shen Ling's side. He put his arm around Shen Ling's waist and said close to Shen Ling's ear, Then I can wait for you, no matter how long it takes. Shen Ling Xia was speechless for a moment. Lin Sheng looked at Shen Ling, who was looking down at him silently and shamelessly, and smiled slightly. Okay, don't you want to watch the sunset? Come on, I will watch the sunset with you, Lin Sheng said. His hand did not let go of Shen Ling, but just carried Shen Ling to the balcony. Shen Ling leaned her head on Lin Sheng's arms and watched the setting sun. Above the ocean, a snow-white white wolf was swimming in the sea like a dog paddle. If you don't pay too much attention, people who see the scene may think that it is a white-haired pet dog swimming in the sea. The white wolf raised his head and looked around, confirmed the direction, and then continued towards the target. This white wolf was Xiao by whom Lin Sheng conquered on that island. At that time, it did not dare to follow Lin Sheng and waited in place, but was ignored by Lin Sheng. Later, when Lin Sheng left the island, he felt his master chasing him all the way away, and finally found that Lin Sheng was not on the island. It jumped into the sea relying on the world of induction between Lin Sheng's master and servant, and pursued Lin Sheng all the way. But the ark was moving very fast. It could only feel that it was getting closer to its owner, but it still couldn't reach the ark. Lin Sheng, who was on the ark, was holding Shen Ling and looking at the setting sun in front of him comfortably. Suddenly, the shadows of a group of ships were reflected in their eyes. Those ships are as if they came out of the scorching sun. Xiaosheng, what is that? Shen Ling noticed the appearance of the ship first and immediately asked Lin Sheng. Huh? That's a wooden boat? Lin Sheng frowned. 1, 2, 18. After counting carefully, Lin Sheng was definitely sure that there were 18 wooden boats heading towards him on the opposite side. Maybe he was passing by? Lin Sheng was also thinking uncertainly. But as the wooden boat got closer, Lin Sheng could clearly see the people and objects on the wooden boat. Everyone on the wooden boat is wearing the same clothes, which is quite organized. And it is hoped that nearly half of the wooden ships carry giant crossbows. Although these giant crossbows are not as domineering as their own giant crossbows, they are even relatively simple. 
But that is also a giant crossbow, which can cause damage to the Ark. Lin Sheng vaguely felt something was wrong. The bearded middle-aged man on the wooden boat pointed at the men next to the target and said hurriedly, Whenever you find the target, point your weapons at this Ark and be ready to attack at any time. The savages and mermaids on the Ark also discovered the enemies were approaching. Guzi came to inform Lin Sheng as a representative. But when Lin Sheng saw Guzi, he didn't wait for Guzi to speak and said directly, Let's arrange it. Guzi nodded and left. Come on, Sister Ling. These ships are coming for us. After Lin Sheng finished speaking, he took Shen Ling and left from the balcony. Lin Sheng wanted to see who else besides the Jialong mercenary group was going to cause trouble for him. You must know that he has only offended the Jialong mercenary group so far. And although these people all were uniform specifications, they are definitely not the Jialong mercenary group.